and we can get started right away. Here we go. In three, two. All right, we should be live, or at least very, very close to it. This is day two of three of the Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door marathon stream to end it all. Let's see if we are, in fact, live. Sometimes it takes just a minute to load on in. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nothing quite yet, nothing quite yet. Oh, looks like I see a little loading wheel, and are we live? Are we not? We're getting close. I feel like we're pretty close. Oh, there we are. I can see myself. I can hear myself. Hello. Welcome. This is day two of the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door weekend stream. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Let's do it. Well, yesterday, we made quite a bit of progress. It's so great to see everybody today, this morning. Bright and early, earlier than I usually stream, 12 o'clock noon. We're going until 10 o'clock p.m., so we got 10 hours of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door coming your way momentarily. Which is, like, how exciting is that? How exciting is that? Anyway, uh, yesterday we managed to get through chapters one. Oh, I can see my, I don't want to hear myself. I don't want to hear my own audio. Uh, yesterday, you probably heard an echo of me just now. Yesterday we managed to get through uh, the first two chapters, which, is, which I think is a pretty good amount of progress, if I do say so myself. Uh, to get through the first two chapters yesterday. And we also went down to floor 50 of the Pit of 100 Trials. We had, And we got the Strange Sack, which allows me to carry 20 items. We got Mega Freak for 100 for a little bit to join us on the stream. We have a lot more guests lined up today. I want to tell you that these times are all approximate, so there's nothing set in stone. It's kind of more or less whenever they get here. But the way I have it scheduled is from 2 o'clock p.m., which is about two hours from now, until about 3 o'clock, we're going to have X and Shadow from Brain Scratch Comms joining us. We have Slim Kirby coming on from about 4 to 6-ish. And again, these are all approximate times. K-Man will be joining us from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. And Power to Mario joining us from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. So that's what we have for the guest lineup today. Very, very exciting, fun-filled day. If you haven't done so already, please feel free to go ahead and fill out the Google form that you can access by typing exclamation mark final stream. If you go ahead and type that, you'll be sent to a link where you can go ahead and fill out uh, just a little bit of information, and it allows me to deliver one last token of my appreciation your way. So thank you so much for making this stream, uh, this this journey of the past 10 years of content creation, an unforgettable, fantastic experience through which I've made a lot of great friends, connected with a lot of awesome people, and have had just the experiences of a lifetime. So thank you so much for that. Uh, I, I suppose without any further ado, we should go ahead and get started. We have a lot to get through. The goals of today is to get through chapters two through, or sorry, three through six today. So we got um, a little bit of Glitz Pit. We got a little bit of Twilight Town. We got a little bit of Keel Hall Key. And we finally have the XS Express coming your way. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's mute out, uh, fade out the uh, Rogue Port theme here and jump on into some Paper Mario. Who do we got coming on in the chat today is what I'm wondering. It looks like we got Banjamon28, Goldoan Girl, Saiyan1016, Carthagian. We got Crodo coming on in. Thanks so much for stopping by, my friend. Hope all is going well with you. King Legacy, Cake Man, uh, Cake Man, Yoshi Kid 18. We've come to report that Frozen 2 is amazing. What a, what a better, can I think of a better way to start off the stream by actually confirming that Frozen 2 lives up to the hype? I mean, come on. How can you get much better? Uh, Jordan D1337 is here, ready for round two, and round two is going to be a lot longer than round one. We're here for 10 hours today. Holy cow, I don't even know if I can comprehend that. You can chill for about two hours before work. Hey, I'll take whatever I can get. Let's go. I haven't watched it yet either. I'm going to see it on uh, Tuesday, because Tuesday's $5 movie night. I'm not going to, like, why go see it now and pay a lot of money when I could go see it at Tuesday and pay $5. So anyway, again, the goal of today is we're going to get through Chapter 3 through 6. So we got Glitz Pit, we have Twilight Town, we have Keel Hall Key, and we have Excess Express. If you have not played Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, then you are doing yourself a gross disservice. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door is a really fantastic RPG on GameCube. It is kind of a shame that it hasn't been re-released on other platforms since. I think the Star Beast right here. Uh, it's really a shame that it hasn't been released on other platforms since then. I think there's a hidden thing around here, too. Um, and, and hopefully someday that will be remedied because I really hope to see Paper Mario Thousand Year Door become more accessible for people. But in any case, before we can actually go to Chapter 3, we need to get a hold of the Blimp Ticket to head to Glitzville, which is a floating, floating city in the sky. In order to access that, we have to... Oh, great. A mushroom. Uh, we have to buy a Dried Shroom and a Dizzy Dial in order, and we have to answer yellow to both of these questions. 
And that allows us to access uh, Don Pianta's office, which is it's very similar to Chapter 2 of the original Paper Mario, where you have to do the same sort of item sequence in Dry Dry Outpost, which is really cool. I like that a lot. So anyway, um, you're getting all the star pieces from Chapters 1, 2, 3, and then you'll start Chapter 4. Goldoa Girl, I like that you're playing alongside. I think that's wicked fun. I think that's wicked fun. Lover236 stopping on by saying... It's unfortunate that it is the last ever stream. That is true, I suppose. Well, I, though I suppose that tomorrow is the last ever stream. But I suppose I should. Uh, I suppose I should do a little Don Pianta impression, being you know from Italian nature. I think that's kind of the expectation around here is that I do a little bit of Don Pianta voice acting. I'm not doing voice acting for the majority of the stream, uh, but I could say, "What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. You got a beef? Spit it out quick, or this is gonna hurt." They, that, that's how we actually talk around here when I'm not on stream. Excuse me? You wanna? You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now, to me, that's funny. You gotta stand up a comedian. Nah, you oughta be. You ain't make crying babies weep. <laughs> you want I should run this bum out on a rail, boss? Look at him. What a rude. You must like the pain, funny guy. Or are you looking for trouble or what? <laughs> not so fast, boys. I like, this, I like this kid's gumption. He came to talk. No, it ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done. You rough them up. You got it? So I assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. So this is just like actually not voice acting for me. It's actually just normal talking. What's that? You want to help some broad who got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out there collecting the crystal stars? <laughs> it's like the crystal stars? Hey, boss, ain't that those things in that legend about that ancient treasure? <laughs> Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey, boss. This knucklehead believes in fairy tales over here. He's a believer. He's over here believing in a fairy tale. Come on. Come on. Come on. Um, excuse me, but that's not... Oh, who's saying this? This is Coops. <laughs> this is not an Italian accent. Not a mobster accent. Everybody, just shut it. I don't care if the treasure real or not. Get me, but I can't tell. I can't help but like a guy who rescues some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor that you can't refuse, and you'll get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? Sure, we can do anything. What is it? This is pretty funny. It, it's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to be nearby. <laughs> you got to find my daughter, Francesca, and this uh, Frankie and bring them both here. Francesca and Frankie. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you got to do is tell me where they are. And then I'll settle this matter quickly with myself, what's what's known as extreme prejudice. <laughs> boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. We can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's because you lugs can't find her that I got to swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints over there? Hey, you, are you making a complaint over there? You better not be making any complaints over there. Oh, I'm going to rip you a new one if you're making complaints over there. I don't know what I'm thinking, boss. It ain't going to happen again. You the boss, boss. Good. Glad we're all full of understanding for one another. Glad we all stand, understand one another around here, capiche? It's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck on a turn terrible. Right, sorry, I couldn't resist. That's the only character that I promise I'm going to voice act. I won't subject you to that for too much. But I was thinking the whole time, I was like, oh, I got to do the voice for Don Pianta. How do I not, as, a, as an Italian, do the voice for Don Pianta? Anyway, like I said, that's just how people talk in my neck of the woods anyway. So, that's what it is. Yeah, finally using the real voice on stream. Right, not putting on a stage performance. And it was meant in real life. You know what I'm not going to do this stream, though? I do want to tell you. We are not going to be talking to this guy. Because the Happy Lucky Lottery is a sham. It's a sham, you hear me? It's a sham. We're not doing it. We ain't doing it. Anyway, yes, that is my real voice on stream. Uh, so, in any case, yes, like I said, we are here until 10 p.m. today. I didn't see if Charlington actually had anything interesting. He has nothing right now that I care about. Uh, so, like I said, we'll be here till 10 p.m. If you want to go ahead and type exclamation mark TTYD, that will tell you the full list of times for the three days that we're going to be here. We do have one more day tomorrow where it will, I suppose, officially be my last stream ever. But, yeah, they're out here in the docks. So just go ahead and talk to them. Uh, so, they're pretty much, like, trying to run away and, and escape the pressures of, of overbearing parents. I think we can all relate to that in some capacity. But in any case, uh, I'm not going to read this whole, this whole, uh, bit of text. But pretty much, like, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? You make me, you make my whole world forever. Dad, we can't be running from daddy. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, 
course. So if I say, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pretend like I never saw you. Pretend we never saw you. Yeah, the Happy Lucky Lottery is scary if you tried to cheat it. You should go on YouTube and you should look up. Um, yeah, 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 we gotta tell. Uh, we should go, you should go look up, actually, what, um, what happens if you fit, if you try to cheat the Happy Lucky Lottery by changing the system time. It's pretty scary. It's pretty scary. It's like equivalent, actually, to what happens in Animal Crossing if you mess with Mr. Rossetti too many times. So... Goldolan Girl, I am so happy that Chapter 2 is finished. I thoroughly enjoy Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I think it's an absolutely phenomenal game. However, I will say that Chapter 2 is not great. And, and by not great, I mean actually kind of a slog to get through. It's not fun. It really does lose its luster, which is a shame because I feel like in some regard it can leave a bad first impression. Um, and yeah, we found her. Sure do, and I'll tell you. Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't read his dialogue. Oh, is that a true fact, Rogueport Arbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I prepare your blimp ticket. Hey, hey, you two Nimrods. The kids are at the harbor. Now go get them. <laughs> Daddy, wait. <laughs> Francesca. <laughs> Frankie, so, back you came. Hang on low and with your tail between your legs. <laughs> Yes, I know. But she was like, we should run away. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. And, oh my god, love story. Oh my god, we gotta get away. Oh my god, I just wanna be free. I wanna be on my own. It's my responsibility. It's my responsibility. And he's like, yeah, enough. Quiet, both of you. The both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. And this house is where you repay your debt to Don Pianta. The Don is unpleased. I feel such a disappointment in you two. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. <laughs> Love the mix of the Mario lingo in there. Rockhawk64 coming on by, by the way. Good to see you. Yeah, we really did just start just a couple minutes ago, so you haven't missed too much. You want, I don't ever want to see a Mugs again, you hear me? Now get out of my sight, Bodius. I don't care where you go, just go. Is that what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do whatever you want, even if it means getting married. See if I care. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks for your blessing. I'll make your daughter happy. Show off for nothing. Enough already. Just go, go, get out of here. I'm so happy for the two of yous. Happy for the two of yous. I know, Rock. I know. This is it. Like, if there are ever a time for Rock Hawk 64 to be here, this is it. They're in. Blimp tickets, please. Hold on. Oh, sorry. I was skipping the text. I, it's a bad habit. Huh. Well, you found. Oh, yeah. You found my daughter and got her back. Come back here. And look how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. I can have your blimp ticket like you said. All right, let's go. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't You don't come back here, all right? Do we understand each other? Capiche, capiche. All right, get out of here before I have before I have the missus come in here with a ladle that she was using to make some spaghetti and meatballs and beat your ass. Now get out of here. That's pretty much how, how the whole thing goes down after that. They don't put that in the game because they want to keep the E rating, but that's pretty much it. All right, anyway, let's go to Glitzville. Oh, we got an email first. I don't really care. Um, Glitzville, by the way, is the absolute most fantastic, best chapter in the game. I think without a doubt, Chapter 3 is the is the best chapter in this game. We'll be on the XS Express later. Not going there quite yet. I think without a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, you could say that the area that you actually explore can be somewhat... Small and confined, sure, that's a valid thing to say. There isn't really much to do outside of the combat. That's fair, but I think the battles themselves are so interesting, and the story of what's going on in this chapter is so engaging that it, it really doesn't even matter because it's just so captivating and so good. This really is best chapter hype. You get great music, great action, Great combat, and actually good mystery and a good story as to what goes on in Chapter 3. I won't spoil too much for you, but let me just say, we're about to start my favorite chapter in the game, and that chapter is Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory, which will come in now. And the fact that I even remembered the chapter title, I think that tells you just how fantastic it should be. Let's do it. Hey, Angel420U, good to see you. Thanks so much for stopping on by. Hey, if you are just coming on by, know that this is a three-day marathon stream of playing Pit Mario the Thousand Year Door. It is my retirement stream, so I will not be streaming after this weekend. 
Uh, retired because a lot of other commitments are presenting themselves to me. A lot of other life challenges, such as moving into a house now with my girlfriend, who I'm very happy to be with. Uh, we, I've accepted a lot of new responsibilities at work, and I'm looking to get more involved with leadership positions there. And it's a lot of things that, that just make it not viable to continue streaming. Plus, it has been 10 years of content creation, so certainly it has been quite the ride, I will tell you that. Uh, Carthagian said, what color Yoshi am I going for? I actually have no specific color that I'm going for. Um, I do have a name for the Yoshi in mind, though. I was going to go ahead and do a, uh, a user poll or a bit war or something along those lines, but I do actually have a name off the top of my head, so uh, you are going to see what that's going to be. I'll surprise you, but it's whatever color we get is the color that we get. Uh, <laughs> this would be Glitzville, all right, but how do they make it float? I mean, it hasn't ever, you know, plunged from the sky or anything. It's literally a floating, fantastic city, and it's so cool. This this environment is so fun to explore, I have to say. So fun. Um, the other thing I want to add is, if you have not played Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, you definitely should do yourself a favor and do it. It's funny because I was talking to a lot of my students about... I can't get that yet. Oh, it's right there! I can't reach it. I was talking to a lot of my students about Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, and uh, a lot of them said something along the lines of, Oh, I never played it because Paper Mario, like, kind of has this bad reputation. I heard that, that, you know, it's really not that fantastic. Like, Color Splash and all those types of games, Sticker Star, have a very mixed reception. And it's kind of a shame because I think it does, like, it makes sense that actually for a younger viewership, it would kind of tarnish it. Like, they don't know that Paper Mario on the N64 and Paper Mario on the GameCube were so fantastic. And I say that if you have not played Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, please, please, please make it a point to go play it. And I know, unfortunately, that GameCube games aren't the most accessible of games at the moment. Um, but it is well worth your time, believe me. We'll be using that little uh, spring up there later. Just grabbing a couple things over here. We'll be back to get that shine sprite at some point. Oh, yeah, should here. Let's go! I'm curious as to what PK's up to as well. So here we are at the at Glitzville. Look who's here, by the way. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Just just chilling here, like nothing nothing more to do. I love this area. So you walk in, you're like, I don't really know what this is all about. Pretty cool. Anyway, let's see what's inside. Yeah, it is sad. It, it, it's sad. It's going to be a bittersweet thing. You know, it's going to be a bittersweet thing for retirement, for sure. But, anyway, we walk on in, and this is what we see. Wow, this place is so cool. Hey, Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. Uh, here he is, Rock Hawk. That's right. Uh, feel the rock. Literally, literally pro wrestling just happening, and it's so awesome. So fantastic. Come see Uncle Rock Hawk. <laughs> uh, so fantastic. So, again, I hope you're having a good uh, weekend so far. It has been a good day yesterday. We were here doing Chapters 1, 2, and uh, Floor 50 of the Pit of 100 Trials. If you have not done so, please go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream. You can go ahead and fill out a little Google form and get something for me to, uh, just to provide some information, for me to send you one last uh, token of my appreciation. Rock Hawks, like, you see this belt? Yes! 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 <laughs> Love it. I think Rockhawk is supposed to, I mean, he's obviously supposed to be based off of a, uh, supposed to be based off of a pro wrestler, like, obviously, is that, that's sort of the whole thing, but I think specifically, he's based off of, like, Triple H. I think that's actually what they were going for. Yes, we want to become a fighter. Here we go. We're going on in. Ah, YoshiKid18, another person who got their username from this chapter. Can we talk about that? Two people whose usernames were inspired by this chapter. It really is that good, I will tell you. It really is that good. So we got to go down to Grubba's office. I think it's this room. You want to become a fighter, bub? All right, heading on in. Yeah, that's true, too. I picture him sounding like Hercule. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> ah, Grubba. Grubba. Such a sleazy business owner. Apps actually like Vince McMahon right here. This is who it is. You want to become a fighter, huh? Hoo-wee! That do change a thing or too fun? I always got time for an up-and-comer. All right, let's see what we got. Play it straight. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Darn Skippy. All right, all right. I hear where you're coming from. Loud and clear. 
He's all with the boulder from Avatar. <laughs> the boulder is not amused. The boulder will rock you. <laughs> That's funny. I, I, I forgot about that. He is also the boulder from Avatar. It's really the same character. Anyway. That's the key, son. You gotta dream big and you get big. Even when you make it big, you look out of those little straw small dreamers and laugh. You read me here, son? Oh, sure. Sure. Whatever you say. Now have us a little walk and talk. Come on now. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I, I mean, I'm so excited for this chapter. I, I really can't wait. I really can't wait. That's right, we want to become a fighter. And anyway, I want to get that crystal star because it's on the champ's belt. Check this out. Check this out. Look at this. Here yeah, you like this. Feast your eyes. This is the champion's room. Ain't that right? Deluxe. You become a champ, son, you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Oh, yeah. Comfort awaits. But guess what? We're not there yet. Here we have the Major League locker room. A lot of contenders here. Not exactly glamorous, but clean and comfortable. Old-fashioned, whatever. It's fine. But we're not starting there. We're not starting there. We had a claw way to the top. That would actually be hysterical. That would be hysterical. Fijian, playing a sequel where he plays Rock Hawk becoming the champ. That, how fun would that be? Like a side story of playing as Rock Hawk? That would be amazing. Amazing, amazing. Oh yeah, sign me up. Sign me up. Mario, you know, it's a little is what it is. Hooey, you're going to be the Great Gonzalez. Ain't that a beaut? The Great Gonzalez. Let's do it. Love it. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. I'm so excited for the battles that we have in store. Really, really love the Glitz Bit battles. If you haven't done so as well, you should feel free to join the Discord server. Even though I will not be streaming anymore after this weekend, the Discord server really is a great way to stay in touch. So I will still be on there. I'll still be on Twitter and social media and stuff like that. But the Discord server is really the uh, best thing. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do exactly what he says. Uh, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubber releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I'll explain as they become our little itty-bitty guidelines. Not so important. And guess where we start? In this crappy, beat-up, minor league locker room. That would be awesome, too. A Waffle Kingdom becoming the full-fledged game. That would be really funny. That would, I feel like it definitely could, though, too. Here we are. This is your locker room. All right. Here we are. We've made it. Start in the minor league, of course. You just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you uh, work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log on the terminal here. And let's do it. Pick reserve a match. And if we go ahead and talk to the people, it's like, take care of yourself. Don't make any mistakes. I love it. Love it. Love it. This is our little pathetic, dingy locker room. Let's reserve a match. Howdy, Gonzalez. Better get your fist dirty. There you go, son. Got a treat for you. The first battle is going to be against the Goomba Bros. They're a piece of cake. You have to appeal to the crowd at least once. I love how they do that. Like, it's such a creative idea to actually throw in little twists uh, into the battle as well. To not just say, like, hey, you have to beat the opponent, but you have to appeal to the crowd. Like, you have to do a thing. And I feel like that's what really makes it, uh, that's what really makes this battle stand out. Or it really makes this chapter stand out. They're not just battles against cool, creative, unique, and different enemies. They're actually battles where you, you are forced to do a certain condition that you usually don't get to do. Yeah, a full-fledged Paper Luigi based on his adventures in the Waffle Kingdom. How fun would that be? Or a full-fledged Rock Hawk game. Here we go. First battle of Chapter 3. Squaring off next, folks. The Hoppin' Hardheads, the Goomba Bros, and a newcomer with a hankering for a hammering, the Great Gonzalez. Let's do it. How you do, Goomba Bros? How y'all feeling today? Ready for this fight? And they're like, ha! We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Is this Gonzalez rookie, a cocky, a cocky idiot? That too. We're going to teach this punk so, uh, some manners. Hot diggity dog fight fans. There's a great Gonzalez down striding on up. Rookie's got some guts. All right, now listen up. Let me explain the rules of the match. Oh, no rules at all. I love it. Love it. Appeal to the crowd at least once. Hey, that's no fair. You can't attack before the bell rings. That's cheating. Yeah, we can't let a bunch of cheaters take us down. Crit your quiet. Uh, cr quit your crying. I love it. As if, as if like the Goomba Bros are like threatening at all. But we have to appeal to the crowd at least once. So I'll do that right now. And here we go. There we go. 
<laughs> and they're all dead. That was easy. Easy first match. Totally mop the floor. Ugh. If you super guard with zap tap, is that super guard damage on top of the zap tap damage or no? Ugh, that fight, what a joke. I'll tell you what, so it's, I saw a whooping. The kid's got skills. I don't know. I don't think you get, I don't think it stacks. I don't think if you super guard and then zap tap, I don't think you get two damage to the enemy. I think it's just the one. I think it's just the one. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss, but listen, son, you got to play to the crowd. Pump them up a little bit more. Give me a little more razzle-dazzle next time. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah. I guess we could find out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll try to find out as best we can. I don't think it stacks, though. Hey, we're up to rank 19. You have a nice day. It's like, really, this is the crappy locker room that I get. Nothing, there's nothing cool over here at all. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight, dog? Here he is, the one, the only, King K. I'm King K, man. Just a bushel of scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Uh, so why don't you meet the gang? This is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, that we know each other. I've got to give you some advice. Bomb. As Miss Jolene was saying, people are Bomb. Obey, girls. It's just like, it's so it's funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's got, maybe he got some speech issues. We have Bandy Andy, of course. And we'll be fighting all these characters, too, which I think is really cool. Yes, we got to sleep in that bed. And then we have the Clefter. Clefter, no like big friend with mustache. <laughs> uh, yes, the minor league crew. The King K. I love the fact that you, like I said, I love the fact that you get to know these characters and you also fight them along the way, which is pretty cool. All right, we got the KP Koopas. Did you say no jumping on the KP Koopas match? I think that's what he said. I think that was the rule. I think that was the rule. I think I have to do KP Koopas with no jumping. I don't know if these are actually randomized. That's a good question to the chat. Are these actually randomized events? Because I don't know the answer to that. And if it's no jumping, that's going to be pretty hard. <laughs> I have to use, I pretty much have to use Earth Tremor. All right, KP Koopas. I'm pretty sure the actual conditions are, are randomized, besides the first one, where you have to appeal just once. And I think Raw Cox, and, and so there's certain ones that are not, but I think for the most part they are. So like here, I can't jump. So pretty much the only thing I have to do is use Earth Tremor, because otherwise I won't be able to hit the character with anything. Like, I mean, I guess I could use Flurry's Body Slam, but whatever, I'll just end this fast. I'll just end this one real fast. One more. Yeah, look at that. That's how we get started. How about a perfect Earth Tremor to get started? There we go. I'd say scare that. You couldn't use your hammer on spinies? Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, you don't get spike shield for a bit, so it's tough. There we go. We won. No jump. That was good. Here's your fight money. I, I love the fact, too, it really exemplifies how, like, amateur sports in general, there's such a divide between amateur sporting events and professional sporting events with, like, the, the pay, you know? Like, you talk about baseball is, is what I'm most familiar with. Minor league baseball players get, like, literally nothing. Like, you get, they make 30000 a year, maybe. Uh, not to mention all the bus rides and trips and all the abuse that they have to go to. It's miserable. You would compete with who get the best Earth Tremor. That's really funny. That's really funny. I love me some Thousand Year Door. Yeah, they don't, like, wake like a living wage. It's really sad. Okay, match time. Let's go. Oh boy, the pokies. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner of the Great Gonzalez and the Spike Terror Triplets. A fight to the finish with the Pokey Triplets. Try not getting your way, Mario. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here we go. Oh, thanks, Rock. I appreciate that. The en enemy has to damage me three times. That's what it said, right? Oh, actually, I want that. No, no, no. I actually want that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. A puny was actually trying to help me out. All right. I have to 
take damage three times. Is that the, that's the deal? Yeah, I took damage once. Twice. Twice. Still twice. Okay, that's three. <laughs> Sucker. All right, anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and put an end to this. Sorry. I know, the Poonies, are, they're, they're actually trying to help me. And still, nah, it's not happening. I don't want your help. It doesn't matter. I don't think we need to hit that. There we go. Very cool. Aw, oh, thanks, Rock. I appreciate that. It really is. Like, that's really the word to use to describe it. But I try to say, don't... Um, I'm not going to cry. I, I, well, I will probably cry tomorrow. I'm, not, I'm, I'm probably going to get a little emotional tomorrow night. But I'm not going to cry because it's over. I'm going to be crying in, in a very a very happy sense because really tears of joy that it happened and that I was able to experience. I had the privilege of experiencing something like this. Really, really, man, I don't even know. I don't even know how I'm going to describe it tomorrow. I don't know. I thought of actually, let me tell you, I thought of tomorrow night. For making, I thought of making like essentially a written up script of how, how many times do I have to tell you that that room is absolutely off limits. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I actually like, I I thought of creating a, a list essentially or of or or like sort of of an essay or a final speech of what I wanted to say to thank you for all your time and stuff like that. And I feel like certainly I could have done something like that along those lines, and it would have been nice and heartfelt. But I almost think what I want to do is I want to do it off the cuff. Because off the cuff will really be nothing prepared, just in the moment, raw emotion, and that's really what's going to happen. We got Hero Brine Slayer jumping on in. What's good? Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. That's what's good. You look fondly back on the Sacred Stones last play with me, PK, and PTM as one of my favorite LPs I've ever done. That was, I mean, that was amazing. That was sacred. That was such a fun time on Sacred Stones for Crystal Star Studio. We had a blast. Even though PTM let Archer die. And he'll be joining us a little bit later today. No, I would write it. Stop that. I would write it. It wouldn't take long. I would write it. Uh, but I, I really want to do it off the cuff, too. I really do. Take it. I cheated by using stat boosters for the ruins, though. The ruins, I mean, the ruins are legit. They're they're really hard. So, like, I didn't want to go through all that trouble and, and you know, fail at the end. And also, I wanted to showcase the fact that look at what you can do with all this investment that you can put into your uh, units. You can just make them absolute tanks. All right, here we go. Dry bones. Oh, that's true, too. I got to stand in front of the door. So they awkwardly pushed me to the side. What do we got? Don't use your jump. Easy. No, we cannot use our jump like this. <laughs> First couple matches, just absolute cake. Now that you're going to stream, we're going to do the draft. Oh, man. That draft was so fun. So, uh, Karth, uh, Karth and I did a draft of, and one other friend, mutual friend of ours, did a draft of Sacred Stones. Actually, you would know him. It was Josh from one of the Mario Baseball episodes. He was he was featured in, in Mario Baseball. Uh, the three of us did a draft of the units from Sacred Stones, and we competed to see who could actually beat the game in, like, the fewest amount of turns with the units we picked. It didn't really get very far. I think we played. Oh, boy. Keep quiet. My foot. We played like, yeah, it's about to three chapters. It was pretty fun to do that, though. And actually, it forced you to only use specific units. And it had to think of like, okay, which units do I not want on my team? And which units do I want? Like, it made you really reevaluate everything. It was, it was cool. Ouch. Sometimes that stuff happens. All right, I got to go awkwardly stand in front of the door this time. We got Spike Storm. Avoid using special moves. That's easy. All right, stand in front of the door. Awkwardly. Awkwardly stand here. <laughs> Get pushed out of the way. Okay, let's go. The first couple matches in the Glitz Pit are pretty rudimentary. But I like the fact that through all of them, you get the little commentary from the background. You get other little go things going on. And it makes you realize that maybe, just maybe, there's a little bit more that's going on than you might think. Okay, here we go. Get yourselves ready to battle.
So by no special moves, I take that as none of this. But I'm also going to... Like, I, I take that as just don't use any of those types of moves. So I'm going to actually use... Because I used to think that was like, oh, what about your FP moves? Does that count as special moves? But I don't think it does. I think it's literally the category labeled special. As far as what special moves mean. Yeah, badge moves are okay. As far as I know. A light just fell. Uh, why? Why? Of course they ran away, because they're all stupid. Are we going to get dizzy dialed? Yep, we are. Ugh. That sucks. Ah. Uh, oh no. How am I? Uh, I I can't do. I actually don't think I can do anything. I actually don't think I can do anything. If that's the case, I don't think I can do anything. I think I have to appeal because I don't have any spike shield right now. Whatever. Hey, Ziploc with the host. Can I do anything? Can I do... I'm trying to think. Is there anything I can actually do? Uh, ugh. I don't think I can do... I don't think I can body slam. I don't think I can... I don't think there's anything. I guess I can do Gale Force or whatever. Gale Breath. Heal. We'll just say hi. Say hey! Ow. Okay, now I can crush them. Now I can crush them. I was like, I don't think I can. I don't think I can do anything. Now I can though. There we go. And we're gonna get double star points. If there were ever a time to get double star points, gotta double that one star point to two star points. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Ziploc, thanks for the host and thanks for stopping on by. Overslept? No worries. No worries. We're here all day. We are here all day. Playing through Pig Mario Thousand Year Door. Starting with Chapter 3, going all the way through Chapter 6. That's the goal of today. We're up to rank 15. Up to rank 15. And we get more dialogue in between. Hey man, check this out. Heard the hot dog stands outside getting a new menu item. Some hot, some fool was saying the hot dog will help you win fights. You better, you should better snack on one. So, I need to go get a hot dog. I don't think I get it. Do I have to go get one now? I don't remember. If I go out, I think you see all of the uh, other stuff. Like, I think you go, you see, like, all the crowd in front of Rock Hop. Yeah, that's the point. So you go out, and it's like, oh, wow, look at this. And it's like, yep, there he is. And you talk to him, he's like, ah, everyone wants a piece of rock. It's tough. Those screaming fans. Yeah, you can wait, but it affects the color of the egg. Bad, bad, very bad. Go behave yourself, egg. No, bad. Come back here, help. Somebody in the egg escaped. Hey, hey, get out of the way. All right, I got to catch it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. No, 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 no. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop running. Oh my god, this guy being in the way actually is somewhat inconvenient. Did I not hit it? How do I- Get out of the way! There we go. Okay, I have to get that one. Let's go get the egg. <laughs> I just fell asleep on top of the hot dog stand. So we can go get that. I know, I know. I know the list of colors, how long it takes to get the certain one. We're just going for, I think the fastest is just classic green. That's what we're going for. Uh, oh man, I did not make that at all. <laughs> we're gonna try that one again. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Get up there. Try it again. One more flight. Oh, no. Trying to get right on the edge there. Uh, 
Oh, right, we made it. Hmm, just to help. You sure should help you, little darling, little egg. I think we should help the little guy. <laughs> I like the option of let there be hot dogs. Ah, uh, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps around. Uh, yes, I would like to accompany me. Yeah, I can follow us. All right, got the egg. Hammer underneath it. I love the thing here too. I'm pretty sure there's a thing here, is there? Or maybe not. I thought there was a hidden star piece there. Oh well. Use your hammer under the shine block. Is that really it? Oh. Oh, what the heck? I thought I had to come back with the, uh, the, uh, what are they called? The Ultra Boots. But no, I guess I can just get that. Okay. It is funny to hammer away all of Rockhawks fans, but we missed out on doing that. All right, anyway, let's keep moving. I thought you needed Spring Jump. Guess not. I'll take it if I don't need it. All right, so we got the little egg. Head back. Actually, this is it, right? Minor League. rest and let's fight again let's fight again oh man goodness okay everybody's all healed up everybody's ready to go definitely going to switch to oops i wonder if you can do the flavio glitch with yoshi egg tour you have the party of four following you i don't know the answer to that uh i know i'm not going to be doing the flavio glitch even though it's pretty easy to be able to do but it just like, it skips a big portion of Chapter 5, and I would, I would like to show off the game properly. Uh, I'll explain how to do it when we get closer, but it is pretty cool. Try to get Blue Egg, because it's closest to Shadow Mario. We're just going with whatever color comes out. You know, we're just going to make it a surprise. That's, I think that's the best part. We're not going to try to be like, let's pick a specific one. We're just going to say, hey, what's going to happen? All right, we got the handed overs. We can do this. All right, here we go. That would be nice, though, to get the dark blue. I've gotten the green, I've gotten red, and I've gotten light blue before. Don't use my jump. That's literally no problem at all, because I am just going to destroy them. Ha! Take that. There we go. That's why powering up coops is so good for this. And by the way, getting Zap Tap early on in the game, it helps out so much. And you only have to get to floor 30 of the Pit of Under Trials to get it. It's really not that big of a commitment. And I think after Chapter 2, it's well worth going down there to get it. Maybe even before Chapter 2. Uh, but it's it's definitely well worth the time. Nice. Your favorite's the black one. Yeah, I've gotten the green, I've gotten red, and I've gotten light blue before. But we'll see. I am not actually tattling on all the characters. That was not something I planned to do. I'll tattle, like, you know, along the way in appropriate times. I'm just going to play it how I would normally play it. But the thing is, a lot of these enemies, you don't fight outside of the Glitz Pit again. So I don't see really any point in tattling them. Eventually, probably right after this chapter, I'm going to go trade some star pieces for the Peekaboo badge. And then you'll just get to see HP bars anyway. So I probably won't even need to ch tattle after that. Uh, but yeah, like if I were playing this game casually, taking my time, I may try to tattle on everything, but it's not a big deal. We have to appeal these ones. That's easy. Easy, easy. Okay. Let's go. So yeah, you might be like, well, what's so great about this chapter? It seems like you're just going in and wiping the floor with all the enemies that you face. And to some extent, I suppose that is true. But you'll see later on that the, the plot will thicken. Well, we start to make a name for ourselves, that is. Right now, right now, we're a nobody. We're a nobody right now. All right, we'll have Coop's appeal. There we go. There's our appeal. Ow. Okay. That's the beginning of Kingdom Hearts. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, uh, God. Game of Hearts. What a game. What a game that is. Alright. Uh, I think I just have to... I can't jump on it. I can't jump on him. 
So I just, I think I just gotta wait that one out. It's gonna, it's gonna do this. Oh, wow, that sucked. That's why I'm actually really excited to get uh, the Yoshi Kid partner. Because I feel like, in, to a certain extent, I think the Yoshi Kid really does kind of take over as like the best partner up to this point in the game, once you get him. Right now, it's Koops for sure, because Flur Flurry's pretty bad. Uh, but I think after you get Yoshi Kid, it's definitely Yoshi Kid. Up until Bobbery. Because then Bobbery, oh man. And Vivian too. Actually, I won't want to discount Vivian. But Vivian's really good as well. So though you got three really good partners right in the middle. It's awesome. So, Casanova, thanks for the host, my friend. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. You know what I still haven't played? I still have not played Kingdom Hearts 3 on the subject of Kingdom Hearts. I wonder, is, is it good? Tell me. And actually, while we're on the subject, I'd love it if you could share with me some of your favorite games from 2019. I didn't actually end up playing that many games that came out in the year 2019. Um, so if you could give me a little bit of uh, insight on what's good and what's not. I'd love to hear your suggestions. The big one I've been playing is Wargroove because, as you know, I've been playing. Uh, I've been creating a custom campaign. It's going to be a full 20 map campaign starring all the members of the Discord server. It really is a 15 hour gaming experience, so I do hope that you'll enjoy that when it comes your way on December 9th. That is a Monday night. Mega Freak 400 will be streaming it, and then it will be available for everyone else to download. So we're going to uh, appeal. And you can get it on any platform PS4, Xbox, Switch, or PC. See, you know what's awesome? I gotta say, you know what's awesome? Is Fire Emblem Three Houses being good. Like, I was really pessimistic about that game. And I'm happy to admit when I'm wrong. And I am happy that I was wrong for that one. Because I really thought Fire Emblem Three Houses had not much of a chance at all. Uh, and it's really, gr like, it just, the marketing for it would just made it seem so bad. And it made it seem like Fire Emblem Fates 2. That's what it felt like and it seemed like. But I'm happy that it's not it's not the same. It's, in fact, very different and supposedly very, very good. So, I'm happy to hear that. You know what? They want me to appeal to the crowds once. I'm going to appeal to the crowds twice. This doesn't matter at all. See all that zap tap? It's a big deal. Right, anyway, none of that matters because we're just going to flip them over. So I was really happy to hear that. Ow. Uh, what else we got? I'm looking through the chat right now. Play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. You hated 2, so you stopped. Jordan D, that is a hot take, my friend. I would highly recommend to pick it back up again. I think Kingdom Hearts 2 is significantly better than the first Kingdom Hearts. Like, significantly. Uh, yeah, Vivian with the burn status is very, very good. That is true. That is true. Favorite games of 2019 were Three Houses. Uh, Sekiro. Shadows Die Twice. Is it Sekiro or Sekiro? I actually don't know. But I really, really want to play that game. I still have to get through Dark Souls 3. I still have it. Uh, and I haven't played it. It's in my Steam library. <laughs> Sorry, I have to sneeze. I have to sneeze one more time. Uh, nope. It went away. Uh, I still haven't played it. And I really want to. So, that, that game is definitely on my radar. Don't worry. What else? Devil May Cry 5. Devil May Cry 5, not really my kind of game. Same thing with, like, Bayonetta and, like, Metal Gear Rising. None of that is really my my type of type of game. I'm not saying that those are bad games. In fact, I think they're really cool and really great games. But not really my style. But I'm sure it was great. And Judgment, I have not played that either. Fire Emblem Three Houses. A lot of people saying Three Houses, which is cool. Mario Maker 2, I did not get into because I was so entrenched in making the Wargroove custom campaign that I was like, I don't know if I could take another campaign custom editor style game anymore, even though I'm sure it's objectively better than the Wii U. I'm curious though, for anyone who owns Mario Maker 2, how is it with the Switch versus the Wii U touchpad? Because I feel like something like Mario Maker was made specifically for the gamepad. And that's a very weird statement because many things were not made for that at all. But I feel like that one was specifically. Okay, no items, that's easy. So I'm curious as how that was. I know it came with a stylus, I'm pretty sure. You could get like a special stylus for it. I don't know. It seemed like just the Switch screen is so tiny. Like it's not, I mean the Switch is awesome. I'm not trying to knock it. But like 
I feel like the Mario Maker was made for the Wii U. You know. Uh, what else we got? You don't think you're going to watch Mega play the campaign, says Rockhawk, so you can play it fresh? That's fair, Rockhawk. You're in it. After all, you are in it. As is most of the people here are in it. In fact, maybe all of the of the uh, viewers here right now are in it in some capacity. Some people full-fledged characters. Some people just making little cameos right here. Oh, yeah, I like how new characters come on board. Sir Smoop. When you're ready to fight, use the computer terminal. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like seeing the little echo of like, oh, every fighter gets the same sort of treatment. It's starting to seem a little less glamorous, the Glitz Pit is. No, oh, pretty cool. Uh, what else we got coming? We have... Do, 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 Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. I have not played Crash Team Racing really ever. Not even the original. And I hate to say that. It's a big gaping hole in my gaming library. One of the games I really, really want to get almost immediately after I'm done with the Wargroove campaign because then I'll actually be able to play a lot of the games on my backlog. But one of my right at the top of my list is the Spyro Trilogy because Spyro is another series of games that I have not played at all. And I've always been interested in playing them. So I really want to get the Spyro uh, Reignited Trilogy on PS4. So I'll definitely be getting that. Uh, let's see. Casanova says, really enjoyed Kingdom Hearts... Th or Cakeman says, really enjoyed Kingdom Hearts 3. It really needs you to have played all the games to understand the story. I don't even know if I can understand the story if I've even played 1, 2, or 10 games of Kingdom Hearts. I don't think... I don't know if there's any hope for it. But... It's so... Like, that's the thing about Kingdom Hearts. Why, why, oh why, is the story so convoluted? Why is it not just save Disney princesses fight Disney enemies, and that's it. Like, that's really all Kingdom Hearts should be. Instead, it's like this complicated, twisting, turning anime narrative about time travel and this and that and all these different things. Holy cow. Getting a little different intro for this one, if you noticed. Who are we? Great Gonzalez, how you feeling? I'm feeling uh, just perfect, thanks. All right, here we go. You probably tell this is where things start to get a little interesting. Are those spikes legal? So, I don't know. Kingdom Hearts is just so weird. Kingdom Hearts 2, though, is really excellent. Here we go. Guess the Armored Harriers. A little bit of a mini-boss. I love it. Because guess what? If I cannot use items, we win. We'll actually be in the Major League. Let's sell our stuff. Give up now. Oh, stink wads. You're about to learn the, about our skills the hard way. Guess what? If you try to fight, it doesn't go well. You try to fight. You try to hammer. Like, watch. I'm going to try power smash. Ready? The best hammer attack I can do. I'm going to try to do shell toss. Nothing. Ow, and they hurt. Yikes. So you can't do any... Oh, what's everybody throwing rocks? <laughs> Careful, they might turn into demons. That is a reference that no one in here will understand, but it's a D&D &D related reference. Uh, we are running away. There is nothing we can do against the armored harriers. Yes, yes. Scripted to lose. I know, it's unfortunate, but... It all adds to the intricacies of the story. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. That is true. Like, the Armored Harriers are literally invincible. Why are they not rank 1? Maybe they're just content with being that rank 10. I couldn't tell you. Maybe they just joined and were, like, working our way up. The little bouncy egg is in here. Where do you think it went? Let's see what we got. I'm curious as to what we got. Oh, we're going orange Yoshi today. We're going with the orange Yoshi and blue hair. How's that? Look at that cool color. That's sick. Check me out. Thanks to you. I hatched safe and sound. Thanks, man. That's awesome. What a great color Yoshi. I've never had the orange one. It's super cool. See, that's the, that's the thing of doing it spontaneously. You've got to do that, right? I'll swallow any opponent whole honest. Just leave it to me. Oh, my name? Let's see. It just came out of the egg, so I don't have a name yet. we got to make it cool, right? got to, of course name the Yoshi something cool. 
And I don't understand how, what I don't understand is how Jordan D1337 actually pretty much guessed the exact name that I was going to use for the Yoshi. I mean, how could you not, how could you not name him Uncle PK? Does that fit? It does. I feel like you have to, right? I feel like you have to name him Uncle PK. Like, come on. It's the pasta key. He's not going to show up. I mean, I texted him. I said, you got to come by. How can you not name him Uncle PK? Already an uncle when he's born. Uh, like, how do, you, how do you not choose that name? It, that's exactly who he is. Although PK is also every old character. So it's hard to say. <laughs> you can name him Duplis. That's actually really funny. I've never considered doing that. I feel like this is, I feel like this is the only choice. I feel like this is the only choice for name, really. Really. PK is everyone and everything. I, I feel like this is what we got to do. To make it all come full circle, we're going with Uncle PK. Uncle PK, huh? Not too bad, dude. Yeah, not too bad at all. All right, let's get out there. Let's do some damage. Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Uncle PK. <laughs> it's PK! I don't know where he is. I texted him. I said, dude, you got to come by. I'm checking my phone right now. Did I get a response? Nope, did not. So, nothing. Nothing. Nice. And yeah, this was his chapter he did, right? I'm pretty, much, pretty sure. Yes. Finally, we can actually move around a little faster, too, which is really, really handy. Am I excited for Thanksgiving? Absolutely, I am. Uh, Croto, my, Thanksgiving is my absolute favorite holiday. It's my favorite holiday because it's all about food. It's all about family and food and fun. That, that's what it is. It's not like, like Christmas is all well and good, and it also consumes all of December and January, by the way, Christmas does. Uh, but it's, it's like, I feel like sometimes it's about gifts and shopping when it really shouldn't be about that. It's really more about just family being together and having a good time. That's why I think Thanksgiving is literally about just eating and having fun. You know, that's what it is. And football. Food, family, and football. So, what do you get? You know, can't go wrong with that. Uh, I played before I started. Da, 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 da. Do I remember the Uncle PK song that Power of Mario did? Oh, I do. I remember. Okay, let's do it. So now we have our new partner. We got Uncle PK. The tables are going to turn, let me tell you. The Armored Harriers. Not going to stand a chance anymore. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... The Iron and Honest Twins, a fight to the finish with the Armored Harriers. Okay, here we go. Couldn't do anything to them last time, but this time, it's going to be different. So, yeah, let's do it. And all we have to do is do this. Because if nothing I can do can hurt them, they might as well just hurt each other. Yeah, that's why he's spiked here. That really hurt. Our bar and body's being used against us. That's right. That's right. They are. So, yeah, might as well peel. Nice. I don't think I need to actually do anything. I can use an item now. I might as well use this. Dr dry Troom. Uh, you can have a mushroom. No, you can have you have a Dry Troom. Here you go, Uncle PK. Have a mushroom about as old as you. Now let's just go ahead and uh, destroy these things. Perfect. Uh, Kroos says, I have a short break for Thanksgiving, then a week of classes, then one week of finals, then you're on vacation until late January. Yeah, that college vacation, let me tell you, is awesome. Live it up, man, while you can, because that is, I loved having those big month stretches off. Man, really, really great. And you work, but you work hard, like you earn it. That's the point. You deserve it, because you work really hard. So, that's really great. Am I going to power up my Yoshi? I certainly could, but that was awesome. We're finally in it. We made it to the major leagues. Here's your fight money. And Mr. Grubba wants you to see him in his office. Because we're making a name for ourselves around here. Poor Uncle PK. He's a little tired. You're going to go out for a bit, Lazy Kirby. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Uh, I want to go back to other... That would actually be really funny if you named him Duplis. I wonder if it would let you. I'm sure it would. That would be really funny. Uh, I don't think there's any other... 
favorite games that I don't want to make sure I miss. Oh, Luigi's Mansion 3. You know what's fun? The more I see of Luigi's Mansion 3, the more I am liking it. The more I see about that game, the more I'm like, wow, this game, like, looks good. It looks really good. So, I gotta say, I, I wasn't on the Luigi's Mansion 3 hype train. Like, and by that, I mean, not that I'm saying it would be a bad game. But I think it would have been, I don't know, like a good-ish game, not worth a $60 price tag kind of game. But the more I see of it, the more I'm like, wait a minute. Like, this game looks really good. Looks really good. So, just saying. I, I might be tempted to get Luigi Mansion 3. If I can get it, like, on sale or something. I don't, still don't know if I'll pay 60 bucks for it. But, you know. Hey, moving on up to the major leagues. Here we go. And, yes, as Casanova just did, if you type exclamation mark final stream. You should be able to see that Google form. If you go ahead and fill that out, uh, you can go ahead and get a little personal token of my appreciation and my gratitude for the past 10 years of support and content creation. I have not tried Pokemon Sword or Shield yet. That's another one where the more I see of it, the more I'm like kind of liking it. The roster choices, in my opinion, are definitely weird. I don't know if I would have picked all the same. Yeah, there's no, not many friends in here. All the same Pokemon as Game Freak did, but it is what it is. Stud the guy coming through. I love... I should definitely say that. The next time, let me tell you. Uh, I, I don't know how we can get it on camera, but the next time I walk into my classroom on Monday morning, I think I'm going to walk into first period and be like, Stud the guy coming through! <laughs> Just loud as I can. It'll be great. It'll be a great tone to set for the class. The OG Luigi's Mansion almost made you get rid of your GameCube oh. as a kid. That was my first uh, GameCube game, was Luigi's Mansion. It was really good. But definitely different. I remember getting, like, it was, I don't want to say difficult. It's not a difficult game. But I wasn't used to, like, puzzle-style games at the time where I had to actually think. I didn't just go from left to right or whatever. I had to think about what I was doing. So I remember that being actually pretty tough. Sorry, big yellow dude. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't playing in the ring right now. I see you under those lights. I'll tear you apart. The Dan with the plan for stopping on by. Thanks so much for checking it out. Can't get enough of the new Pokemon, he says. I mean, it does look excellent. I gotta say. I gotta say, it looks great. Pikmin 1 was the first GameCube game. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's a fake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If you want the Crystal Star, heed my instructions from X. Who the heck is X? Interesting. Things are starting to heat up a little bit. Yeah, the Major League Locker Room, not so much as Buddy Buddy as the Minor League Locker Room. Now everybody's serious. Now things are getting high level. Things are getting to be a little businessy. Legendary Prince Mush. I like that they mentioned that. So, let's do it. And by the way, I have to say, I, I have a feeling, I don't know because I can't really speak from experience. I have a feeling that this is kind of how professional sports works in the sense that like minor league players are going to all be like buddy buddy and having a good time and hanging out with each other and high fiving each other. And then when you get to the big leagues, get a little bit higher, get a little bit higher, it starts to become a little more businessy, I feel like. And I feel like that's how professional sports kind of plays out. Now, you can still have camaraderie on a team and whatnot, but it becomes more of a business than just a buddy buddy hangout scene. Ultimate weapons, poker faces. Yeah, I like the Ice World theme too when the Game Boy SP goes off. Yes, it was one of the theme songs from Mario 3. You will not get the next Pokemon game until updated release gets the next year. I know. Have we? Are, is it bad that we've gotten into that habit now of just expecting there to be like, oh, it's going to be Pokemon. What do you got? Sword, Pokemon Shield, Pokemon Javelin coming your way 2020. I don't know. What are we going to say? I got appeal to the crowd. And I think... Steal? That's three times. Pokemon, Pokemon gun. You just shoot. <laughs> just like completely takes over the rest. Yeah. That's why Quake Hammer is so good. Quake Hammer is so good. I have to put Piercing Blow on too. Do I have extra badge points that I'm not using? By the by. Hey, Jess. Blue guy joined the Florida Alliance. Thank you so much for doing that, my friend. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Nice. Nice. I should probably check. My badges. 
No, I'm all full. Next level up, though, I'm definitely going to equip some more badges. One of them I really want is Piercing Blow. It's very, very good. Um, as well as either Damage Dodge P or, I don't know, some other combination of moves. Probably Damage Dodge P, but because that's really good, too. All right, who do we got? The Tiny Spinies. I have to move at least one special move. Well, that's easy because we're literally going to just use <laughs> Earth Tremor and just destroy them. So that works for me. You won't get the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to play this again? Game now? Oof. Yeah, I know. It's so fun. It's so fun. And I'm glad you've experienced it, Chrono. Because uh, it really is a game that's that's well worth your time. And a lot of younger gamers may not know that, hey, this GameCube library even existed. And never mind that it existed. It has an arsenal of actually fantastic games. Which is really funny. This is my third playthrough of Thousand Year Door, in case you're actually wondering. The first one I did on my own, all the way through. Use a special move at least once, Well, I'll do that right now. Uh, the second one was for Crystal Star Studio, and the third one is now. I haven't played it since. Gotta get this just right. Get rid of these spike tops. Ah, well, that may still be good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, good. Yeah, the end of the game boss battles are hard. Like, even in this game, I don't think it's a cakewalk at all. Like, the end of the game, you've got a pretty big boss rush all at once. Right at the end. You have, I don't want to spoil it for those that haven't seen Paper Mario Thousand Year Door all the way to the end. But, it, it is, this is quite a boss rush going all the way to the end of the game. Oh, that new Metroid's going to be good, too. Little Ice World theme. Go to the watering hole outside the Glitz Pit. It's from that Mystery X dude. Watering hole? Huh. Okay. So it looks like we're... looks like we got a little bit more to do now. Now the plot's beginning to thicken. I got to tell you, too. Another thing that is fun to keep in mind with this type of game, with Thousand Year Door specifically... Remember, the most recent 2D Mario game that came out before Thousand Year Door in 2004 was Super Mario World in 2001. So a lot of like the 2D Bowser segments and a lot of the, the old references to those games are really like nostalgic and made people kind of clamber to be like, hey, why don't we have a 2D Mario game again? Even though the 3D ones, 64 and Sunshine, are fantastic, and Galaxy obviously continuing the tradition. But, like, why not? Why don't we have that? So, that kind of, I think, brought on New Super Mario Brothers on DS. And that's why one of those games was so... That's why that game was so well-received. I feel like if you look back at a game like New Super Mario Brothers, was it actually good? Kind of. Like, it's kind of just a mediocre platformer. But we did get the Super Hammer. But it was the first 2D Mario game since 1991. So, like, that's why it was, like, such a big deal when that game came out. It was like, we're going back to 2D. This is where we all started. Anyway, we can now use the Super Hammer technique. Thankfully, we don't have to rotate the control stick, like, Mario Party style, where you break your thumb. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm also excited for that. Oh, I don't want to try it again. Oh, my God. I keep doing this. I don't want to uh, do this again. I am also very excited for the new Metroid game, Metroid Prime 4. And Digi Pichu, by the way, stopping on by. No, I got it now. We're all good. And we can break these big blocks now. And Toadette was a newish character at the time, too. We brought that up yesterday. Toadette actually being, like, kind of a novel character at this point. In the Mario series. The Hamowack. What is it called? The Hamowack 2005. It's pretty cool. Aha, uh -huh, what do we got? <clears throat> Smash the blockade of the minor league locker room. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, there's a, there's a star piece in there. Get back, get back. Are we having guests today? Yes, we absolutely are. One thing that you can do in the chat is you can go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream. That will take you to a Google form that you could fill out to get just a little bit of a token of my appreciation when the stream is all said and done. As far as our guests today, uh, we are going to be having X and Shadow, our, or Ted from Brady's Crash Comps, join us in just a little bit, about 45 minutes from now, approximately, you know, depending on when he gets here. No rush. But that's exciting. 
We are also going to have Slim Kirby joining us a little bit after that. Followed by K-Man coming on back from the brink. And lastly, Power to Mario tonight. So we got quite a few guests lined up for this evening. It's exciting. But yeah, we have to go back to the minor league locker room, which is this one, I think. It's going to be like, Gonzalez, I got word that you want to move back down to the minor league. I can't understand why, but hey, whatever. We have clearance for that. You remember your first playthrough of Metroid Prime when you were young, maybe 10 years old? You got scared when you started facing the face, face pirates? That was like, that was intense. That was awesome. What a great sequence that was. When you find them in Fran Frandrana Drifts. So fun. So fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hidden things. What could that be? A dubious paper. Lots of important stuff written on it. Huh. That's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures. Huh, who leaves something like that lying around? It reeks of funny business. You again, Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? Uh, uh, oh yeah, I also like the fact that the armored harriers are now down in the minor league locker room, which is really funny because you knocked them off. It's great. Is Gaia coming? I haven't confirmed, uh, but hopefully. Ceiling, by the way, coming on by. Ceiling, it's so great to see you. I haven't heard from you in a long time. Hope things are still going well on your end, my friend. Uh, Mr. Foggy Knights, Mega Freak 400 came by yesterday. He did say that he was available to come back again. So we may see him again. We may not. Uh, I hope he'll be by later tonight. And if he is, I'll probably invite him to join in. But we'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell. I, I Yeah, go Doan, that's not fun. When you drink and you go ahead and... Uh, you spit, spit all over yourself. Not fun. You sneeze. Anyway, Mr. Foggy Knights and Seal, thanks so much for stopping on by. You want to do Pokemon Rays, but keep giving you Super Ferrothorn. Isn't Ferrothorn like the meta? Isn't, isn't, is, am I wrong in saying that now? That Ferrothorn's like the meta character? Right, the fuzz. Here we go. Five turns or less. Should be easy. We've been doing all the battles in pretty much one turn. You don't care about the meta? It's ugly. Yeah, I don't know anything about the Gen 8 meta at all. I like to think I'm fairly well-versed in the Pokemon meta, Gens 1 through 7, but Gen 8, I really have no idea. Not that I'm an avid Pokemon player. I, I just, I don't know. You do a little bit of research here and there when you're a little bored, I suppose. Toxapex? Really? I mean, Toxapex looks pretty good. Here we go. I don't know. I can't really say. Five turns or less. I, I mean, this will probably take three turns. Uh, because I think I'm just going to do this. Uh, uh. There, we there we go. Oh, increased defense. Not that I need it at all. I mean, at all. Yeah, I hope that would be pretty cool. And fairies, yeah, fairies, big thing. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! I forgot how terrible the fuzzies are when I have zap tap. Amazing, amazing. Thank you, amazing. It did help big time, by the way, to actually go down the Pit of Hundred Trials to floor 50 uh, last night because we like, we got a, quite a few levels, and I think it really helped us get through this quickly. Uh-oh. Oh, look who's back. Oh, it's the Armored Harriers. Made us look like suckers the other day. Now you're going to pay for it. Surprise mini boss. Not that it's any different from before. Just do the same thing, but still. I love how they come back, though. Like, like, is that not what would happen in real pro wrestling? Is that not the storyline that you would see? And does it, like, I don't know. It's just so, it's so cool. I also love a nice touch that Zap Tap does not affect them. I think that's cool. Uh, we do nothing. Same story. There we go. 
They are actually pretty awful. They, <laughs> they are pretty terrible now that you have Yoshi. Ugh, after all that, we lost. We reek. Hooey! That's our great Gonzalez, friends and neighbors. Kid don't even blink when the Iron Adonis twins barge in an attack. Tough. He's too dang tough. This kid's only bound for bigger things, folks. Still next time, we'll see you later. I, I love the... I, like, this reminds me of just like... Oh my god, a fantastic tournament. Like, think of the announcer from Dragon Ball or like from Legend of Korra. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Yeah, I guess that is true. They almost all are. Oh, another email. Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are dead meat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Heating up a little bit. That's why it's so cool. Like, when I didn't know the result of what was going to happen, I really, it really got my mind turning when I was a kid. Like, I was, like, really into this. And I was like, man, like, what is going on? So cool. But we can just keep reserving matches in the meantime. The Shell Shockers. No hammer. Okay, that's good. That's fine. No hammer just means I can jump on them, which is fine. No jump would have been pretty tough for this one, but I'm fine with no hammer. That's easy. That's easy peasy. All right. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Execution of the Great Gonzalez and the Turtles of Hurdle. Shell Shockers. I hate these enemies so much. We found them in the pit yesterday. I know what they're all about. When you flip them on their back, they, they attack, and it, it really sucks because they do, like, this crazy damaging move. So, oh, my God. That was sad. How sad was that? How sad was that just now? So you don't want that to happen. Now, can I hit an action command? There we go. <laughs> super guard. Got to bring back the super guard. Uh... I think this will work. Because I, I think the first one flips. And then they... Yes, okay. Then it does damage. Nice. Have I seen the Netflix show The Dragon Prince? It has some of the writers from The Last Airbender on it. And the voice actor of Sokka. It's a fairly good show. I have not. Though that definitely sounds some, like something that appeals to me. Talk about Avatar being such a great show. Such a great show. Another great show. I'm not really a big anime guy, I gotta tell you. Anime's just not generally my thing. I tried watching Naruto, and it just got it got to the point where it was just like so convoluted and complicated, and it was like, these ninjas are turning into super ninjas, and they're turning into hyper ninjas, and but they don't battle the ultra ninja, this and that, and I'm like, geez, it's getting crazy. Anyway, we got some cake. Looks awesome. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna pass. We're gonna pass. We're gonna pass on the cake. Yeah, it's DBZ but ninjas. And I was like, what happened to becoming Hokage of the village? Uh then you have Avatar. Avatar is such a good show. Uh but yeah, as, as far as anime goes, then like something like One Piece, I guess I never gave a fair share. I know a lot of people a fair shake. I know a lot of people like it. Oh, should I do cake percent? Cake percent? I don't know. No, I'm not doing a cake. We're not eating the cake. The cake just makes you sick. Craw Daddy. Okay, let's do it. But yeah, I, I don't know. Like, it, just a long, long, long series like that. I'm sure it's going to be crazy. But anyway. All right, match time. Let's do it. We avoided the cake. We avoided the temptation. Yeah, even though last time we did do... We did smell my feet percent and no cricket percent on Hooktail. That was pretty cool. But anyway, we got Craw Daddy. Let's do it. So this One Piece, there's, uh, what other show have I not really given a try? Um, any show like Bleach, Death Note, I haven't tried really any of those. So I can't really speak to them. Like, just looking at them, they don't really appeal to me. I got a mystery. Thank you. That really appeals to me. What was the condition? I didn't see the condition. I did not read Bebop either. Was it Don't Attack for the first three turns? Is that what it was? Because I, I totally did not see what it was. I just skipped through it. I skipped through it. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm gonna not attack the first three turns. I'm pretty sure that's what the condition was. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna yeah. That's what's coming to my mind. Ow. 
Come on, Uncle PK, eat up. But animes that I did like, I should say, I loved uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. What a great, great, great show. Amazing, amazing. Uh, I also loved... That was three turns, right? Yeah. Uh, I also absolutely loved... Um, I love Beast of Dragon Ball. I really liked One Punch Man a lot. I thought that was a really fun show. As well as... Uh, what's the last one? Attack on Titan. I only watched season one of Attack on Titan. But it was very good. So those were shows that I really liked. Ow. This guy hurts. Oh boy, this is going to hurt. I did not actually watch the Netflix Castlevania yet. And I really want to. I really want to. Because I've heard it's excellent. But I have not done that. Still going. This guy's still alive. We are super close to a level. Super close. Next battle, we level up. How'd that floor taste? Mario! Uh-oh. Oh, look who it is! Coming on in! I love this. Whoa! Another fighter storm is screaming his head off about something. Where on the street is that mustachio doofus was in Glitzville, and looky here! Talking about perfect timing. Let's do it. I love it. I love this. That this happens. It's such a fun surprise. I'm going to destroy you, and I have witnesses! Such a fun surprise. Nice. Really? Really? During the climactic fight with Bowser, I get hit in the head with a bucket? I mean, we're not doing too great on health, to be honest. That's okay. We can do it. Yep, Uncle PK. Just eating Bowser. It's all good. Oof. I expect nothing less from you, Mario. Ow. Poison. Ouch. We do have to use a little bit of healing, I guess. Gotta do a little bit of healing. I don't know where the poison mushrooms are. Oh, there they are. Oh! No, look at all the health! There we go. That wasn't terrible. We got a lot of FP back, which I like. And we cure that poison, too. We're going to eat Bowser again. Aha. Just keep power smashing. That's all you got to do. I know. Cool. <laughs> cool. Thanks. I know. Talk about Sticker Star totally dropping the ball. Like, Sticker Star went from... The Paper Mario series having fantastic, fun, interesting characters to all toads that are all boring. All right, good. That takes care of Bowser. Easy, simple, and clean. And a much needed level. Now we got good old BP. I'm going to do one more BP level up, I think, after this, too. No, no, no. We're not going tank build. Yesterday, I, I hit, in case you don't, you were not here yesterday, I hit HP by accident on one of my level ups. So Mario just had 25 HP and still 5 FP and, and 3 BP. I meant to do HP twice, but I accidentally did HP three times. So we were tank roll. We were fat rolling yesterday as Mario. We were going with tank build. King of Koopas, wasn't that guy's insane? Just, you didn't want that cake. I ate it. Best cake I ever had. Sprinkles frosting the works. You're an idiot. Oh, really? Oh, really? So, anyway, yeah, we were fat rolling. But, anyway, we, we're doing okay now. We're more a little more balanced, but it was funny. All right, what do we got? Craw Daddy again. I want you to let your enemy damage you five times. Okay. That must have been the condition. I did not do that. This is tough with this one, though. This guy hurts. This guy hurts. Yeah, Bowser's dialogue is really fantastic. 
Let my enemy damage me five times. Ouch. This is yeah, that sucks against this guy. That's a really tough condition. But we're gonna try it. We're most likely going to have to do some healing. No, actually, not even most likely. We're definitely going to have to do some healing. He does five damage a pop. Really? Oh, I guess everyone's electric. Uh, I guess everyone's electrified now. That was once. That was once? Like, I gotta wait all this out? Hold on. Let's do this. I wanna see how much health he has. I don't wanna kill him before I've taken five hits of damage. That's 20 health. That's two. Huh. Three. I really hate having to wait this out. This really stinks. Uh, let's do this. Gotta feel the crowd. Alright, I'm gonna do a little healing. I'm gonna do a little healing. Because we have to make the, we have to make this battle last the whole time. It was a poison mushroom right away. Both poison. Three poison mushrooms right away. There's only three poison mushrooms that fall during this. So we got them all right away. That means I just spam, 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 spam. Spam, spam, spam. Nice. Nice. I mean, I think BP is, like, definitely the strongest option. But it's definitely the least intuitive option, too. That was four times. It's, uh... Because, like, you would want, you would think, like, oh, more HP and more special attack and stuff like that. But, no. The B, the badges are so, so, so good. Oh, man. We get power attack, too. We get strong attack right here coming your way. Because a lot of the badges can actually just give you more HP and FP if you want them. But I've seen a lot of people do, actually, BP only runs of Paper Mario. And it's more than doable. More than doable. Good stuff. Nice. Had to switch to Gumbella for that one. Okay. Should be able to... Come on now. Should be able to move on. Alrighty. BP only runs are fun because Super Guard is such a fun mechanic that's worth using. It absolutely is. We were going crazy with the Super Guards yesterday. Because some enemies are much easier to do than other ones. But not attack for the first three turns. Yeah. We'll stick with the... Uh... Yeah, we'll stick with Goombella. I need the, the HP. Like, that's the biggest thing. So, we'll stick with Goombella for now. I think tattling on the Magic Koopas will probably be good too. But I think tattle counts as an attack. I'm actually not sure on that, but I'm pretty sure Tattle counts as an attack. You go 50% BP, 30 FP, and 20 HP. Interesting. I usually get my HP up and FP up to certain milestones, like 30, for example, and 25. But then I'll upgrade BP for a while. I think Tattle probably does count as an attack. So I have to not attack for the first three turns. And it would be nice, you know, it would be great if I could hit an action command. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. Ben. That's two. Can we hit an action command, please? Finally. One more. Ow! Ow! What the heck? 
I didn't know he had a Thunder Rage. Did you see that he had a Thunder Rage? Did anybody see he had a Thunder Rage? Since when did he have a Thunder Rage? How did that even happen? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, ugh, you. Um, ugh, I don't know what to do at all. Yeah, when did he have a Thunder Rage? I mean, I have a Thunder Rage I can just use, but I have Dizzy Dial too. I have Dizzy Dial, but I don't want to use Dizzy Dial. Uh, let's go with just attacking him, I guess. Uh, let's go. Oops. Yeah. Buff each other. Oh, jeez. Alright, things are getting a little dicey out here. I don't think I can... Oh, well, you know what I can do? I can do this. Can I do this plus a power shell? I think that would... Oh, if that'll actually take them all out. I'm a little nervous. I get a little nervous. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try an Earth Tremor plus a Power Shell. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh boy. I am not gonna try that now. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, well, this is why we have him, I guess. Eat up, Mario. Yeah, if I fail the action command immediately. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ouch. Okay, let's try something else. Oh, honey syrup. Luigi! Thanks, bro. Uh, let's try this. Hey, I'll take it. You know, we take those around here. We take those around here. I'll take a frozen enemy any day of the week. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The game finally was like, hey, how about that? I right, beat them all up. Whew. That was almost very scary, but we made it. We made it. That, that definitely got my heart pumping a little bit. Though. I was like, oh, boy. Oh, boy. A little bit... <laughs> A little bit of max fi match fi fixing there, for sure. That was lucky. That was really lucky. Happy with that. I'll take it. Oh, man. That was close. Uh-oh. Go to the telephone booth out in the pavilion. All right. Let's give it a shot. I have only three health. Heal up. That was, that was nice. That was nice. Lucky moment. Lucky moment for me. I think that makes up for the Goomba miss before. And yeah, that's the thing, Goldo and Girl. You may notice uh, when you go for that bingo thing for the action commands. Uh-oh. Gonzalez, good timing, you pudgy little punk. Uncle PK's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're going to enter a world of hurt. Okay, whatever. Uh, in any case, what was I going to say? Uh... What was I on about? Oh, you may notice for the little bingo thing, if I actually have two poison shrooms in a row, I will m sometimes intentionally miss the action command, unless I really need to hit it, to avoid the three poison shrooms. So it's pretty funny. I like that, though. It adds like a little extra layer to it, I think. It's fun. When you get three poison shrooms, you get you, you get in a world of hurt, let me tell you. Hey, Grim Angel. Good to see you. Thanks so much for stopping by. And yes, it is the glitz bit, indeed. Phone booth. Where's the phone booth? Phone booth, phone booth, phone booth. As if as if people use phone booths anymore. Right here. Aha! Interesting. Interesting. Go to the storage room near Grub next to Grubba's office. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, you can say what happens. You can say what happens if you get three poison shrooms. It's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. Cranky Super Tune, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate that. I know, who would use portable, who would use phones when you have portable email devices that are shaped like Game Boys? Seriously, 
How cool is that? How cool is that? Anyway. We gotta go next to Grubba's office. We should save. We gotta save now a little bit. And we're going right over here. Just don't pay me any mind. I'm just gonna... So you're telling me you have no idea who got inside. What do we pay you for? I'm awfully sorry. I heard a noise in there, but I didn't find nothing. Ah, whatever. Yeah, use half your HP coins and FP. It sucks. But it is what it is. It's fun. This is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Stay out of places where you have no business being. Yeah, about that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let myself inside, actually. Just gotta let myself inside. The Dan with the Plan 4 says, Gonna miss your stream, wishing you the best in the rest of your life. I appreciate that. Oh, look who's in here. Look who made it. <laughs> oh, please. No one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. And we did see her at the beginning of the chapter, too, which is funny. You are a thief. Hush. I need to know that I've taken what I've needed. I'll be on my way. Whatever else, you can help yourself. Oh, Miss Mouse. That's right, if you have the double pain badge on, you actually die. Which is funny. Find the staircase switch to reach the attic. How the heck could that person know there's a staircase switch in here? Hmm, I wonder where it could be. I wonder. I wonder. Huh. Staircase switch, huh? Where actually is it? Wait a minute. Isn't there some sort of invisible thingamajig somewhere? Oh wait, is there a panel? There it is. Oh, well, not, not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Do I go around the crates? I forget what I do. I forget. Oh, I use flurry. That's right. That's right. That's right. When in doubt, you just do this. Forgetting the game's mechanics. When in doubt, you just take out the secret finder flurry. Just go ahead and do that. Nice. Okay, very good. Let's get Uncle PK back out here. Going up into areas we don't belong. That's this, oh, I gotta go on the boxes. You gotta use all your abilities to get this. Oh, badge. HP plus P. Looks like we get an air duct. Oh, we can spy on a little conversation happening down here. So you didn't find or hide a, uh, hide or hair nobody in the storage room. Is that what you're saying? Appear to be secure. Don't worry about it. We're taking the necessary precautions. Most likely a rat or something. Well, no big deal either way. Nothing much in there. We'd miss too much anyway. We still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. He's deleted his spot on our roster. Oh, no. Oh, no. Spider's been going up missing a lot lately. Yikes. It's out of the little fishy business here. Doing a fine manager. You just plumb disappear sometimes. Gotta know where in the world are you going, darling. Uh, that's Mr. Grubb. I know you're my boss, but I don't believe it's any of your business. Easy. Uh, I didn't mean to pry now. Uh, just Crystal Star. Yoshi is essentially paracarry, yeah. Well, that's why Yoshi is so good. Because not only is Yoshi paracarry, Yoshi actually just makes you move faster. And being able to move faster is never a bad thing. We don't have to slog through the overworld anymore. It's not cool. <laughs> Thanks, hey, stealing spooking me. Uh, meow. <laughs> Just a little old kitty. Here I am thinking someone's up to there peeping. Gotta relax. Take some yoga class or something. Yep, back to the ring. I love that. <laughs> meow! Uh, meow! <laughs> uh. Alright, back 
to the match. This was our match. Hamabama and Flare. What is it? Wait, I skipped it. Let the enemy damage. Oh my god, what is with this let the enemy damage me five times thing? That's a tough one. That is a tough one when you start getting higher and higher in the combats. Like, these characters are, these enemies are starting to get really good, and I really don't appreciate having to t take damage five times. Five times? Like, that's fine when you have, like, the Goomba Bros, but now we're at the Hammer, Hammer Bama and Flare. That's tough. All right, all right, let's do it. I do love this reference, though. You have to remember, another thing you have to remember, Boomerang Bros are not blue in this one because they weren't seen since Super Mario Bros. 3. Same thing with Fire Bros. This was the first time you saw Boomerang Bros and Fire Bros since Super Mario Bros. 3. So, like, to see these enemies come back, it was like, wow, that's really cool. All right, let's, uh... Yeah, these guys hurt. Ouch. That was three. I think that was three times, which I guess is good, but. Take those independent hits. Okay, that that must have been five by now. That had to have been five. Right, Yoshi, we gotta swap. Cause Yoshi, the only thing about Yoshi is Yoshi has like no health at all. There we go. There we go. Oh, I have to hit. I have to take damage. You're telling me I have to take damage that many times? Not the partner. That doesn't count. All right. Well, then we'll at least take damage two more times, I guess. I won't dodge this. Okay, that should be fine now, right? I would think. I would think that's a lot of times that I've taken damage. I do it one more just to be sure, I guess. I'll do one more just to be safe. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not get carried away here. Let's not get carried away. Hey, look at that. Double star points on a battle that actually gives me a significant number of star points. I'll take that any day. That's a nice lucky thing. That's a significant star point fight. I'll take that. Cool. That was nice. That was nice against Hamabama and Flare. Okay, what do we got? 14 coins. We rose to rank 3. If you excuse me, I must be going. Uh-oh. More emails. It's your last warning. Stop snooping around the crystal star. Yikes. Could it be? The world may never know. Gotta love a good mystery. Gotta love a good mystery. Right? Am I right or am I right? Let's go ahead and go to match. What are we now? Rank two? Yeah. Oh, we're at rank three. Chop country. Do not attack at all. Oh, partner. Great. Another gift. Another piece of cake. Interesting. We're gonna we're gonna not eat that one. Interesting. Not gonna eat the cake. We're gonna not eat the cake. We're not eating the cake. So I guess we're going partner showcase here. Nope, we're not eating it. Not eating it. Partner showcase. Chops. I don't know how they walk. They just kind of slide 
along the ground. Here we go. So Mario, guess what you're doing? You're just standing there. Appeal. Just wave at the audience. Stand there and wave. Ow. Stand there and wave. Look pretty. Smile for the camera. I don't know. How do they even get registered if they're just, like, essentially dogs of the Mario universe? Don't know. That's all you gotta do for that one. No cake is the bad ending, really. Good, good, good. Very good. Uh-oh. There's my fight money. Almost rank one. We're almost there. Up at the top of the glitz pit. Oh, yeah. Ugh, body went numb. Stupid cake. Hate cake. Never eat cake again. Nice. Nice. Guess who made the right call. It is a good thing Yoshi's actually really good. But Yoshi, I think, is, is the best party member once you get them all leveled up. Maybe Bobbery beats him out eventually, but it's good. Yeah, the first piece of cake is very good. It completely heals you. The second one poisons you. There it is. The Koopanator. No hammer. That should be fine. Uh, no. That's going to be really hard. No hammer? Really? Eh. That kind of sucks. I was going to Quake Hammer him. But if I can't use my hammer, we, can, we should be able to do it. We can do it, right? We can do it, right? Maybe? Kind of? Sort of? Somewhat? Hopefully? I guess we'll find out. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, a little nervous. No hammer really sucks, because I was really going to just flip him over, but when you can't do Quake Hammer, that makes it pretty tough. Well, I don't want to actually switch. Uh, yeah, I do. Like, no hammer. I mean, I guess I can do this. I guess I can do this. Random question. Hold on, let me let me do this first. Let me do this ridiculously long action command first. Yeah, all right, we got it. What do you got? Uh, random question. If you were designing a bug type gym leader, what color would their hair be? I would think light green. That's what bug type is. Ow. This stinks. This really stinks that I can't do anything. I could use an item. I could use a uh, mystery. Mystery? I can't hammer, so mystery? Mystery! Let's go! Mystery! Uh, uh, it could be anything. It could be anything at all. A dry shroom! Thank you, mystery. One hell. Ow. Uh, well, I can't use items again. So, I guess I don't really have anything to do. I have a bunch of honey syrups just sitting there. Nothing to really do. We gotta swap partners. Like, there is nothing to do at all. Because I don't have spike shield. I can't jump on him. And I can't use my hammer because I was told not to use the hammer. I don't want to use, like, random things like Dizzy Dial and whatnot. Heading to work now, but you'll watch the VODs uh, later and be here tomorrow's stream. Hope you have a great stream. Hey, right, see, you late. see you later, Jordan. Thanks so much for stopping by. So I think we just say hey to the crowd. We just wave. Can't use the hammer, so that's it. We're just going to slowly but surely chip them out. Okay, now we can do this again. This is tough. With no hammer, like Quake Hammer would have made this so easy. Thunder Rage is fine.
unfortunately, I have to play a whole game of Rhythm Heaven before I can uh, use this attack. Right, that's fine. Is he dead yet? Ow. I can't use it at all! David Alexander 64, welcome, but I can't use my hammer at all and I can't jump on him because he's spiked. So I just have to sit here and appeal and just have Koops chip him out one HP at a time. That's the only thing that I can do. And Zap Tap hopefully helped. Hey, he died in his own turn. I'll take that. I'll take that. Nice. Nice. Died on his own turn. Whew, that was tough. That was tough. Okay. 15 coins. We rose to rank one. Guess who's next? Guess who's next? Where is he? Did he leave the chat? Did he leave the chat? Rockhawk, it's almost your time. Move the great Gonzalez posters in the lobby. Let's give it a shot. Let's heal first. Okay, let's see what we got. That, that was unfortunately a pretty drawn out fight because I had to literally wait, but. Oh, well. Oh, by the way, did I actually um, equip badges when I leveled up? I don't. I have random BP going to waste. Definitely need piercing blow, and I will definitely take damage dodge P as well. Okay. I know, this is the best chapter. It really is. Piercing Blow is just so good. So useful. Look at all those Gonzalez posters. The more popular we get. I gotta use uh, Flurry. The more popular we get, the more posters of us seem to get up on the wall. Fewer posters of rock. Is that all the posters? Did I miss some? I have some up here. Oh yeah, some up here. One more. There we go. Go to the second floor of the storage room. All right, let's see what we can find up there. I know, that is true though. Like, look at this. I'm walking right here. It's celebrity. Get pumped, Uncle PK. Pulling you for all the way, Uncle PK. Yeah, Uncle PK. Nice. The great mustache. You gonna beat Rock Hawk? Nice. Oh, you only have to blow up the top one. Of course, it's the last one. But whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We don't worry about that. That is pretty cool. Like, think about that. Just walking around, it's like, uh, 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 it's like you get so starstruck. Going on up the stairs, up to the hidden part of the storage room. What do we have here? Am I close enough? Ah, oh, just too far. Uh oh. Whoa! You gotta be kidding me, Bandy Andy and King K. G Gonzalez, listen, er, do not get near the ring when no one's around. Uh-oh. Not Bandy Andy and King K. Oh, no. Man. Oh, look who it is. It was Jolene. What is going on? It's exciting. Getting right to the end of the glitz pit. It's down here. All right, looks like it's time. Looks like it's time for the title match. This is it. 
WWE fans, get ready, because it's about to go down. The title match. Here we go. Against the champ. At least at least one special move. That's fine. That's an easy one. Mr. Red Sox 93. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks so much for stopping by the stream. You came at a great time because it's time for quite possibly the best sequence of bosses in the game. It's time for the title match. Let's do it. Hold up, dude. Where are you take where are you heading that way into the arena? Yeah, you go this way this time because it's a special match. Sure you do. I've got a little fishies going on here. Hey, hold it, meathead. This doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of this. Where are we going? Uh-oh. You two wait here. This ain't the ring. It's a minor league locker room, and it's empty. That guy said to wait. We're missing our title bout. Uh-oh. Collusion going on. Now for today's main event, the top dog of the major league, the great Gonzalez, finally going to throw down with the champ, the one, the only, Rock Hawk. There he is, the feral nuclear reactor himself, the champ. Ooh, doggies. Champ, how you feeling, son? Challenge is a handful. I don't want a handful. You don't want a handful of this. Uh-uh. There's only one champ, and it's me. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's it. No one's coming for us. Let's go kick some tail. Uh-oh. Some punks locked us in. Don't like the looks of that. Uh, oh no. We're gonna miss our title bout. We're gonna miss the title bout. Nobody. Nothing. What happened to the great Gonzalez? I'll tell you what happened. He fears the rock. Well, it, what actually happened is I'm trapped in a minor league, abandoned minor league locker room. We gotta get out of here now. Nice. There's nothing else interesting in here, right? No. Little TV. I like the little TV room in there. It's so weird. And down we go. <laughs> Everyone's like, there's a little something down in the pipes, I think. I think I hear a little something in the pipes. I should I'd like to request that we never do that again. That's, that's very true. Hey, Punchy Games. Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? Well, it's happening right now. It's about time for our title bout. Let's go. Uh, this way. Let's make it happen. Oh yeah, one of the best battle songs incoming, for sure. Here we go. Title time. Here we are. The moment you've been waiting for, folks. The Great Gonzalez just entered the arena. X and Shadow is here for the Glitz Pit, by the way. It's like, let's go. Gonzalez, 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 Gonzalez. Thanks so much for stopping by, my friend. Oh, look at the time. I, I'm actually just looking at the clock right now. I was so invested in Chapter 3 of Fade Mario Thousand Year Door uh, that I didn't realize it's just about time to have X and Shadow on board. X, I will bring you on right after this fight because it's time to rock. I love this dance. Here we go, Rock Hawk time. 
Use special move at least once. That's easy peasy. I'm going to try to keep my commentary to a minimum because this music is awesome. Tried to make it a little hype, but hey, I used my special move at least once. That's all I needed to do. That's all I needed to do. It was used at least once. We're, we're fine. We're happy. Time to rock! I love it how flashy his moves are, too. It's so funny. Kinda annoying. How dare you turn your back on the hawk? All right, let's do it. Ow! Get him out of there. That's why you bring along Quake Hammer. Just begun to rock. Ow. That's it. No, I rock hog the champ, the undefeated master of lost to such losers. That's it. Yeah, a little easy for a final boss. I agree. 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 A little easy for a final boss, right? Ugh. Folks, I feel like my eyes just popped out of my head. We got ourselves a miracle. Technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. Clash of superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without question, no doubt, absolutely, the most legendary, amazing, improbable, history-making bout of all time. And the victor of this match for ages was the great Gonzalez. Congratulations, Gonzalez. You're the champion, son. Give my hand, folks. The Glitz Pit champ, the great Gonzalez. Love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Well, you finally did it, son. Today's your first day as the new champ. Hey, we got the champ spell. I mean, that's cool. We know the Crystal Star is a fake, but hey, it is what it is. Right? Still seems like uh, not too much has like been solved or remedied in this situation. It still seems like it's uh, a little tough, but we'll see what happens. But here we are. This is now our room, our space, the champs' room. Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your room now, so make yourself at home. That's right it is. That's right it is. Love it. We pulled it off. Can you even believe it? But you know, Rockhawk didn't really seem to know about the Crystal Star. We still haven't found the real one. That's true. That is true. Uh, it's just me or you hear a voice. Ah, maybe a little bit going on in the air duct. A little meeting, a conference room in the air duct, perhaps. It's actually probably a ghost. Oh, he just said, you scared me to death. Turn down that volume. That <coughs> I'm laughing because that's like when you turn on, when you open up Fire Emblem Heroes on your phone and it's like, Fire Emblem Heroes! It's like, Jesus, turn it down. It's so loud. It just yells out to everyone. 
anyway. We definitely have to take a rest after that. I like that my poster's up there too. Really, really cool stuff. Okay, let's see. Now we definitely have a little bit of exploring to do around here. Things looking a little fishy. I'll power up Yoshi, of course, when I get back to Rogue Park. Oh, missed, missed the jump. Hold on, get up there. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? I don't know. I heard, by the way, this is such a myth. Like, air ducts are not large enough to crawl through. Like, you see that in movies all the time? Like, going through the air duct. I don't think they're actually that big. I don't think you can actually fit in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's Grubba. He's behind all the missing fighters, as if it, you didn't know. Good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rock Hawk lost to Gonzalez. That's true. The new champ might have to disappear pretty soon for my sake. Well, guess what? The new champ isn't disappearing or going anywhere. The new champ is literally right here. I think he's gone. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Hello, can you hear me now? Oh my gosh, look who we have here. We got X and Shadow coming on in, joining the voice chat. There we go, sorry, so you can hear me now. I can hear you now, I wanna make sure everybody else can hear you now. I forgot to look in his drawers though. I just got so excited that you joined. This is uh, oh. Ted or X and Shadow, by the way, joining from Brain Scratch Comms. Uh, really great guy, really great friend throughout all the years. But hopefully you can hear him. Let me know how the volume is. Thanks so much for coming on, Ted. I appreciate you having. I appreciate you being here. Not a problem. I just had some Discord shenanigans going on, so it took a little bit to get it set up, and so that it will actually like work. And let me <laughs> so that it'll actually like work. No, it seems to be okay now. I can definitely hear you loud and clear. So. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, how has the run been going so far? Have any shenanigans occurred? It's been going pretty good. We've had a couple random sh bit of shenanigans, sure. Like a Goomba holding a pretty lucky badge that made me miss. Or, <laughs> <laughs> which was really funny. Or, uh, you know, a, a couple Life Shroom revivals from enemies. That was really funny. But for the most part, it's been pretty good, I have to say. Alright, that's awesome. I'm actually uh... just happy we got past Chapter 2. Because Chapter 2 is just like not great in this game all the others are fantastic and super fun but chapter two just not it's just not i'm sorry Chap i wouldn't i don't know if it's my least favorite chapter i um because like i feel like in like paper mario 64 i feel like everybody's least favorite chapter is chapter six like i feel like yeah. that's a universal opinion <laughs> Yep. But I don't know what most people think is, like, their least favorite chapter in Thousand Year Door. Um, I think 2 is probably... It probably uh, is. Up there. Yeah. Just because it but, feels like a budget Pikmin. Like, that's what it feels like. It's just not it buzz. But anyways. Yeah. That's pretty much what they were going... They even have, like, the little antenna things on their head. They knew what they were doing. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, but also, Flurry's in that chapter, and she's, like, easily the worst partner in the game right right far. can we agree yeah because like she doesn't she doesn't she well first off she's willing to like let all these guys die because her nicholas is missing like right. okay uh, like priorities there okay i know i know right but anyway, let's, I, let's hold off on the flurry is bad conversation for now because we have a great part of the game, which is Grubba, Macho Grubba boss fight. I'm very excited for this. Oh yeah, it's one of my favorite. And the bosses. music is so good. It's like threatening. Yeah, it's actually a scary, intimidating boss fight where you actually have to be careful. Yeah, um, 
this is... I think he can do a lot of damage after right. a certain point in the fight, because he buffs himself. Like, he'll right. up his defense and his... <clears throat> I think he might also be too big for Yoshi to eat, too. Yeah, I think so. What did you name him? What oh, did you name Uncle Yoshi? PK, of course. After the Pasta King. <laughs> Who we haven't seen in ages. But yeah, it is, uh... It, it get, can get a little scary if you let this fight drag on. It's in your best interest to try to finish it as quickly as possible for that reason. Because Grubba, like, will spend the first few turns, like, buffing himself and doing all these things. And then he re really brings on the pain. Yeah, because if he gets the plus three, all of his attacks are plus three. And he right. has, like, two or three multi-hit ones. So exactly. he can... And he, like, dot makes himself... Dot. Yeah, I forgot just how... Like, just how threatening he can actually make himself. So <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, but you, oh, you actually, you're using, you're using some stuff I don't ever use. Like, I don't think I've ever used Piercing Glow. Before. Oh, Piercing Glow, I think it's so good. But it, well, largely because it only costs one badge point. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. And later on, when you have to fight enemies with high defense, you just, that's the only thing you have to use. So, like, you don't have to waste, like, Quake Hammer. You can only do, you can just do a Piercing Glow, and it gets the job done. How many FP is it? Two. Two? Okay, so it's, like, the same. Yeah, it's, it's almost the same. But... Yeah, so, exactly. but if you're against a defense person, you'll probably, you might do more damage than if you did right. Power Smash or something. Okay. All right, some real moves, huh? I think we're doing pretty good so far, though. Yeah, oh, you... well... Now he's just got a lot, lot larger. Uh, so, fun fact, in the, I believe it's, uh, I forget what version of the game it is, but, um, I mean, he's off the screen right now, but um, one of the translations for Rock Hawk's name is actually Hawk Hogan. Ha, <laughs> that's pretty funny. ridiculous, and I loved it. I did not know that. I always pictured him as just being a hybrid of Hulk Hogan and The Rock. <laughs> yeah. Although I, oh, I, I never God. really watched, uh -oh. I never really watched a lot of wrestling, so I don't know if he's supposed to be, um, he's supposed to be like a specific person or just like a wrestler. I mean, I think he's just like an amalgamation of all pro wrestling tropes thrown into one character. Yeah, that's that that makes sense. Hey, look at that! We got a little bingo action coming your way. It didn't matter at all because it's all star power, which is already maxed, but whatever. That's not any. Literally putting Bell out here for HP sponge. Uh, do you have a uh, quick change on? Not yet. You can't get it no. at this point yet. Uh, no, I think you can't. I, I, oh, wait. So I've played this game a little bit too much. If okay, you get fair enough. Literally every single star piece available to you. Uh, like you have to find all of them. You can get quick change by the end of chapter one. Interesting. It's you have to find like literally everyone. I forget. I uh, yeah, like I think you even have to go for some for some that you wouldn't theoretically know are there yet. Like there's one hidden where who's its face? The um, the Twilight Town guy that you're not supposed to know exists until after. Oh, uh, Darkly or whatever his name is? Yeah, you can go into that alleyway whenever you want. And there's a star piece back Rock. there. So that's at least one. There's a couple of others that are maybe harder to find. But yeah. I just, I know that because I, it's literally the first badge I equip. Because playing this game, there's two things I can't do when I'm playing Paper Mario. And one is not have quick change on. And the other is not tattle every enemy. Because <laughs> I've done that ever since I was like, 10 years old, and not knowing what the HP of the enemies are irritates the crap out of me. That's so fair. I just, I just need to, to tattle all of them. Although, I remember the first time I played this, I wasn't used to all of the, new, all of the other characters. Like, all the moves having more action commands. So, like, I failed the first tattle I did on a Goomba, because I was expecting <laughs> it to just work, and I was like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> That's no, funny. That's not, that's not right. I know, that's so funny that they added an action command to the tattle in this game. Really funny. But. In any case, that might be just about it. Yeah, it is. 
It is. We're done. That was pretty good. I used a Super Shroom. Kind of wasted it in retrospect, but I'm glad I did. Just to be safe. That's what they're for. They're for using. Yeah, they, exactly. They're there. If you don't use them, then they they go to waste. I don't know if you have that habit, too, because I certainly do in RPGs of just hoarding items. And I'm like, oh, this will be useful later. This will be useful later. And then you get to the end of the game and you have all these things, like an abundance of things that you never use. And it's like I struggled all along the way in playing this game. And yet, you know, now I'm at the end and I have all the greatest healing items and I don't need them. Well, then at that point, you use them, and then suddenly the final boss is a complete joke. Because right. you never run out of MP. Exactly. You never, you're always at full health. Um, playing the... I think I had to drop that habit when I played Shin Megami Tensei 4 on the DS. Because Ooh. that game's hard enough to the point where you actually need to use every item they give you. Even the ones that normally are terrible in every other RPG you'll ever play. Like in Final Fantasy, you never use, like... The item that lets you cast like Thundaga once. Uh, like, no, that item sucks. You you <laughs> either sell it or it sits in your bag and you dot and you never use it. But gotcha. yeah, so I've been trying to break that habit because I just I find it really um I find it especially in Paper Mario, I I've stopped doing that because since you have so few inventory slots in Paper Mario, I want to actually use the item because otherwise it will literally just go to waste and disappear. Yeah. Um, like, because I think when I was a kid, like, I always had, like, four life rooms on me at all times. Right. And so whenever the enemies drop something cool, like a Thunder Rage or whatever, it'd be like, oh, I can't use that now because I don't want to get rid of all my life right. rooms. You gotta hang on <laughs> to my four life rooms. Have you, do you watch uh, Pro ZD, who does skits on YouTube? I do. I do, yeah, yeah, I know that name. Okay. Yeah, so he does one skit where it's just like, um, it's like they, they they're an RPG party and it's just like uh, I'm I'm out of MP and the other guys like well then use an ether but but you can't oh I see that ether. yes I see that <laughs> it's one. the final battle but I only have 82 of I, them. yes I see that it's very funny <laughs> yeah that's the, that's that's I think every RPG player in, in the history of every game I like, brought back okay. some memories I haven't seen that in a while yeah that's I love funny. I love his stuff's just insanely quotable like whenever I see any character that's even remotely evil, I start being like, this world is imperfect. <laughs> if we can wipe away the imperfect, make it as beautiful as me. <laughs> that's true. He does do great work. Ooh, uh, chapter four. Um, what peach intermission is this one? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember the peach intermissions at all, really. Uh, um, you know what? I, other than, like, the, the... Not the cake one. The... The dancing one I remember, and the actually, you know what? In general, I think I remember the peach. There's like the potion 64. one, right? In this the one, potion their one. version yeah. of the cake, yeah. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I do want to give some attention to Slim Kirby coming on in, raiding with a party Ooh. of seven. Thank you so much, Ooh. Slim, for the raid. Appreciate that. Uh, in case Ooh. you're just joining us, I am joined here by X and Shadow, uh, or Hi. Ted, if you prefer. He does some great work over on his channel. You should definitely go give him a follow. If we can get a shout out for him in chat, that would actually be great. Uh, he's here until approximately 3 p.m. Unless you want to stay longer, it doesn't particularly matter to me. Or if you have somewhere to be, uh, that's fine too. Uh, I can do three. Yeah. All right. Uh, I may be able uh, to stay a little bit after that. It just depends on whether or not people actually respond to me in text. It's totally happens, up to you. So totally up to you. Now the question I have for you is, what have you been up to these days? Um, for me, well, um, well, I recently did, I recently did something that I said I would never do, and I started buying magic cards, and I said I would oh, never no, do this. Oh, no, that is a rabbit because, hole. Yes, exactly. Oh, no. Because you, you spend more money on cardboard than you ever will on anything reasonable in your entire life, but it's been a lot of fun, and I also... I feel like in real life, I don't have a lot of people I can talk to about nerdy stuff a lot. Yes. Like, I have, I have like, friends from high school I talk to and stuff like that who, like, still live around me. So I have, you know, I have people that I can hang out with in the real world. I'm not, like, a complete social shut-in. But I also feel like I can't talk about a lot of my, like, big nerdy hobbies in person with a sure, lot of people. Sure. So that's actually, it's been really nice to be able to go there and have that kind of being able to talk about that kind of stuff in in person with people it's not that 
fake being online is fake because that's totally not true but no. um oh is this the one where we sorry i got distracted this is the one where we <laughs> dress up as and then princess peach suddenly shrinks three feet to fit yes. in the <laughs> fit in the <laughs> fit in the x not costume <laughs> yeah uh but yeah uh, i've been doing that um uh i been the past two months i pretty much have been doing nothing else with my free time other than playing dragon quest 11 like that's literally and i already played in 100 percent of that game when i got it on playstation 4 last year but the switch version came out and i think i've put like 160 hours into it at the over the past two months so i'm a wow, wee bit geez. obsessed yeah it's well it's like it's probably my favorite game released in like the past five years so, that's funny oh here's uh, peace that's just shrunk down three feet yeah <laughs> you know it's okay you just you don't notice that her spine is uh controlling four bends at this point um What are your opinions on Grotus? Because this is this is one of my favorite games of all time, but Grotus is probably like my least favorite villain out of the three good Paper Mario games. But see, so, so I can ag agree with you on that, but I think I don't want to say that's intentional, but I think Grotus stands in as like the typical like evil scheming super genius so sort of villain. Because all the other characters around him are, like, bumbling idiots. So it provides yeah, that much. contrast of, like, him actually being a smart, capable villain and everyone around him being, like, completely useless. Well, he's not capable enough to hire a competent hiring staff. That ever. is true. He's also not <laughs> capable enough to program his own computer properly or yeah, yeah. actually recognize when Princess Peach is sneaking around her ba his base. Uh, you know, he just, he didn't want to upgrade to Windows 10, so he <laughs> forgot to update the, the nocrushbug.exe That's right. Uh, firmware update. And, <laughs> you know, although I don't know why, like, if, if tech can send an email, like, if, if like, how do they get internet service on the moon? Because this is 2004, listen, you also listen. have to remember. He's a supercomputer. I mean, look at how computer. big of a computer he is. That's what you need to get internet service on the moon. On the moon, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or I guess this, that's a computer that big you need in order to get service if you're running AT&T. Oh, zing! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. So, also, Grotus is also, like, I think, also a computer as well. Because, like, in yes, the... Yes, I think that's the idea. He's, like hopping around as a head right. so it yes. is a computer he also needs an another computer yeah like i think it's this is we're getting to like a disney like goofy and pluto kind of thing <laughs> yes where pluto gets point. to be a normal dog but goofy and... is an actual humanoid so grotus is like goofy but for a computer then that's okay. true that's true i never even thought of that all right also, are they supposed to be called the Cross Knots? Because if so, I'm never calling them I that never ever. wanted them to call them that ever. Uh, I think I've heard somewhere that they are. I don't know where I heard that, though. Like, because that sounds really familiar to me. Uh, you, the thing that I think I first heard about it was uh, the, the game Project Cross Zone. Yeah. Which was the Namco, Namco Sega Capcom crossover, I think. And I'm just like, no, that's I'm not calling these guys the cross knots because I've been calling them the X knots for. They will never be known as the cross knots. This game's that. 15 years old this year, also for the because it was 2004. Wow, uh, it was 2004. That's I think, right. That's right. Out. It is 15 years old. God, wow. Okay. Yeah, I know. And how about now? You have to be in agreement with me on this: a remaster of Paper Mario: Thousand Year Door or some sort of re-release? Come on, dude. Dude, um, like. The best Christmas present I think I could ever get is like a Nintendo Direct where they announce Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door du double bundle for Switch with re released graphics and uh, re recorded live music. You are that getting my hopes way, way, way up already. I'm getting excited just hearing you propose that idea. That would literally be like, I think, probably my favorite game cartridge of all time because the first Paper Mario, I have a lot of. Mem uh, like I love both of those games to death. Um, I, I used to say that Thousand Year Door was probably my favorite 
game of all time. I think I it's tied. It's got to be tied with the original Paper Mario, though. The yeah. More I, I think about it. It's up. There. Um, but like, cause I have so many memories with the the first Paper Mario, cause that was the first game I beat without needing to like use a game guide or anything like that. Although it, it took me eight months to do it, cause um. I did a lot of things, like I didn't know how to get to chapter one because you have to go behind the counter to talk to Merlin in chapter one, and yes. I just I didn't know how to do that. And I also, uh, in the ghost house, um, I didn't know how to get the record because I opened one of the cabinets and it was the one that fell on you. Oh, and nice. So I was like, okay, I can't do that. And I yeah. didn't actually examine the one that was very clearly different than the other yeah, two. Yeah, right. So I would just, after that, I would just play through the first three chapters of the game over and over again until I could figure it out. Uh -huh. The first time I played the first Paper Mario, I didn't know how to get to chapter one, like I said. That so what I did is I went to Goomba Road and I grinded on Goombas until I was a high enough level to beat the master, thinking, okay, that's gotta let me go through, right? And then they was like, okay, now do master form two. And I'm like, what, there's a form two? And then I got I I got whooped at that point. <laughs> I think I I think I got to the point where Goombas would no longer give me experience. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, I I mean I'm sure it's got to be possible to be master at level one or at like with early game equipment, but I I I have no I I've seen some footage of it and I'm like man oh man I have no idea how you would even. You I know, think well, out. I think you can technically do it at like virtual level one, right. like if you you don't upgrade anything but badge points and only use three BP. Right. But you have to have like end game items and ba and some badges and like upgraded boots and stuff, right? right like right, you're right. not gonna do that if you can only do one damage per turn. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, um, Cake Man in the in the comments brings up yep. a good point that you have to give him the 300 coins so you can get yes. the, the max money. And now is the time to do it. Oh, got an yeah, email first. With the Mario World tone. So I, it was so these games were some of like the first Mario games I really played. Yeah. So a lot of the references to other stuff went completely over my head for years. That's like the fun. the. The music that plays when you get the mysterious emails in Chapter 3, I didn't yeah. know until, like, uh, maybe a couple of years ago that that's, like, a Mario 3 overworld. Oh, that is funny. Um, and the level-up theme in Paper Mario 1, I didn't know that that was also from Mario 3 until until I was probably, like, 18 or 19. That's really I had, funny. Yeah, because, like, I, I grew up late N64 and early GameCube because the my first console was the N64 and I got that right. like 99 2000. So I didn't play Mario 3 until like 2007 or 8. So a lot of this stuff just kind of went over my went over my head. Right. So we got to give him 300 total. Yeah, you have to give him 3. I think you get like you get 300 back for every 100 you give, unless if you give 300 total and then you get 999. Yeah, there's my 300. Yeah. All right, good. That cleaned me out. <laughs> but that's there's... good. That's the time to do it, because you have a lot of money coming back from the Blitz Pit. Yeah, and then you can spend, when you get all that money back, like Chapter 6 or 7, I don't know. Yeah, it's way later. Is. Yeah, but you can just buy pretty much whatever you want from the bad shop right. at that point. Speaking of which, I'm gonna just take a quick visit there now. Okay. But yeah. So, but oh, yeah. oh, actually, you know what? I was going to. So you were talking about like what the worst chapter in the game is. I, I feel like a lot of people don't like chapter four because you walk back and forth between the town and the cathedral like six times. Which, which does happen. Like, that is true. Yeah. Yeah, but honestly, it's probably one of my favorite chapters in the game, if only because the story with Vivian. Like, Vivian's my favorite game. Yeah, Vivian is very I good. Would talk about yeah, she's, she's like, I think, easily the best partner battle-wise in the game, I would say. Cause I the... think, yeah, she's definitely the most consistent, for sure. Yeah. Uh, who's your favorite partner? So my say? favorite personality-wise, I love Bobbery. He's so funny. Oh, um, God, Bobbery. And he's, oh. he's just like the, the salty old sailor turned, you know, with his heart softened up again over time. He has a really good story arc, but... Oh. As far as, and I actually really liked, for whatever reason, when I was a kid, I loved using his ability that was like to throw the timed mines out and have them oh. explode later. Oh, I like that one too. I... Like, 
I don't think it's actually that practical because I think it's just better to damage enemies while you can, but it, I just liked setting up the little traps. Like, I found it so like, satisfying. Yeah, because the, the aiming on it's relatively precise, so when you actually manage to land the hit, you're like, yeah, I got him, especially if you right. get all three. Because I think if you do land all three, they're like three damage each or something like that. Right. So you get you do a lot of damage if you manage to land all of them. Ooh. Okay, yeah, there we go. Quick, ch I, once you have quick change equipped, it's like you can't go back. I know. Oh, yeah. Um, although it's like seven BP or something. Yeah, it's it's not just crazy. In this one because it was only four in the first game. Right. right. I remember. Um, but yeah, Balbri is another one of my favorites. He's. Uh, I, I think at the end of the game, I'm pretty much using only those two. Yeah. And Bobbery's story also is one of my favorites. It's like heartbreaking uh, what they do with him. Right. Yeah, I know. And that's the thing. That's why I love it. That's yeah. why I love it. An actual yeah. deep story for the companions. Which, by the way, I think even speaks to more of what a shame it was that Paper Mario, uh, or Super Paper Mario rather, I mean, kind of replaced the partners with all generic ish pixels like yeah they had personalities kind of but like think of the stories and the backgrounds of these characters in this game and compare it to that it's it's night and day yeah like the pixels like their intro scenes are hilarious like, oh yeah they absolutely um, are like there's the one where you have to like shout something to the wind or whatever and right. so you have to like right. type in like a text box whatever you want it to say and you have to do it multiple times right like, i remember that that's funny and there's also the the one who like measures how girthy you are and princess yes. peach is canonically the girthiest mario character yes so you know there's that but i agree i mean super paper mario i i guess this might be a somewhat controversial opinion but i think super paper mario actually has the best story out of the... i've heard a lot of people saying that in the chat yesterday actually i don't think that's controversial at all Okay. I, I think I disagree. I like the story of this game, but Super Mario Mario's story is very good, and its characters are very charming, the villains in yeah. particular. Yeah, but uh, like a year ago, I tried to play the game again on stream, and I got to like chapter five or so, the, the caveman one. Yeah. And it just, it, it got really tiring to play the game again, because it's, I get what they were going for, but I feel like, part of the problem with what they were doing is is that it's not fast paced enough to be a fun platformer but it's not complex it's not complex enough to be a good rpg like or action rpg battle system because right. it's not like you have a lot of different attacks for when you're fighting stuff you just kind of like jump. bounce on them you bounce on them <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty and much it yeah so it's not like the combat's that fun and it's not like there's a lot of fun platforming right so it just it's either just a lot of walking around or you know just waiting for enemies to 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 die after you s stomp them right so yeah so and also i forgot how exposition heavy the beginning of the game is it is it's, it's very the exposition heavy. dialogue i think it takes like a good 20 minutes it's a long know. time yeah and i did I'm a sure... full playthrough of it on stream as well and it's it's like there's some portions in the game like the beginning and somewhere around the middle when you first access flop side where yeah. there's just big dumps of exposition you're like oh boy it takes a long time i can also never remember the stuff in super paper mario as well as i can in these games right like the the sewers for example like i can remember the sewers in this game and paper mario 64 like the pack back of my hand and for some reason even though i played and beaten super paper mario like at least three or four times I just, I can't remember where anything in that game is supposed to be. So whenever I have to find one of the pillars to put the hearts in, right. it's like, uh, duh, where did, right. where did it go? Yeah, I, I know. I don't. I can, can relate. I can relate to that. 100%. Uh, but, yeah, did you actually end up playing Sticker Star, or did you <laughs> just <laughs> skip it? <laughs> Sticker Star. All right, let me talk, let me talk a minute about Sticker Star. So I kind of alluded to it in the past. We haven't done a full-on Sticker Star discussion during this marathon, but it's probably time. Uh, it's trash. It's terrible. Uh, I'm going to come right out there and say it. Um, the music is fun. It's jazzy. The music is the music is good. The I will agree with you there. The aesthetics are pretty cool. You know, I like it. Got a good look to it. But the actual combat, while a cool idea, 
is unfortunately it really misses the mark because there can be instances number one in which you run out of attacks that you just can't do anything because you run out of stickers and number two the boss battles are so arbitrary in that you just have to use random unrelated items to defeat them and it really really stinks <laughs> yeah like i remember when i first played that game like the combat's normally like trivial in that game and I get to the first boss, and it's actually, like, challenging, and it was kind of fun, because I had to try. Right. But, like, eventually, you uh, you run out of your good stickers, and you're just, like, kind of screwed. And right. I beat it, and then whoever her face was is like, uh, you were, you did pretty bad. You should have used their sticker, because you got beat up pretty bad in that fight. Right. And I'm like, the sticker that you needed to use in order to basically win the fight instantly you got the thing you needed from it like two feet before the boss fight and they wanted you to backtrack all the way back to town and all the way back and i'm like no no i'm not no thank you yeah no not too so yeah it's yeah that game uh, so did uh i did not actually play color splash at all because i saw that it was essentially the same thing and i was like no thanks but i do hear it's better did you try it or did you i have not pass? tried it i have not okay. tried it and I yeah. am interested. I don't really want to pay for it. <laughs> no, I'm um, kind of in the same boat. <laughs> but it is, I'm sure it's got to be good. Like, it can't be bad. Like, I've heard it's, it's fine, you know? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that when people say it's a better than Sticker Star, that they're right. But I don't want to play a better Sticker Star. I'd rather play a Paper Mario game. <laughs> right, right, same. <laughs> yeah, so that's, I think, part of why I really want them to remaster the first two because like if you could have the visuals of color splash and like the the music production quality of those games on like on these right with the same character and script and all that and battle system like that would be that would be a dream i would oh yeah i would go i would go nuts for that oh yeah 100 percent um actually you know what i think it's not that unlikely that we get it because Fire Emblem's out now, and yes. all the DLC comes out, like, what, in two months or so? I, I think so. I haven't been tracking yeah. it too, too much, but I know it's soon. Yeah, so Intelligent Systems isn't working on Fire Emblem anymore. So, theoretically, they so, could do Paper yeah, Mario. Yeah, freed up for Paper Mario, maybe, yeah. Nintendo yeah. over there? So, Sticker Star 3, why, thank you. Thank you, Nintendo. I love it. I love it. <laughs> More, please. Yes. Uh -oh. Yeah, uh, but the... I think the, that first trailer for Sticker Star, though, I, like, I geeked out so hard because, like, I, I, at that point, they were doing the thing where you could, like, download the trailers on the 3DS and watch them in 3D, which I thought was really cool at the time for some reason. But, like, they had, like, a Chain Chomp partner in the, in it, and, like, one of the worlds was made out of playing cards. Yeah. And it was like, oh, this looks really, really neat. And it just, it didn't turn out that way. So, oh, well, it, it happens. Like, I know, I think Sticker Stars are pretty dead horse at yeah. this point. So, I try not to dump on it too bad, but... But it's bad. Yeah. It's pretty uh, bad. Slim, don't 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 do that to me all right <laughs> uh anyway we made it to the side of the town i'm trying not to do too much exploring because i want to uh i kind of want to jump it right into the next chapter a oh, i always i always lose track of time trying to to find all i know i'm trying to think stuff. i don't think there's really any too much we can do in this area yet i can get this i think like the i think there technically is a the, sh the shop, but the shop is all the, like the end game items yeah. that cost like a couple yeah, hundred. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that right now. Yeah. Um, how often do you do like the trouble center stuff when you play the game? So like, if I were to play times? the game just casually myself, I would do the trouble center probably after every other chapter. So like I'd come back maybe after chapter four and start to do all those troubles. Okay. Uh, maybe then again, then again after chapter six. Yeah, that makes sense. But. Okay. Because whenever I replay this game, I only ever do the troubles that unlock Miss Mouse and the ability to fuse, f uh, to cook two food. At yes. The, Those all at happen the... after Chapter Four, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So like, whenever I've I've replayed this game a dozen or more times, Ooh, I need and to that. I only, I think I have I've only ever done 
troubles other than those two, like yeah. twice. And one of those was a 100% playthrough I did on stream. Nice. Jeez. Uh, although I do like a lot of them. Like, there's the... Uh, there's the one of oh, some of them are annoying though. Like there's the one where you whack the guy on his head. Yes, over I like and over that. We did that one remembers. yesterday. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was fun. Uh, there's also the one where you have to. Oh, I forget his name, but uh, Frankie, I think he lost the ring again, yeah. and you have to watch him say "I love you" 200 times. I think that one's required. Is that? Oh no, you have to do it again, right? Yeah, that yes. doing it again. Uh, there is a there is a trouble for finding uh, General White again. Yes, yes, is, yes miserable but uh, you... i'm dreading that <laughs> oh well you have to you have to find him i mean it is pretty funny the the punchline for general white is pretty funny i do right. have to agree but right. you have to like uh <laughs> you have to like really pay attention yeah anyway want to give a shout out to a couple people that came in chat while we were chit chatting Ooh. uh we got sneaky scarab coming on by Buddy Bro joining Pixel Plume and Mr. L564 all stopping on by to say hello. Thank you so much for stopping on by. In case you are just joining, we are here with X and Shadow for about another 20 minutes. Uh, he's, yep. he's a great guy, does great work. You should definitely go give him a follow. Yeah. Anyway, we were talking about General White uh, and how Mr. General, or we could not talk about General We could White. not talk about General White, actually. <laughs> yeah. We could not talk about that. Yeah. Oh uh, God. Um, this game just has so many good characters, though. Like even just random background people, like General. Because like General White, I remember when I was first playing the game. Like you see this Bob Om with this like stark white color in the hat, and you're like, that guy's important. Yeah. And then you remember him way later in the game when they talk about him, and it's just like, I know exactly where that guy is. Right. <laughs> um, and like the the creepy guy with the 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 like the clown outfit kind of looking. Uh, Pierre, that's him. We will, we'll like hit on every female party member you have out, <laughs> yeah. as well as also this game just has so many good characters. I love it. <laughs> I love that dialogue. What's your name? Uncle PK, baby. <laughs> so perfect. Watch. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> so perfect. Did you tell the? Did you tell Punio that you were bullies? Uh no no we were nice. Oh. We were nice. Oh. Did you say that you were gonna eat the hot dog? I did not say let there be hot dogs. I oh, thought I was going to eat man. the hot dog. But we did. We did yesterday. We did smell Hooktail's feet. So that <laughs> what did happen. Okay, I've never done it. What happens if you smell uh, You get attacked for uh, five damage. Oh. You get bit. You get bites. She bites you in the head. Oh, uh, that. Like. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. But so... we did We did cricketless, too. We, we no, didn't use did the badge. Cricketless. Nice. And we smelled Hooktail's feet. And we still won. Oh, nice. Because, like, her defense and attack goes down if you use the cricket, right? She pretty much becomes, like, just a 20 HP pushover. Where yeah. she only does, like, one, a dam one damage per attack, and it's pretty sad. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done cricketless just because... I'm, I've never really done a lot of challenge runs with Paper Mario. Right. I have done a 10 HP uh, Paper Mario 64. Um, I tried to do 10 HP Thousand Year Door. Um, I got up to Bone Tail in Chapter 8, and I couldn't beat him. Yes, so, right. So, because I'm not good enough at the game in order to do the, like, 1 HP Peril Power Bounce and do 60 damage in one turn kind of stuff. I'm just not right. good enough at the action command right. to do it. And I'm also a giant wuss, so walking around at 1 HP makes me way too nervous. For sure. I remember, so so I want to talk about this chapter for a little bit. I remember oh, yes. when I first played this chapter, this is chapter four, uh, super like horror aesthetic and really cool. A couple things about it. Number one, I was scared of it. Like it was actually a really scary uh, Yeah, this is, thing. it's ominous. Yeah. It's ominous, it's spooky, it's legitimately creepy. I mean, for a Mario game, you can only get so creepy. It's not Resident Evil 7, but you know, it is definitely ominous and, and dark for a Mario game. And yeah, the second thing is that I remember one Halloween, uh, one of my favorite traditions for Halloween is I used to be able to, I used to like to set up my house to hand out candy to little kids, the trick-or-treaters. Okay. This was like when I was in college, because, you know, I was a little too old to go trick-or-treating, but I was yeah. still like a little young at heart. Uh, so I was like, oh, I'm going to set up the house and decorate it and have music playing. And the music I played was the music from Creepy Steeple and from the path that leads there. Twilight Trail, Ooh. I think it's called. Oh, uh, yeah. The music in this chapter is, like, legitimately eerie. 
And like, if you think about like the, like the the ramifications of making like all these people are turned into pigs, and there's some stuff like it. The the woman in this town. Yeah. Uh, God, she has a she has a name. I forget it. But the the mom with the three kids. Like you talk to her and you give her any food item. Yeah. Um, you do that and then she turns into a pig immediately afterwards. Yeah, it's creepy. and like those kids don't have a mom effectively at that point, which is it's like creepy. really dark. Is it this one? Um, I forget which house it's in. No, uh, it's I think it might be in the second, t uh, second part of the yeah, town. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, it's a but, spooky, yeah. spooky, spooktacular, you could call it. I also remember being the, like the twist halfway through the chapter. I remember being so confused when oh, I first right played here. the game. It's right here. Yeah, I was too. Yeah. Also, her backstory, like this character, has a really, really sad backstory. Did you ever do the trouble center involving her? No, I never did. Okay, so, um, oh god, the bartender in, in, uh, Rogueport. Like, apparently those two used to be, like, a thing together. Like, oh, no! <laughs> and... That's so sad! So her and the bartender in Rogueport used to be a thing, and so... She's like, I want you to send this letter, and, um, and, like, so that they can, like, meet up again, because, like, there's just this whole thing, and then if you go and talk to the guy in Rogueport, he's just like, I've never heard of this person before, don't talk to me about it. And it's just like, damn, that's really, that's really depressing. <laughs> it's really depressing. Yeah, and you can, here's the thing, you can also choose to lie to her about it. Like, you can choose to, I think you can either say, like... I couldn't find him, or something like that, is something that you can say. And it's just like, wow. <laughs> I know. I know. This, this, like, I don't think, I don't think they'll ever go quite this dark with a Mario game ever again. I, I, don't I think had so. to guess. I don't think so. But that's why I love this game, because I feel like oh. it, it takes those risks and it pushes those boundaries, and it it's really pays off. I, I also appreciate that they do that without it not feeling like a Mario game. You know, because it's not like, like the first example I always think of is like uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, it's God. Just like It's not like he gave Mario a gun and he's sh shouting the F word a whole bunch or anything right, like right, that. Right, right, it's right, like, right. no, it's a darker theme, but it still feels like Mario. And like, it's not like it's extremely dark or anything like that. It just, you know, there's a lot of dark subtext. Yes, which, yes. So... It's it's handled really well. I would like it if they tried to do something like that again. I agree. We'll we'll see. <laughs> Look at that gate. <laughs> Why is it exclamation part gate? I don't oh, know. go ahead and type exclamation mark gate. <laughs> there it is. That's from. Uh... <laughs> Figure you like that reference. <laughs> uh, I have a friend who, every time there's like a new like. Twitter scandal, like a, like a, the something gate, you know, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, she'll just tweet the picture of no, nobody. No, say gate, gate to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. I never thought of that. That's yeah. Funny. So like, whenever it's like a deflate gate or, or whatever, or more political gate type yep. stuff. Right, 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 like, right, right. Say gate. To me. Right. Nobody say gate to me. That would have been a perfect response when all that stuff was going on a while ago. <laughs> now, being a Patriots fan, you know, uh, that would have been a oh, really funny thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, God, that was like two or three years ago Back now here? that I'm thinking. Oh, God. Uh, no. That's not for the storeroom, is it? Uh, no. So it's, I think. Oh, God. Um, That's the cursed chest. Yeah, I, the, the cursed chest is in the storeroom. That's what it okay, is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so you the have the you have the key, but you need the key to use the other key. Right. So it's Doom, pretty much. Yeah, it's Doom. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of which, are you have you played Doom 2016, and or are you going to be getting Doom Eternal? Um. So I have played Doom 2016. I got like halfway through it. It was good. I'm just trash at first-person shooters, like just as a genre. Like yeah. I'm terrible at at them. I can't so i had to turn it down to like easy i yes. don't think i went to the easiest but i did play one of the like normal ones. yeah like so i did i did have fun 
I played, I think I played about half of it. I just, I didn't get around to finishing it because I, I did play the Switch version and I did like it, but the game kind of ran a little not the best. So I, I just, I put it down. I think I was distracted by something else at the time, but I did enjoy it. I think I'm going to wait on Human Turtle until it goes down in price because gotcha. like there are some games that are super high profile that you can get a sp this is only a thing that happens when you're not a Nintendo fan for the record like yes Horizon Zero Dawn was one of the biggest releases of 2017 and it's a $5 game now <laughs> so I, know. I, know. I will I will happily wait until it's actually Spider-Man the 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 Marvel the Spider-Man for PS4 Marvel Spider-Man yeah yeah I was like, okay, I'll wait until that's, like, a $10 game. It has actually stayed higher in price than I thought it would. Like, that's still, I mean, still, like, it's really good for, if you haven't played yeah, it. I know. I know. I need to, I really need to play it. Like, I love Spider-Man. But right. I was just like, oh, I'll wait for that to go down in price because it's not on Nintendo, so it will go down in price. But it just, it hasn't yet, so. Yeah. I might bite the bullet and get it for, like, I think there's a Black Friday sale for it. So okay. it might be, like, 20 so I might I might bite the bullet and do that, but we'll we'll see. Um, are you getting the Star Wars game that's coming out? Uh, uh, Je or, Jedi, if... not Jedi Fallen Order. What's, what's it called? Is that it? I think that might be it. Uh, I was not planning on it. No, my okay. next game that I'm particularly excited for is Animal Crossing. Let Ooh, me tell you, okay, yes. cannot wait. Yeah, I uh, God, March March is nuts. I don't know, like I mean. Nintendo and Square announced like that their two of their biggest games are coming out within like a week of each other, and that was both at E3. So it's like okay, they probably didn't know right. that those two games were coming out like within a week. But Bethesda decides that they're gonna delay Doom. This was like a month ago, and they're like, oh yeah, we'll just put it in March alongside Nintendo's biggest game and Square Enix's biggest game. Like Final Fantasy VII gonna probably be like the one of the biggest games of that year. And it's just like, oh yeah, we'll put Doom right next to it. I don't know. I don't want another September 2019 where there's six games coming out in the same month that I want to play. Well, welcome to March of 2020. That's exactly what it's going to be. Oh, God. Um, so yeah, so Animal Crossing. There really isn't much else coming out between now and then that I'm also looking forward to. Right, right, right. Um, I do need to get Luigi's Mansion because I have I not well. played that. I also yeah, not did, that. did you end up getting Pokemon? Uh, I did not, uh, but I okay. know a lot of. It, it's been a big conversation in the Discord server, and mm, yeah, people are it's... all raving about it. And it's apparently very, very good. Um. <laughs> well, you say I. I want your opinion now. Now I like. Okay. I like well, I don't. I don't. Well, here's the thing. I don't want to be that guy. You're being. That, I don't want to be, be like guy, the guy. You're be that like, guy. Okay. Like I mean, here's the thing. I didn't like it at all that much. I just, I found it really kind of dull. Like, it's not that it's an awful game by any means. Like, it's Pokemon. Pokemon would have to be really bad to be a bad game. I just kind of found it very empty, if that makes sense. Like, sure. there's no area in the game more complex than, like, Viridian Forest from Red Blue Yellow. Got it. If that makes sense. It which does. made it really boring to explore for me. I understand. And I also just didn't like the new Pokemon, but that's, like, a subjective thing. There's a couple that I like and a couple I don't. But I like the opinion. The I, I'll take it. Have you seen the Fossilmon? The Fossilmon? Yeah, the, the, the new Oh, yeah, the, the, like, contorted fossils? Yeah, the, they, the ones that... Uh, yearn for the sweet release of death every yes. waking yes, moment. Yes, exactly. Because uh, existence is agony. Uh, <laughs> like, just put me out of my misery, please. Yeah, so, yeah, I just, I didn't really like it. I mean, I know that, because I feel like if anything was proven this past week, it's that everybody whining about the game being terrible was actually a vocal minority. Right, right. Like, I that's feel like a lot true. of people, I feel like when it comes to fandom stuff, a lot of the time people will be like, oh no, that's just a vocal minority, but it isn't. It, but, but this it, one totally was. Yeah, because, you know, it's like, what, six million people bought the game or something? Yeah. Ridiculous. So, yeah. So, I know that I'm in the minority, and I'm not gonna, like, I don't want to also be that guy who tells other people to not have fun. So, you know what, you got, so, yeah. Like, I, I can, I can see why people like it. So, I'm not gonna, 
I'm not gonna go and rain on everybody else's parade by saying, uh, actually, Pokemon is bad, and you should not play it because you're a bad person. I'm not gonna be that guy. So. Oh, that's good. That's <laughs> nice of you. Yeah. Although, right. I will say you should also play Dragon Quest XI, because that game is the bomb. So, <laughs> alright, I'm done plugging. Alright, alright. I'm done plug. Oh, is this the one? Oh, this is the chest that allows us to roll yes, this is tube into mode. a tube. You're gonna let me out. Here we go. We he fools! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love these guys. They're really um, funny. My favorite one is probably the Chapter 5 one, where you're just, you're, Mario's done with it, and so he's just like, just curse yeah. me already. He's like, I already know it's gonna be cursed. Like, come on, let's just And do he's it. just so angry that you won't let him do the bit. Right. And it's great. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I actually think the two mode is probably the most fun out of the four modes to, yeah. uh, to do. Well, they use it later on as sort of in um, Riverside Station in particular, when you have to go down all those ramps and stuff. Yeah, so it's, it's like a little side scrolly mini game. Yeah. I think. Oh, man, I love it. Um, uh, did you ever do the like the race mini game that you can do in the casino? Oh, yeah. Yeah, them? of course. Oh, yeah. I, I, the casino in this game, I never really bothered a lot. That is actually, I think, one thing that Super Paper Mario does do better is the, um, is the mini games. Like, I love the mini games in Super Paper Mario. I play the boo shooting one, like, for an hour. It, it, non-stop once and it's yeah. just I think I got like a ridiculous amount of points and was able to buy something I shouldn't have had at like the <laughs> midpoint of the game yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I forget what it was oh oh god I forgot I just remembered that the the forest is where you can run into like the the amazing daisies oh yeah stuff like that oh yeah uh, guess who on the first run through the game uh, ran into uh, an amazing Daisy, Daisy, Daisy when he had no partners, and then died. Well, let's find out what we find. Okay, no amazing Daisy. Uh, I, I think I've only ever been able to kill one. I know I, I did one in Paper Mario 64, but I only got one, and that was because I got really lucky with like Lullaby or something like that. Yeah. I think I've killed one during, like, backtracking in this game once because of the art, uh, star, sp not star spirit, crystal star ability you get yeah. in after you beat this, this one. Because it's small, so you can get a lot of hits on it. Right. I remember I did it in the original Paper Mario. I beat, uh, an Amazing Daisy. But I use like, uh, Mega Rush strats just to okay. boost up my attack a lot. And I did okay. it for the sake of doing it. Like, I was like, oh, I really want to do this. I really want to see how challenging it is. And I, I did it really in one turn because you just did, like, 15 damage with Mario and pretty much almost killed it. And then I yeah. was like, oh, that was fun, I guess. Like, it was it was very not gratifying <laughs> to beat an amazing day. No. I was like, it's... I'm glad I spent so much time doing that. Yeah, no. It's, it's also annoying because they're very, very rare. Like, you right. don't see them very often at all. So, because I'm pretty sure... I don't know if they'll respawn every time you enter that room. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, okay. So, then it, I guess it's not as... It doesn't take as much time. Although, oh, Super Big Mario, I hate these guys in that game. Because they're in the part where you're climbing up the tree. Right. And if they hit you in midair, you fall like a rock all the oh, way yeah. back down to the oh, bottom. Oh, I remember. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, what a great idea that was. All right. Ran away. Um, are you gonna do the boo boss fight in this one? Atomic boo? Uh, yeah. probably. Okay, because I actually didn't know that that was a thing you could do. You know, I didn't either when I first played. I ran into it accidentally. Uh, yeah, be which was funny. Well, I didn't run into it at all. Like, I did, the boos would just, like, circle around in the cathedral every time I walked in there. Yeah. Because I never stayed still long enough for them to stick to me. Right, right, is right. Is the thing. So, I never got the chance to try to knock them off. I did so, once, just purely out of curiosity. Yeah, um, so I didn't end up seeing the boo enemy until, yeah. oh god, like, the, the dark boos in chapter 6. And I was like, wait, you can fight boos in this game? Which <laughs> really surprised me because I 
I just I didn't think that they would do that. Right. Because again, like this was one of the first. Uh, this game, I didn't really play that many like mainline Mario games until I think like Mario Galaxy or something like that. So, yeah, like I played most of the mostly the spin-offs, and so for me, Boo was not like a like an antagonistic character for yep, the most yep, part. Yeah, sure, sure. Because <laughs> like he's playable in all the sports. Oh, games so you were used to Boo kind of being like, oh, it's your friendly neighborhood ghost type of thing. Yeah. And especially because the boo, all of the boos in '64 are all friendly. So right. it's like, oh yeah, no, they're they're. And then it's just like, uh, why am I fighting one? It was it was just it was strange. Right. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. Hammer throw. Hammer throw. Oh, uh, hammer throw is like not a good badge, but it's one that I keep on me every time I play the game. I know. I don't think there's a point to it. Uh, it lets you hit stuff on the ceiling. And right. I guess. Technically, it's non-combat, non-like direct damage to flying stuff. Yes, I equip so... it at the beginning of every run in the original Paper Mario because you get it so early. But as yeah. soon as I get Quake Hammer, it just gets replaced. Yeah, but it's so like it's not a good badge, but I put it on every time just because Mario throwing the hammer is cool for me. So it's just like okay, I'm just going to like chuck it, and I don't know. I just I find that satisfying. Right. Yeah. All right, so okay, so it's past three right now. So why don't when you get to the steeple, oh, I, I will have to peace out for. That a sounds bit. good. How do I get past this rock? I think you just push it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Ted. I'm so happy you didn't leave yet because <laughs> you definitely helped me through that little puzzle. Uh, you know, I there. For some reason, this game I got stuck with a lot of the puzzles a lot more than the than the first one. So I had to rely on Goombella basically spelling out the answer for you in the in the tattles a lot yeah, yeah, more. Yeah. Oh god, the the hyper enemies always make me nervous every game in the series. It's almost like Goombella is... Oh, yeah. So, okay, okay, I need a question. Sure. Why does everybody suddenly hate Goombario all of a sudden? Like, I, don't, I like Goombario. He's I cool. know, I like him too, but suddenly he's like the most hated character in Paper Mario history. I think it's because he's like get cliche, it. but like, he's cool. He's got a little hat. He's a cool, like, he's got that go-getter attitude. I like Goombario. Yeah, yeah. He's also like, a, a lot of people say like, oh yeah, Power Rush charge-up strategies are some of the best in the game. Goombario can do that. So it's like, why do people make a Goombario? Goombario is better than Cooper. I agree there. Cooper is not, not yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> Cooper is not fun. Well, Cooper's right. like the same. Cooper is the same character. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. So anyway, uh, thank you for having me on. It was a it was a pleasure. And I hope I wish you good luck with the rest of your uh, with the rest of your stream. I probably will be able to watch uh, watch a good bit of it tomorrow afternoon when you start. So hopefully I'll be able to see see you take on Shadow Queen and all that because I think that will be a lot of fun. Oh, that would be awesome. I I really appreciate you coming on, and yeah. thanks for uh thanks for being a great guest. Yeah, yeah. and um, a great I, friend throughout the years. Really, uh, gotta say. Thank you. Uh, are you still planning on doing like Pax East and stuff like that? I will still be at Pax East on Saturday. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I will definitely try to find time to oh yeah we'll reach to out. meet up and stuff like that. That would be okay. awesome. I do have to head out, though, so I will talk to you soon. See you later, my friend. Again, that's X and Shadow heading on out. See you later. Later. Thank you. I forgot I forgot that this room was full of five fuzzy beetles that immediately attack you. But anyway, that was X and Shadow, uh, a.k.a. Ted. He's a great guy. Great friend. He's part of Brain Scratch Comedy. He's an awesome, awesome, awesome Brain Scratch commentary. Not commentary. He's an awesome, awesome, awesome guy. Please go ahead and give him a follow. I think we actually even have a custom command for him in here, exclamation mark Ted. Uh, he's a great guy, so please, please, please go check him out. He does a lot of variety streaming, kind of like me, and his Twitter account is legendary. So hopefully he takes care. I'm about to get nailed with first strike after first strike after first strike right now. So, And by the way, we were talking about piercing blow. This is, oh, well, if I can hit the action command, I was going to say this is where something like piercing blow comes in handy against enemies like that. Because you don't have spike shield yet in this at this part of the game. So. Anyway, that's it. Yeah, I forgot this room was Satan spawn, where I'm literally going to get first struck by every single enemy along the way. Um, but anyway, 
This, I think, is a cool reference to Luigi's Mansion. I don't know if it was intended to be, but that's how I interpret it, because... <laughs> because, um... I, I like, yeah, how you have to fall down the well, and you even have sort of the same room layout when you get to the bottom of the well that you, ow, that you did in Luigi's Mansion. That's kind of neat. Just kind of Quake Hammer again to knock out these guys. But yeah, in case you are just getting here, we did just have X and Shadow on board. He's a great, great friend, great person. Uh, this is the second day of my weekend stream of Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. We are streaming all three days in a row. We're streaming from beginning of the game to the end of the game. We're currently on Chapter 4, about to enter Creepy Steeple for the first time. This fog is really messing up this battle because nobody can see anything. Uh, uh, I think we just end it. Yeah, we just gotta end it. Yeah. That took way longer than it should have. But in any case, um, so tomorrow we are going to stream again at uh, noon. Again, we're going till about 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern tonight. So we got about another seven hours of streaming. So we're going to be in here for the long haul, my friends. Uh, one thing I do want to say is if you want to see the time specifically for the stream event, you can go ahead and type exclamation mark TTYD. Additionally, even though this is my retirement stream, you can still check me out on the Discord server. I'll still be there, and I'll still be posting on social media and other platforms like that. So do feel free to join the Discord server. It's a great place to hang out and have a good time. Give me a follow on Twitter. I'll still be there uh, and still be able to respond to your messages and whatnot. But I will not be doing any content creation after this weekend stream, which I know for a lot of folks, myself included, is kind of a, it's a sad thing it's it's a big transition for me it's a responsibility that i have to give up but i need to because there are new responsibilities that are presenting themselves to me in life and it's it's time to move on it is uh after doing it for 10 years you know and i, I do have a lot of passion for it something i thoroughly look forward to and thoroughly enjoy and feel unbelievably thankful that i've gotten the opportunity to be able to do it's still uh you know all good things have to come to an end i suppose but don't be sad because it's over. Smile because it happened. I'm still going with that quote. Going with that quote till the end. That's a great quote to describe how I'm feeling, really. Anyway. Um, there we go. It has been a great ride. I agree with that, Grim. It really has. Anyway, we're just taking out all these spike tops that immediately assaulted me at the basement of Creepy Steeple. But I love, love, love this chapter in Paper Mario 1000 Year Door. Absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, write that one down. So true. So anyway, I don't want to get all emotional about the end of the streaming career and end of content creation yet. We still have one more day to go. I know Sunday night might be a tough night. There we go. Super guard, baby. Sunday night might be a tough night. We might be sitting here like a little teary-eyed, a little, man, it's, it's going to feel gonna feel weird. But we still got a lot of game to go. Still got a lot of game to go, including Chapter 4. Which, like I said, a lot of people do hate because of the backtracking. It does have an awesome, spooky aesthetic to it, though, which is really, really cool. Oh, man. Can we... We cannot get past this yet, right? No, because we need Vivian to get past that. Well, at least I cleared out that room for nothing. No, can't go out here. It's not here bringing tissues. Yeah, I might, I might have to have some next to here. In any case... I have to compete with the Walking Dead mid-season finale. The the Walking Dead, really? I stopped playing the Walking Dead. Or I stopped watching the Walking Dead because it's a show that never is never going to end. The, there's no way the Walking Dead is working towards any sort of cohesive finale. And I realized that around like season five, I was like, this show is just gonna go on forever. Uh, so I was like, you know, I gotta I gotta back out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway. Creepy steeple, super cool and super creepy. That's why I love it. Nice little treasure room here. The graphic novel ended, so the show is going to end too. I don't know, though. I feel like it's just so weird. And we got the cookbook. We're going to definitely bring that back to Zesty. Nice smash. Very good badge. It has to run out of humans eventually, right? Crazy DK. And by the way, hello, Crazy DK. Thanks so much for stopping on by. I love how creepy and spooky this place is. So neat. This you also just push. Okay, there's another wall that we can get rid of in the back there. Which is great. 
back here. Will they try to milk the series with a ton of spin-offs? Oh, hell yeah, for sure they will, but the main show is the only one worth. I mean, that's the same deal with Game of Thrones. I mean, Game of Thrones spin-offs are going to be ridiculous coming after this. Even though Season 8 of Game of Thrones, total letdown. Cool, like, story-wise, I appreciate the events that occurred, but, like, such a letdown. Anyway, like, it was just so... It should have been, like, four seasons worth of content that they were like, we're going to have it all happen in the last three episodes. That's a lot of ghosts. Quiz time, interloper. How many ghosts came out? I think it's 200. Very good. Take this, math nerd. <laughs> Fitting. Fitting. Okay. No, no, no harm, no foul. Fitting. It's locked from the inside. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Hashtag math nerd. That's fair. I'll take that. That's fine. There are worse. There are worse ones. Are you going to be mean to me? Nah. But I promise? Okay. I won't be mean. I promise I will not be mean. So they all start swirling around. This is, this is legitimately, like, creepy. It's scary. So what you can actually do if you let them all catch you, which I will do shortly, uh, you actually get a little bit of a boss fight, which is neat. And that's what, that's what uh, Extra Shadow and I were just talking about a little bit ago. It's a boss fight that I had no idea existed in the game. But lo and behold, uh, if you let it ha Like, I stumbled upon it randomly because... Ow. Because... Because stop, stop with that. Is it gonna kill them? <laughs> Death by hazardous stage elements. That's hysterical. Um, because I just stayed idle in the room for a long time, and that's when they catch you, and actually you you fight a boss, which is really cool. But you could just avoid it entirely, and I love when games do optional things like that. Things that you could just totally skip, or you could actually fight. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it takes care of. Uh, that one, and we got one more on the ceiling. I know them catching you doesn't trigger the ball, but that's like what it is. It's cool. Nice. You have to, don't you hammer them? You have to be mean to them, right? You hammer them all, and that's what triggers the boss, if I remember correctly. I'll fight at the end of the chapter, sure. Okay, we'll see what that was all about. Staircase getting shifted. This is so creepy. Like, look how look how crazy this is. Uh, let's go back to Uncle PK. That's right. That's right. This chapter does end with me. I'm able to do so after the chapter is finished. I think you could do it before. Can't you? Oh, yeah, you'd have to backtrack again. That's true. If the chapter ends, you get automatically teleported to Twilight Town. So you'd have to do it all again. I could do it right now. In fact, I might do it right now. I slide that staircase all the way over. Slide it all the way over to the top side. There's a couple more enemies. I'm going to try to avoid them. Where does this go? Let's just go back to the main room. Yeah, it does. But, like, how creepy is this music? How creepy? There's a boo in here, too. Ah, 
if you notice, I'm not really going for all the tattles. I would normally if I was playing the game just on my own, you know, taking a bunch of time, but considering I'm on a schedule, I want to get it done. It's not something that I'm prioritizing. I love that the booze turn was literally to just fly up in the air. Uh, anyway, we'll use uh, Trummer. Get rid of all these guys. I know, this place is creepy, is it not, King Legacy? Isn't this place, like, it, for a Mario game in particular, it's pretty, pretty spooky. There we go. Perfect Earth Tremor. Perfect Earth Tremor. Love it. Nice. That move is so good. And I love that it stays, like, pretty consistently good. It's good. Uh, the info, the, it does appear in Franklin's office for uh, Atomic Boom. If you don't get the tattle when you fight him. Uh, let's see. How do I want to handle this? Unfortunately, it's like everything is just, like, a little too much health to be able to take out in one turn. So I'm going to take out the Boo in one turn. And I'll leave this uh, swooper. Okay, there you go. Nice. Ha 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 Oh, I love the super guard. It's so satisfying to nail. So satisfying. I love that mechanic. The fact that the mechanic's in the game, it's so good. Super here too, if I remember correctly. Look at that little golden leaf back there. I think that's the only spot where you can get the golden leaf. It's in this, like, obscure, hidden location in Creepy Steeple. And it's used for, like, a bunch of recipes and stuff, if I remember correctly. Super Guard Counter, I think we lost track, but it's definitely in the 20s. It's got to be in the 20s. Crazy DK said, I have to go now. Your friend came back to visit. You're playing a Rick and Morty deck building game. That sounds amazing. I hope you have such a great time. Crazy DK. Enjoy. I am going to fight these boos pretty soon. Because they're gonna, just going to annoy me. In fact, I'll probably do it right now. Let's do it right now. Come on, boos. Come at me, boos. I'll do it right in front of this creepy window, too. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come at me, Bruce. And he's like, Hey, you said you'd be nice. Now we had a boss. See, you might not even know that this boss existed in the game. And you may never find it. You may never find it. Which is so cool. Atomic Boo. That is true. I did only promise to be nice to the one boo. I never promised to be nice to all of the boos. By the way, like I said before, uh, you are watching the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Weekend Stream. If you want to go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream, it will bring you to a Google form that if you fill it out, it will allow me to send you just one more token of my appreciation. Uh, and that would be really cool. So you can also type exclamation mark TTYD to go ahead and get information about the hours for when the stream is going on. Last but not least, you should join the Discord server by typing exclamation mark Discord. Because even though I will not be making content creation anymore, uh, I still will be on Discord. So you can still reach me there. The last thing I want to bring up is the fact that is the fact that I have one more sort of big send-off thing after this, and it's not a stream or any sort of content creation event per se with videos, but I, I suppose it is content creation in a sense because I created essentially a custom campaign. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like a super attack, isn't it? I created a custom Wargroove campaign that will be releasing December 9th. If you're unfamiliar with Wargroove, it's a strategy indie game that came out this year, similar to Advance Wars, uh, very, very fun style game. Um, like that turn-based grid combat game. That was, that was actually really easy. I thought that would be a lot harder. That was really easy. 
Uh, the thing in the game has a the thing is the game has a campaign editor, uh, which is really cool. It allows you to create your own campaign in it, like an overworld map, story. Think of like an old Mario World ROM hack. That's essentially what it allows you to do, but with an Advance Wars style game. Like, how cool is that? So, if you are interested in checking that out, that will be coming your way December 9th. As long as you own a copy of the game Wargroove, it is free. It stars all of the fantastic members of the Discord server and of the 41 Alliance itself. Uh, so, it's really, really cool. I guarantee that the large majority of folks watching here today have some sort of a cameo in there. Hang on there, Slick. So, just saying, December 8th, or December 9th is a Monday. Mega Freak 400 is going to be streaming it. And... Feel free to come on by, download it on PC, PS4, Switch, and Xbox, whatever you want. And it's going to be a great time. So just saying. Come on, this guy is the monster that is freaking out about? What are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? By the way, one of the best characters in the game right here. I love that his me time is actually just sitting on like an old rocking chair and watching a tiny TV. Like, big deal. Well, you know, they're all so depressing and boring. So instead of wallowing in the gloom, I might as well wallow in the mud. So funny. I love that he just turns them into pigs because it's like, why not? Like, who cares? By the way, awesome boss music. It's not good, this is. It's so good. Yeah, another straightforward chapter boss, right? This is it. It's just like, hey, we made it to the steeple. We made it all the way up, and that's pretty much it. That's a pretty quick, easy chapter. Go to the townsfolk. They're in trouble. You go down the trail to get to the steeple. You get to the steeple, and now you're here, and it's like, hey, there's a ghost, and you fight him, and that's it. It's all over, right? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. How do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people. Now you're fighting yourself. Gotta love a good old... I don't know if you really want to call him a Shadow Mario, but I mean, hey, we might as well, right? Hey, Mega, coming right in for the best boss team in the game, I'd say. Maybe Rockhawks is slightly better, but it's pretty close. This is up there. Yuck, 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 yuck. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. Huh? You beat me? I always thought this was pretty cool. I was like, oh, well, that, that was easy. Like, kind of cool. Mario fights himself, this and that. Fun stuff. You know, it is what it is. Good times. Hey, we got a crystal star. And that's it. That's it. Mario looks a little, like, huffing and puffing over there, if you notice his shoulders. But he's like, ah, it's whatever. Good chapter. Easy peasy. Quick. Done. Mario defeated the scourge of Creepy Steeple and found the fourth crystal star. Feel the Twilight Town of Shirley recovered from their awful curse by now. At any rate, Mario's quest to correct all seven crystal stars to be done in no time. But it's back to Creepy Steeple, Mario sets out towards a bright future. That was quick. I mean, he's like angry, it's so easy. He's like, that was, that was a joke. I mean, we battled Atomic Boo, even the optional boss. That's it? That's all you got? Man, that guy was a wimp. It wasn't even fair. Who cares, right? We got the Crystal Star, so let's get out of here. That voice a little reverbed. kind of weird. And I love that the game sits here until you press something. And when you press a button, you're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, what is happening? And I love that, like, realization. Like, the game doesn't tell you. It's like, it waits for you to do it. And that moment is like, what? What? This is bad. This is bad. Or is it good? I mean, we are Shadow Mario now, after all. Maybe I could just stay like this. I mean, this is fine. Oh, weird. Oh, yeah, boo 
Oops, there's a bunch of booze in here now, it's enemies. It would be cool if there was a patch later in the game to change it to that. That is true. Yeah, but that's the point, King Legacy. The point is you don't know. But eventually you will, because there's nothing else to do. A Super bob -op. There's no way we can fail. Hit me that glorious Super bob -op. Hey, by the way, the bomb is still in the tree. It's still there. It, no one has gotten rid of it, by the way. Oh, gosh. Poor Vivian. Shenanigans still going on. Looks like we're not quite out of the woods yet, if you had any doubts. Open that from this side now. Alright, so we gotta go all the way back. And this is, I think, where Chapter 4 starts to earn its, its somewhat negative reputation. Because now I do have to backtrack all the way to Twilight Town. It's not terribly far, but still, the fact that you have to go all that way is kind of like... I don't know, like, it doesn't really add anything. It's just wasted time. But, like, you can avoid all the battles pretty easily. I think people kind of blow it out of proportion. Now that I'm playing it, it almost seems like it's getting blown out of proportion. Like, I could just run around them. That wasn't that hard to do. Like, it's not a big deal. So, this guy, yes, hello, hi, hey, what's up? Yo, hey, konnichiwa, hello, hola. Oh, he actually, he actually hit me that time. Uh-oh. Okay, just two crazy days. It's no big deal. You do have to be careful. With no partner, it can be a lot harder, these fights. It's true! Slim, you are absolutely correct. Any x naught could just sneak right back into that tree, rewire that bomb, and then kaboom! The whole tree explodes. I mean, would we really be too upset? It would get rid of the Great Bogley Tree. Not the greatest chapter in the first place. I don't know. Is that mean to say? Maybe that's a little mean to say. I don't know. That's a little mean. Start piece back here. Yeah, we just walk around these encounters. It doesn't take that long. I think the the puzzling, the thing that makes people aggravate about Chapter Four, is the fact that you don't. Sometimes you don't really know what to do, and I feel like that is definitely true. So you can find yourself wandering back and forth unnecessarily. I feel like if you know what to do, it's not... Like, you only have to do it a couple times. Like, when you don't know what to do, you have to do this for a while. You're Mario, right? What a great name. I really dig this body. Man, I can jump now. You're so popular around here, I get mobbed. I love being you. Interesting. Stole my identity. Identity theft's a real thing. I've got the power to change my shape in anyone I want. Comes in handy. But to be... <laughs> to really be someone, I need to take their name and body, too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, slick... Not enough either. Aim to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge. So I'll give you a chance. If you can guess my real name, I'll get you back to your name and body. What do you say? It'll be fun, right? What's my name? Say my name! It's, of course... We already know. It's... Ah, uh, man. Yes. Tried our best. That's not... Not... White. Wrong Gabundo, little nobody. <laughs> Duquess. It's Duquess. It's Duquess. Get out of there. Alright, where is Vivian? I know she's around here somewhere. Is there something in this tree? There's a bunch of birds. A uh, bunch of birds. Nothing over here. I'll be in there later. Everything's back. No one's a pig anymore, at the very least. What should I do? Poor me. Where is it? Where is it? Somewhere. 
gonna be in like the last one. It's gonna be in the last one. Oh, well, I'll take that. I guarantee you it's gonna be the last one. So far, nothing. Oh, it was not the last one. Second to last one. Not bad. Not the actual last one. Duplex can ambush you in the steeple after you figure out his name. Just say it there. That is. Hey, whoa, whoa! Don't say his name. Spoilers. Put that in spoiler tag. Don't know his actual name. It's broken. No, no, no. I didn't say such a thing. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Uh, don't feel bad. Hey, it's fine. Don't feel bad. Poor Vivian. Used to just being yelled at. What's your name, anyway? Don't you want you to tell me? What? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? <laughs> that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? That's crazy. Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do, and you're worried about that the whole time. It's kind of sad. All right, that's it. Got to help you get your body back in, your friends. And yeah, that is true. Vivian is a male in the Japanese version. Vivian's a female in the U.S. version. All right, we got Vivian. Best partner, actually, though. I think Vivian is not the best partner for every situation, but Vivian is definitely the most consistently useful partner. I love that little explanation screen. Oh yes, we can eavesdrop. That's right, I forget we eavesdrop on the birds. I forget that that's the strat. Eavesdrop on the birds. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, like, Vivian's just an all-around, strong, go-to partner. Probably using Vivian for the majority of the game, actually. I think these are the birds we eavesdrop on in, the, in here. Bird percent. It's that Mario guy meeting with the mayor. He's actually the bad guy, right? Nobody even knows. He was just so dumb. They just want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked in a creepy, ste creepy steeple I hear. Because, you know, if no one knows your name, then you can use unstoppable magic. If someone says your real name, then your magic will stop working. So I wonder how it's going to end up then. Ah, did you hear that? Search under creepy seat. I love, I love, by the way, cricket lace feet, bird percent. Are we doing bird percent? All right, we're going to do bird percent. Listen to all the burbs. Hey, burb, what do you got to say, burb? Burb. Alas, this twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction. Too much of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so that I may free the terror of mundanity. I love that. <laughs> I, I could just picture, I, I love a world in which birds are just actual, insightful philosophers. But you don't know. Hey, Maud, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, God, well, bless my feathers, Flo. Great. Good luck on the bird SATs. Wouldn't he be taking the owls? Uh, that's a Harry Potter reference, but come on. How do you pass that one up? Here's your bird percent, all right? What's up, Slick? Would have done this back in town, but that wouldn't have been looked very good, would it? So, you're the, this is the one who stole your name and body. Looks sort of familiar to me. Get up the chatter. Here's the deal. You get your chance and I stomp you. Guess my real name. All right, we're going a second time. Here we go. Real name. We got it this time. We gotta go with... Oh. Uh, can I... I can't... There's nothing even close. Ooh. Come on, this has to be close. Come on, come on, you gotta give this to me. That's gotta be pretty close. That's gotta be pretty close. Hey, Meow624, good to see you. Oh, come on, it's case sensitive? What? Nobody told me that. Nobody told me that. Good to see you, Meow6. Isn't that weird? One of the letters is missing? Weird. <laughs> Two factor factor authentication. Yeah, we gotta I gotta have an email or something sent to my phone. I gotta enter the code to be able to it's it's complicated. It's complicated. Nice. 
<laughs> oh boy. But yeah, Vivian definitely the most consistently good partner in the game. That's the thing. Never the best at an individual scenario, but as far as just like overall use, most likely Vivian's gonna be able to do something. And that was the exact problem we ran into before. That's gonna hurt. Oh, or is it stupid Goomba dying on his own turn? Ha 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 ha! Ah, that was so hype. That was so hype. Let's go. We can do it again. Ready? We're gonna go two for two. Oh, it doesn't matter. He already did. That was awesome. Yeah, she has a status effect and a cheap attack all. Completely agree. Completely agree with that. That was nice. Can't avoid all these enemies, though. <laughs> Come on, you doubt my ability. You all doubt it. You all doubt my ability. Yeah, it applies burn, I think, or special move does. Um, which is nice. It's not like Watt, where Watt's pierces defense. You might be getting confused with the original Paper Mario. Like this crazy daisy. Uh, let's see. How do I want to handle this? Oh, Fire Flower? Thank you. Thanks. That's handy. In fact... I think that might be the play. Let's do it. Thank you, audience member. We'll put on a show for you. Yeah, Watt is way overpowered. I mean, the point of Watt is, like, you can just... Con Not only does he have the supercharge move for Mario, uh, he doesn't have out of sight, which is very, very good. But, like, the ability to consistently just do five damage all the time, regardless of where the enemy is or any defenses or any status or anything like that, it's just so good. One more. Yeah, there we go. Oh, she, right. That's true. I forget why it's also as a female. <laughs> I saw a fireflow in the audience. They used it on you. That would be pretty funny. Lady Bow does do the most damage, but she does single hits. So if an enemy has a defense point, it doesn't, it doesn't help you. That is true, though. Yep, that's exactly that's exactly right. She does one more point of damage than everybody else because she can do six. Everybody else can only do five. But if the enemy has one point of a defense because they're all individual attacks, it does nothing. And I think that's a good balance. That's cool. Ouch. Uh, let's see. Okay, she's just run Daisy is just running away. That's fine. That's fine. One more star point. That was great. They all ran away. I'd like to get a level up. I probably will. I mean, I'm going to try my best. Now that I know that that room of hell is down to the well where you just get attacked by from every angle by Buzzy Beetles, I'm really going to try to avoid it as best I can. Get around that guy. Oh, Thousand Year Door versus Superstar Saga. Really? Really? We're going down that that road? That's such a tough one. I'd probably say Thousand Year Door, but it's by a by a very slim margin. I love Superstar Saga. In fact, I think it's it's definitely the best of the Mario and Luigi games. Browse Inside Story, I think it's... Look at that! Oh, I almost dodged them all. I got hit by one. I think Browse Inside Story is a close second, but I really love... Uh, I really love Superstar Saga. I think it's just an awesome RPG. Like, I don't know. There's just no, no other word for it. It's an awesome, fun, cool RPG. It's all. It's like when you think Mario and Luigi RPG. It's like that's exactly the type of game you should end up with. Um, they're both really good. But I do love Thousand Year Door. I really do. It's so memorable. 
That's the thing. <laughs> Can we get the super guard counter going again? Come on. Come, what? Who is throwing something? Oh, flower. Thanks. Nice. Go though, girl. Time to guess your name. Oh no. Oh no. Uh Bowser's Inside Story is very good. I, I disagree with you, Mega, on that. That it's overrated. I think it's awesome. Uh, and I think it deserves the praise it gets. But I will tell you that, that Bowser's Inside Story is, is excellent. There we go. Die in your own turn, sucker. <laughs> ah, the Super Guard is so fun. Paper Jam, Paper Jam, I never tried, I never had any interest in trying Paper Jam, I gotta be honest. Um, I played, oh, I, I don't know why I walked back into this giant pile of enemies. Um, I've tried all of the other Mario RPGs, uh, besides Dream Team, I don't think I've played. I think I've played all of the rest, though. I played Mario RPG, I played Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, I played Super, uh, Superstar Saga. I played Partners in Time. I played Bowser's Inside Story. I and Bowser's Inside Story is excellent. I played. What else is there? I played Sicker Star and hated it. Oh, I didn't play Color Splash either. Have not played Paper Jam. Have not played Color Splash. I played. No, I played Dream Team. I'm pretty sure I played Dream Team. Yes, I did play Dream Team. It was fine. It was fine. I don't know. I just really had no interest in playing. Dream Team, yeah, that's exactly what I think about Dream Team. It's like, it was fine. It wasn't very memorable, but like, eh, it was fine. It's got good music, that's true. And that one star point was it, though. Just on that one little buzzy beetle. That's all it took. Ugh. Still so satisfying to do that. The funny thing about Mario RPG is I think Mario RPG is certainly dated. It's certainly a game that you look at and you're like, all right, this is definitely an old RPG. Not just because of the visuals, but like a lot of the mechanics too are not super refined. Look at all those mushrooms. What even the hell? Like why? Okay, but why though? Oh, but why? Why? Like, why is this a thing? Why? Why is this a thing? Yeah. We're gonna make it not a thing anymore. So it, it's it's very it's dated, but like it's still fun, and I think that's a testament to the design of a game like Super, of Mario RPG. It's still fun and quirky and interesting and unique and. I, I do really enjoy it still. And like I said, that's a testament, I think, to how good it is. Certainly, you could look at it, though, and say, yes, it's not balanced at all. There are certain characters and items that are just objectively better than others. Um, it, it's it's definitely got some weird enemies and bosses and mechanics, but it's pretty it's fun. It's still fun. It's got, like, one-time use, one-time things that you can miss, like the frog coins. If you don't get them at specific points, you just can't get them at all. That's very typical of like old school RPGs, but it's still good. Right, there's a tube thing over there. Is there anything this way? No. I love now when you start to investigate and explore. Huh, <laughs> Squawk? What happened to those weirdos who were just here? Ah, whatever. Hey, by the way, it's Parrot Face. Can we get a Parrot Face in the chat? How about that? It's our emote in Discord. Uh, parrot Face. Just a look of complete indifference. Making me guard the name, stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parrot. I mean, I really want a cracker. Dupless, you're a big meanie when feeding time. Uh, uh, Dupless, huh? Uh, Skarrock? 
Uh, uh, pretty bird, pretty bird. I didn't say anything. Uh, good morning, good morning. Pretty bird, pretty bird. He doesn't say anything anymore. Man, am I tired of this stupid parrot battle act? <laughs> uh, squirm! <laughs> it's funny. Zipo key. And the letter P! I can finally spell out his name. Duplus his name. Power Plus, which is very good. And a Mr. Softener upgrade. Uh, speaking of which, I want to rearrange my badges just a bit. So, I really don't need Power Jump, I don't think. Because, really, Spin Jump does the same thing. I do, however, I would, however, love... I don't need this, really. I would love to get this, of course. That's, there we go. That's a little bit better of a thing. Now I don't need to do really tattles at all. I like having the HP bars on screen. I love having the damage dodges. The quick uh, quick camera is very good. Quick change. Now that you have quick change, you will never go back. Have to get to quick change. Do I want multi-bounce as far as my, a 1 FP move? Let me think about it. I could use hammer throw instead. Chill out now. Charge. Chill out's not a big deal. Sleepy stomp. Shrink stomp. Super appeal. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best one. Just cause it may be useful. If you have flipped over a bunch of things, whatever. Oh, quick change is so good. Once you have quick change, you can never go back. No, it's not true 100% run. Nope. Not all tattles. Not all recipes. It's not happening. Cool. Now we can get out of here, though. I don't want to fight these things. Nope. 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 Go away. Go away. Go away. All right, let's put an end to this once and for all. See, that really wasn't that bad. That, I, I think a lot of people blew that out of proportion, the backtracking. Certainly, if you didn't know where to go, you could say, yeah, it, it definitely gets a little cumbersome. But that backtracking wasn't that bad. I have to go back just one more time. I can avoid all, pretty much all the encounters, except one. I think I have to do the crazy daisy that you get after like you go flat into the uh, paper mode. But I think that's it. Oh, yeah, that's right. You do have to go back to the steeple, too, because he runs away. Ugh, I forgot about that. That's okay, though. That's not that bad. Oh, man. Rats. No Amazing Daisy. As long as there's no Amazing Daisy, that's all I care about. Uh, we don't have another AoE besides Earth Tremor. Vivian doesn't have one yet. But, oh, I, I didn't really want to appeal. I kind of wanted to quick change, but whatever. stays and who runs. We got three runners and one stand. Well, just wave to the crowd again. Are you going to stay or are you going to run? Yeah, okay. Get out of here. I think what makes the backtracking probably stand out more is the fact that you, it is tough sometimes to figure out what to do or where to go. Like, if you don't know it. So, like, I could definitely see that as being a thing. Like, not only do you have to backtrack, but, you, like, if you miss something or, or like, you might want to explore and see what's going on. You might not know the story progression 100%. So, like, I could see it, but at the same time, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of blown out of proportion. You don't mind the Chapter 4 backtracking? It's not bad. Like... Playing it now, it's really not bad at all. I'd say Chapter 2 is way worse. Because at least Chapter 4, like, I care about why I'm backtracking. Like, I, I care about the fact that, like, oh, I need to figure this out. And I'm, like, invested. Oh, ho, ho, that's a double hyper block, baby! But, like, you know, with, with normal back... Like, Chapter 2, I didn't care about Flurry's necklace. I didn't care. Oh, we're around the same part? Interesting. Goldo and Girl caught right back up. We'll find out. I think we'll find out for ourselves, Luffy Source. And that's another awesome thing about playing this game, 
It's like, you know, I, I remember Chapter 5 backtracking being a little painful, but, like, is it actually? I don't know. I think we'll find out. All right, you're slightly ahead of me. Ah, stupid spike foot. Really? Really? Uh, ugh. I really don't want to fight this, but I will. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny when it happens to them. It's not funny when it happens to me. Yeah, the last back and forth. It seems unnecessary. Like, I think it probably would have been for the best if it was like, this is it. If this were the final backtrack. And you go back to the town, you guess his name, you fight him, you, you do away with him. The fact that it makes you then go back again to the steeple is probably where a lot of people are like, really? I gotta go all the way back again? Oh, wow. I did not nail that one. We're one for two. Ouch. Nice. That takes care of that. Oh, an ice storm. I was gonna say I'm almost. I have to be almost at 20 items. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Chapter seven gets too much flack. I suppose we'll find out tomorrow when we get there. There we go. Oh yes, one more guess. Well, now that we can actually enter every character in the game. <laughs> Duke, <laughs> Dukeless. There it is. The name spelled out. What? What did you just say? It can't be. No, 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 no. Yeah, see, like this is where it should have ended. It should have ended right here. Like you fight him right here, and that's it. But it's not. See, like now I have to go all the way back. Which really sucks. Like, that should have been the end of the chapter right there. You know? And I, that's one egregious point that I can certainly say yes. Like, why not fight him there? Like, what's the point? I have to walk back for no reason. But definitely not the worst chapter. Chapter 2 is, I, I think, takes the cake with, with the worst chapter. Chapter 3, best chapter. For sure. For sure. We just did Glitz Pit this morning. How awesome is the Glitz Pit? It's so fun. Right, one more Crazy Daisy fight. This might be the last normal enemy. Oh! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Can I kill it? supposed to happen I wasn't supposed to be immobilized wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute oh 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 god oh god what the what what even was that what even was that oh my gosh I got a point swap great great I got a point swap Oh my god, that would have been crazy. That was wild. That was wild. That was wild. That's definitely an epic chat moment. That is definitely an epic chat. Point swap, though. Point swap. Oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. I cannot believe that just happened. I have no interest in fighting this now. But I don't want to run away. Like, think of how you look when you run away from a fight. An ice storm. That would be pretty funny. You get to duplicate. It's like, oh, he's already dead. The amazing Daisy took him down. 
Alright, uh... Ugh. Oh, now I can actually jump, right? I can jump on this. Because he's frozen. Oh, I can't? I can't jump on him if he's frozen? Interesting. I didn't know that. I thought... I thought I'd have free reign to jump on something if he's frozen. Anyway. Yeah, that sounds good. Sir. Sounds good. I thought I'd be able to jump if they're frozen. Guess not. Because I thought it'd be like ice. You know, it's not like an actual spike anymore. Okay. Okay, audience. Okay, audience. Can we not all throw rocks at me? I didn't think I was doing that bad. I guess that's true. Frozen Spike is still a spike. Alright, there we go. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Let's keep on moving. I really want to find another Amazing Daisy now. I really want to find another one. Ugh. We missed, like, our only chance. I got played. I got totally played by the Amazing Daisies. Totally played. Oh, I missed the actual thing to do. That doesn't really matter, actually. I'll still be able to take off the Hyper Clef. Oh, jeez. Let's get rid of this, please. There we go. There we go. Hey, look who it is. Gaia Crusher 9 jumping on in chat. Good to see you, Gaia. Thanks so much for coming on by to support the final stream. This is it. The last weekend of streaming. It's it's going to be pretty impactful at the end, but I don't think it's quite hitting me yet, but oh boy. Oh boy. At the very end, it's going to be a rough ride. Anyway, this was, if I remember correctly, this was, uh, who did this star? Was this, this was Gaia's star, right? This was yours. Was it not? I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's get out of here. Let's end this now. End this madness. The nice thing is now... Oh, yeah. This is, is this, this where demon magic came from? Demon magic! I think that's where that came from. Oh, boy. Good times. Good times going all the way back. Oh, and Corey in the house. DS. Great. Great. Uh, ugh. I gotta move the staircase. I thought the staircase would stay, but I guess you gotta reset it. That's annoying. Cause we didn't, we left, I left it over there, but I guess it resets every time you backtrack and come back. Who moved it then? Was it the Amazing Daisy? Wait, 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 stop. Who moves the staircase back to its initial position? Interesting. It was probably the Amazing Daisy that ran away and moved it. It has to be. It has to be. There's no other explanation. Interesting. Okay, I don't need to fight you. Yeah, Duplis is at the top. So, like, he would have had to move the staircase to get up here. So, like, there's no way. Right? Interesting. Interesting. Probably Flurry. She just, just is terrible. Maybe. Guess it could have been. Okay, let's put an end to this. Hey, you again, Ace. Like, you're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine. Let's put an end to this. Sure thing, Mario. We're right there with you. No! My creep couldn't take us out of his own. So he teamed up with a Shadow Siren. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're going to get a taste of Gonza pain. Gonzalez-style, Shadow Guy. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of this. Mario? The guy who stole your name's body is Mario? That means you're Mario? Yeah, actually. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. What's going on here? Fight with your girlfriend? Don't expect any sympathy from us, ghoulies. Alright, we need to be like, listen. 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 There's one and only. Yuck, 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 yuck. That's right. Okay, Super Mario. Now, it's not worth it, by the way. You can KO your partners and just keep swapping. 
but like it's not worth it. Goombella is not that intimidating or threatening, so it's it's not worth it to actually do that. Just in case you're wondering. Because yes, you could actually take the time to KO Goombella, but it's not it's just not worth it. And if you have Zap Tap, it's like fine. No Vivian though. You do get XP, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Is the chat suggesting kill your partner percent? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't plan on it, but... I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Partner? Really? We're going partner. I mean... I mean... I, I kind of wanted to do the pacifist run, but... You guys really want to do genocide? Like, is this really what we're going to do? We're going to go partner percent? Who's throwing something at- Oh, it's a honey syrup. Yay. Okay. All right. Well, then let's do it. Let the genocide begin. Genocide begin. Hey, Phoenix Dragon Slayer. <laughs> I have to say, it feels pretty good, actually. A little bit of catharsis. Get rid of Goombella, annoyingly telling me, oh, this is Rogueport. Oh, wow. This is the hub of all things shady and blah, blah, blah. I bet you don't know where you are by now. It's like, shut your mouth, Goombella. Sit down. You are pathetic. Who's time? And Koops is like, oh, I, I just gotta, I gotta go save my daddy. Oh, my daddy needs me. Hey, bingo. Oh, he has quick change as well. That's true. Oh, tragic. That is true. Duplis is pretty much a Pokemon trainer. And... Ha! Missed. Takes a point of damage. And that's it for Koops. Get out of my face. Oh, Mario, I'm sorry. I was useless all along. He's like, ugh. Alright, let's see what we got next. Flurry, huh? God. Stage presence attack! <laughs> like, oh god. It's funny when it's when it's you performing that attack, it doesn't seem so bad. When that thing is flying at you, that whole big hunk of woman is flying at you, you're like, oh god! Oh god. <laughs> Everybody hit the deck! <laughs> Everybody get down! <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is so funny. Who's throwing a can at me? Get out of here! Why are you? How did you even get that in the audience? I thought we had security for a reason. Uh, finally, take care of this. Get this nonsense out of the way. Okay, Woo. That was scary. A lot of stage presence. That is true. People sneak food into theaters all the time. Mario, dear, forgive me. Ugh. It's like, useless companions. You know what's funny? 
Something that I'm realizing, I'm, oh god, this is gonna, oh, I don't think this is gonna hurt that bad, actually. Okay, that wasn't bad. Something I'm realizing I'm doing with my, uh, hand, which is really funny on a controller, when I have Vivian's attack, like, I, this must have just been a habit I developed when I was a kid, and I'm just, like, realizing that I'm doing it now, is, because you don't know what the action command's gonna be, if it's gonna be A, B, X, or Y, I found myself, like, my thumb, like, rotates over all the buttons until it lands on the one that it actually is. I'll show you. Hold on a second. So this is gearing up to be a terrible sweet treat. Oh, that's fine. That was fine. So watch. When I do the attack, you're going to see it. It, like, goes over. And, like, I, like, do, like, a little circle around, and I'm like, which one's it going to be, which one's it going to be? Bam. It's pretty funny. Here comes Uncle PK! Coming on in! Ow, that's a tough action, man. That's hard. That's fast. Alright, going for the last bit of partner percent. Sorry, Uncle PK. One more round. <laughs> yeah, I almost had it. Super Mario's hurting. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's gonna, not gonna go well. What? What? Partner percent can't be dead! You're gonna kill the partner percent! No! No! Partner percent has to wait another turn! What? What? Why? Uncle PK is getting the protection. Why? I, I can't. Dude, uh, what do I do? I do nothing. Ah, uh, fine. Uncle PK, you can't hide forever. Alright, this is it. Truly the end. We might as well end it all at once, too. Actually. And we'll take care of this. That takes care of Yosh. Gonzalez, avenge me! Ugh! That's it. No, why, how, partner percent is complete. So we've got cricketless, feet smelling, bird percent, partner percent now. This is a unique playthrough you've probably never seen, never before seen. Huh? Oh yeah. Rats, you kill joys. He just runs away. What? He ran away? I mean, wait, what the heck is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario? We got shell winked? I gotta mistake another for my dear Mario. Yeah, you did. You mistook another for your dear Mario. Oh, yeah. Hey, stick it up for me. Well, thanks to her. I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? Yeah, I only got a chance to murder all of you. It's fine. So you can come right on in the uh, any voice channel. I'll move you to stream guests. And now, finally, actually, chapter four is done. We got the crystal star for real, and we get art attack. And that's the end of chapter four. Pretty much the halfway point of the game now. I think we're almost right on schedule, which is absolutely fantastic. We got a crystal star. End of chapter. And by the way. Bye the bye. That's it. Three more to find. And that means his quest to collect all the crystal stars is half over. Excellent. But what about Beldum and Marion? What became of their doppelganger Duplis? Save all game progress at this point. I absolutely will. And now to celebrate the halfway point, to celebrate the fact that Duplis has been defeated, I'd like to welcome a very, very fantastic special guest to join me today. 
Special, gu special guest, could you introduce yourself? Hello, everybody. Slim Kirby here. I had a gut feeling that you were going to say that. It's almost I mean, you as if you say the, that. You gave me that opening, so... Almost gonna, as if you say it every time. <laughs> that I do. This is Slim Kirby, if you don't know. Friends from a long time ago. Rivals from a long time ago, but ultimately friends in the end. Slim, thank you so much for joining me here today. No problem at all, man. I'm happy to be here um, to celebrate your last content creation weekend. Uh, it's as I've said before, like, we kind of... In a way, like, even though I did kind of start, I guess, two years before you, but, like, it always kind of felt like at the beginning, like, you were always kind of around and you were always there, so, you know, it's definitely nice to, you know, it's something nice to celebrate for sure. That's right. I, I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. I mean, we really, we go back to Insider, 2005, man. Mm -hmm. Maybe probably yeah, before, know. really. We probably ran into each other before, but we really started talking in 2005. It's crazy to start thinking that way. Yeah, I know, man. Definitely. Absolutely crazy. So what are you up to these days? Talk, talk to me. Um, well, um, I'm doing pretty much the same that I've always been doing. I'm still working on YouTube. Uh, picked up Twitch alongside of it. And uh, also been very involved in the randomizer communities as well. Um, I'm actually a moderator or leader, which is kind of like a half admin for the current Link to the Past randomizer tournament. So Nice. I've been doing a lot of officiating on that front, so... Been... That sounds awesome. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Met a lot of great people, and it's, uh, it's been a blast for sure. Nice. Doesn't every game have, like, a randomizer by this point? No. <laughs> uh... there's, there's, there's a lot of them. There's probably about, like, at least 200 or maybe even 300 for sure, but uh, when there's, like, over... Probably even a hundred thousand games. No, no, not every game has a randomizer. <laughs> I love that you actually get that question correct, correct, uh, in the game, by the way, by saying what awaits behind the thousand year door, and you're like, oh, it's a thousand year old demon, and the text just like, yep, <laughs> yep, correct, <laughs> correct. <laughs> it's like, what? Like, Wait a minute, what? <laughs> this is a Mario game. <laughs> uh, anyway, hello, chat. I hope you guys are doing well as well. Yeah, I think everybody's... I, I, I mean, I've been having a great time playing this game, let me tell you that. It's a great game. We picked this as our first CSS project for a reason. Seriously. Seriously. It is. Uh, and that was... It's so fun to think back on that, too. Like, think mm. of all the, the CSS logistics and scheduling and whatnot. That was... Yeah. It was crazy. It's crazy. But it was fun. I mean, I think... We did a good job, I think. Like, even for the, like, final chapter when all of us were there... Like, I think even that went fine. It was it was normally the pit of 100 trials stuff. That's the stuff that was, like, ridiculously impossible to schedule. But, <laughs> that is true. But, like, through the entire project, though, it was, like, really smooth. I remember yeah. we actually did a great job with it. I remember that, too. It was a really good time doing that all together. Um, so, uh, speaking of randomizers... I have not played randomizers, really, at all. Something I've been interested in, though, uh, seems really cool, the idea of a randomizer. You really have to have sort of in-depth knowledge of a game if you really want to ra play a randomizer, never mind speed run a randomizer. Um, <laughs> do you have any recommendations for the community as to what would be good randomizers to start out with if you're looking to play a randomizer? Um, for this question, I normally have two answers. Uh, the first answer, I think, is Link to the Past. Um, just because, mainly because of all the resources that are available, there's a huge community that can help you with stuff if, like, you ever have trouble of knowing what to do or whatnot, and it's a pretty simple randomizer, it's just all the items are shuffled, you have to find them, and the game's not exactly 100% linear, so you can kind of do things in any order, and then pretty much each adventure is different every single time you play, uh, so that's definitely a good one I think to start with and again if you ever need help there's a huge community behind it that will help you out and there's a lot of different tools you can use to figure out something you might be stuck on. Uh, the second one Super Mario Brothers 3 I kind of mentioned this last night in the stream but uh, it's very very cool especially if you like platformers um, it's mainly just levels get shuffled around but um, the entire world map for a world can also get shuffled around, so like warp pipes can be in different places and stuff like that. So 
again, it's a fresh experience each time you play, and it's a lot of fun. So those are the two I would definitely recommend. Uh, you did get it right, though, when you said that, like, a lot of the other ones are pretty pretty intense. You have to know a lot about the games and stuff to figure out how to get through them. So Oh, yeah. yeah sure. Those two are the most beginner-friendly ones, for sure. That's good to know. That's really good to know. And now, can you agree with me on this front? That, remember these Bowser, because we're doing the Bowser water level right now. Yeah, oh, I love this one. Which is really fun. Do you, like, it's hard to imagine, because now there's such a plethora of 2D Mario games, but at mm -hmm. the time of Paper Mario Thousand Year Doors release, the most recent one was Super Mario World, or really Super Mario World 2, if you want to count it, but, you know, that was it. So, That's like, to true, have yeah. these little segments, wasn't it, like, it was just so awesome. It was, like, a little bit of, a little blast of nostalgia, you know? Yeah, well, it was, and it, I believe this was also, like, right before... Um, oh no, I was like, I guess a few years later, but still, like, New Super Mario Bros. was like the next game that was kind of went back to these roots. So yeah, this was, this was awesome at the time. It was such a great, uh, reference to it the was. old Mario games. Oh, was it really Super Mario oh, Bros. Deluxe? Who cares? That's, that's, that's true, Mario Deluxe. But yeah, that's just, that's just a remake. That's a remake. <laughs> that's a port. It had race mode. Race mode. Yeah, racing booze racing or whatever. Booze. Yes. But, like, yeah. I remember I did that for retro achievements. And I just hated it because of like the um, the camera because they had to you know shrink it down or whatever. So it was just it didn't feel right to me whenever I played that. Right. I love all Cammy's Rockhawk garb too. <laughs> <laughs> she had a good time in Blitzville. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was fantastic. House <laughs> uh... <laughs> just burns her. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Um... But yeah, I mean, the randomizers always thought, they always seemed pretty cool to me. Uh, they are cool. They're fun. It seems really fun. And it's cool that that exists, you know? Mm -hmm. It's it's a great way because it, it makes these old classic retro games, like, it gives them more playtime, like, it, more replay value. Sure. Like, I think it's great. Sure. I could see that for sure. What was the first game in which you race a boo? I mean, I guess it would be that one, but like... <laughs> I mean... I mean, so. Deluxe was definitely before Galaxy, I know that. Yeah, oh yeah. Alright, I think we... I don't know if there's any other stops I want to make in Twilight Town. I know I want to go to the item shop and just manage the items a little bit, but... Can you think of anything else I have to do while I'm here? I don't think so. I don't think so, no. Aside from, like, random troubles that'll have you coming back here, but it's different. Right. Maze game randomizer. You oh, have to get oh, back on that one, though. Oh, man. Maze game randomizer. How fun would that be? You know, don't laugh. That was a serious thing. What would, you, what would you randomize? <laughs> I don't know. There wouldn't be much. Just the order in which you do the levels, I guess. But it wouldn't really change much. Yeah. Uh, do I actually need to store anything else? I don't think so. Oh, jam jelly. Oh, you need to go back to the steeples. That's my go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hilarious. I, I wouldn't put that past this chapter, honestly. I know. It's like, oh, hey, the warp pipe's closed. You have to go to the one that's hidden in this creepy steeple to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be actually awful. So now, actually, that we have the cookbook, we can actually kind of beef up our items a little bit because we can use two ingredients at once, which is nice. And mm -hmm. for whatever reason, whenever I played Paper Mario, it was always the first recipe I'd always make was the maple super. I don't know why. I think it was the first one I made when I was a kid, but like, I just don't know. But it's like that seems to be. I just got to do it. Got to make a maple super. It's it's a good value. It's, it's good value. the best. Because ultra shrooms and jelly jam and jellies are so freaking rare, you can at least buy the other two somewhere. So it's like, yeah, just make a nice hybrid of the two items. It's perfect. Right, right. So I don't know, just for whatever reason, just have to make a, a regular table super. I'm not going for recipe percent. Oh my god, recipe percent. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. I, I I recipe percented Paper Mario this game and Super Paper Mario on my YouTube channel. The thing is, and like I think oh I'm God. done with recipes now. <laughs> it's it's fun, but like it's just like what's the point? But other than to look at the recipe board and say, look, I made them all. Mm -hmm. I think that's it, right? You don't get anything. 
Yeah, the worst part of doing the recipe stuff is like those very rare items that you can only find like a certain number of them in the game as it is, or right. Like those are the worst ones. In Paper Mario One, the worst one was anything that required the like dried fruit or whatever. Oh you yeah, yeah, it's a farm and, and yeah, 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 farm poke. It was random. It was random whether or not you'd get them completely from those battles, and I remember that was like the worst part of the Let's Play finding those. That's, yeah, that actually sounds pretty miserable. Where's this go? Oh, right, this goes here. Actually, I'm kind of happy that I found ended up here. I forgot that there was a pipe that went another way to get to the Pit of Hundred Trials. But that's fine, I had to go to the Fountain Your Door anyway. That was totally by accident, but it actually ended up being a it really awesome out. shortcut <laughs> to get back here. The, the sewers are great. Like. Like, even in uh, Paper Mario 64, like, it's just a great way to get take shortcuts around the yes. area. Yes, yes. Yes, it is. Now, i got to ask you the question, of course. Rogue Port versus Toad Town. Hmm. Rogue Port's more interesting, for yes. sure. It, that's pretty yeah, much I'd my say opinion. Rogue Port. That's my opinion. Yeah. I think P Toad Town is more, yes, it's like your typical Mario-esque hub world where everything's all happy and this and that. But Rogue yeah. Port is far more interesting to explore. And Paper Mario 64 is my second favorite game of all time behind yeah. Mario World. So, like, I love Paper Mario 64 and I love Toad Town. It's just that Rogue Port's more interesting. Can't really argue that. Right. Toad Town doesn't have a noose, exactly. It does not have a noose in the center of town. That is true. <laughs> that is true. It does, it also, it does, also, does not have a mafia running it. <laughs> yeah, it really. It has the Toad Sisters, but that's about that's it. That's it. Oh, man. So. So what other games have you been playing recently besides randomizers? Um, I've been trying to play a lot of uh, the newer games on stream. As they've come out, I finished Luigi's Mansion 3 uh, this oh. past week. Uh, fourth wall breakage, by the way. This is where it all starts. <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't know why. When I saw this, I'm like, what, 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 why is this necessary? Why must they break the fourth wall? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, Luigi's Mansion Three. I if, the more I see of it, the better it looks. It's a pretty solid game. I was really impressed by it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, aside from that, uh, I mean, as far as re let's plays are concerned, I did start a replay of Mario Party 3 today, which was one of my very first Let's Plays, which... That was back. Back in 2008. That was <laughs> that way back. First time. Mario Party 3. Mario Party 3 is so... It's so good, but it's such, like, BS sometimes. It's... Yeah. Like, it has, like, some of the... It has some of the best minigames, but it also just has some of the worst minigames. That is true. <laughs> that is true. And also some of the um, the craziest AI, where AI is just like the AI is insane. So insanely on point with their strategies. They they don't fail. Um, the I forget the name. Frigid Bridges, I think. Oh but yeah, the one the one we carry the ice box. You can't beat them in that. <laughs> you just can't. You just no. lose. I know. I know. Yeah, I'm, I agree with Grim though. Mario Party 2 is the best though. It is. It is. I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with that. And the beat goes on. Don't forget about that. Oh god, it goes on way too long. The beat goes on and on <laughs> and on and on. <laughs> uh. Anyway, all right. While I'm here, I think I'm gonna accept the trouble for Miss Mouse, and for. Oh yeah, that's right. That's yeah, there. I can do that now. And I think there's one more that's important that I can do. This one I can do. Elusive Badge, right? Oh, and it's Zesty's Legendary Book. That's right, yeah. Uh, I guess. That's good. And you can't quite do the uh, up arrow thing yet, right? Uh, what do I have to do for that? I don't remember. It's like in hook. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, you need the next partner. That's right. You need the next partner for that? Yeah. It's I in mean, Hooktail's Castle then is behind this the wall. Worth... Don't you have to go to Hooktail's Castle to do this thing? Or am I thinking of 
Uh, you getting... do. Yes. I do. To do the Miss Mouse one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why correct. not just ditch? I think I might ditch it. Can you ditch it once you accept it? Um, I think it'll like it'll still be active, but you can leave it until you're ready to go there. Like it, it won't be like, oh, you can't leave Toad Town. You have this trouble going on or anything. So. Yeah, I'll get it. Thank you. Oh, you, oh, that's right. Yeah, you got okay, yeah, You want to do, you want to do the, the zesty thing too? Yeah. That's right. Cause I'll do I'll do the uh, all that one like at the same time. That's probably a good idea. Not like Miss Mouse really helps in this next chapter anyway. No, she, so. <laughs> she doesn't help really at all. So I'll, I'll get her after chapter five. That's fine. It's not a big deal. I do like having her steal items and badges though. I think that's really a nice thing. Yeah. Hey, Miss is so serious in chat. I, th I feel like I haven't glanced at the chat in a little bit. Phoenix Dragon Slayer, gotta give a shout out to you. Magnus 8M is here. Magnus, a great guy. Ooh, Magnus, yeah. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? Zesty. Yes. Legendary Chef, reading the book, hard to find. Used to live in Creepy Steeple, must be in Creepy Steeple. Probably somewhere in Creepy Steeple. Uh, but guess what? I got a book for you, because I've already found it. Okay. I'm just going to go crazy. Make a good make a good thing. Yeah, happy Saturday. Hopefully you're enjoying your Saturday. We've been here for about four and a half hours so far. Only five and a half more to go. <sighs> Love me some Paper Mario. I don't know, Slim. I still have no idea how you did the 28-hour stream. It's it's definitely a time commitment for sure. Um, I honestly didn't really feel that bad after the 28 hours. Um, if you kind of have your mindset to it and you like adequately prepare for it ahead of time, like it's not too bad. I just don't know. I don't know. I think I would have actually gone crazy. Like my mind would have melted. That's too much video games. My eyes would have bled. <laughs> Like, during the last randomizer run, I was kind of starting to really feel it. And I, like, <laughs> I think I even, like, nodded off at one point for just, like, a few seconds. It's like, oh, but, uh, oh yeah, we're still playing. But, but all I did was just, I was like, okay, I need to go to the bathroom really quick. Went to the bathroom, splashed some water in my face, and I was pretty much good for the rest of it. So That's it's, funny. You just, you just have to kind of have, like, the mindset for it. If you just, right. like, plan, like, the day before, oh, hey, I'm just going to do this for 24 hours, you're not going to make it. You just need to kind of, like... Prepare for it through the week to kind of go to bed a bit earlier each night or something, and then just kind of yeah, or even later to an extent too. So right. Okay. I think this should give me a shroom steak if I remember correctly, but it might. I hope it's not a mistake. We're gonna find out. Big mistake. Could be big mistake. Forty-one hours. I don't know if we I'm gonna something. do that. We got something. <laughs> Forty-one hours. Jeez. I would, oh, I would never do it. I would never do a two-day stream. That would be... Ugh. That'd be pretty wild. Yeah. That'd be pretty wild. 48 hours. Oh, my God. I can't... I don't think I can stay awake for long. Consecutively. Like, that's that would be the difficulty. Mm hmm Ultra Shroom? Maybe. I'm going to see the bad shot first. Do a little bit more exploring around Rogueport, and then head off to Chapter 5. Now, speaking of best chapters, Chapter 5... <laughs> That was probably my chapter. That was great. It's a pretty good chapter. It has a little bit of the kind of annoying backtrack stuff at the very beginning, but once you get to the, like, grotto, it's, like, really solid. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think I want... Alright, cool. David Alexander asks if we've played Castlevania for 3DS. I have not at all. <laughs> like, not on my radar of games to play at the moment. The the only Castlevania game I've played is all the way through is 4 on Super Nintendo. Super Castlevania 4? What a great game. Excellent. It's pretty solid. It's hard, but it's It's, it's really fun. hard. It's really hard. Mm-hmm. But it's wicked fun. Um... Let me hold on. I gotta explore a little bit. Let me ask you this: Are have you played Wargroove, and are you excited to play the custom Wargroove campaign, Slim? Come on, man. I have played Wargroom, uh, Wargroove. Wargroove. Uh, I've played it. Wedding edition. It's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty solid. Um, 
I'm, I'm still kind of more partial to just like the advanced wars mechanics, but I do really like the customization campaign stuff. Like that's really really neat. And yes, I am excited to play your scenarios. I will I will even stream the scenario. Oh my gosh, that is the best news. Do I, are you sure? You don't want to take that back because I'm gonna start advertising it. If that's yeah, the case. I'll, I'll stream them. I don't mind. Slim Kirby, you heard it here first. Streaming the 41 Alliance plus Mega Squad Wargroove campaign. It's coming out December 9th. You heard it here. But first. Mega's, Mega's streaming it first. Mega's so streaming it first. His first. Yes, Mega's streaming it first. He gets first dips. He does get first dips. But there we go. I don't know. I mean, you may be in it. You may not be in it. No one, who knows? It's fine either way. Who knows? Do you really think, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know how you'd appear in the campaign, I guess. Guess you'll have to find I, out. I, I did not say that, Meow Sticks. You definitely misheard me there. I'm not playing what did Incredible Meowsticks, Maze. What did Meow Sticks say? He said I'll be streaming the Incredible Maze. You'll be like streaming you... the Incredible Maze? Nope, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know why I've seen, I've seen enough of that game. God. God. See, you can give the maze game all the flack in the world, for sure. But at least, like, it's not bad. Like, oh, no, the maze God. game's not bad at all. It's fine. fine. It's just a little computer game, right? But, like, Incredible yeah. Maze is just an abomination. You know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, just for the record, I don't know if people know, or it's, like, general knowledge within the chat, but uh, Mega Freak 400 did all the graphics for the maze game remastered. Like, he, he, did. he redid all the sprites and stuff. So, like, that's all his work. That's why it looks that's so pretty. And that's why he has, like, all the uh, ghost images as his icons. Right, right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So. I, yeah, what? I, I don't think that game is accessible anymore. Is that true, then? If it was only on the Wii Shop channel, then I don't think you'd get it anymore, right? I hope not. I mean, it's for the best, but it no is, one can no, it get is. it anymore. Oh, it is for the best. I mean, I have it still, because I, 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 I still, paid for I still, it. I still love when you streamed it, when you went back to it, and the dazzle froze during the last level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love love thinking about that one. <laughs> but I did it again. Oh, that was so rough. It didn't stream any of it, did it? <laughs> <laughs> and none of it's on the screen at all. Uh, I don't think this room is relevant to me. Okay, yeah, that, that was pretty rough. Under. That was pretty rough. Hey, Jeremy is the boss. 12, thanks so much for the follow. Appreciate that. All right, yeah, we have all these items. That's right, you have gold bars. I forgot about that. All these ridiculously expensive things. The gold bars are used for some recipes, right? Like, or... uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Which is weird. But yeah, they're very weird items. I don't know why they're, they exist. Balance board percent. <laughs> Balance board percent. <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh... Oh, and here's Dazzle. This is this is who gave the name to the capture card. That's right. That's inspired right. by this inspired NPC. Inspired by that NPC specifically. <laughs> I still use my same Dazzle from 2009. What have you used That's... now to capture standard definition uh, footage? I've been I've been using um, I've still been using my Elgato HD. Uh, there's connections for. Um, Kind of older consoles the quality isn't like perfect by any means but i mean it's it's old games They're, they don't need to look perfect <laughs> right 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 that's the thing like even for mario party 3 like i had to just kind of like mess with the like quality a little bit but it's it looks fine yeah right can refresh this might as well do that now Oh yeah, that's true. Gold bars are also used for like just having right, money. You just hold them. Yep. Just to store more and more cash. By the way, we will mm -hmm. be getting quite an influx of cash later on. Oh, that's we, right. Because we invested. You... Mm-hmm. So, hopefully that'll pay off. I think that's like chapter seven. That all comes to fruition. But we'll see. Hello, everybody. I love Clam Chowda, Hexen, and the Maze Game. <laughs> Honestly, only two things on that list I do actually like. Like, <laughs> uh, what do you mean you don't like clam chowder? No, no, clam chowder is not one of the things <laughs> I is one of the things I like. Uh, clam chowder was good. I remember enjoying that one. I, I'm telling you, I'm telling everybody, everybody all craps all over it, and they're like, oh, blah blah blah. 
Clam chowder. It's just a meme. This and that. It's good. It's really good. I, I, I just love seafood in general, though, so that's there not too surprising. There you go. You know what else is good? Pieces. Pieces. Pieces is very good. It's game of the year for a reason. I've heard. So I've heard. So I've heard. Hey, uh, Pixel. Yeah, Pixel's been... Pixel is like... Isn't Pixel like just amazing? Actually, though? Yes, he is. Pixel stops by the chat all the time. Pixel's always here, giving the support. Pixel's just a, just a chill guy. Mm -hmm. Alright, anyway. We have to go to the like in right because we're about to be pirates yes you are about to be pirates okay time for pirate percent one piece percent <laughs> one piece percent <laughs> all right let's go on in and let's see who we got here looks like this guy right here oh luigi of course yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, luigi lead my fleet luigi <laughs> What is missing from my life? This tears at my very insides. I must know. I'd say probably thrills. Thrills, you say. I suppose one need if it does need some thrills every now and again. I like a good feeling of being alone on a mountain or starving to death. Ah, no, foolish Flavio, not chills, silly man. I mean, thrills. It's like essentially just pirate Shakespeare. I bet Flavio got punched a lot as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely dropped on his head more than once. He was the target of much bullying. His yes. lunch money was stolen quite often. It was. But look who got the last laugh. He is the one that has this red skull thing. Yeah. So. You know about the Flavio glitch in this game, correct? Yes, it's pretty hilarious. It's pretty funny. Flavio just appearing in a peach cutscene. <laughs> yep, yep. So the Flavio glitch, for those in the chat that don't know... It pretty much involves, because Flavio does temporarily join your party, quote-unquote, as a follower. Like, kind of like the Yoshi Egg does in Chapter 3, where he just follows you around. But there is a glitch that you can do to sequence break part of the game. And then, because it never triggers the fact that Flavio leaves your party, he just stays forever. And in fact, mm -hmm. it does become an instance where there's two Flavios, because you can, cause Flavio reappears as an NPC yeah. later, and he, but he's still in your party, so it's pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like you have to like glitch into like the sewers so you can access the pipe to Keyhole Key so you can leave Keyhole Key with Flavia. It's pretty. Yep, funny. that's exactly how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. And it's really not that hard if you want to try to do it. You can look it up uh, mm -hmm. for anyone watching. And it's it's really some of the glitches in this game definitely are elaborate, but that one is really just like, mm -hmm. hey, move this way, move this way. You know, do this hammer attack, face right, and jump. And like that's pretty much it. So, there's not much more to it than that. All right, I guess we're about to set sail. Look at our scurvy crew. That one guy looks a little suspicious. But oh, that's just that's just Papatch. He's a cool guy. Just a bob -omb pirate. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think anybody that's, else uh, looks, looks that, that bone, uh, like... The bone wind-up thing on, his, on the yeah. back? That's so cool. Like, how cool is that? Are you talking about, sir? I'm saying I have a solution. Yeah, I don't see anyone else who really looks that suspicious, if you ask me. Admiral Bobbery. Bossa boom. Problem solved. Let's scout out this Bobbery fellow and get him on board. Boom, bossa, boom, and he's like, ball. that's Mario's job, right? <laughs> sure. Because I can't do anything. Correct. All right, where is Bobbery anyway? Where do you actually go to find him? Do you go back to the to the inn? To mm, no, I think it's. I know it's on the right side of town, like the far right side. Oh, it's, it's like way over here. Yeah. Let's see where he is. He's, he's in his house over here. Is this his house? No, this is the other guy's house. Oh, is it? It's in the back, isn't it? Something like yeah, I believe now, so, yeah, yeah, because now you can go actually in the back, and you could actually, yeah, you can explore this area now that I have Yoshi. That's right, that's right. Because now that I have Yoshi, I can actually get well, I could do this. This isn't really relevant, but I could do this now. If I unless I mess up, you can, you can jump in the water now, yeah, jump in the water. Right. That is true. 
Oh, well, I could just do it again. This is why we need a captain. I can get eaten <laughs> over and over. I can do this. Get over there. I it can isn't make this, right. You, you should be able to. But it is, it is nice that they, like, right, don't give you, like, a fish partner this time because just at all the water in Rogue Port just has those mechanical piranhas in it. I know. Right, so that's that. So I go in here? It's locked from the inside. That's got to be it. So how do I get there? I go back here. Hmm. I remember is this something to do with like two Mario? Something to do with this? Oh wait, do I do this? No, 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 no. Something to do with something. I'm vaguely remembering. Because I know I gotta get up there. And that means I have to get over here. And that means that means something. What does that mean? Oh, that means I can do this! Oh, I'm yep. figuring it out. Oh, I, I just <laughs> I, fell in the water. I, I was waiting for that to close. Waiting I just fell in the water again. Yes, you did. That means I can go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sploosh. Kaboom. Sploosh. All right, cool. And then there's more stuff up here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this guy's up here, too. Grifty. Oh yeah, that's right. Him. It's like, yeah, you can like, he does a bunch of lore and stuff. It's pretty cool if you actually listen to it all. But it's just more, more world building, which is always a good thing. Yeah. He's back there. I forgot about that guy. He's like so like I never really have anything to do with him. But anyway, there he is. What do you blokes want? Best partner, by the way. Best partner. Coolest partner. I don't know if you agree, but definitely cool. Uh, I'm I'm still pro Viv Vivian more, but I mean, pretty cool too. I mean, Bobbery's cool. I think Vivian is overall the best, but. Mm -hmm. So I think. <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs> Never heard of him. So I think we talk to him and you say he doesn't go. So you go back to the boat, right? I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. Um. No, because you have to have, like, the, like, kind of, like, backstory of him play out as well. So that's, like, to go that's the later. Or or that, oh, the bar. That's right. That's right. You have to talk to the bartender and be like, what's the deal? Mm -hmm. What's going on? I remember all that now, now that you bring it up, for sure. For sure. All right. Yeah, three shine sprites and yet no one to use them on. I know. I know. And it also sucks is you don't even get Bobbery like on your team until oh, after all of this, so it's like you can't even use them on him before you leave. Right. Let's try now talking to these people. Okay, ask someone in the neighborhood. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's try it again. Just wandering all around. Ask someone in the neighborhood. Better ask Goomfree or Goomther or whatever his name was. Goomther. <laughs> See, I thought you had to do all the troubles up to that one to get into nope. part. This is like, what the heck? You have to do anything. Is it Frankly? Let's try Frankly. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I think it is Frankly, actually. Yeah. Try frankly. Let's see. Frankly, then the bartender. Okay. Yeah, I talked to frankly. I talked to the bar. Do I have to go then the bartender? No, I think you can go back to Bobbery now. I think I can go yeah. back to him now. I don't think you have to. Yeah, I think you can go back in the house. Yeah, no, we definitely know it's him. Okay, there we go. 
drop the axe super stash. <laughs> His mustache is pretty epic. Now, that's something PK would actually say, too. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it would, it would be. Drop <laughs> now the axe super stash. Okay, so now we can go to the bartender. Now it's the bartender. Ugh, oh, jeez. Isn't it annoying, like, when you know exactly what to do, but just, like... Yes. But since it's not your first playthrough, you forget about all those little steps in between that, so... Right. Yeah, so now we get the story. I can take the sad story. We can take it. This is actually very tragic. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... The most deep, like, partner development, I think, in the entire series. So. I think for sure. For sure. And I was talking to uh, X and Shadow earlier about this before you came by. Isn't it a shame that, like, the partners in the future Paper Mario games, like Super Paper Mario, just, they, they are not developed at all. Yes, when you meet them, those little dialogue scenes are super fun and funny, mm -hmm. but, like, after that, they have zero development. Like, the characters in this game actually seem like real partners and real characters, you know? Yeah. Like, Paper Mario 64 did a little bit of it, but they really went, like, above and beyond in this game. Right. It's like someone said, like, uh, Goombario and Cooper in the original are really just the same character. <laughs> yes, they are. They have the same exact personality. That's why. Coops is not, like, my favorite, but at least he's different. Yeah. Hashtag kill Coops. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Partner percent. That was awesome. <laughs> That was fun. I've never actually done all of that. To murder all I, I haven't done that yet. I've done that a lot. That's fun to do. So has there been, like, one, like, uh, condition you've done in, like, every chapter or something? Or... Uh, not quite yet. We did, I'm trying to think, really only did, chapters did... 1 and 4. We did, okay. we did Smell Feet Percent, and we did Smell Feet and Cricket, cricket List, list. Yeah. and then we did Burb Percent, or we listened to all the birds. And okay. kill partner percent. <laughs> trying to think of like what other ones exist. That I know. I'm trying done. to think too. I don't really know. This song is very sad. Oh yes, we were looking for a navigator. Yeah. Let's go. Flavio percent. No, we're not going to do the skip. Because I want to actually show off the game. Like, I want to play the game properly. Mm -hmm. I skipped a bird tree. Are you kidding me? There's no way I skipped one of the trees. I mean, if, if you did, I mean, you'll have to go back there anyway at some point. So you'll just... I'll listen to the birds when I go back. Got a complete bird percent. Oh, with General White. Don't you, you have to go back there with General White? Probably. Yep. Great. <laughs> you do. Great. Okay, here we go. Set and sail for Keel Hall Key. You Let's pretty go. much go everywhere with General White, so... Just every <laughs> chapter again. Oh, God. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. I really don't. I don't know either. I mean, I think it would have been cool if he was in Petalburg, which is where you see him. And, like, that was it, though. You just went to Pedalburg, and you got him. You were like, oh, yeah, I remember that guy. But no. That, yeah, that, that, like, would be, that would be interesting because, yeah, that's the place you see him. He, he seems like he's, like, a you know a character that sticks out like a sore thumb. Right. Like. Interesting. Maybe you're right to think something a little suspicious is going on. Hard to say. And maybe in, like, each area there could be a character that could kind of give you, like, maybe a hint of where he could be or something. Like... Mm -hmm. Key to Pirates, Chapter 5. The Key to Pirates. Alright, setting sail for Keel Hall Key. 
Uh, one thing that is pretty funny um, is I can now no longer, like, this sound does not sound right to me. I can only picture the scene playing with a pirate's life for me now dubbed over it. Because that's what I did in the CSS Let's Play. <laughs> and I remember messing around with that when I was doing it in the editor, uh, like a video editor, and it just yeah. fit perfectly. Like, it was just the right time. And I was like, I didn't have to edit it at all, like, for length. That's awesome. It just so happened to work out. And I'm like, this is crazy. I, f I forgot, was it you or PTM, or I guess it could have been anyone else, but, like, whenever someone used Art Attack, and they actually, like, put in the Shazams. That like... was PTM, I'm pretty sure. It was not Okay. Because he did it for Chapter 6. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That was very funny. Shazam! <laughs> Shazam! But we can all agree, of course, that the best Crystal Star Studio Let's Play, it's not even a question, that was Wind Waker with Mega, Gaia, and myself. I don't know. Halo, though. <laughs> uh, Didn't even pick one I was in. <laughs> oh, Halo. Halo. Uh, although, Kirby's Dream Course is an all-time uh, classic. That's, that, that multiplayer session is legendary. All-time like, classic. Yeah. All -time Advance Wars 2. I, I was even a part of Advance Wars 2, and I wasn't too fond of that one, honestly. <laughs> yeah. We Compete was fun. Mega, We Compete was crazy. I'm sure K-Man and I will talk about it a little bit later, because K-Man's coming on later today. But mm -hmm. that was that was not easy to make. Like, because those games, some of those games are a pain in the butt. Like, beating We Play Tanks, for example. Like, that's crazy to do that. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's true. Nintendo, you can actually play Dream Course online now. Yes, you can. Oh, it's on boy. Super NES. Oh, boy. Could do it. We could do it. Good. But, um. W Wind Waker was a really good CSS project. Like, I even. I did Wind Waker this year, and even I, like, made references to, like, Gaia's friends. <laughs> it's all Gaia's friends. Like, again, it was memorable. You can't deny that. Yes, it was. Yeah, we... <laughs> that's exactly why it's a block. We didn't do it. Because we were like, oh, we could do We Play Plus. And then we're like, We Play Plus sucks. Like, <laughs> how do I do that? So, we compete. little bit shipwrecked over here on our way to Keelhaul Key, but we did we do wash up on shore eventually, which is good. Eventually, for sure. Eventually. Okay. All right. Let's check. This out. I love the music of Keelhaul Key. By the way. Really cool. Oh, that, that is one thing you could do. Whack a percent. <laughs> Whack a percent? <laughs> That's right. I think we'll have hit, to do that. Hit him every single time you're on. I think screen. we'll have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Whack a percent. It would have been cool, actually, because you know, in the original Paper Mario, the Whack was originally a boss fight was planned, or it's, I guess right. it's the yeah, beta it or whatever. Better. I know a lot of ROM hacks have kind of brought that back. But how cool would it be if they actually put that into this game? That would have been pretty neat. I think they, um... There's like a... Kind of a ROM slash Kaizo hack of the original Paper Mario where they put that back in. Yeah. Or something. Oh, so, I think Grim's actually talking about that right now. <laughs> yeah. Master Quest making Rock Hard Tough enemies crazy. Alright, here we go. Ghosts. Yeah, nah, uh, Mega was in Advance Wars 2. That was me, PTM, PK, and uh, k -Man. Luckily, none of these things are actually that hard. I'm thinking if I should equip uh, Ice Power just for this chapter, probably. Yeah, Ice Power is pretty good for this chapter. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I remember. I remember it was those four because, like, we, like, us four were like really, really into like Advanced Wars by Web at that point when we did that Let's Play. Oh my Let's God, play, like, so fun! I kind of you and Mega played sometimes too, but like, like us four had like games like all the time. <laughs> I think I can punch fire with it, man. Nope, no, I cannot. I take that back. Yeah, f yeah. I think even if you use like fiery jinx, like, what? It's with all the rocks. I think fiery jinx actually like either restores health or it makes uh yeah, like more than a gear or something. Let's yeah, I saw out. that you. Tr I saw that you tried to bring advanced wars by web back uh, on your dis on the Discord server. That does it heals them. That's funny. Yeah. That is funny. I never knew that. I and it never makes another one. It makes another one, too. That's crazy. It healed and then actually spawned a new one. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's wild. Neat. Then, then, you get, then you get your next partner just like does like double damage against them. So That's pretty cool. We're doing some art attack. Oh, God. Control's not easy. Art attack is so good, though. Shazam! <laughs> Shazam! 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 <laughs> Love it. Love it. I did text PK, by the way, to say, yeah. we have this going on all weekend. You're more than welcome to come by. We even have our partner, Uncle PK. But, you know, it's tough. No, I, I haven't heard from him or seen him. So. Yeah, not since not since the. Although you you said you mentioned you got a hold of him at some point, like in between the streams, right? Like, did you find like his Steam name or something? Oh yeah, that came up uh, last. That came up last time, where for it was for Stream Forty One, way back, uh, okay. when PK showed up for during Mario Sunshine because I he logged onto Steam once. And I was streaming when he logged on, and I saw the little notification in the corner. It was like, the Pasta King is online. And I was like, stop everything. Stop <laughs> everything. Uh, that wasn't for, was that not for Stream 41, or am I misremembering that? No, I think Stream 41, 41 was Sunshine. I like, texted that was... him. But yeah. I definitely saw PK online and, and messaged him. And to oh, 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 I told him to join the Discord server is what I told him. And I said, I was like, you gotta come, you know, you gotta come by the Discord server. It's great. Like, we still have the active community going and this and that. And he was like, oh, I'll be sure to make my grand re entrance at some point. <laughs> oh my god, that's what he would say. Too. And that was like a year ago. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Blood Angel, Varanus, said, had to go get groceries from Slim Kirby's stream and come back to Paper Mario. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I was doing that qualifier earlier. Oh, groceries from Slim Kirby? Like, was yeah, that like your my, stream? Yeah, like my grocery store, yeah. Ah, got it, got it, got it. I own a grocery store now. That, okay. I'll just say, <laughs> that's cool. Branching out, entrepreneurship. I wish I had a grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> I need more money. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I need more money. <laughs> grocery store would be pretty cool. <laughs> Content creation's not as lucrative as it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Grocery store would be pretty cool. What would you sell? Clam chowder, of course. I mean, I, that'd be hard to get, like, fresh supplies of that in Indiana, of all places. That's but... true. Sure. I feel like I could definitely see you owning an arcade, though. Like, wouldn't that be cool? That would be neat. Yeah, that would be neat, for sure. I gotcha. I gotcha, Blood Angel. I'm following now. I'm following now. Okay, Verona's corrected what they were trying to say. <laughs> yes, I got it. It's like, yeah, we, we, there we were groceries we at Slim's stream? That's <laughs> cool. I want to go. That was a pretty good qualifier, though. 28 out of 70. Not bad. Top yeah. half. Yep. Not bad. So how often do those qualifiers happen? Is it every week? Well, no, like, um, it, it's, they're qualifiers for a tournament that's oh, specifically about for a to tournament. start. And it's a yearly tournament that we have, so. That's awesome. Oh, I finally, finally ran out of item space. 
I don't know what to drop. I mean, I have a bunch of garbage. Uh, I, I guess I'll have to use some of them. Um, get rid of the courage. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's right. You got the strange sack. Last yeah. Night. Yeah, I did. It's like, you have a lot of items. More than I thought you could hold. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, casually hacking the game. We're going to use our mini Mr. Mini, I guess. Go ahead and use I, I, I do feel like they added, like, a lot of very unnecessary items in this game. <laughs> right, right. And I mean, like I... Mini Mr. Mini? I like... know, I know. I mean, I say, like, fine, you know, whatever. I guess variety is never a bad thing. But at the same time, like, am I going to spend my turn dropping all enemies attack by two? Or am I going to spend my turn actually defeating them? Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of RPGs actually run into that problem where, you know, there's a lot yeah. of, like, creative things that RPGs try to do. But at the end of the day, it's like I could just, just you know, like, defeat the enemy with an attack. Like, you could be like, oh, but you could paralyze and prevent them from this and lower their de defense and this and that. It's like, yeah, but, like, I could also attack them and just kill them. Yeah. Like, it makes sense in games like Final Fantasy where you have, like, uh... Um, you know, commands where you can, like, steal stuff from enemies. Right, right, right. Can, like, morph commands or something, like, stuff of that nature. Like, that's, that makes sense, but you don't really need a lot of that in this game. Right. Oh, jeez. Hey, hey, we missed the attack, but at least we, we got a little flashy at the end. There. I, I mean, I can't even see the enemy, I like, know. at all. <laughs> well, he just died on his own turn, so it's fine. Good old Mini Mr. Mini. Mini Mr. Is that Mini. card shell still here? It is still here. The stage is messing you up, yes. Stage hazards. Should have played on the final, be uh, final, the uh, final destination version of the stage. I know we should have, should have. So Slim, how ex now that I have you on stream, I can finally ask you, how excited are you for Animal Crossing? Oh, I am very, very excited for Animal Crossing. I can't wait to play that. I can't wait to stream that. Um, because. One of the things I've always tried to do with Animal Crossing is, like, you know, kind of getting, like, all the fish, filling up all the museum, do all that stuff. Like, just almost even make it, like, a full year through the game. And I was so close with New Leaf. Like, I actually made it, like, I think almost 11 months of 12 months for a single year. I had only, like, a few more fish to go. That's pretty to cool. fill up the entire catalog. I just stopped playing it, and I haven't gone back since. So, like, with how good New Leaf was, I'm expecting Horizons to be, like, even better, so... I know. I actually agree. Like, I think that's what I intend on doing with this Animal Crossing game, is actually playing it for a year, at least. Mm -hmm. And, like, I, I will admit, I will use time travel, because, like, I'm not gonna just, like, turn on the game and be done after, like, three minutes, like... Yeah. I want to play more of it, so I'll, I'll probably time travel. I don't care. <laughs> I don't see now. That's the thing. I'm curious because Mr. Rossetti's kind of out of a job because the game's gonna have auto save presumably or some sort of cloud mm -hmm. save. The question is, this fuzzy is just chilling. Uh, the question is, is Mr. Rossetti's new thing gonna be time travel, like changing the system clock? Uh, it might be, and if it is, that will be kind of a shame, but. I'm sure I'll still get enjoyment out of it. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to it's hard to say because people can say, "Oh, I think they I think they're getting rid of it," but like, no one has the game yet. I know. <laughs> I know. People could find a way around it in some way. There could even be a feature in the game that's like maybe advance a day or something. I don't know. I know. I'm very excited, regardless. I really can't wait. And also, with, like, all the Smash Bros, like, fake leap bullcrap stuff, like, I'm... I, I, I really don't want to believe anything, like, 
just any other person would say that, oh, no, they're going to take it out. No, like, I'm waiting until yeah, no. there's actual game confirmation. Right, right, right. Of course. Of course. Absolutely. Oh, I need to switch partners. By the way, for anyone just joining, uh, this is day two of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Weekend. We are here right now with Slim Kirby. We're on Chapter 5. Uh, Slim Kirby, a great friend, and rival-ish, but more of a friend to me, if you even want to use that word. Uh, but really, I mean, the rivalry was fun, but it was largely yeah. a joking kind of thing, you know? It was all in good fun. It was all just because the number 41 just appeared everywhere. That and, did happen. And, and you were always just like, hey, 41, so great, such a great number about it. So it's like, that's <laughs> how it kind of started. Like, that is true. That is true. And I then, don't actually hate the number 41, though. Just... Wait, 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 hold everything. Can we get I that said, on record? I said that, I said that that much. Oh, that much. <laughs> ah, well, well, I'm sure someone could edit that. Good job, good job catching that courage shell like three times. <laughs> I know, it's like, get out of here, courage shell. I don't want you. No, Bobbery is getting attacked by two minor enemies that I could easily defeat myself. <laughs> he can easily defeat them. He's like super effective against the fire enemies. <laughs> I know. And hey, you, out there in front of the TV, I'm talking to you. Maybe pretty obvious who I am, but no telling Mario or else. <laughs> I, <love that. laughs> I just think that's so unnecessary. <laughs> it is. It is totally unnecessary, but funny. Now, if they did stuff like whenever you talk to him, he'd say, like, buh or something. Like, yeah, that'd right. be, oh, okay, that's it. Like, I don't know. It is un super unnecessary. Oh, I can't actually hold the coconut. All right, am I actually going to use a ruin powder? Probably not. Confuse all enemies. Also, by the way, look at the, the, the scaling in the back. That ruin power just crushed any life forms that were on that island. <laughs> it's so huge. <laughs> Those gigantic ruin powder out there. I mean, I, I, I'm sure there could be people who could, who probably wouldn't figure out that is crump. I mean, just like even, even like kids, for example, like you know, when they're playing something, they just kind of like just play through. They don't really pay attention to stuff like that. Right. For me, the big Don't giveaway is like seeing like someone in his shape, and then they have that X knot like at the very end of the pier, being like, "Oh, our person got on board, or whatever." I don't really know why this constitutes as a mini boss, to be honest, but oh, it is. It's not. <laughs> it's just like three normal enemies. It, well, you know, if I can't hit the action command, that's actually gonna make it a lot harder. I mean. Put it in perspective, these three enemies together have more HP than what Hooktail had. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Ow. Luckily, Gulp is just such a good move. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I mean, it just it lets you do five damage to two enemies. 4 FP. Like, that's really good. Uh, I'm surprised that he can even do that. I mean, I guess Yoshi's can be fire, but, like, right. still... Right, right. That is true. Mega brings up a great point. It says, when you really think about it, Hooktail must be the black sheep of the family. Like, yeah. think of how powerful Gloomtail and Bonetail are. And then you have Hooktail, who's, like, clearly the weakest of the three. Um, Bone Ta Bone Tail was also just left in the sewers, so. <laughs> yes, that is true. All right, we gotta get some Chocola Cola. Love the Superstar Saga reference on that one too. Uh, we need to equip the Ice Power Badge because it's really good for this chapter. Bone Tail is dead, I guess. Pretty strong for a dead dragon, honestly. Yes. That is true, though. Weakest dragon by far, but the only one that did not get imprisoned or die. Yeah. So, something to think about, you know? They get stronger with age, maybe. Definitely worth investigating the dragon lore of Pink Mario the Thousand Year Door. 
Alright, heart attack. Here we go. Shazam! 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 Alright, they're all dead. I'm curious to see where Mega's going with this. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Bone Tail exists, Dry Bowser exists, Dry Bones exists. That's it. Do all things in Mario when they die become living skeletons? Does anything really die? I, I, I mentioned the, I mentioned this earlier. Whatever <laughs> you go to the sewers and uh, flip side and Super Paper Mario, like Captain Gills just kills a bunch of random civilians who live in there. That does happen. And they're, they're not they're not dry bones. <laughs> they they actually die. They actually die. I feel like it's inconsistent. Yeah, are we gonna eventually see like dry Goomba? Wait, I don't know. aren't there bony Goombas? <laughs> are there? I don't think so. Oh, uh, there's bony beetles. There's That's bony beetles. I, I, I guess they're all a dry plant. I don't know. Uh, this, these are the questions. Is it dry plant? I, mean, I don't think Goombas have bones in the first place. That's true. They're just like just whenever Mario jumps on them, like just, whoosh, just flattens immediately. All right, I need a Chocola Cola. First oh wait, Mega sometimes. Mega posted something. God, what is it? I think I think that's just a Goomba with a skull on his head, though. I don't know if that's actually like a dead Goomba. <laughs> No, I'm looking it up. <laughs> Gotta look it up. Gotta do the research. This is very important. Bone Goombas, they're in... Oh, new Super Mario Bros. 2. Of course, no one remembers them. Okay, Bobbery. We have to give him the Chocola Cola. And here we get Flavio on our team. No. Chocola Cola, please. I gotta, I gotta give him a snack. Here, have a fresh juice. Have a, have a mistake. <laughs> uh, do I have to give him a coconut? Specifically? I believe so, yeah. Alright, it's over here. I just, I just threw it in the storage. Give him a hot dog. Give him a hot dog. <laughs> How about a fright mask? Would you care for a fright mask? I can't eat this. <laughs> <laughs> Coconut. You can try. There you go. Yeah, we mentioned the bony beetles. Like I, that, that's from Mario World, so of course I would know that. Right. <laughs> I do love the reference of Chocola Cola, though. Yeah, it is really, really cool. Nice. Throw that Superstar Saga twist in there. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, back when, like, every Mario RPG game was good. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, right? Back when Mario every RPGs were actually good. One. We had I had this conversation when I did a full stream playthrough of Super Paper Mario. And right. I said, like... Remember back in the day, we're talking, go back to 2005 version of yourself, when Nintendo was like, hey, a new Paper Mario game was in development. It was like a big thing. Like, I was like, oh my god, yeah, like, I can't huge. wait. That's huge. And now, if, if Nintendo said, hey, we're going to make a new Paper Mario game, I'd be like, ugh. Like, <laughs> like not excited. And it's such a shame that that's the case, because this really used to be a, a premier RPG franchise, I'd say. Yeah. I still remember it was Nintendo Power. Like the first shot you saw of this game, yeah, was the the dry bones. Yep, in Hooktail's Castle, like, all the dry bones. Yeah, it's probably like, oh still my have that somewhere. I I haven't seen my Nintendo Powers in a long time, but yeah, I have like I have pretty much issue 19 to the very end. Nice. <laughs> I don't. I didn't subscribe that long ago, or that far 
you well, know, in the past, but... The thing is, I didn't start subscribing until, like, I was, like, issue 55, I think, but, uh... You know, when I realized I had, like, a really large collection, I'm like, let me see if I can get some old ones. So I yeah. got pretty much 19 to where I started, and then I yep. don't have the first 18, but they're That's pretty, cool. like, impossible to get now, I think. Yeah, they are. Ow, poison. When do you get spike shield in this game? It's soon, isn't it? Um, I don't remember, but I, I'm pretty sure it's like in this chapter. I think. It might be. You get, you get spike shield like in chapter two, I think. And you do in the original. The it's original. in Rogue Port. You get it with Vivian. Oh, I did not get it. I could really use it. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's in the sewers. Oh, that's right. That one room that has like spikes. Oh yeah, it's over there. Oh, I did not go there. That's a shame. I'll have to get it after this chapter then. Oh my god, if I can make this jump. That's another cool part of the sewers sections in this game and the in the original. It's like every time you get a new partner, you just go back there and it's like, oh hey, here's a super block or a shine sprite or a badge. It's right. There's always more stuff to find. Yeah, it's incentive to keep exploring once you get new ways to access stuff. Right. Nobody say gate to me, Casanova. Don't say gate to me. Don't say gate to me. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. We made it back to Bobbery. We got the Cola Cola. It's just like I can go now in peace. It's like, I think he's sleeping. Get up! <laughs> okay, here we go. Time for my favorite partner, Bobbery. Not everybody's. I can definitely see Vivian being the utility partner, but I love Bobbery. Definitely better than Bombette. I mean, come on. Come I on. really love Bombette, though. But yeah, yeah Bob I, I admit. The, the, the cool thing about Bobbery, though, is because, like, his... His original attack is his bomb attack. Right. Well, Bombette's is just a body slam. Right, all right, now I gotta go all the way back. And then come all the way back again. I know, I don't understand why it was a body slam. Like, I don't know. Why would a bomb not just explode? That should be all their attacks. Anyway, that's what that, it is. That literally was every one of Bombette's extra attacks. Yeah, I know. Bomb, power bomb, explode mega bomb. Explode <laughs> more, explode bigger, explode stronger, explode better. Ow. Ow. So the attack of Bobbery that I loved was Bomb Squad. And I know it's like not even that good, but it's like not. <laughs> it's not good at all. But like I loved like setting little traps. I thought it was like the most fun thing. And I think I missed one of them. I feel like you missed. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, you got through one. one. I also love that yeah. Bobbery is like an actual bulky part. Mm hmm. But yeah, the bomb traps are pretty cool. Oh, well. Let me just press it all day. Well, you'll give an opportunity for the bomb trap to go off. I can't jump on any of them. I want the actual bomb traps to happen. Wait, camera. we're gonna hit. No, oh, it's just a little too far away. Nice. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, pretty good. Nice. So Slim, how long are you staying on, my friend? Um 
Probably either six, seven, yeah, probably six, because I do need spot. to get my dinner ready. Sounds good to me. So we got Slim for another 40 minutes, so if you want to ask him anything while he's here, feel free to do so. We already grilled him about the maze game. We already grilled him about pilot wings being bad, about hexes. Okay, you did not say anything about pilot wings. Yeah, we already grilled It's dream. just objectively bad. There's nothing more no. to say. It's just, the thing about pilot wings, right, it's just boring. It's boring. There's nothing to do. You fall through rings and hit targets, and that's it. Like, it's harmless, I guess, but, like, it's just its just boring. That's it. Uh, I don't know what Pilot Wings did to you as a child to make you this upset at it. But, but uh, like, it didn't whatever. do That's the thing. It didn't do anything, because it doesn't do anything. It just is. It just exists in this horrible vacuum of, of doing nothing. Like, it doesn't do anything. If you want to play a game where you do nothing, then play Pilot Wings. Because you just do nothing. Alright, we got BP. Okay. I think that might be the last BP upgrade for a while. Yeah, just... Uh, now I can put on... I can put multi bounce back on. See, like, all those other flight simulator games, like someone said Microsoft Flight Simulator, like, those just seem confusing. Like... I like something you don't have to think when you're like trying to fly a plane. Just like, just take the controller and do it. Yeah, but why do you want to do that anyway? Like, play an actual game. I don't know. I don't know. Favorite Best football and baseball team. Uh, next question. <laughs> <laughs> it I don't watch. You. The only sports I watch are golf and NCAA basketball. <laughs> oh, big March Madness fan, right? Yeah. Star Warrior brackets, which used to be the Blarg Pit brackets, still going. That's still going, really? Yeah. We still do ours, too. Mm -hmm. The uh, 4 Alliance plus Mega Squad brackets. Which is funny. It's so funny to think back of like all the things that we're, we're really into. So anyway, here's yeah. where Flavio joins up. Um, so now that Flavio joins, what you pretty much have to do is... Uh, Pretty much, you skip the part where he does, where he leaves. That's that's how the Flavio glitch really works. I like how he jumps yeah. though. He jumps in the air. He's like, oh, he jumps. Anyway, um, he does. He does have a very powerful leap. That's for yeah. Sure. Remember, like, remember all the years of playing like Mario Kart Wii online. Like how fun that was. Yep, I remember those we days so much. Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> Me and Sitar Man three four five. But on the time oh. trial grind for so long. I forgot to hold it down. I keep doing the Paper Mario 64 action command of <laughs> uh, holding or pressing A repeatedly. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the Mario Kart Wii grind. That was big. That was big. That was big. Every weekend we'd just have like one night where we just played till like 4 a.m. or something. It was wild. It was wild. Uh, we did that. We did. What else did we really get into? I'm trying to think for online gaming. We already talked about Advance Wars by Web. That was really yeah. fun to all do together. Um, was there another one that I'm struggling to I'm think sure, of? I mean, I'm there sure was there Brawl. Were. Brawl was fun. Brawl was big, yeah. That was big when that came out. I'm trying to think of what else. I didn't have the game at the point, but I know that Battalion Wars. Oh, Battalion Wars. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I remember that. Yeah, I think we did Monopoly at Monopoly? Oh, oh, oh my I remember God. that. I, was, I got, like, salty at that because of just, like, the dumb trades that just kept being made. <laughs> yeah, playing, like, online Monopoly. That was crazy. Yeah. Sade says. Too bad you can't hear me sing Megalovania anymore. Uh, no, you can't. That clip already exists, and you can find it if you want it. Sans. Sans in Smash now. Big deal. He is, he is officially a Smash character. I don't care what anyone says. He is. <laughs> they That's... acknowledged Sans. <laughs> you were the one who clipped it. I know you are. Oh, no. Play the mushroom. 
No other costume in Smash has gotten theme music with it. <laughs> yeah. I know. That is true. That is true. We were actually talking about, um, in the Discord server, which, by the way, if you're not in the Discord server, you should be in the Discord server. If you type exclamation mark Discord, you get a link to the Discord server, and you should definitely join. But in any case, we were talking about, in the Discord server, um, the most, sort of, the, it's kind of two separate questions. The best games of the decade and the most influential games of the decade. In some cases, they may overlap. And I know doing best of decade is like such a cliche thing. But we were talking about it just to see, you know, what do you think? And I'm curious as to what you think. There are a couple games we came up with that like games that define the decade. Uh, one of them was Minecraft. Came up with that. No denying how influential that was. Uh, yeah, Undertale for sure. Excellent. Um, you have Hollow Knight. Excellent game up there. You have Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey. I think both belong on that list. Odyssey would probably be my game of the decade. I was real impressed with it. And just, it did so many things right. I, I, I loved it. It was so good. Was it not? It was amazing. Yeah. And it was exactly what people want. That people wanted, like, a true return to, like, 3D Mario. Right. Because, you know, they've done the whole, like, 2D Mario linear level approach for a while i think odyssey was like the perfect return to 3d mario it felt like a true sequel to something like mario 64 didn't yeah it? exactly like this yeah. is like the next gen follow-up that you would expect from a game from, of mario 64 which we haven't had like galaxy yes was 3d mario and galaxy was great this fuzzy just chills i'm just gonna leave him there um but it it did it was so different from from a game like 64 or Sunshine, you know? Yeah, definitely. So it's so cool to actually have like that return to form, and you know, I feel like Odyssey is what Mario 64 felt like back in 1996. Like playing through Odyssey with the big worlds and so much to find and so many things to explore. That's what the feeling was to play Mario 64 back in the 90s. I don't know if you agree with that. But. No, I, I agree. I definitely see where you're getting that. Anything else over here? Oh, I should switch to poverty before I do that. Darn. I do that again. Wasting coins. Okay. And like, I know that like a lot of people don't really like hearing this kind of thing because you know not all video game players are speedrunners, but the Mario Odyssey speedrunning like community like really took off and like just. The type of things you can do, and even just as casual players, some of, like, the tricks you can figure out, like the double cap jump or whatever, like, that stuff is, like, really, really cool, and it just feels, it's, it's a very accessible game, and, you know, it's good for speedrunners, it's good for casual players, it hits the bill for, like, all gamers, honestly. Right, it does. What's this, uh, little key, uh, thing here? Three times, Fred, Listen to NPCs again. lands on his head. Who's Josh's belly four times as wax? Okay. Oh, someone said Shovel Knight. Yeah, I think Shovel Knight up there as well. Yeah, you put Shovel Knight up there for sure. I, I think without a doubt. Um, Celeste, very, very good. Indie platformer. Really enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, Celeste is good, yeah. But besides just indie games too, like the AAA games are awesome. I don't know if you are really into or have played like the PS4 God of War game that came out last year. No, I it didn't play it. It was excellent. It really was. It was excellent. Yeah, I heard a lot of good things about Marvel Spider-Man. I don't know if you played that. That was no. super good. I don't have a PS4. I only have Switch, so I would not ah. play any of these other games. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, here we go. This, in my opinion, I think is the best dungeon in in the game i don't know if you agree but i feel like it feels the most like a dungeon and it really is just it's so fun mm, to go through. yeah i'd agree yeah definitely like to me this feels like a zelda dungeon to me i mean as best as paper mario can do it right that's what this feels like yeah, because like, like the quote unquote dungeon for chapter six is like the, the train station yeah, it's or whatever. The, the train station, which isn't. I mean, it's fine, but it's like. It's fine, it's not incredible though. Yeah, it's not incredible. I can jump on these things now, right? Yes, I can. And do boosted damage. 
And like, I, I do get that point, Mega, because, I mean, yeah, Chapter 5 in the original Paper Mario is also just go to an island and then go to a cavern after it. It's pretty much the same. But this one has but pirates! It does have pirates. <laughs> How cool is that? It does have pirates. Pirates are cool, but I wouldn't say it really says that much extra, dude. <laughs> but, they're, but it's like ghosts and stuff. There are ghosts. You guys yes. have no taste. You have no taste. I think pirates you just have too much. Cool. I think you have too much taste. <laughs> <laughs> pirates make everything cooler. You'll see. Someday. Uh, Maybe. let's see. I don't know. You will. Oh, they're off the ground, so I can't actually hit them. Who's got a can? No, no, no cans. Get out of here. Can, like... Can like even like toads throw cans sometimes or toads? I don't I don't think so. Okay, I didn't think so either. But... <laughs> Just seeing like Luigi throw a can. <laughs> <laughs> I think that can happen. I think Luigi can just throw anything. <laughs> Luigi the wild card. Hey, the wild card. <laughs> And yeah, it is weird how shy guys are in the game, but never enemies. I know, I don't get like why. <laughs> it is weird. I, I honestly really like the toy box from the original. Game. I know. That I know. was a high point of the paper. I think, I think it was me. probably one of the best chapters in the game, <laughs> if not the best. What's better? I don't know. I, I don't have an answer. I don't so think I have yeah. an answer. I think that really it's really good. But they just want to watch the fight. I guess. There were so many shy guys in the room. There's so many Koopas and Goombas in the air. <laughs> I know. When you count all the flying and spike Goombas, there's like 10 different Goombas in paper. I know. <laughs> True. I forgot to get bullet pills in this one too now. This is where we start to encounter bullet pills. Another funny thing I saw in that, um,. Paper Mario Master Quest hack or whatever. Yeah. Was that there's like there's an anti guy fight, but it's like there's anti guys of each different shy guy. Oh jeez. It. And it's pretty hilarious. Like an anti groove guy, an anti meta yes, guy. Yes. That's hysterical. I did not see that. That's really funny. <laughs> I did see that there is a random anti guy just like chilling in the toy box. Like just find him. Like right, where yeah. a normal enemy would normally be walking around. Mm-hmm. I did see that. But I didn't see that. That's cool. I didn't see the anti guy <laughs> of every variant. Is, is it okay if I say, like, I don't want to. You probably don't have any pl plans to, like, play it soon or anything. I, do not. So. I think there's also, like, a, a, a hidden, like, new blooper enemy in the sewers. And instead of the blooper, like, babies, it shoots up anti guys. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, 007 guy. That's the name of the spy guy. guy. <laughs> That's 007 guy. He just shoots out anti guys. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. hysterical. <laughs> this is, by the way, why we have piercing blow. People give me crap over piercing blow. I think it's one of the most underrated badges in the game. Hey, something that bypasses defense is good. It's only it's one good. badge point. And it's a strike yeah, that just bypasses cool. defense. And for an enemy like this, it just makes it really easy. Look at that. Perfect. That would be cool, though, to actually get an officially released Master Quest version. That was something, or some sort of hard mode. It's a sort of a complaint, I guess, that I always have about Pokemon is... Pokemon has to be easy, really, because it has to be accessible right. to everybody. And I get that. You know, the primary audience for Pokemon is, like, kids. So you can't make it, like, crushingly hard. Um, but I feel like a lot of the games waste so many of the battle mechanics that they have because, you know, the games have to be, quote-unquote, easy. I think it would be so... Like, that's the perfect game franchise, I think, to include a hard mode or a new game plus or something like that. Oh, that does not work. 
I, I guess my only, like, concern with that would be, and, like, I, I do get that the Pokemon games are almost, like, painfully easy, but I just don't want to be, like, grinding for a long time when the, the big, like, setback is just, like, level difference or something. Oh, and I agree. I agree. And I don't think that's how hard mode should go. I don't think it right. should just be like, oh, everyone gets their level increased by five. How about, how about, like, having... You know, the enemy's teams actually use tactics, like have a baton pass team that you actually fight against, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like, I, I, can, I can understand that. Something yeah. like that. But, no, easy is definitely not bad. It's not a bad thing for the game to be easy. But I just think it would be so cool if you also then had, you know, a harder difficulty for, you know, either a new game plus or just like a, you know, an option you could turn on or something. Mm -hmm. I still don't think I can touch these. Things. Yeah. Like, for me, I don't really play... Like, for me, when I play Pokemon, like, I'm all about, yeah. like, the, po the Pokedex completion stuff of it. Right. So, for me, like, what they've kind of done with, like, the most recent games, and I guess even Sword and Shield to a huge extent, since you can't even take off the experience share. Like, I love the experience share, because that's what I play Pokemon for. Like, I don't want to spend, like, hours... Right. ...evolving one Pokemon. And I agree. I'm very anti-grinding when it comes to RPGs. Yeah. For sure. I think grinding is... Like, it's just boring. Like, grinding is yeah, not is. fun. To just fight random enemy encounters over and over and over and get a meager amount of experience each time. It's not a fun thing to do. It's not. But, um... Yeah, because, like, it seems like a lot of, like, the hardcore Pokemon stuff is kind of saved, like, for the competitive scene. But, right. like, I'm just, I'm just not interested in that. One, because all competitive Pokemon players are, like, jerks anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. Hey, now. There's got to be one nice one out there. Sh show me a non-elitist po competitive Pokemon player. I Good. will get back to you. <laughs> but, I mean, to their credit, like, the fan base of Pokemon right now, I don't even want to get into it. So <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> That's probably for the best. I just play Pokemon on my own terms. I enjoy the games hey. on my own terms, and that's all that matters. What's with all the rocks? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, Who's barking? Who you got back there? Uh, my parents' dog in the background. Oh, cute. What's your dog's? What's their dog's name? Uh, Dudley. Right now. Dudley? Yeah. Let's give it out for Dudley in the chat. <laughs> Give you a shout out for Dudley? Dudley the dog. What kind of dog? I have no idea. <laughs> Dudley. Got, the... Like they got, they got him from like some did, like random like dog breeding stuff. The so cool it's... dog. Dudley yeah. the cool. Dog. He's a cool dog. Doesn't matter what kind of dog. He's it's cool. He is pretty cool. He's nice. All right. What do I do here? How do I get up that? Oh, is this? Uh. Ugh. Oh, I use Bobbery, of course. I forgot that you actually kind of do that in this game. You throw him upwards. I, I wouldn't call the Fire Emblem fan base unified, but it Three Houses definitely helped, I think, kind of bring people it's together. <laughs> Did you play Three Houses? Three Houses is great. It's my game of the year right now. I have to play it, because I'll have to play it at some point. But It's really good. I don't know when that point will be, but I, I, I had a horrible feeling that Three Houses was not going to be good. And I am so, so happy to be wrong on that. I think a lot of people have that fear. Because like a lot of people well, all the advertising it made it seem like Fire Emblem Fates 2. Like, that's just what it felt like. And I don't know about you, I thought Fire Emblem Fates was not good at all. I thought it was... Like, the characters are fine, but I thought the it was just... The story was so uninteresting that it just did not capture my attention. That's just my opinion. I I don't know. I don't know, Meg. I think it's fine the way it is, but that's my own personal take on it. Oh, I missed it. Oh, man. I think you're supposed to use coops for this, but how about the uh, alternate Bobbery switch stats? <laughs> switch strats? Okay, the Bobbery. Bobbery percent. Bobbery percent? Can we get... Bobbery scale percent. Bobbery scale percent going on here? We had cricket list, uh, burb percent, feet smelling percent. We got 
Bobbery switch percent right now. Oh, partner kill percent. That happened. Off oh, partner percent. I mean, that, that is a fair point, Mega, but I... I don't know. I, I think it's harmless now. I guess I still need to play them to be sure, though, but... Like, in my second, like, third playthroughs, like, I won't grind as much as I did in my first playthroughs, so, like, it might be more interesting and faster. Let's see that. Hell yeah, Pixel. Hell yeah. Blue Lions is definitely the route that I would pick. <laughs> Looking at the characters. Even though Claude, I mean, Claude, come on. He's like, he's Claude. Claude does Claude does seem very cool. He's like, hey, I'm Claude. It's, it's me. Yeah, that, it's just I like, think he says that exact quote in the game. I'm a jokester. I'm a Claude. You know, I'm great. But I, I think he's... I don't know if I... I trust him. Don't know if I trust him. I haven't played, but... Just saying. He's almost too goofy to be a goof. If that makes sense. He's too foolish to be a fool. I don't know. That's just my speculation. That's all I'm saying. I mean, Mega, all games have flaws. Like, <laughs> if someone's saying this game has no flaws, then they're kind of, like, they're overlooking something. <laughs> Slim, this is why we need you back in the Discord. I'm surrounded I mean, I'm, by all these I'm opinions. There, I'm there. I read from time to time. I just have nothing to say, and I'm always busy with something surrounded else. Surrounded by all these opinions that, like, that, like, uh, what the heck? That, like, um... Mario 64 is bad. That's a common opinion in the Discord what? server. I know! I know! How could you say such a thing? It's no it's no Galaxy or Odyssey, but it's, it's the first of its kind. I think it's still playable. The randomizer is fun. <laughs> the ra it has a randomizer like every yeah. other game. <laughs> I'm surrounded by these opinions all the time. I. It's a Bob. I, I, I don't agree with them. The audience. I was a child when I played Mario 64. <laughs> Is that Bob I'm gonna blow up now with the battle ended? We're just gonna get double star points, which I, is actually good. But... I think you may have avoided it by killing the enemy first. Yep. Maybe. You did. I don't think it would be that different today, either, like... It's still fun. I think it's still a fun game. If anything, I think it would be nice to, like, for, like, kind of newer gamers to have, like, that kind of sense where you can actually, like, run around and explore, like, this big castle or whatever, go into a world and explore the world there. With a lot of games these days are just, like, they kind of force you down one path in one area, and it's just... I don't know. I... We'll see. When I get children, we'll, we'll run that test, Mega. This is the exact argument I've been making. Uh, I think I have to heal here, actually. Use that honey shrimp. Like, uh, when I, when, yes, yeah, someday, when kids are maybe part of the equation, then I'm, I think I'm going to have them play, like, video games in order of release. Oh my god, I missed all the action commands. Alright, it's definitely time for some Shazam. Uh, I think, like, like, I have to start them out with, like, Pac-Man and Pong, right? You have to start out with the yeah. classics, and then you go into something like Super Mario Brothers, and then eventually you, wait, you work your way up to Grand Theft Auto when they're, like, five. You know, and they can handle it no. like that. <laughs> no playing Grand Theft Auto until you play your castle. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no playing Grand Theft Auto until you finish your vegetables. That's what I'm going to say. Good parenting. Alright, anyway. Moving on. Now I actually need to use hoops to get that. Oh, I just, just, just hit Spiked. Just barely, barely touched it. 
Come on now. I feel like, the, like, at one of these spike sections, there is a part you can kind of sequence break a little bit. I don't know if it's that spike. There or... is, and I don't remember which one it is, but I do yeah. remember that. Uh, I think I think it ultimately doesn't do much though, because like you need still need like a key from it's somewhere. It's this. It's but... actually this to get the. Okay, gate yeah, it key. is this. You're right. You can actually make the jump to get it, but in any case, I'm gonna use another item. Let me use my maple super. I, I guess one of the, the one of the main things I hear about Mario 64 is people always complaining about the camera. But honestly, like, I think the camera's fine in Mario 64 because they programmed it in a way to work with that game. Right. I like, you don't that. need to have like something where you like can move around while you're platforming because the platforming is so like I agree with that. Kind of focused in one direction. That is why in a lot of uh, ROM hacks from Mario 64, sometimes the camera can be cumbersome. No. I the, the, there I haven't found honestly like a single Mario 64 ROM hack that's done the camera right because they just want to do all these super intricate like platforming sections that just don't work with the camera. Right. Right. It wasn't designed to like go yeah. into hallways and like dungeon like mazes and stuff like that. It just wasn't designed that way. It was designed for very like open air sort of areas, you know, at the time. Mhm. Mm yeah. The only ROM hack that kind of did it okay was Super Mario Star Road. That that one was pretty good, but any other Super Mario 64 ROM hack I've played has been frustrating because of that corrupt. <laughs> it is pretty cool how active the modding communities are for certain games, though. I usually am not into ROM hacks. Really, the only ha time I've played hacks of a game is when I've played uh, Doom 2 uh, VODs and stuff like that. Or due to uh, iWatts, they're called. Um, or Megawatts. Yeah. But yeah, they're really, really... I mean, it's really cool to see just how dedicated the community can be to a specific game and keeping its spirit mm -hmm. alive. Yeah, they even made like a... Um, a Mario 64 DS. Like a, an, well, it's Super Mario 64, but it's the DS version in the Mario 64. Like, oh, that's cool. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. With character swapping and everything? I I don't know if character swapping was in it. That's but... wild though, even so. Yeah. Alright, I think for this level up we now go. Uh I think we have just, like just the fact that like, you know, they have to program like all these extra levels and modify the levels too. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's cool though. Yeah, that is cool. We go five more health, then we go FP and then Oh, stupid thing fell. Maybe this? There we go. Well, Dylan, girl, are you ahead right now still? Did Eric pass you? Oh, ow. <laughs> ha! Ha ha ha! This thing sucks. This thing sucks. It's so bad. I haven't seen that yet, Cake Man. I have heard about it. I might look at like a preview video of it and see now. what it's like. Oh, you, you, can, you can do it, Goldie. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Whose side are you on, anyway? Actually, I think it's pretty clear that you're not on mine. <laughs> nice. The side of chaos. <laughs> the side of chaos. What is with all the rocks? Get out of here. Stupid X. I mean, you are in a cave. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no uh. Never mind. They're probably like the, it's the closest things they can find that on the ground. Everybody. Do I have an actual like? I guess I have a thunder rage. I mean, uh, no thunder. Uh, yeah. I mean, nah, we'll just attack. It's fine. I really wanted that amazing Daisy to attack you when you missed the clock out. That was so bad. <laughs> hey, thanks, Blue. That was so bad. 
I like that could have been disastrous. Yeah, if it attacked, like if it attacked, died. you would have been, you would have died. Yeah. Yep, we just died. Which was crazy. It was crazy. Like, oh my god. Like I don't think they, I, I can't remember they can the last. They can attack. Time. They can randomly attack. Oh, I know. They, I can't remember the last time I've actually tried to use the move clock out. So I was like, yeah, you didn't so know what was going. Yeah. Unfamiliar with the action command, but it was pretty bad. Yeah, because you really only use, like, Power Lift, Supernova, maybe the Sweet Beast or whatever. If right. You need healing. Right. Who uses Clock Out? I know. It, it is Clock Out, right? Like, it's not the... Oh, Mega, I'm only joking. Don't, don't think... Don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. I actually... I like... One of the things I really like about the Discord server is that we have differing opinions. I think it would actually be boring if we it would had, be, yeah. like, if we were just like, yep, I agree, yep, I agree, yep. It would be like, well, look, like, why, why even talk, you know? So I, 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 believe me, I respect and value your opinion. I also think Super Mario 64 is a great game. For me, for me, when it comes to opinions, the thing I don't like is, like, just straight up blunt, like, this game is bad because, like, no, that's your opinion that it's bad. It's not bad. Right. It's your opinion. Right. Like... Right. Right. That's, that makes sense. That being said, Pilot Wings is bad. Oh, no, you're wrong. <laughs> it's bad. It's pretty boring. It's pretty boring. Text is hard. I, I don't... Uh... Uh, I'm just it is it hard to read through text. I'm gonna take that's the why I that's why I explain more whenever I use text. <laughs> I'm just gonna just gonna take, bite the bullet on this one. I can see if I can nail the action. Nope. Nope. It didn't even attack you that time. Yeah, no, it missed. I think that was a pretty lucky on that one. It didn't Maybe. show it though. All right. Uh, I can jump over to here. Right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, usually when I'm talking, like, in, like, you're a lot, of, I don't want to say, like, you're better at that or anything, because it's not like you think you're bad, it's, it's just last one. something that happens, it's not a big deal. What's that? Sperry, the prologue, it just cursed you already. <laughs> How do I know I was going to do that? No, I seriously, hang on a second. So try to listen, listen to my spiel. I've been locked here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing, but practicing this speech. I'm already the fourth cursing chest you've met, are you serious? I love this. <laughs> fine, fine, I get the picture. Sheesh, all I want to see the face of some unlucky soul when I popped out. It's not so much to ask. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open it already. Just open. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad. Just open it. I love it. Uh, how can I kill these things quickly? Yeah, this is just the wall breaking chapter. <laughs> it really is. Like you've gotten like four of the crystal stars now, you know what to expect. You know what the deal is now. I do feel like, I gotta say, I think we are going through this game at a pretty good pace. Yeah, I'd say so. I was, I was honestly getting a little worried yesterday because it seemed like you were going through like really slow yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so too. I was like, you, you, you were just barely done with chapter one. I had to, so I like, was like, uh, I don't right, know. Right, 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 right. Because that had kind of a long introduction, and we were yeah. But yeah, I guess you are streaming for like. Yeah, you're streaming till 10, so that's like 10 hours today, right. so that's right. a lot of progress you can make. Right, right, right. I think you might get done with Chapter 6 by the end, too. Oh, I'll definitely get through Chapter 6. That That's the goal. The goal was to make it through Chapter 6 today. And then you can do basically all the sections I record. Yes, exactly. 
That's gonna be the last day. So you stand here, slime, and feel the pain. I could do all the general white stuff. We're gonna just see where the time is at the end. We're gonna see. Because I'm definitely gonna finish chapter five, finish chapter six. But I have to do, between chapter five and six, I have to do the uh, Miss Mouse side quest, the up arrow thing. Um, a couple other random things that you can do. Oh, I, have to, I didn't mean to say run it by me again. I hate that that's the default option. <laughs> okay, Pora Gabora, what have you done? Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, <laughs> trouble percent. There's, there's also the Ocarina of Time random. <laughs> oh yeah, also. that is a good one. It is good. It's long, very very long, but it's good. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's right. The potions with the peach. That's also nice. That's right. Too. That's right. So there's a lot of like little things that we'll, we'll definitely spend time to do. So I think we'll end just like right on time. I think we'll be right mm -hmm. at the end when we need Probably. to be. And like, I don't want to do too much into chapter eight or chapter seven and chapter eight. Cause like we still have all day tomorrow too. I mm -hmm. do, however, want to leave some time for the potential pit of a hundred trials. Tomorrow. Oh baby. Maybe to end things off with that. I'm so afraid of that though. I have to be honest. <laughs> I'm scared. It's... Like, it's hard. It's pretty intimidating. There's like, nothing else. The, right. Even if you're kind of over, under leveled, though, it is kind of nice because you'll be getting level ups more often, at least. But right. it's yeah, when you get to those elite wizards, they're I know they're bad. That's the thing. Those things are so it's 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 really the floors from ninety to ninety nine. That's really hard. Like the I'd, actual I'd, bone I'd, tail. I'd even say eighty to ninety nine. Yeah, that's probably true. Like, Bone Tail it itself is not that bad. I mean, definitely no. difficult, but not... Like, it's just a single boss. It's more... It's definitely doable. But getting there, that's what's tough. Yeah, if you can just keep a bunch of healing items on standby, you, that Bone Tail is not that hard. Right. It's just getting there with those healing items. Right. Exactly. Oh, don't don't remind me of that mega. <laughs> the flop oh, side God, pit of hundred trials. I hated that. You have to do two pits of hundred trials in Super Mario for no reason. It, it was annoying in my let's play because I I don't know if I revealed that or not because I didn't want to go through the trouble of explaining that. But um, I made it through my first pit run just fine, and then on my second run, I actually died on like the 80th floor or something. I was so mad. I did that on stream. That that is exactly what happened on stream once. I did the flip side and flop side pit. I died like on floor seventy something, and I was like, "Really? Like now I got to do it all again?" Yeah. Same thing with the samurai guys. Don't forget about those. Eh, samurai guys aren't too bad though if you have the right setup. Just, you can like one shot like a lot of them. Just Bowser. <laughs> Bowser and uh, I think. Barry was his name? Yeah, the, uh, sh the spike shield. Yeah. yeah. I did like the concept of the Super Paper Mario pits, though. How it had kind of like a like Mario Bros. arcade game right. aesthetic to it. Right. So just FYI, the big sequence break that you can do in here, I'm going to see if I can do it. Um, okay. it's, you can clear this jump. I mean, I just did, I got the gate handle, so, like, the point is, it skips all that part to get the gate handle, but I know you use right. Super Mario, and you jump to that platform right there, kind of like I just tried to do. Um, yeah, yeah, that, But that's yep. pretty much it, uh, in here. And I know it's possible. It's very, you have to be very well-timed. Mm -hmm. But not like that. So I'm gonna try one more time. If I can't get it, then I can't get it. It is what it is, but... Maybe I can try to get a little closer with the spikes. Anyway, I know it's sick. I can stick around for a little bit longer. I don't think the stove's free, so I can mix dinner right now anyway. So I'll stick around for a little bit longer. Ah, maybe not. Looks like K-Man's not even here anyway. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or was he scheduled later? He's scheduled at like six-ish. Okay. Oh, man. Maybe uh, you yeah, have like a professional handoff or something. Let me get to you. <laughs> that's going to be a tough jump. It's something like that. 
where you can. I'm gonna try it one more time. Ugh. Oh, that was uh, not bad, but it's it's. I'm not gonna keep trying and trying and trying. But it's something like that where you you would actually sequence break that part to jump sure. and actually hit the platform. But anyway. yeah, you're down 20 HP now, so you better. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm like losing all my health, and, and I'm gonna get a game over I'm trying to sequence break. Oh, something speaking that I already of K-Man, Midwinter K-Man. Speaking of K-Man, Midwinter K-Man. It's your boy. What's up, gamer? What's up, Revilo2112? And Midwinter K-Man. K-Man, if you want to come in. Uh, you can, you're in my Discord server, I'm pretty sure. Midwinter K-Man. Uh, go ahead and join the, one of the voice channels, and I'll move you in. Yeah, if you're ready. If you're ready, my friend. I will stick around for Cortez, but then after that I'll probably head on. Yeah. Because Cortez is a pretty cool Cortez boss. is cool. Cortez is really cool. I, I, Cortez may be the best chapter boss in far of actual mechanics in the game. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right, save. Croto is back. Hello, hello. Better um, than frickin... Uh, Smorg or whatever. <laughs> Smorg is, I think, the worst. Like, the fight itself is fun and cool, but, like, the context of it is so stupid. Like, it's it's a random enemy. Anyway, let's get our boy in here. Oh, we just moved on oh, in. I moved on in. It's K-Man! Midwinter K-Man. Big boy K-Man. Sup, how's, the, uh, how's everything been going? I, uh, just barely made it in time. I had to, uh, get a, uh, Get a delicious burger from, uh, who are my sponsors? Oh, Shake Shack. Oh, are we and endorsing them I'm, now? Yeah, we're endorsing them now. I'm here for an hour to tell you why the Shake Shack burger is the best burger. I have compiled <laughs> a 20-page essay on explaining why I feel why like if someone could pay me enough money, you know, a certain burger provider, I'd be willing to debunk that theory and say that five guys potentially <laughs> could be a lot better. Okay, no, actually... I'm glad you just mentioned that, because I have a six-page essay that I'm willing to pull out, which is why Five Guys is not actually the best burger. Because they don't freaking salt well, their beef. No, no, no. It's not the best. Nobody said the best burger. Let's not get carried away here. It's not the best burger. By far, it's definitely not the best burger. I don't know the what best, the best burger would be, though. The best hamburgers I've ever had are that my mom actually makes. <laughs> so. Aww. That's Aww. a good answer. See, that's a good answer. I, I just can't stand fast food burgers. I don't know what it is. It's just... Alright, I have to agree, too. The best burger I ever had oh, was man. made by Slim's Mom. Oh, Slim's God. Mom. It was Slim's Mom's burger, yeah, for sure. Slim's Mom's burgers. For sure. Alright. Uh, we're getting pretty close. And, and, and a wave just spawned right under the tip of the boat. <laughs> And tip me over. Well, that's when that's the fantastic. Very end At the of... very end of the whole segment, <laughs> it spawned under me. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you for that spawn. I oh oh. All right, we made it. <laughs> Rip, waveless percent. Yeah. Well, we gotta start over again. All the toes. Go back. New file. Make a new file. So to uh, celebrate the CSS playthrough, Eric, did uh, did the uh, capture device like uh, crap out a lot during chapter two, like capture <laughs> playthrough? <laughs> <laughs> no, I made sure it was functioning properly this time. Oh my god! <laughs> Remember that came in. <laughs> the moment I will never live down. Oh. My uh, <laughs> my my moment of glory. Well, it wasn't quite as bad as letting a unit die and fire him, and then just proceeding with the Let's Play as if nothing happened. <laughs> that was In the last bad. chapter. <laughs> anyway, in case you're just joining, we now have two guests on stream. We have Slim Kirby and K-Man. Do you still go by K-Man? What do you go by now these days? I, I still go by K-Man. Um, it's a long story why I... Well, it's not actually that long of a story. Um, I work for a new company, and, like... We, I'm not really sure if we necessarily need a presence on Twitter and Twitch, but like we might. So I just figured to change my name to slightly reflect that. 
The company is called Midwinter, by the way. So that's ah. why I'm, that's the the change. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, still go by K-Man usually. A Midwinter's Night came in. <laughs> gotcha. It's apparently based off of uh, Midsummer, which is something. Yeah, you know, yeah. In, uh, Sweden. Yes. And yes, like yes. half our office is Swedish. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, I assume you still go by um, Shadow Mario XLI. Yeah, it's close. These days, it's more okay. first name basis with everybody. Everyone's just oh, you're on Eric. first name basis. Everyone just says okay. Eric these days, but yeah, I guess that would be it. <laughs> yeah, right, classic so it's Eric. Rescue, anyway. Um, so it's a rescue. So yeah, what have you been up to, K-Man, these days? Now, you are you're, haven't been doing any content creation as far as videos and stuff. Well, I was, I was going to actually uh, announce this live oh. on your stream. Oh, well, but, well, um... hold everything. We got an announcement. Breaking news <laughs> on the stream. Go ahead. What do you got? Breaking news. Um, next weekend, I am retiring from content creation. What? Wait, what? Uh, Wait. There... <laughs> what? Just stealing my thunder. There, there won't be a final stream or anything. I just uh, I just felt like next weekend would have been a good weekend to, you know, finally put a nail in that coffin and uh, and say, yeah, I'm, I'm officially done. Just... Uh, I, I didn't want to say anything, Eric, but uh, I just wanted to outlast you. And uh, I think since you're you retiring, did. since you're retiring this weekend, and I'm officially retiring next weekend, I have, uh, I think I've officially beat you now. So that's how it's gonna be. That's how it's <laughs> so gonna. So I'm be. gonna beat all of you. So. <laughs> that's how it's gonna be. I invite I you did. in here to my house, <laughs> and that is how you're treating me, huh? Yeah. That's how. That's how it's gonna go down. I think right. that's how it just went down. All right. All right. I don't think there's any changing that. Okay. I think we got to do a Fire Emblem Three Houses one week marathon stream to go ahead and overtake <laughs> Caveman. That's what I think. It'll be after next weekend on Monday. Every Mario game ever, all in a row. <laughs> Every Mario game. Oh, God. Um, that would last you a whole 10 years as it would be. Yes, that's true. God, that would take forever. Uh, in any case. Uh, in any case, in on a serious note, I guess I've, uh, I don't know. I've just been like mostly uh, focused on like work and such. I, uh, I have a job as a game developer, which is a lot of fun. And uh, that's kind of been the main focus of what I've been doing for the past, uh, I've been with them for like two years now. Nice. Yeah, so two years. That's awesome. So so, so what, what, what big game are you working on? What big game is K-Man working on? Um, oh, I knew I'd have to give an elevator pitch for this today. All right, I gotta... <clears throat> I was much more prepared to give a speech about hamburgers than I was about my own fucking game. All right. <laughs> uh, so I'm working on like a... Uh, it's sort of like a survival shooter. Basically, like, you... Um, like Minecraft they, with guns. No. <laughs> no, but talk to me after the stream. I think we can uh, we can come up with a game number two. Okay, yes, that. yes no. that's true. Um, but Boss time. It's uh, essentially like the the world's kind of been like put into a uh, uh, an asteroid like crashed into the moon and has put the Earth in like a uh, a terrible state. It's like a consistent winter and um, there's a virus that's essentially affected the earth and uh basically you're kind of like the last survivors who have to go to the earth's surface and um collect some samples for uh this big mother ai who's trying to find a, a cure for the uh for the uh sick the uh the infection basically and uh in an attempt to like make earth re uh hospitable again and so it's kind of like a uh, survival game where you have to survive against um, a lot of the elements that are on the earth between uh, a bunch of storms that uh, ravage the area um, and then a couple of uh, things like wildlife, uh, infected creatures and, and the like. I'm trying to figure out how much I can actually say because... Yeah. So it's like, it, what you're telling me is pretty much lot. like Fortnite. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> 
you're pull you're pulling out the wrong thing out of this, okay? Okay. Uh but yeah, it's uh it's a lot of fun. And uh I mean we've we've done a couple of things at E3. I mean, if anyone's interested, the game is named Scavengers. Um, Scavengers, so have, made yeah. exclusively by Kamen. Exclusively. And no yeah, other I mean, developers. No other developers. The, the other people on the website are, uh, are, are just my PR team. <laughs> All the other people on the credits. They didn't actually do anything. They just got you snacks and stuff. Um, yeah. Uh... Pixel did mention though that um, the name is technically Scavengers, but uh, all the internal people know it as uh, Scavengers, uh, which is Scavengers, but um, yes. constantly playing Tony Hawk music in the background. <laughs> nice. So yeah, play Scavengers when it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Go play it. It's gonna be great. You know why it's gonna be great? Because K-Man's making it. He made yeah. the whole game. <laughs> K-Man, best known for water physics in Halo 5, bringing you Scavengers. By the way, did you notice my bomb squad tactics in this fight? It's, yeah, they've been pretty effective, I will admit. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. People hate on bomb squad, and it is a terrible move, but this is when it comes comes through in this fight. Because it, it explodes like uh, any new ones you've put down, right? Right. But yeah, that is really right. good. Uh, I love this phase because just like, oh, these are all my weapons. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, and now is when you break out. I'm not rich. <laughs> I'm glad I got to uh, to miss uh, reminiscing on chapter two. I'm sure that oh, was yes. a, a fun time to just go through all the the memes that haunt me to this day. I will tell you. There were several mentions of that bomb still being in the tree. Because it is still there. It is still there. <laughs> All it takes the is like... Is not, in, not safe yet. <laughs> All it takes is one wayward grunt or uh, one... <laughs> just one curious puny and uh, the whole thing's going up in flames. That's true. That is true. Dude, people still make those references to me. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You, I'm like, how do you know who I am and what my YouTube channel is? Why are you making? Uh, go back to work. No. Stop. <laughs> you are you are an influential figure, K man. You cannot forget that about yourself. Leave my property right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am calling the cops. <laughs> I want to make this very clear. I am calling the police. Please leave. Uh, I am in my pajamas right now. <laughs> I did not want this experience for my Domino's delivery driver. <laughs> no. K Man of We Compete fame. Joining us today on stream, by the way, for the final weekend stream of Fate Mario Thousand Year Door. As if our list of celebrities couldn't get any bigger. Hey, hey, me and K-Man, we were the G Pikmin Let's Players. That is true. The OG Pikmin Let's Players. We do have OG Pikmin Let's Players on our stream right now. You are That's witness true. this is history. I'm doing Pikmin 3 right now. <laughs> this is history. Slim, Slim can tell you, tell you how he was the OG Pikmin Let's Player because someone sent him a semi-threatening, semi-endearing email. <laughs> <laughs> That is very true. That is not, <laughs> the truth is not stretched on that one. That did happen. You can't tell me right there that that wasn't a clean Cortez fight. That was clean. It was really. It was really I'm surprised it's over. Already. That was clean. <laughs> clean. Because it's all about the bomb squad strats. It's all about bomb yeah. squad in that fight. It's it's pretty much trash for the rest of the game. But in that fight, because he goes through so many forms and they all blow up at once, it's oh, it's awesome. Anyway, so, oh, so, K-Man, I'm actually very curious about, you said you were more prepared about a hamburger. Well, then what is the best hamburger? Well, okay, so if we're talking about the best hamburger, period. Best hamburger. Well, and I'm just going to uh, put aside Slim's mom because that's just right, in a league right, of right. its own. That, that's fair. Um, that's fair. Yeah, that's unfair. Yeah, exactly. 
You know, there there was a restaurant that I used to go to in college, and uh, it was called the. Uh, I was, I want to say it was just called the Good Place, but I also the know that's a TV place. show. <laughs> well, uh, whatever name it may had, it definitely had a burger called the Good Burger, and it was basically like a pound of burger. Was so it I, Good I, Burger? I, was it the actual Good Burger establishment? <laughs> I just realized that, yeah. It's <laughs> so, like the reference uh, I, finally clicked after all these years. <laughs> no, like, uh, oh, you know what? Okay, the place was definitely called Good Luck. Good it Luck. It wasn't, yeah, it was g called Good Luck, but it was called the Good Burger. And that didn't click with me until you literally just said that right then. So, there you go. Is, this, um, is this a local establishment or a chain? It was a local in uh, Rochester, New York, and um, so like it, it's it's a restaurant that like they serve dishes that are meant to be shared with people. I However, um, every time me and my three college friends like went there, each of us would order a good burger, and they'd be like, "Oh, to share," and we just kind of look the waitress in the face and just go, "No, no, this this is for us, <laughs> for us alone." It's just a, just us. So, each one of us would get like a giant plate and like this thing has like four um like four burger corners that make up one like giant giant burger and just a giant mountain of fries in the middle some that's like really meant for a pl an army platoon and each one of us would eat like a separate one of those nice. but it was a dang tasty burger so it, it it made the pain worthwhile this is a tasty burger it was a tasty burger. Um, but if we're also talking, like, if we are talking fast food, which I think is something more people can uh, can debate about, um, I think there is uh, no better option than Shake Shack. Really? Really? I, like, that is fascinating. I used, to be on the, I used to be on the Five Guys train, but um, I just had, like... I decided for the first time to go to Five Guys and just order like a just plain run of the mill burger, yeah. like very minimal. Yeah. And I didn't realize this until my friend told me about it. They don't salt or pepper their beef. They just leave it plain. Really yeah. Interesting. I mean, usually and... that flavor is is mixed with all like the cheese and the toppings and the, those are very flavorful. But I guess yeah, I, you're it... right. I've never had just a Five Guys hamburger. Yeah, and uh, it's apparently because they think they're meat is just so high quality that they don't need to salt and pepper it but like it a even with the finest me. well <laughs> even with the finest cuts of steak you still salt and pepper them exactly exactly so that that's when i i switched and said uh that i think shake shack might be might uh have have topped it for me interesting whack. that's whack. whack a percent by the way whack a percent yeah whack a percent yeah all right we have to leave We've got to go. Time to We've go. Got to get the so hell out I, of I mean, I love Five Guys personally, uh, but there's also one a lot closer to me than there is Shake Shack. So, you know, that, that's very true. Requires I mean, me not to go out of my way as much. If you do get a lot of toppings on your burger, then uh, like it doesn't really matter that much. But I, oh boy, you, you are wrong. Just just know that <laughs> <laughs> you're just wrong. But like, let me tell you. So while we're on the topic right of local businesses because you brought up your local business i'll bring up mine there's a place in Bo outside of boston college called eagles deli uh where they serve something called the challenge burger and it is uh, I, you may have seen it or heard of it you can look it up it's like on travel channel uh it is 12 burger patties uh 12 slices of cheese 24 slices of bacon because it's two per patty and it's served alongside five pounds of fries and well, if you eat the whole thing, you get, like, a T-shirt and your picture on the wall. You also, like, die 10 years before you're supposed to if you eat the whole thing. <laughs> so my friends and I all went at the same time, and we got – we all shared it. It was four of us. We split okay, it. Okay, that's good. Uh, and even so, we couldn't finish it. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. I want the four of you to finish it. It's and then local they, they each – they take all four of your portraits, but they cut out a quarter of it, and they assemble a new person. To put on the wall. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> By the way, that was Lord Crump in disguise, if you couldn't figure that one out. What? Bo, 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 bo. No way. <laughs> Here we 
we go. We have a ship. Ship to ship combat. Dude, that was spoilers. I didn't even make it past Cortez. How was I supposed to know that was Krom? <laughs> spoilers. It was not Four Eyes after all. It was yeah. actual Krom. I just love how like some of the like say, uh, pirates were like, "Yo, Four Eyes, what are you doing up there?" Exactly. <laughs> still, still yeah, not still like... convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Still like, hey, what's the deal? Uh, all right. So, but but luckily for us, we have an unstoppable ghost ship. So, you know, that's pretty cool. It is. Man, Eric, you're so cool. You have a ghost ship. It is. Man, cool. I want to be like Eric when I grow. I've had had uh, I've had a lot of people say that. That is true. <laughs> Not when you grow up, when you just grow. When you grow. Like, Not when you grow up. It's just when, you, when I grow <laughs> larger. <laughs> when I enlarge. Uh, uh, let's see. Skull gem. The skull gem? You mean this? The Ooh, you mean this priceless skull thing that you want? Gem? <laughs> you mean like this? <laughs> Your ancestors stole that gem from me. <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna talk about reparations for Cortez? Yeah, I know, right? Hey, Cortez is a bro. He ends up being a bro. He's like, you know, I'm just gonna help you guys out. You know, I know you fought me as a boss. I know I am like a kind of a, a pirate eternal ghost creature, but I'm gonna be a bro. I'm gonna help you. Which I think it's like the uh, it's like the aftermath of an Irish bar fight, and you all uh, hold hands, and That's right. uh, the next round's on the winner. That's right. Oh, everybody's here. Great. Definitely need a hundred toads on board. They'll definitely come in handy. <laughs> everybody's <laughs> here, and then the brawl team just everyone is here. We do have a member of the mafia, ship, so. <laughs> That's true. We have members of the Mafia on board. <laughs> I love this. This is Skies of Arcadia right here. Definitely got to dump the music over. It really is like really Skies is. of Arcadia. <laughs> this is exactly what you see. I also love that all the x knots are just on the, <laughs> the sails of the ship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just standing there. Cortez steals the show. There we go. I love this fight. This fight's really cool. And then the toads just get into the mix. Yep. Yeah, because he, like, he even uses like the X knots, kind of like uh, uh, General Guy does. Yeah, it, it's very reminiscent to the General Guy fight, I think. And that's why I think I like it so much. Yeah, same. Oh, the ship's gonna hit him. Ah. Fall down. And this theme is a banger. I can definitely agree with that. This is a banger. An absolute Ow. banger. It really is. Have you gotten triple poison mushrooms yet? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Hoping that doesn't happen. Although, if yeah. I get double mu poison mushrooms, I usually intentionally miss the action command. Yeah, that makes sense. Just so it doesn't um, show up. Are you saying you're not going for poison mushroom percent? <laughs> he is now. <laughs> <laughs> Poison mushroom percent, you say? <laughs> There's an entrance. <laughs> I almost feel as if uh, it might have to happen. Come all the X knots. Jeez. Man, this nope. just falling Nothing apart is right hitting now. me because of the fog. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is missed. Yeah, they, right. yeah, I think that hit Bobbery, not you. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh. What do I do with all these things? Do I... Uh, X not percent. <laughs> Wait, careful. I, I don't know if Art Attack would work on an enemy that stretches across the entire screen. That is true. <laughs> oh, Quake Hammer didn't hit the X dots, really? I, I think it was the fog. Hey, I'll the take that. Oh, it was the fog. I'll take a bingo, though. It's a star power, but hey. Yeah, better better than me getting three poison mushrooms. 
gloom tale of all things. Oh, and, God. Uh, dying as a result of that. <laughs> I'd like Ow. to know why explosions and earthquakes miss in the fog. That would be interesting to find out an answer to that. Can, well, now... can someone uh, pull up the Mario Wiki lore about that? Now we can use Art Attack, though. I'm going to try to see what happens if I draw around the X-Nots. I, I do still have the Mario Wiki page of uh, Colorado's wife oh, I can't still open stuff. in the background. Colorado's <laughs> wife. Oh god, I, maybe I can the do damage to that. The official name of that Oh god. Game. I mean, I guess I hit them. Oh, is it like over here? Where's their hitbox? Where is the hitbox? <laughs> they have no hitbox. They box. have no hitbox. What is happening? <laughs> right, let's get rid of this. Okay. I don't think even Bomb Squad would work against those guys either. I don't think so. Alright, yeah, he's healing up. Just like eating X knots in the background. I like to think so. <laughs> hey, he's just consuming X knots. <laughs> <laughs> Consume X knot. <laughs> Ow. That should hit you on the rebound. It should. I don't know why it doesn't. It doesn't. We gotta get rid of all these X knots. <laughs> I like how hitting one of them for six has uh, inexplicably brought the whole oh, down guard. to four. <laughs> yeah. What? They just come back? Yeah. Dude, gotta do X not percent. We gotta kill them all until there's no gotta... more. You can't damage Crump until you get rid of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Is that what we're gonna do? We're really we're gonna do that. I don't know. I, I wouldn't. But... <laughs> I don't think I can actually. Do then that. again, it's not Slim's retirement stream. That's yeah. true. X not percent. Think of. I'd love to count how many X knots we actually just murdered. I get a super guard every time for 30 turns. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in a row by probably 12 deep. So let's say it's 144 x knots, and we just killed two groups of them. So we're already at the 288 x knot murder spree. I'd say, I say we go for, we go for 500 x knots. Where's your kill streak? Oh, Where's God, your tactical nuke? Action, man. Killing spree. Tactical <laughs> nuke. Uh, ugh. Ugh. I don't think I can do eight damage in a turn. Um, do you, you should tattle the group. <laughs> this got hurt. There we go. How about that? Okay, later, Mr. L. See you later, Mr. L. Later, Gator. Oh, I can't use Sweet Feast. Ow. Alright, do you guys really want to do X not percent? We can't, we can't I, I damage don't. Crump until the x knots are dead. We can do that. We can do that. I'll play, I'll play it by your rules. We cannot damage my... Crump until the x knots die. I just want my entire time here to be just the Lord Crump fight. This is fine. Jeez. Uh, this is fine. This is not, it's actually not really that fine. It's... Uh, <laughs> That's why I said not to do it. I actually think this is going to be pretty difficult. <laughs> um, uh, all right, we're going to. Well, what about. Uh, well, I just use an attack, an AoE attack. Does that. That's that, fine. That's yeah, fine. Do we agree with AOE's that? Fine. Okay, AoE is fine. And I got damage boost. This would be awesome. Oh, the wrong mushroom. All right, I cannot do five damage in a turn, but I can. We can shooting star, uh, or I can just heal. I guess I'll just heal. Uh, yeah, we can do the whack a bump. That's why we have them, right? They say if you consume a hot dog, it'll get rid of the fog. <laughs> <laughs> Your vision becomes clear. <laughs> point swap. That's right, we do have a point swap. Oh! 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. they missed because they suck. Oh my god, the fog though. The OP fog though. Fog percent. The fog sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Fog percent. It's nice when the enemy misses you, but it's not worth missing you. There we go. Alright, get rid of the X-Nots. Uh, let's just keep going with bombs. See, this might be a good time for, uh, for the best move in the game, Bomb Squad. Because you can wait out the fog. That's true. Really is bomb the best Squad move. would be helpful here. I think instead... Uh... That's a heal. No, you know what? You're right. Bomb squad. Bomb squad. Throw in some bombs. Throw in the bombs. Throw in the bombs. That was all. Those are all pretty good throws. Bring out looks, the bombs. Yeah, it looks like it. I don't like. I think we do have to do this though. Ah, yeah. Now nah, you know what? I'm a man. I can take it. It's fine. You're a man. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. <laughs> This is fine. Surely one of the attacks will miss. Ow. Surely. Oh, no, there's a bomb oh, in the a bomb. It's about to explode. I know, I know, I saw. Oh god, I don't know what to do about that. Um I think I might be able to end it this turn. I think you can too, yeah. I think I can. So if you got all three of the squads... Yeah, um... they're all right under him. So I think I can end it with just a power smash, right? I think that does it. Uh, yeah, you should be. Do, I think like, that what, does two, it. two damage or three damage with the squad? They do three each, I think. Or two. It doesn't even matter because it's three yeah. of them. So. Unless so, they, yeah, the yeah, fog yeah. caused them to miss. Oh, God. <laughs> the fog. Wait, wait, wait for it. <laughs> One, and a two, and that's it. There you go. There's your x naught percent. You happy now? <laughs> 600 x naughts. Happy now. We killed only 600 x naughts were harmed in the making of this. And yet they still have members. Yes, they do. <laughs> there you go. x naught percent. Okay, well, I think I am probably going to step out to get some food and get ready for my stream later, so um, thank you for having me on board, Eric. It was a lot of fun. Good luck with the rest of your run. I'm sure I'll be around from time to time to watch. So See you later, Slim. I really appreciate you joining me for the last weekend stream. Um, if you haven't checked out Slim Kirby, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You definitely should. He's a great guy. Uh, definitely go give him a... Give me, give him a shout out in chat and definitely go check him out. And thank you again for being here. Uh, on the list of people that I really wanted to be here, you know, for people that I've had a long history with and online content creation and whatnot, came in was number one, but you, yeah. you <laughs> were a very close second. But thank you so much for being here. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, I, I see what you're doing. You're just trying to get that free uh, Scavengers like, uh, <laughs> code before. I, I can neither confirm nor deny, but I appreciate you being here. No problem. Happy to be here. It's been great working with you. Uh, you know, we haven't been done too many collabs recently, but like just oh yeah, in the past like we started YouTube together and yes, it's been amazing. So for sure, thank you, my have friend. A, have, a, have a good rest of the stream. Have a great uh, moving forward with your life. You're doing a lot of cool things, and thank I always you. remember that. Thank you. See you later, my friend. See ya. And then there were two. Who was that guy? Who was he? <laughs> he just showed up. <laughs> uh, anyway, now the party can begin. Now that we're here now, with just K-Man. Now there, there's no restrictions. All the uh, all, all the restrictions are off. It's uh, K-Man After Dark. That's right. With, with, uh, with your host, Eric. Uh, we're yes. we're going to go buck wild. Oh, yes. Uh, are we? Wait, we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure, whatever. Well, no, I'm actually happy that I have a fellow food enthusiast on the stream with me. So the question? No, I no, have... just just burger enthusiasts, really. Oh, not food. I was going to ask you pizza as a follow up. Oh, have you pizza. heard oh. my pizza advice? By the way. No, I haven't. Okay, well, well, allow me to elaborate. I've only said it fifty thousand times, but 
It will never be enough because the world needs to understand this. You don't understand. The world needs to understand. Um, so you've get, you've gotten takeout pizza before, right? You've gotten takeout yeah. pizza before from like a, you know a, a, a Domino's, a Papa John's. We're never proud of when we do that, but we've all done it, right? We've all done it. You're lazy. You don't don't feel like making pizza. Or don't feel like doing other things. I, I get it. But uh, let me ask you this. So oh, I gotta pay attention to the stupid potion part. Let me ask you this before I uh, go through this. When you get that pizza, right, you call up, you order, it takes 30 minutes, it comes to your door, the, the delivery guy gets there, you open the door, you give him the cash, you get the pizza box, put it on the kitchen counter, you open it up, it smells nice and hot and fresh, and you take a nice fresh bite, right? Yeah. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. Doing it wrong. <laughs> so, because you know what's been happening in the 20 minutes or so that it took the pizza to get from the restaurant to your house, it's been sitting in a cardboard box, and all that steam has been losing the crispiness of the crust on the pizza. So it's all floppy and, and mediocre. What you can do to remedy that, preheat that oven to 400 degrees, get a little baking pan, put down some aluminum foil, put the slices of pizza right on the foil, stick it in the oven for five minutes. 400 degrees Fahrenheit, by the way. Just saying. It is the way to go. And it will turn that mediocre pizza into a slightly less mediocre pizza. Now are you just looking to enhance the crust, or are you just looking to like reheat the pizza? You are because you you do both. So the cheese gets a little meltier, the pizza crust gets a little crispier, and it turns that mediocre pizza into less mediocre pizza. And by that, like you know, it's still not going to be gourmet, but like you see, it brings out the true flavor. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, because if there's one thing I ever wanted in life, it was the true flavors of a Papa John's pepperoni pizza. Listen, you can uh, you can hate it all you want. <laughs> Don't hate it till you try it. You're gonna see. Right. I don't know, it just sounds like more effort than I'm willing to put in if I already did not have enough effort to go this get... This is the problem. An, this is the problem okay with pizza. America. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you that it is... It really, it will change your perspective on cheap takeout pizza. Okay. Anyway, I'm mean, going to see not... if I can figure out what's possible. Yeah, that was easy. Do I, do, I, do I need to hold your hand for this? I got it! I do, got it! Can't do a simple potion? I'm trying to talk about little, pizza little and do a pose? potion puzzle. Colors, colors too hard for you? You can only do numbers? Listen. Listen. This is a logic puzzle as good as any. <laughs> Just say, listen, I invited you on this show, That's and right. you do not get to talk to me like That's that. That's right. I don't like your tone, mister. <laughs> anyway, all I'm saying is, it doesn't require any additional effort to to i mean it requires some to put a pizza in the oven but like you can preheat it when it's on the way you get it you just stick it in the oven for five minutes oh god it goes backwards then you take it out and that's all you have to do okay yes but uh oh boy oh i missed it missed oh good um however let me uh just offer the the counterpoint of have you ever ordered a pizza at like uh like 10 or 11 at night because you're like slightly drunk and you want something oh, you want seconds. something to eat yep. and uh the pizza doesn't show up until uh noon the next day because that's happened to me and no amount of preheating the pizza there would have would have saved that pizza uh, i gotta count to 30 seconds in my head <laughs> it's fine i'll wait that's a good question. You had me on your show to, to ask good questions, and the least you could do is know how to count to, to 30, you know, while still answering the question. All right, we're at 30 seconds. Uh, yes, yes, I guess pose a, <laughs> a true professional host would be able to talk and count to 30 at the same time, but I really didn't want to mess up this potion sequence and have to do it all over again. Yes, it came out correctly. Yeah, but anyway, that was that was my story I that I just wanted to tell was uh, I ordered a pizza that did not show up until the next day. You didn't uh, really? Are you serious? Yeah. Did you no, schedule it for next day? To, like, did you schedule it for that no. time? No. Like I, uh, like the, the they said or um, I, I I did it through an app, so I didn't call the place, and it said deliver ASAP, and I said yes, and it did not show up until the next freaking day. So the next day, like, 
was it the same time that you ordered it the next day? Was it like 24 hours later? Or was it just like randomly in the morning? Well, it showed up at noon, so it may have been as scheduled. <laughs> but I definitely wanted it the previous night. So, so you just... and I got, I got really awakened by a pizza driver going, "Did somebody order a pizza?" Uh, like last, I did yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually hysterical. Hey, by the way, a little shout out to the people in the chat. We got uh, Jay Yun Wu. Good to see you. We got. Uh, Psy Rock Omega, PSI Rock Omega, good to see it. And I think that's it for new folks that I haven't seen yet, but of course, Pixel Plume, Buddy Bro, Mr. L, Grim Angel, Mega's still here, Guy Crusher 9 is still here, Casanova 64, Magnus 8M, everybody's still hanging out and having a good time. So, anyway, that is weird. That is very weird. Sneak yeah. around, just go inside. Just go uh, on. Inside. on on another food related topic you did bring up the the point of uh of the challenge burger yes i did and uh that did make me pretty curious as to uh who would ever want to challenge themselves while eating i don't really get that the point of eating is to have a good time if you're trying to challenge yourself that's that's not a good time by the way the game on screen i'm pretty sure is supposed to be a balloon fight. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the game that is actually on screen. Um, but it might be Mario Brothers or something. I don't really know. Actually, no, it looks more like Mario Brothers now. Um, but I think that that title screen is... Uh, oh, it's the Famicom Disk System BIOS. Okay, I stand corrected. There's the Famicom Disk System BIOS. Okay, Good go. facts. Good facts. Yes, interesting facts. I love how PTM once got on, and he immediately started throwing all the, the K-Man memes. I'm telling you, they're Never alive and well. Them. They're alive and well. Alive and well. How long ago was our, our playthrough of this? Was it like... It was plenty long ago. It was 2009. So it was 10 years ago. No way. No yes, way it was yes it was. It was 2009 into 2010. No, wait, really? maybe it was 2010. No, 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 no. It was the very tail end of 2009 into 2010. I'm pretty sure. Like, it was like it was like December of 2009 or something we started. All right, I I'm going to have to fact check you on that one. You can fact check me. I have been re misremembering a lot of things. So, I thought it was like right at the end of December 2009 into 2010. All right, I'm gonna have to go in the videos, find the oldest video that exists. Oh my God, the, all the Wii Compete. I'm telling you, Wii uh, Compete was the way to go. Dude, that thing was a nightmare to produce. I think, like, I'm pretty sure, did I produce all of them or did we actually go 50-50 on that? I think you did all of them, if I remember correctly. Okay, let me tell you. All right, Paper Mario 1000 Year Door, nine years ago. Oh, there you uh, go. On January 7th, 2010, we did our uh, announcement video. Or no, this was part one on January 7th, 2010. Okay, so it was 2010. So I stand corrected. It was 2010 for the first episode of Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. I remember that trailer. I made that trailer. And that trailer, I I'm still very proud of how it came out. That took a lot of work to make that trailer. Okay. So. Anyway, I wanted to talk about this uh, this this we compete thing because let me tell oh, you the well, nightmare. We were, we were just talking about that. it before you got here, so I'd love to hear it. Okay. So like, um, the pro okay. So that was like back around. That must have been around twenty third. Must have been late twenty twelve, early twenty thirteen. Sure. Sure. Okay. Sounds so right. I I was just a freshman in college. And all I had to my name was my little tiny dorm room and uh, my little, like, MacBook. Yep. And this little MacBook, like, was the hardest working, uh, hardest working MacBook I think that will ever exist. Because, like, every time I tried to produce a video, that thing would, like, spin up like a jet airplane and it would last for, like, eight hours. And every time while sitting in philosophy, 
people will look over to like my computer because all they just hear is the entire time while it's like trying to produce all the frames of the video and just going all there is on my screen is like processing video time remaining three days that is hysterical and like for while like and this is just like a simple 10 minute video I, I would be, like, locked out of my computer for, like, three days producing it. I love the uh, Lord Crump versus Bowser uh, fight here, by the way. Pretty cool. <laughs> like the little lineup. That was it? That was her biggest weapon? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, they, it was... So, like... I feel like that's what a lot of people don't understand. If you want to go into content creation, it takes a long time to produce a video. Never mind, like, one that uh, uh, involves complex editing and whatnot. Uh, like, it, just to render it and record it and process it and actually capture what you want to capture, it's a long time. Yeah. You got to tell the people. That is funny, though. I remember, like, producing videos on my old laptop and it's just being, like, exactly that. Like, as soon as you hit produce, it would be, like... <laughs> <laughs> so loud. I don't know what it was about We Compete specifically. I think it was because it had to do like six or seven uh, video tracks. Yeah, right. Or I guess it would have been like three video tracks, three, four audio tracks. Yeah, just so like those seven tracks in total. It was just right. like, it was a nightmare. Yeah. yeah well. I, I would just be locked, like, I would just be locked out of my laptop for like the next day and a half. <laughs> so true. So true. That's how it was. But it all worked out somehow. Yeah. Somehow. But that was honestly a lot of fun. I think that was the first and last project you and I did on that. It was. It was. It was. It was. We did meet up in New York somewhat recently. Oh, we Remember we that. did. So I could I could give you your well deserved ketchup pack that was so stupid but but <laughs> it, it did so happen stupid. but we went out for a great pizza that happened that was a good time yeah so you're on the west coast now right yeah i'm uh just a little outside of seattle now all in, uh, the Kirkland. way up there all, all yeah all the way out on from the east to the west does it rain over there as much as the people say yeah it rains more often but um Probably not as exaggerated, like, uh, I'd say it rains probably like once every three or four days. Gotcha. So, I mean, it's, it's above average, but um, the one thing that like, I didn't think was going to be as bad is that it gets dark really quickly in Seattle. So that's funny because like, the same thing happens on the East Coast. Well, like the same thing happened. I guess I'm used to living in like New York, where right. It I guess like really. there's city lights everywhere, so yeah. you don't really notice as much. Right. right. But like now that I'm not in like a city anymore, you just notice that it's like 4:30. You're like, oh, the sun's gone, and it's only 4:30. I haven't left work yet. Well, that's exactly how it is here. Which is funny. I feel like with the edges of the time zone catch that, whereas places that are more like the edge of switching over from one time zone to the next on the left side. Places that are more on the right side of that, if you look at a map. Or sorry, the, I'm kind of the other way around, I think. If you're more on the left side, you won't notice that as much. Whereas you're on the right side, you will. Because, like, it's right when the time change happens. So, like, for example, when I went uh, to Indiana a couple times in years past, I've seen that, like, the, the sun sets at, like, a normal time. Whereas, like, 4.30 p.m. on the East Coast, it's already dark. So, it's just funny. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what am I doing in between this chapter? I have to do a couple things. Uh, anyway. So, are you trying to do, like, all the side quests as well? Uh, not all the side quests, no. I'm going to do getting the optional partner. I'm definitely going to do that. Um, okay. I'm not doing, like, recipes or tattles. That just takes too long. And then okay. if we have time at the very, very end, I would like to try to do the Pit of Hunter Trials. But we have to see if we have enough time. I don't need any of well, these. I, I probably, because I feel like at the rate you're going, you're going to probably end pretty early on Sunday. Right. Slow go. Uh, the idea, or at least my 
my idea. I mean, I could buy it. <laughs> Just because it's 12 coins. Um, the idea is... No, I don't want to buy another. I want to get through Chapter 6 today. That was my goal, of getting up through Chapter 6. So I think well, we're on, on track for that. Yeah. I, I, I would say you probably have plenty of time to finish Chapter 6. Especially if, right. if you're going all the way to 10, you have like four hours left. That's plenty. Yeah. Yeah. It should be good. Three hours left. But yes. Still plenty. Oh, yeah. Math. Come on, man. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Because I don't have a great teacher like you, Eric. Ah, see, teach me, see, teach that, this that is math. why I invited you on. This is why. <laughs> it's because I flatter you. You flatter for, me too. You take good for, care of me, uh, hey, man. For stream time and for for attention. That's right. I'll do anything. You do any for plugs for your new game. <laughs> yeah. What is it called again? Scavengers. Scavengers. When's it going to be available? Do you think? Uh, we haven't announced a release date yet, so I can't tell you. What platforms is it going to be developed for? Uh, well, I'll say at least for PC. At least for PC. So check out Scavengers on PC, potentially more than just PC, uh, at some date to be determined. Uh, I mean, you could go sign up on the site. We've been doing um, periodic playtests that we open up. Um, so like, you know, on a weekend or something, we'll, uh, open up the servers to let people play for the weekend. There you go. Um, hey, there it is. Go ahead and sign up. It, yeah. What does this lady do? I don't remember. Oh, the stat adjustment. No, I don't want to do that. That's right. I have no need to do that. I forgot how many, like, random stat, whatever. I forgot how many people in Rogueport will do stuff for money. I know. <laughs> There's so many, like, NPCs and things that you can do. Uh, I don't want any of these. I want to save up for Power Cross. Now we can blow up this so we can finally get a shortcut that way. I'll get a shortcut. Yeah, go buy some items. Yeah. But, uh, I, I assume the teaching thing must be going well if you're, uh, retiring on the, uh, it is. It's going very well. All the content creation side. It is. It is. It's, it's between that and, and personal relationship side, things have been going pretty well in the past, which is pretty well recently, which is good. Um, That's good. At work, definitely looking to accept a lot more responsibility. I am uh, w One of the responsibilities I accepted is that I am the union building representative for our teachers union. So I'm a union man is what that means. And w what it really means is people come to me with their problems. And I solve them, because that's just the kind of guy I am. There's really nothing more to it than that. Uh, yeah. But uh, I do get involved in a lot of like district-wide policies and stuff, so it's pretty cool to to be a part of that. Um, I will also say that you know, moving into my girlfriend and I are gonna be moving into a new house, which is very exciting. Um, happens in about a month. So that's gonna be great. And it's just gonna be a lot more responsibilities that come with that. So yeah, that's why it's it's time. It's been ten years. I mean, how long? You know, you can only do it for so long. Oh my god, I failed the action command. I don't think I've ever failed that action command. I just tried to do it so fast. This Koopa is just doing nothing. He's doing nothing. Can we? I can't do anything to it. Can we, can we make it go away? I can't do anything to this thing. It's just sitting here. I think you should use a full art attack on it. Let's try that. <laughs> Seriously, it's just sitting there. It just... That's... That was its attack. It just sat there for a turn and then pop... Get out of my face. <laughs> it just sat there. Piercing Blow didn't do anything to it. It's dead. It doesn't matter. Dead. Doesn't matter. They're gone now. Anyway, uh, let's see what else. Where else can I go now that I haven't gone in these sewers? I can't go this way yet. I can fight some enemies, but whatever. Hey, Kane, yo, yo, please. Good to see you. Thanks for coming back from yesterday. I hope you're not asking me because uh, I really do not know this game that well. No, I'm not asking you. Okay. I'm talking to myself. I'm just here for the ride. He's just here for, to have a good time. That's why I want you here, K-Man. Because 
you are the man. Uh, I really, really, really need to get Spike Shield. Which is, which I can get now. So that's the thing, before we start Chapter 6, we have to do, there's a lot of like little side questy things that we need to do before we did that. So we've got, we kind of did Chapter 3, Chapter 4, Chapter 5 all in a row. But before we do Chapter 6, there is actually quite a bit that we need to do. Yeah, they basically have you visit like every previous location. Oh, that's that's before chapter seven. Oh boy. Oh yeah, is that boy. Not before chapter. Uh, that's general oh no, light. You're right. Remember yeah. that. That is before chapter seven. But this one, I have to. You have to actually. Like, there's a lot of like random things that I can collect now that are actually very useful. So I'm gonna do that. I will say one thing. I'm happy that I did that. I don't usually do when I play this game. But somebody suggested it, and I think it's definitely a suggestion that paid off, is getting to floor 50 on the Pit of 100 Trials after uh, Chapter 2. And that is very early to do that. It definitely made for some pretty tough moments, but it was super worth it. Because having the Strange Sack where you can hold 50 items, and you get a lot of nice level ups along the way, it definitely helped. Anyway, I came uh, in. Okay, that, yeah, that would explain. I thought you were pretty... Uh... Pretty over leveled, and I wasn't sure why. Because um, you kind of notice when you're over leveled, and you get a lot less XP. And like in Chapter Four, you're only getting one XP from every. Right. Enemy. Also, Strange Stack is definitely my uh, my stage name. <laughs> you may know him as K-Man Rules One Three Three One, but in other communities, he goes by Strange Stack. <laughs> <laughs> On other stages, though. On other right. stages. Other in other venues. <laughs> this guy's just gonna die in his own turn. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. We need one more star point for a level up. One star point, for sure. Oh, jeez. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Does your, uh... Does your school do the same? Because, um... Uh, my sister's husband is also a teacher at, um, in, I think he just started in Iowa. Yeah. But, um, when he, when he was working in Colorado, they had him change subjects, like, quite a bit. Like, he was always in the science discipline, but he went from, like, earth science, biology, then chemistry. Do they do that for, like, all the school districts, or is that just... I have not heard of that too much, for, especially going from, like, chemistry to bio. Like, those, that's a pretty drastic change. For math, certainly, I, I teach all different maths from year to year. Usually it's Algebra 2 and then, like, something else. So this year I have Free Calculus, which I love teaching. Um, but, that yeah, that's weird. That's unusual with sciences. That's unusual. Would I ever be a PE teacher, says Kane Yo-Yo Plays? No. No. Why not? No. You'd be a perfect PE teacher. I think, uh, although it would be fun, having... 50 plus kids in a gymnasium at once it, it's I, I don't know where half of them are athletes that think that they're too cool for gym class and the other half are <laughs> kids that don't want to be there is no I'm, I'm not really up for that not really that's not really my style yeah i feel like it's hard enough to get kids to like sit still in a uh a classroom and learn something but when you get yes, like the is. other half where there's kids who uh don't want to move and try and get them to move it it probably is a pain yes it's a pain it's the other yeah it's the exact other side it's like i don't i don't get it it's like kids in in a math class all they want to do is like move around and stuff like they're like this is so boring i just want to get up and walk around and then when you have the class that requires you to get up and walk around they're like this is so boring all i want to do is sit here <laughs> i don't get it kids don't make sense you kid you teenagers don't make sense to me just decide one thing or the other. Everyone's back and <laughs> forth and back and forth. Well, that's it. Eric's gotten old, guys. He, he just started complaining about kids I don't get days. it. I don't get it. Kids are always on their phones. You know what we had in my day? Also phones, but flip phones. Flip phones. Yeah, that's right. We didn't have any of these magic rectangles that you guys have. God, no. I, can't rem I can't imagine, like... Kids these days having um, smartphones at like school. I can't imagine like ever paying attention. Yes. 
I'm pretty sure it used to be an issue where a bunch of kids would just like play Fortnite on their phones and like pay no attention in class. That sounds about right. There was a, uh, it, it definitely took a little adjusting to get used to how to police that, you know? Because you have to be like, you can't just be like, oh, leave it on your desk because everyone's going to check it. You have to be like, put it away entirely. Ignore it. Pretend it doesn't exist. I think we've done a pretty good job with that, but I mean, it's tough. Like naturally, like I do that when I'm in a meeting. If my phone's out, I'm going to check my phone and not really pay attention. So it's definitely Wait, a balance. Like act. In your school, you had the phones just sit out on the desk. That was one thing that we used to do a while, like my first year there. They used to be like, they can't be on their phones, but I think it, they can have them out, was like the policy. But what's the point of that? I know! But whatever. Wait, like, our school just, uh, you put them away. Like, you put them in your backpack, you don't pull them right. out. Yeah, and then in college, it's just like a free-for-all. In yeah. college, it's like, yeah, do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, like, in college, I don't think people really care whether you fail or not. They got your money. Exactly. What are my thoughts on those modern schools outdated memes? I don't know. I, I feel like... I feel like... I, I mean, I have a lot of, to say on that topic, but I don't know how much I want to say publicly. <laughs> um, but I will say that... Just just work hard and do the best you can in school. That's the best way you're going to find success in the future. That's it. Yeah. Like K-Man here. Take K-Man. By the way, Shots Rock's coming on in. Take Cayman. Oh, Shots Rocks, what's up? Yeah, Shots what's up, Rocks. Buddy? We were on, on stream with Cayman Rules 1331, or at least the artist formerly known as Cayman <laughs> Rules 1331. He now goes okay, by that, Strange Sack. That's it. <laughs> I was going to say, strictly now, my name must be referred to as the artist formerly known as Cayman Rules 1331. The artist formerly known as Cayman Rules 1331. But I also like Strange Sack now. I I'm torn. You're torn. That, that, that'll be my first name basis. My gotcha. friends call me Strange Sack. Your friends just call you fr Strange Sack. And that Strange Sack is torn, is what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> That's painful. Uh, couldn't resist. Uh, anyway, totally inappropriate. This kid's here. Uh, There's kids here. Anyway, we need to get tickets. The Don is sick. Oh, I forgot to totally voice act this. This is my voice acting. That The only character that I'm actually... Uh, voice acting is Don Pianta. So, hold on. Because it's just like how I naturally speak. Anyway. You know. When he actually gets up. I don't think he's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna get up. So we're gonna get Francesca. <laughs> Freaking shots call my name Basic. Basic. Kyle, Kyle's a basic name. Dude, everyone at work makes fun of my name being Kyle because of all the Kyle uh, memes. memes. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, they're memes for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know me, best known for chugging Monster Energy drink and punching drywalls. That is you. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> think of a more accurate way to describe you. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, well, actually, it's just funny because if I think of all the Kyles like I've ever known, I don't think any of them fit that description. As well as I, I have do. a friend who is named Kyle that uh, it's actually the Kyle was in Four Swords Adventures if you remember for some of the longtime fans um, he is a wonderful guy and uh, he actually had an episode a while ago where um, he uh, got a little had a little too much to drink and was pretty much just like yeah I'm Kyle what are you gonna do about it and like started pretty much <laughs> acting like the Kyle memes which was very funny nice nice guy love him love him you got, you got a little out of control that one day. <laughs> yeah, I'm Kyle. What are you going to do about it? I punch it. drywall. That's pretty much it. I ride BMX. Right. right. Fun times. Yeah. Fun times. Must be fun rolling in the, the Shadow Mario XLI crew. I like to think so. I like to think so. The late also I, funny. Can't go quite as late night anymore, you know? But yeah. other than that, not bad. It's also funny because I guess like you were not really shy to uh, showing everyone else that you knew about um, about your YouTube channel. Because like back in the day, it was definitely a lot weirder than it is now. It was, and I, I agree with that. It, it's a, a lot of times I don't show them; they just find it, and then they're like, "Is this you?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's me." And they're <laughs> like, "Oh, that's cool." 
But before, like, the response would have been, that's weird. And now it's like, oh, that's cool. It's funny just how, how different it is. You know, how it's become more accepted. Yeah, did, did I tell you about the time I, um... There was, like, a film, uh competition or something that my friend was doing and he wanted like our help so like we went over to his place and um i saw his little brother was uh signed in on youtube and he was subscribed uh to slim and i just had to like bite my tongue and just be like i no i i don't know who that is that is pretty funny why did i get bp i i picked bp for my upgrade for a reason and now i can't remember what i wanted to equip oh i wanted to that's what i wanted I want to take off multi bounce and I want to equip. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Lucky stuff. And get spike. Oh, spike shield too. That's the other reason. That's the other reason. That's the other reason. Can you yeah, play uh... The only class you ever failed got in a bad grade in math, math and photography. You also got a D in English class once because of senior year and you lost your passion for English. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I hey, did not do well. Jamie plays I didn't games. do as well in uh Thanks for stopping on by. Type exclamation mark final stream. You'll get something. Final stream. And TTYD. Yeah. So I should say that for everybody on here. Hold on one second. Uh, I should say um, that if you haven't done so already, please make sure you join the Discord server. Although I will not be streaming anymore after this weekend, I will still be on Discord and you can still contact me there. I'll still post on social media and stuff like that. Another thing is that... If you type exclamation mark final stream, you should be able to come across a link to a Google Drive, or a Google Doc, rather. And if you fill that Google Form, that's what it's called, not Google Doc or Drive. Google Form, if you fill that, I'm such a boomer. If you fill that out, uh, then you can receive just a little extra token of appreciation for me. And it's really one of the least things that I could do for all of your continued support throughout the years. So if you haven't done so already, Please make sure you fill that form out. Uh, it will allow me to really say thank you in a more personal way. So, thanks. Wow, sending all the fans a uh, Sonic ketchup packet. You know, I, I was going to kind of leave it a surprise, <laughs> but I guess we're just going to go out there and say it. Uh, I'm, like, just not quite strong enough to take out these enemies in one round, which is annoying. Look who's back. It's sports from coast to coast. Things are doing well. Things are going well. We're doing how just do a... get... What? Sorry? Oh, how do you get really... Like, you don't really get stronger, per se. Like, your attack doesn't really go up. Well, you when get... you get the hammer upgrade and the uh, boots upgrades. It's like when you get the ultra hammer and the ultra boots. Oh. That's when your attack goes up. Um... So when that happens, then I'll be able to actually beast on all these enemies. But right now, I'm just kind of like, just not quite strong enough to be able to hold my own. Anyway, I didn't actually want to go that way. I want to go get Spike Shield, which is in here. Okay, so I want this. Get a little of this, get a little of that. That's right. Ooh, that was close. So we just beat a hey, shot. See you later. Thanks so much for stopping by. Oh, poor Yeah. Kid. There it is. That's fine. So we just cleared Chapter 5. We're doing a couple things before we go ahead and get started with Chapter 6. Specifically, we are going to get uh, Miss Mouse, the optional partner. And then we are getting on the XX Express. And that's the goal for tonight, is to get through Chapter 6. So if I can do that, I'd be happy with that. If I finish early, uh, I shoot Mario Baseball as a true send-off. I did Mario Baseball last week, so that's why that was sort of the send-off there. Uh, but if uh, we get through that stuff early tonight, I'm still going to go till 10 regardless. So we got another about three hours to go. Uh, but I am probably going to do either some troubles or maybe I'll just take the time to stock up my inventory of items or I don't know. I'll do something. Well, I'm not just going to end early. I promise 10 o'clock. We're going to be here till 10 o'clock. And K-Man rules one through through one is here right now. The artist formerly known as, sorry. The artist formerly, the artist known, as far the artist formerly known as K-Man, now known as uh, Strange Sack. Uh, strange Sack. A torn Strange Sack. Tor the Torn Strange Sack. <laughs> 1331. 1331. That's right. 
Uh, Eddie. Did I, did I tell you, um, so, like, when we made CSS, do you remember that there was, like, another channel that, like, popped up that was, like, the Seven Star Spirits? Maybe. Okay. Well, it's funny, because, um, I think we knew about, like, we saw it, like, once, and we were like, oh, hey, look, like, a, a derivative or whatever right. channel. And, um, like, later, a couple years later, when I, um, started playing competitive Team Fortress 2, uh, which is another chapter of my life. Um, oh, competitive TF2. I, Good times. Yeah. Um, like, I, I joined a team, and, uh, one of the teammates, like, just kind of, like, private messaged me. He's like, hey, are you, you're, you're not the same K-Man that, uh, I was from CSS, are you? And I was like, oh, yeah, you know about that? And he's like, yeah, I was a part of, uh, <laughs> I was part of, uh, that, that group that, um, was derivative of yours, the Seven Star Spirits. That's actually pretty cool. That's pretty <laughs> cool. It's like, hey, you're yeah, not uh, but... that same caveman guy, are you? And you're like, uh, actually, kind of. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm, I think I got recognized twice while playing TF2. There you go. From... Look at that little fame coming through. No, a little bit of fame. A little bit. Of... Well, you, you've gotten recognized by people in real life. I have. That is true. That did happen. I, I, I guess if you don't count conventions, because uh, your students actually found your channel. They did. They did. Though there was one, I, I, always, I tell, that knew me actually on YouTube before actually being a, a student in my school, which is really funny. Um, <laughs> and was, like, tuned into a couple streams and was like, you look super familiar. And, like, I know <laughs> I've seen you before. It was very funny. Uh, I haven't had the student in class. I have a chance of getting him next year. Which would be awesome. Like, how funny would that be? But I guess we'll see. Okay, anyway. Um, I equipped all the new badges. What I have to do right now is I'm going to do the Miss Mouse Trouble. And that involves going all the way back to Hooktail's Castle. So I kind of have to backtrack for a little bit. Then, after we get back, we'll jump right into Chapter 6, the XS Express. Yeah, you're just... Uh... You're just trying to stall so you enjoy all the XS Express with uh, PTM. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. His chapter. That was his chapter, after all. That's, that is when he's scheduled to come on a little bit later tonight. So, it's pretty funny. Yeah. So, I want to tell you, actually, actually, now that you're here, I have to ask you a question. Um, so, you are, you are a developer, correct? Game developer. Wait. Uh, I, I just have to answer this question. Loopy, yes, it was Rage Master. Uh, he and I played on the same TF2 team for a bit. Shoutouts to Rage. Let's give a shout-out. Can we give a caster shout-out to Rage Master? Is that his Twitch name? Uh, I don't know what his Twitch name is anymore. Because he shortened it to Rage before I met him. Interesting. Well, regardless, let's just do caster Rage Master. And whoever that is... We'll just get a shout out right now. <laughs> it could be the same person. It could be someone different entirely. Whoever whoever has that Twitch account, congratulations! You've just gotten yourself a, a little mention. And while we're at it, shout outs to uh, Torn Strange Sack on Twitch. Yeah, uh, Torn Strange Sack. Yeah, one go give him a follow. Yes. One through three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for sure. In any yeah, case. But anyway. Um. Oh, you're a game developer, correct? Yeah. Game dev. What language do you primarily code in? C++. C++. That's, that's like pretty standard for almost every studio. So why have you not upgraded to C Sharp? This question. Because you don't get nearly uh, enough control over uh, the CPU instructions that get generated in C Sharp. Okay. Whereas in C++, you get like straight up, um, you can write exactly the instructions that you want, essentially. I got it. So you're, but C sharp is so much better. No. <laughs> no. Uh, C C plus plus gives you more control. I get it. C sharp is more convenient. I I mean like I it totally depends on the product you're making. I would not just blanketly um like I did recommend C plus plus over C sharp. Gotcha. Um, because I I think for most applications, if you're not trying to get as much. <clears throat> <Sorry>. <coughs> I'm getting sick. Um, if you're not trying to get as much performance out of your hardware as you like 
possibly need. And in game dev, you need to because like every little cycle that you get means that you can enhance the graphics a little more or you can add um, more complex logic to your game modes. Um, but if you're not trying to squeeze out all that performance, then you're probably going to make applications in general faster in C-sharp and probably safer as well, less bugs. But like when you don't have that control, it's uh, like you, you can't make a application in C-sharp as performant as in C++. Got it. So in school right now for AP Computer Science, I teach Java as a language. Mm -hmm. So I figure that's a valuable language to teach, right? A lot of people in the quote-unquote industry, quote-unquote, were saying stuff like, oh, Java's a dead language. Nobody really uses Java anymore. You should upgrade to teach something different like Python or something like that. And my well, argument is, like, pretty much although Java itself, I could see maybe you don't use that, so many languages that are commonly used are derivatives of Java. So learning something like Java, isn't that just so much more valuable? Can you validate this for me? Uh... Well, if you want to work on Minecraft. Ah, I mean, but who does? Isn't that like the ultimate dream of any game developer? <laughs> of course, it's to, well. See later, actually, David. now that Microsoft owns it, I don't know if they've translated it to, uh, to C++ no plus or not. I have no idea. Um, I, I don't know. Java's in a weird state. It, I think it actually is on the decline as a language goes. But oh, it definitely I mean, is. There's no just, there's no doubt about it. But but it it also kind of goes to show that like. Um, when teaching a language, a lot of the stuff is translatable to other languages as well. Um, and Java's a good starting point because you don't have to worry about stuff like memory management or um, you don't have to worry too much about... You don't have to worry about all the nitty-gritty details. You can kind of start uh, simple and like just kind of think about like the algorithms that you're making. This is what I've tried to tell everybody. This is what this is my exact point. Came in, you're doing me such a great service right now. You don't even realize. Uh, I mean, if, like, there, there are some weird things about Java, though, and, like... Oh, there are. I guess there, there's possible concern that, like, if you're teaching Java, you have to teach them some weird stuff about, like, how Java works. That is kind that of... That is unique. true. There's some weird syntax things that you really have to make sure you have in place to even write a simple program for Java, but still... Yeah. I say, even though Java itself is not used, which is true, everything else is a derivative of it. So, like, why it's a useful thing to teach. Anyway, you're just helping me settle a debate that happened in school. But that's all. What, what language were they? Or they're trying to get you to use Python, right? Well, not Cause... trying to get me to use Python, but they're... Because the, I use whatever language the AP uh, test is going to use. So, like, the AP test uh, signed by College Board uses Java. So that's why we use Java. Because, mm -hmm. you know, the AP test is all in Java. It wouldn't make sense to use a different language. That would be a little weird. Yeah. Um, so, but everyone's all like, oh, I should do Python, Python, Python. I think Python's great. It's fine. But it's good for teaching programming because it does allow you to kind of focus on the logic without getting boggled down, bogged down in the complexities of it, or like of the syntax. But at the same time, I feel like Java is the experience you want if you're going to go into a programming field. Java or a similar language like C++ or C Sharp or anything along those lines. Well, I, I would not start with C++. They're, that's like kind of throwing them into the deep end. Yeah. And uh, it's probably not a great uh, starting experience. But yeah, I mean like Java, C Sharp, Python, they're probably all fine languages to start yep. with. So, that's cool. We teach all that good stuff, you know? Yeah. If statements, arrays, uh, what else? That's it. No, uh, loops, methods, recursion. It's all good times. Recursion. What a fun time. It is a fun time. You gotta time. teach them all those algorithms too, because, uh, man, if there's one thing that makes a good developer, it's recognizing what problems require what algorithms. Aha! Aha! Getting a little insider information here. I don't know. I, that's also like every uh, programming um, interview is usually just like, we're going to give you a problem and see if you can recognize what uh, what algorithm should, or what data set and algorithm should be applied to it. That's pretty cool. I like that. 
I'm trying to think though, because like, um, at least in this last job that I applied, or, um, you know, my interview at Midwinter, um, well, there are a couple of questions. A lot of the stuff was specifically for, like, if you're, um, accustomed to games programming, a lot of the problem sets around that, but there's still a lot of stuff that, um, it, like, a lot of that stuff is derived from simple data structures and algorithms as well, like, um, a lot of stuff dealing with trees, especially if you're working in UI. A lot of the UI is right. sort of uses the tree data structure. Right, right, right. Um, and a lot of uh, spatial partitioning for, like, if you're making a uh, a world and you need subdivide stuff into 2D space or in uh, different sectors of the map. Right. And figuring out how to do off trees. That's pretty cool. Thanks for the advice, yeah. K-Man. That's helpful. Yeah, no prob. See? You want to get, you wanna get into the games industry, just uh, ask me for tips. Give good old Uncle K-Man some tips. So, anyway, hamburgers. <laughs> anyway, uh, the real important tip is uh, making sure you choose the right hamburger, because if we ask you where you want to go for lunch and your, your answer is Burger King, we're... Uh, we're done. Yikes. You're, you're not getting yikes. another interview. That would be a yikes all in capital letters. <laughs> yikes. If you say, if I said, uh, where do you want to go for lunch? To anybody. It doesn't It doesn't matter who it is. You can go anywhere you want. My treat. And they said Burger King. I think that would be the end of our friendship. Immediately. <laughs> terminated. On the spot. Like, if, if we were driving, I'd be like, get out of the car. I'd just pull over. <laughs> Immediately terminated. What, what's your bottom burger? Like the bottom worst burger, burger, the worst? Yeah. So, my bottom burger, let me tell you, because I've been asked this question before. I mean, obviously, it's it's something like, like a, oh God, everything. I'm just going to draw all over these guys. Uh, like a McDonald's, obviously, is pretty terrible. Um, or anything like, the, like that. Uh, but I'm going to give you an unorthodox answer because of how they advertise themselves. And my unorthodox answer is Smash Burger as being the bottom burger. Do you have Smash Burger where you are? I, I've been to Smash Burger before. So they are my bottom burger, and I'll tell you why. Are they objectively the worst burger? No, there are worse burgers, but they advertise themselves as being able to compete with the Five Guys, compete with the uh, Shake Shacks, compete with those types of places. And it, it just can't at all even get near that level. I, I would call them, like, a, a poor man's five guys. Yeah, but it's like so a the, really... It's a broke man's five guys. It's terrible. <laughs> it is terrible. Yeah it's, yeah, it's not that good. So that's my it's, bottom it's, burger. They're another one of those burger places. Doesn't have, like, good meat. And they try and uh, mask it by having, like, all these toppings on top of their burger. Right, right. It's like the burger's an excuse to uh, to eat toppings. But they're all pretentious about it. That's the thing. They're pretentious. That's it. That's exactly it. They're like, oh, we're as good as the rest. And it's like, you are not. You are not. That's like, I don't know. Do you have like an artisan sandwich shop near where you are? Probably. Oh, I'm, yeah, I do. Being in Seattle. Seattle. Uh, let's like, if, if a place like Subway was like, hey, we're introducing our new artisan sandwich and we can compete <laughs> with the best. It's like, you can't. Like, that's not who you are. And we understand that if we go to Subway, that we're not going to get a top of the line sandwich. You're going to get a cheap sandwich. That's good when you're drunk, but you know you're not gonna get like this gourmet thing. But they don't advertise themselves that way, and that's what—that's the difference. That's the difference. Okay. Sorry, I got really heated about that. It's fine. It's fine. But it's a very important. It's what we're here. It's very for. important to me. Anyway. Nah, my bo my bottom burger is definitely. Uh, I think it's Wendy's. Wendy's is just way, way, way too greasy. Like, I, I feel like my burger is swimming in grease when it arrives. By the way, where is the other thing? Is it here? Is it is it in the same room? The up arrow? I don't remember. It's not. Okay, people telling me Wendy's isn't that bad. Fight me at LAN, okay? Because, honestly, I think Wendy's burger... Like, I really despise Wendy's burgers. Because they are swimming in grease. Which is absolutely, like, grease-locked. Hey, Kane, you know your place with the 9-bit chair? Thank you so much. 
See, but see, if you're going to get a, a cheap fast food burger, that's what you expect. And that's why I think Wendy's is the best Dude, of okay. the fast food I burgers. I don't think a lot of fast food burgers are swimming in grease as much as Wendy's. Yeah, but that's why they don't taste good. That's why they don't taste good. Oh, it's the room where the like, spikes try. Oh, that's right, because there's a crack in the wall over there. That's right, I gotta go back to that. Oh, I would disagree, Mega. I don't think McDonald's has that much grease on their burgers. Their burgers are actually pretty dry. I don't know. I think, uh... I think all y'all are wrong, and we can just agree that Slim's mom makes the best burgers. Yeah, we'll all agree Slim's mom makes the best burgers. The thing Catch about me next... Think about In and Out. So people are bringing up In and Out. I've had In and Out. I am well versed in In and Out. They are they are very good, but they're not like like the best because they're but they don't try to be. That's where you go to get a dollar fast food burger. And as far as fast food burgers go, they have the best fast food burgers. I don't think anyone's gonna argue that. And, for, and they're mm. cheap. And they're cheap. But Wait, like, you think In and Out's the best fast food? Well, as far as like Burger King, Wendy's, McDonald's. But like, you start talking about Five Guys, Shake Shack, there's no way in and out competes with that. Okay, yeah, you know? I, I, I can agree but with the, that. But because they they're not in the business too, though. They're not in the business to compete with that. See, at our, at our company, it's very split. There's apparently like a cult of people, and I think it's people who just grew up on it, that like, will swear by in and out Yeah, you think? And then the rest of us think that it's not that good. Interesting. I think it's, it's good. It's good. There's nothing wrong with it. But like, that's the thing. Like, it's a dollar or whatever it is for a burger. Two dollars, I think, for a burger. And that's just what it is, you know? Like, you're going to get a two dollar burger if that's what you want. And it'll be the best burger for two dollars that you can get. But like, it's still a two dollar burger at the end of the day. Cheap, convenient, but not better than like a, a Five Guys or a Shake Shack. Oh, let me tell you the other thing that makes Shake Shack a great burger is they don't actually cut the bun the whole way. So it's like cut most of the way. And you know how everyone, uh, there's like a meme circul circulating around of people complaining that burgers, every time you bite into them, all everything just falls out the back. Yes. Yeah, not with Shake Shack. Not with Shake Shack. Because they, they close that bun. That is true. I do like Shake Shack. I'm not trying to say they're bad. I'm just saying. Although that, that does technically mean they are serving us tacos and not sandwiches. <laughs> that is true. I will say, Five Guys fries better than Shake Shack fries. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to bat for their fries. Like, I mean, they're fine, but they're not. I not I think special. they're decent for crinkle cut because I think crinkle cut is literally like the bottom it's, tier. It fries. is bottom tier cut fries for sure. But they're they're okay for crinkle cut fries. But yeah, like, yeah, I, I, that's as far to bat as I'm going for them. I will say as well, though, to give Shake Shack some credit, uh, Shake Shack shakes are better than Five Guys shakes. Yeah. I think without a doubt. I don't even think it's close. I, I think if your place has, is named Shake Shack, it should have good right. shakes. Right. Oh, see, see, this is what we were just talking about, PTM. This is, no, Smash Burger is a, <laughs> is a sham. Smash Burger is a sham. They're like, oh, look at us. We have fried pickles. Wow, look at how cool and hip and trendy we are. And it's like, get the hell out of my face, Smash Burger. I ain't got, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm glad I'm heating up the debate for when PTM's on. He's only speaking on fries here. In fairness, I have not had Smash Burgers fries in a long time, but I also imagine that they're that they're bad just because, for really no reason, but just because. Just they to used to be one of myself. the only. They used to be one of the only places that did sweet potato fries, and I really like sweet potato fries, but now that everywhere else does a better sweet potato fries, I have nothing left to say for Smash Burger. There you go. There you go. You've heard it here first. Now, if we're going to talk about other types of food, best pizza chain, best taco chain, best, like, you know, stuff like that, that's a different story. That's a little more debatable, I think. Like, I think Five Guys for me is clear-cut best burger, but I know you're on the Shake Shack side, which is fine. They're a second place for sure. But uh, <laughs> I feel like I feel like debating taco chains are literally just going to be scraping the bottom of the barrel. Well, no, Taco Bell is definitely not the bottom of the barrel. Taco Bell is the gold standard, as far as I see it. For taco, like, uh, for in general, for tacos, every Mexican restaurant pales in comparison to Taco Bell. 
Oh my god. <laughs> no, Taco Bell is actually trash. But sometimes when you get that cheesy gordita crunch, oh man, oh man, oh man. I disagree with that though, Kenya. Your place. I think Jack in the Box tacos are so bad they're good, but they are still bad, and they're not better than Taco Bell. Uh, I have a Jack in the Box like right across the street from a Taco Bell. I've yeah. never gotten their tacos. Yes, I'm a big Moe's like... fan though. I'll advocate Moe's all day. Do you have Moe's? Uh, Where you are? No, I I've been to Moe's once or twice. I've had their burritos, which are like decent. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. Because, like, when you live on at least the West Coast, and when I lived in New York City, at least, um, like, you can find, ta like, street tacos, and those are just better than anything. Oh, yeah, of course. 100%. If you go to a city, like, I've been in Boston several times, and you get street tacos from a, a, a truck, way, way better than anything, yeah. any fast food place, without a doubt. But, I don't know. Just saying. You know, I actually had this great burger the other day. I forget the name of the place, but I think if they're willing to donate some bits, I I'll, can probably remember the name of the place. You know, if, the, if, they're, if they're willing to give me some money. I, but it was really good. And I think it just totally flatlined the rest of the competition, you know. Really, the rest of this competition didn't even c compare. Couldn't even be used in the same sentence. Couldn't really remember what the name of the chain was. I'm sure if, uh, I'm sure if they threw me some, a couple dollars, I'd probably remember. And I had this great drink too. <laughs> Get this great drink. It was great. Uh, could could be a Coke, could be a Pepsi, could be RC. I don't know. <laughs> RC. <Coke. laughs> could be whoever whoever they wanted to be. Whoever the sponsors wanted to be. Just as a reminder, this is Eric's finale stream where he attempts to sell out everything he's worth. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. In any case, all right, we partnered, we powered up, we got the Ultra Stone, that's good. It is kind of annoying in this game that you have to backtrack all the way to Hooktail's Castle to get that, but in any case. Uh, oh, if we're going to do a soda debate, I actually stopped drinking soda because I think it's one of the easiest things to cut out of your diet and it's not healthy. Um, but I do like a good root beer every now and again. Orange yeah. soda also aren't mentioned. For me, it honestly depends. If it's trying, like, it's like a fine wine. It depends on what you're eating with the soda. Oh, that's spoken like a true connoisseur. Yeah. Um. Because you know, I can have a a good Coke with like a, a a burger, red meat. But if I have something like fish or chicken, I want something a bit more like Sprite. Um. If I'm just sipping on one in the afternoon, I might go for... I, I might be daring to go for grape soda. Uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, let's not get crazy. I didn't realize we were on the verge of starvation here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I agree. Anyway, I don't know how long you're sticking around for a K-Man. You're welcome to stay for as, as little or as long as you want. But uh... I don't want to keep you if you have stuff to do. Well, I'm trying to see. Like, I, I could stay until PTM shows up, and then just kind of give you the, uh, the old good. baton pass. Sounds good to me. He should be here. I mean, he's in the chat right now. Uh, he's welcome to come by whenever he wants. But, um, maybe about ten more minutes or so. That sounds good. Oh, there he is. Or did he just did he just jump in right now? I think he just jumped in right now. Oh no, oh, you no, know, just Mega. jumped in. Right now. Hi, I'm PTM. Mega, why are you here? <laughs> Mega Freak for 100 invading the stream guest chat. Admin powers, bitch. <laughs> what? What? What are you doing? Why are you even here? Get out of here. I'm hanging out with you. You told me 7:30. I, I. Oh yeah, I did tell him. Oh yeah, I, I did actually extend it. I won't say that. I can say he was awesome. Well, I want to say hi to K man. Hey Mega. Hey. Isn't it great to get the gang all together again? The gang's all back except for PK. I, I sent him a message on Steam, and he, I mean, he's not going to see it, but <laughs> he he was on it four weeks ago, so on Steam, that is. On what Steam. you're saying is there's a chance. There's a chance, but. He was on Steam slim. four weeks ago? Yes. 
Corey the Steam, he was on four weeks ago. I don't know what he's doing, but he Jeez. was on four weeks ago. Well, at least ago. we have Uncle PK, our, our Yoshi partner's name. He, he He's alive. We know that. He is alive. I he texted him. Wait, I can now. check if I got a response. Did he got a text? Did he respond to me? He did not. Definitely did not. <laughs> definitely did not respond. But I did text him. I texted. I shouldn't say I texted him. I texted a number that belonged to him eight years ago. <laughs> And it was the number for him last time. But we'll see if it's actually still his number. I don't know. Just getting a response that's like, hi, this is uh, Grant from Texas. Anyway, what uh, am I doing over here? I, I want to find, I need to find Frankie and Francesca. Where are they exactly this time? Before chapter six? Uh, I thought they were on Keel Hall Key, but I'm clearly yeah, wrong. No, you, you have to go like all the way to the waterfall, I think. Do you? Or yeah. like where? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. Because this is the whole, hate, like, this thing is with why the I hate ring. Because you have to do that stupid wall, like, 50 times. Yes, 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 <laughs> wait, yes, yes. Wait, wait. Don't you have to do whack a percent? Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Turn around. Stop everything. Turn around. <laughs> um, so, in case okay, you're just so tuning in, by the way, we do have two guests on right now. We got K-Man Rules 1331, the artist formerly known as K-Man Rules 1331, now goes by uh, Torn Strange Sack. And we have Mega Freak for 100 joining us now we will have power to mario joining us in just a little bit which is very very exciting uh but what we're doing is we just cleared chapter five we're doing mid chapter six stuff or pre chapter six stuff i should say where we are now i, I went to get the up arrow from hooktail's castle i got the hidden badge we got miss mouse in our party now so we actually got the optional partner she's the last partner right do we have everybody I think that's it, yeah. That's it, right? We don't have any... There's no more partners, so we're, we're all good as far as partners go. Uh, and Sadly, then, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there they are, finally. It would have been cool if you got pe uh, the penguin as your partner. That would have been cool. Pennington the penguin. That would have yeah. been cool. Uh, but in any case, we've got to find the, the ring. Um, looking at Steam, it looks like on uh, November 23rd, that is today... Uh, apparently he played Shadowverse on Steam. So, okay, did. wait, Shadowverse, Shadow, oh, God. Mario, <laughs> it's all coming oh, no. together. <laughs> no, 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 He's no. played for 41 hours. Did he? All right, we gotta, we gotta he's speed played, through this. He's, he played for, this. he's played for 780 hours. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah. I'll, I'll stop doxing, PK. <laughs> Come on, get through, get through, get through, get through, get through. Yeah, I hate this. I hate, this is, I hate it. It's so bad. Ah, we're almost there, and that's it. Whew. And then they bring this concept back for, It does, it comes uh, back for a trouble. No, well, may, yes, but also for Super Paper Mario with the stupid caveman. It has a similar type yes. of thing. It's very annoying. Very yes. annoying. Anyway, Mega, I don't know if you heard our food debates. Uh, yes, I did. I mean, I, I piped in a little bit in chat, but I mean, I, I I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna say. First off, fast food burgers in general are fast food burgers. Like they're not. You you, you get what you're paid for. Exactly. But I, I don't. I, I think my thing is, and to be fair, McDonald's isn't that bad. But I never had issue with with Wendy's being greasy. Burger King, on the other hand, at least around here, is I I it's not oh. good. <laughs> Well, Burger King's definitely, like, number two on the bottom. But, I mean, I, I, I don't doubt that you this had fox greasy burgers, sucks. but I wonder, it, it just seems weird, because I've never had, had it around here. You would think they would all have to be standardized, and they probably are, but... Oh, I hope this misses. I'm, I'm... It could also just be my definition of greasy is, what, is different than, than yours as well, because I like... I like a little bit, like, I like fat. Everybody like... has missed the past so many attacks. All right, finally. Sorry. Uh, my my grandmother had, she gave me, she bought some, like, chicken strips. And she said, uh, we're going to give them to you because they're too fatty. Like, they had too much, like, fat and, like, stuff. And I'm like, no such they, thing. they're fine to me. Like <laughs> No such thing as too much fat or too much butter. Too much grease. Well, there is definitely too much Impossible. butter. Like, you can, like, you, do you sit there and eat a tub of butter? Like, I, you, I there, there don't is definitely... judge, you should not judge my life. <laughs> I will not say sit here and have you judge my life like that. There is a limit to how much butter one person can eat. Challenge yes. accepted. It's listed <laughs> in the Paula Deen Bible. 
challenge food food challenge of tub of butter. Tub of butter challenge, like the cinnamon challenge. <laughs> tub of butter challenge. Eat a whole tub of butter. God, that would be gross. Uh, Where is this rank? It's in a bush, isn't it? Somewhere. No, it isn't it like next to the uh or just sitting it's somewhere it's right next to the no the cave i think right oh is it i i, I think it's next to the two totems it's i think it's yeah, somewhere yeah, around fine. yeah right right by the cave entrance right i'm yeah. going i'm almost there God. you know how long eric would oh, spend on chapter five if it wasn't for the expertise of uh mega and the artist formerly known as k-man rules 1331 now known as torn strain stack rules 1331 you missed him yesterday when he was not reading any of the dialogue <laughs> hey now we've made good time so far today you actually have made very good time i think we're we were, we're a little inefficient in doing these mid chapter things uh getting in a lot of these random battles that we probably didn't need to be but but overall not bad i'm not sure why yesterday I didn't seem like you took that long, but it like it was six hours and you didn't make a lot of progress. But like I don't think you were playing that slow, unless chapter two was just that much of a slog. Well, we but also don't forget pit, we did. Yeah, we went to floor fifty of the pit, which takes about an hour and a half. Yeah, and also I think there's a lot more. Oh, no, <laughs> Mario, don't do that. <laughs> you just killed PK. <laughs> don't hurt Uncle PK. Hey, power to Mario hosting the stream. But um, yeah, I think the, I think the beginning has a lot more dialogue too. I got a free as, like, jam and jelly here. Scenes. That's true. How do I get a free jam and jelly? I think I might have already gotten it. I got the ring. But I've kind of like I'm not gonna say I've, I'm changing my diet that much. But the older I get, I've kind of kind of come to the realization that. Uh, Vegetarian meals and stuff like that are actually better. <laughs> like, and I still like meat, don't get me wrong. I love meat still, but I'm eating a lot more vegetables because it just is better for you, cutting out sugar and, and uh, a lot of the fried foods. Hammer spin um, on the top ledge by the coin block? Wow, just ignoring my good life advice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, en I'm enthralled because I don't think I ever knew about this. Sorry, what's your what good you life advice? Say it again. Eat vegetables. <laughs> Eat your veggies, kids. You hear that? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, like the older and older you get, it just feels like, and as opposed to going for like a fried chicken uh, sandwich or something, I'm like, I'll just have like a salad. Yes, I <laughs> not agree even with like, that. Not even like being, oh, well, this is the healthy choice. Like, legit, that's what I'm craving is a salad. I actually agree with that. <laughs> Casanova with the ten bit shoe. Thank you so much. I actually agree with that wholeheartedly. I mean, granted, I'm, I'm, uh, you and me are probably older. I came, you're like, you're, what are you, like, five years younger, came in, or? Well, I'm 26 currently. 26? Oh, not, not, not that younger. Though. Jeez. Getting up there. Upper 20s. I know. Says the guy who's almost 30. Says the guy who Says is the also guy who almost is 30. All, all, more <laughs> almost 30 than me. Almost 30. Almost <laughs> That, this is a good thing you're not an English teacher. <laughs> no, definitely not. Uh, uh, I really should just run from these battles, but I have, I have shame in running. Running is shameful. Running is a shameful activity. Um, okay, I mean, you're you're not in you're like in Washington, right? You're not in yeah. California. I'm I'm a uh, I'm like close to Seattle. Okay, because I like I know. Uh, I was gonna say it literally wouldn't affect because like my brother lives in California and uh, with all the like power stuff that's been going on because of um, uh, the preventing the fires. I don't know if you heard about that. California's burning like it is every year. It does well, because like every year. apparently like well last year some of the fires were because of power lines that are fa faulty. So this year, instead of replacing the lines, the companies are just shutting the power off to prevent fires, which is like, okay, it does prevent fires, but <laughs> you like, could just... It's like, you know, you know what we're going to do so there's no more forest fires? Get rid of the forest. Then there can't be any more forest <laughs> fires. If there's no trees, then, you know, no forest fires. Well, I, 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 I mean, I get it, but like, okay, so like our work, because uh, I work night out at a hotel, 
uh, there's a for dishwashers, right? Who work in the kitchen for the restaurant? Um, the dishwashers, there's like a box oh, crushing machine right. or so, something like that. Yeah. Um, and you have to be like 18 to use it, I believe. And before I started working there, apparently somebody had used it who wasn't 18, and an inspector was around and caught it, uh, and it, and we and the place got fined. So now you have to be 18 to work at the whole hotel in general, like that. And like I guess that solves the problem, yes, to prevent further. There you go. But it's it just it's just like taking a hammer to uh, to a problem that does not need a hammer. That was a very good analogy. I, I that was a great analogy. remember the analogy. It's like using a sword to cut a cake. <laughs> yes, thank you. That's a better analogy. Yeah. You, <laughs> you know, that's one like, of my. Uh, it's like using a characters. hammer for something that wouldn't that that would be excessive <laughs> for. <laughs> yes, well said. All right, let's get out of here. It's one of my improv characters, uh, Captain Prevention, who would uh, prevent bank robberies by blowing up the bank. That's true. And you'd say, ah, oh, another job well done by Captain Captain Prevention. It's true. I think Kane Yo Yo Plays has a good point in the chat. It, if nobody's alive, then nobody will die. So, like, what's the solution of solving uh, inevitable clutches of death? No life. Right? That's yeah, the, it's uh, the big brain thought. That's, if, a, yeah, that's, a that's the version of. <laughs> See, this is why you're not in charge of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Those big brain thoughts. Dude, if we're going down, we're going down on our own terms. We're not going down whatever life tells us to. If we're going down, I'm taking Earth down with me. <laughs> That's right. Without a globe, there couldn't be global warming. Something to think about. Something to think about. Has anybody ever thought of that? Huh? Dude, I can't understand why global warming's an issue. Just turn the air conditioners around and cool the Earth. Hey, here's a question <laughs> for you. Okay, man, and I don't, cause you, you've been in a few different places, like uh, throughout the United States. So you've you've traveled a bit. What is your take on like temperature in terms of like what's comfortable for you? Because it, it, like we had uh, j j j what's going with that t topic is like I've had a, a girl who was working up with us who lived in Florida, and she's obviously like, oh, it's super cold. And then like my my brother comes to visit. It, during the summer, it was like 80, and he was putting on a sweatshirt because it was cold. So, like, for you, like, is what, being in different areas throughout the United States, like, what, like, what temperature do you think is the best as far as like uh, the areas the, that you've been in? The best objective temperature. Hmm. Well, so it actually depends on the location, um, mostly with the humidity. Humidity is a key. Yeah, you know, I don't think anybody factor. likes humidity. Key at factor. All. Nobody likes humidity. Well, uh, yeah. There's a lot of humidity uh, here on the East Coast. Yeah. And the Northeast. Well, I assume there's humidity also in Seattle, right? Because it rains all the time. See, everyone says that that it rains all the time. That only. All the time? I just cooked <laughs> a gradual syrup in a slow shroom, and all it gives me is a slow shroom back. <laughs> My gradual syrup just... is just gone. It's just she's gone. Just slower, it's just gone. Oh, she's like, she's like no. hold on, I'll cook this up now, for you in a second. I want you, you to cook the, the slow shroom, and I want you to cook the the I don't know what else. The the hot dog. No, the I want you to cook a slow shroom with a a, a Mr. Softener. Yes, slow shroom and Mr. Softener. Anyway, uh, what were you saying, K-Man? This is gonna be uh, a beautiful dish. Beautiful. I don't know, like, I guess 72 is the ideal room temperature for me. So, so I mean, because you, did you grow up where it was warmer? Oh, or, cause Yikes. I, my, basically, my hypothesis is, like, because, like, my brother grew up here, right? And now he lives in uh, ca yes. California. So I guess my question is more, does how long you've lived in a place affect how you perceive temperature? You know what I mean? Like, because when he was living here, it, it's in general, like, 68. We kept in the house, and he never had an issue with it. But then he when he moved to California... Now coming back, he thought 80 was too cold still, which, which you know what I mean? So, like, for you, when you moved, I don't know. If, granted, the places you moved, probably the temperature didn't radically change. Uh, I've, always, I've always been where it's cold. Other yeah, than, so. Well, I lived in California until, like, second grade, but I still enjoy, like, a 70 to 72 degree. Interesting. 
room temperature. Well, see, see for but see, like for me, that's hot. Cold, comfortable temperature is sixty four degrees, at least. I think well, that's I, cold. I try to keep the thermostat at sixty nine, so that anytime anyone sees it, I go nice. <laughs> And with that, nice. thank you so much for joining us this evening, Kay. <laughs> what a great send-off. Uh, actually, though, I think it is about time to get PTM on board in the voice chat. Oh, I thought you said PK for a second. <laughs> so I think he may or may not already have invaded the voice chat. Pay no attention to the man behind Pay no the attention to the power to Mario that is said to be in the voice call. Hey guys, this is the pasta Oh god, he's loud. God. Oh god. There he is. Power to Mario, ladies and gentlemen, joining us. We have four stars here. Four crystal stars. Oh, I gotta go get the wow. stuff. Hey guys. Hey Mega K Man. Hey, hey what's up? up? Dude, how's it been? Oh, well, I think I think a little more particularity on it would be uh, appropriate here. How's life, life been? The universe. Everything. 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 Well, <laughs> As far as the universe that I can see immediately around me, it's in shambles. Are you in a hotel yeah, room? Uh, King mattress, and my room is in in tatters at the moment. But no, everything's great. Is what what what's what happened to your room? <laughs> yeah, uh, swapped out our uh, our uh, bed spring and our our queen mattress and got a different one because it was too tough. Ah, uh, why well, I, I wasn't sure if like somebody ransacked your place or something. <laughs> um, no, no, thankfully not. Well, that's I, only good. Have, I only have one lock on the door, so there's not much defense. But <laughs> that's good news. That's good news. So hey, just in time for chapter six, the best chapter in the game. So this is great. Sorry. Not voice acting as. Well. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I forgot. I <laughs> yeah. forgot. I forgot. You're distracting. Where's me. boss person? All right. All right. Hold on. You ready? Percent. Ready? Ready? <laughs> All right, this is just how I talk naturally, so it's not voice acting. What's the opposite of voice acting? It's just voice, just voice. Talking. Just talking. <laughs> just talking. All right, I can say, no, you the one, Frank. I've been thinking about that for a long time now. You do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you, a good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate, the way I did. You, Mario, looks like you've done you had another favor for me, kid. Uh, can I get more dialogue? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful. I know it. What do you guys do? We told them we'd get him a ticket for the XS Express. <laughs> He's like, whoa, is that all? You had to be worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many do you want? One, two, ten? Help yourself. We got XS Express tickets over here. We got XS Express tickets over there. We got as many XS Express tickets as you want. You come back anytime you like. How about that? Well, now that I retired, I gotta get out of here. You the boss now, Frankie. Who that? You, the boss. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Yeah, I don't think you talk like that. <laughs> oh you don't God. know me. Frankie's the boss no, that, now. That sounds exactly like uh, Eric. When Just forget about recording. it over there. <laughs> That's my recollection of Eric's voice uh, five years ago. Listen, you coming into my house. I invited you over for some pasta and meatballs, and this is how you're gonna treat me. You're gonna insult me like that. You coming in my house? You're gonna you're gonna make fun of me. You're gonna mock me, huh? My funny, huh? Funny how? Like a clown? What do I have? A big red nose and rubber shoes, huh? Is that what's going on? Are you just gonna start quoting um, my cousin Vinny pretty soon? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I bring in all these Utes. The two Utes come on in, and I I don't know. I, I yeah. I go to a secondhand store because this suit. <laughs> Fell yeah. in the mud. <laughs> Try to think of all the different quotes for that movie. Oh, you, ha you only need the Utes. You only need the Utes. Oh, How many boy. Utes? Shadow Sirens. The two Utes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Th sorry, Your Honor. Two Utes. So, as I was saying, the two defendants. Anyway, that's a good movie. Great movie. It's, it's like the best... Uh, uh, what's not detective movie? Uh, it's definitely court a detective. Movie. Court. No, it's not a detective movie. It's the well, best court. No, it's the best but court. Yeah. Courtroom comedy or anything along those lines. I don't know if you'd really call that a genre, but it's very good. It it's very accurate too. Like it's very one of the more accurate ones as far as like how court proceedings actually go. Yes. All right. Well, now that we have uh, PK, not PK. PK <laughs> we don't have PK. <laughs> 
<laughs> we don't. Now we have, now, now we have PTM right and, and Mega here to uh, to send you on your way. Uh, I think I I do have to make make my way and. Uh, all right. Let Go us say a fond farewell to K-Man Rules 1331. Thank you so much for joining us on stream. Uh, do you want to tell the people what you're up to quickly as we transition into Chapter 6? All right. For those who uh, who weren't aware, uh, I'm part of a game studio, Midwinter, and uh, we're making a game called Scavengers, which is like a fun uh, third-person shooter survival game, uh, not Fortnite. I have to make that clear. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you want to try and participate in some of the play tests, uh, you go to, I think it's like playscavengers.com. I should probably know this website by heart. Put the link, actually. I found your website. Scavengersgame.com. Oh, scavengersgame.com. Thank you, Thank you PTM. Uh, so go there and sign up if you'd like to uh, like to see what the, uh, what the rock is cooking. Is that your new nickname? Your new new nickname, The Rock? <laughs> the artist formerly known as uh, Torn Strange Sack rules 1331. <laughs> By now, the way, Rock. what an impressive looking game to be a part of. Really, really happy for you came in. Oh, thanks, BTM. Yeah, we're, we're uh, working hard every day at it. And uh, don't be a stranger. Like, we, we miss seeing you in uh, Discord chat. All right, I'll I'll make more of an effort. All right, sounds good. Well, I know you're busy. Thanks so. again. I'll see you later, my friend. All right, later, Gators. Bye. Later, Skaters. Did you just quote Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> I think so. What? From uh, what? In any case. Um. So, we're on the XX Express right now. This was Power to Mario's chapter. For those of you just joining us, this is day two of our Paper Mario 1000 Year Door weekend long stream. Uh, we are going to this room to meet up with this character, Pennington. <laughs> um, but we are in Chapter 6 right now uh, on the XS Express. We will be streaming tomorrow as well. If you want to see the times of the streams, you could please uh, you can go ahead and uh, type the exclamation mark TTYD. You can also go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream to get a link to a Google form that you can fill out to get a little extra special personal thank you from me afterwards. Um, but anyway... Speaking of scheduled SM, who yes. are our guests tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow that's an night. excellent question. Tomorrow, we have coming on board really no one during the day. So I'm going to be solo for most of the afternoon. But tomorrow night, we do have Ben German 10 coming on by, part of Epilogue Gaming, uh, from about 5.30 to 6.30 p.m., approximately. So we do have that. And maybe Mega might come by as well. We'll see. I, I might not. Cause I might not. Might, might not. But I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Got some weird looking footprints here. If I happen to wake up, maybe I'll pop in and and say some bullshit, but <laughs> we'll see. But well, sorry case. by the way, I can't make it for tomorrow afternoon. That's I'll no be uh, flying to Virginia and then driving up to Maryland uh, during that time. So that's no problem. All right, I have to remember what I'm actually supposed to do here. I don't remember the sequence of the Excess Express at all. You just talk to people. That's what's cool about this chapter. It is cool. At least... It's a lot of dialogue and it's a lot of figuring out, which is, that means I actually have to read the dialogue. There's a lot of weirdos on this uh, on this train, right, this is which is. <laughs> I love this theme too. It's like get your finger snapping. Probably one of the few times you see very little space, like lateral space, used in a game, and yet I think it's one of the most interesting. It is really interesting. Hot Sauce Rat is also the best character of the game by far. Hot Sauce Rat. <laughs> Hot Sauce Rat. Um, so PTM, what have you been up to? What have I been up to? Well, I've been neck deep in IT support. Uh, just uh, getting better and better at that. Um, hopefully transitioning uh, out of that into a uh, more specialized field. I I've been, always been interested in web development, but haven't really pulled the trigger on getting training for that. So right now I'm learning some agile methodologies for getting work done faster. Mm -hmm. um, if any of you aren't familiar, I mean, are either of you even familiar with that term agile? I mean, in, uh, yes. in context of <laughs> like, I know what yes, agility I is. <laughs> okay, but, so like, what's the context? Basically, basically what I'm applying to my work now is uh, limiting my work in progress and managing the throughput of my work 
So basically understanding how much work I can take on at any single moment mm -hmm. and being able to get all my tasks done more quickly. And it's actually really helped a lot. And some of those principles can carry over into software development, uh, web development programming. So K-Man probably operates under a similar framework where he's at. Um, I didn't get a chance to ask him that though. Darn. <laughs> oh, wow. um, but uh, if only we had this I magical mean, thing called the internet where we could communicate with him. That's true. And if he was on the Discord, I, I could just pop in and chat with him about that. Um, but just short version, um, still in that. Um, been married two years now. Um, we just uh, moved three times in the past two years. So we haven't been really settled anywhere yet. But are you, uh, uh, are you kind of traveling throughout? Are, like, are you still in Florida or? Yeah, I'm, I'm in Clearwater, Florida right now, um, but I still do a lot of uh, work travel. So I was in, uh, I've been in New York State. I've been uh, in uh, Michigan a lot. Um, oh, too many places, too many places to name. Um, I think the last last stop I was at was Newburgh and uh, Albany, New York. That's pretty cool. I've always wanted to travel. I mean, not, not that this is the big thing of your job, obviously, but like I've always wanted to travel because I've not been in many places at all. Like, <laughs> very few states. Um, maybe, maybe now that my brother lives out in California, maybe I'll travel out that way. I, I'm a little, I'm a little afraid to fly. Like, I know it's just, you know, psychological, but. Yeah, and I get that. We have a lot, like the airline I work for, Allegiant, we have a lot of first time flyers, and <clears throat> it, it happens a lot that there's a lot of anxiety and stuff like that. Um, I, I'm also not big on, like, sharing. Like, I, I, if you go to a theater, right, I like to get the edge seats. I like to, like, not be next to people I'm not familiar with. Not not just because it, it makes me very stressed because uh, I'm weird like that. And you can't really get that luxury in a plane. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately not. <laughs> um, I mean, we do have occasions where we have low passenger flight loads. So sometimes you can talk to the flight attendants and negotiate a different seat assignment after they take off and they're usually pretty flexible about that kind of thing so if you have that yeah chance, you always look but for that. i also don't want to be like you know oh i should take priority i'm special like i'm, I'm not i'm just I, you know what i mean like i, I don't want to i don't want to i know how they're you know working hotel not the same thing but i know how people can be about accommodations and if, if I, we can accommodate somebody for requests we're more than happy to help but there are definitely people who like i need this no matter what and it kind of yeah. like uh makes you jaded to request a little bit because you're yeah. used to dealing with those people who who you yeah, know absolutely. need to be on I the forgot you're, you were in hospitality so yeah you, you've seen you've run through the whole gamut of personalities yeah, working night audit is nice because I don't have to deal with it that much because everyone's asleep, mostly. Uh, but I worked second shift for a while, and you, you get people who you, you usually get people who you get a lot of people who are nice who who have no problem understand even if an issue comes up. But then you have people who like you didn't give me this specific room number on the third floor lake view. Like, <laughs> no, because we can't. We don't have any. Give me a refund. Yeah, and, well, and then the one that gets me is our room layouts are not a standard layout. You know how most room layouts for a hotel are, like, open-ended, right? They're, like, you know, open concept. You have, like, two beds, maybe one bed, and they're just one open room, right? Well, the way these rooms work is you enter the room, and there's, like, a, it, there's, they're suites, kind of. So they're, you open the end of the room, and there's, like, a, a, a small room in the beginning, that's like a sitting area and then you have a small hallway in the back there is a there is where the bedroom is and a lot of people have some people love it because it's like basically you get two rooms for the price of one if you have because there's some of the rooms that have beds in the front room so there's a little bit of privacy um but a lot of people complain they're like oh it's too small I and mean, it made me claustrophobic and they're like I, they come to complain to me about it like why here why are the rooms too small and i'm like what do you want me to do about it i can't make them any bigger <laughs> i can't like I, just take the walls and push them somewhere else <laughs> that's i mean i i never get people who complain about something that i can't fix like i'm more than willing to try and help you out but what is that going to like what do you what do you want me to do in that situation like i could put a note You're... say tear down the hotel and rebuild it but that's not gonna happen 
pure cookies at the front desk are not gluten free, I am going to speak to your manager. I don't th I think we've had anything like like that too much, um, as far <laughs> as uh, any issues there. But I don't remember. Do you guys remember? Sorry to get off track. I guess on lost? track and talk about the game. Do you remember where the shell <laughs> earrings? <laughs> Sorry, I was noticing that. that Do you remember like, where the minute, shell earrings are and where the uh, the gold rings are? <laughs> I don't know, PTM is the one that did this chapter. Oh, I don't gosh, honestly remember. You asked me to remember this? Oh, no. I mean, you did the chapter. You, of all people, should the gold, the gold ring? Yeah. And the shell earrings. Talk to people. Ring, right? You'll figure it out. Play the game. <laughs> um, I... It's not in, like, the back luggage cart, is it? I don't remember. I think you might get it later, later, later. Sunset. I think you find... Um... I don't think it's progression. I think you have to talk to Hot Sauce Rat. Don't you for progression? I'll just eventually get it. All right, just keep going for now. I know I have to I get. Mean, it. I brute forced this when we did the recording, so. Because somebody steals his secret uh, ingredient or secret recipe or something, I think, right? The the so hot sauce recipe. How do I get hey. her to sign me an autograph? That's a guy. How do um... I get him to sign me an autograph? <laughs> just hammer him. He's the anyway. <laughs> You need paper. You can't. What are you gonna sign? Paper. Where do I get paper? I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> I do have to deal with drunk people, which uh, is 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 unfortunate. But nobody wants to give me anything. You've talked with everybody. Can I, uh, like what the heck? What am I doing? Don't I get Trying an autograph? Are you sure you talked to everyone? I just talked to the engineer. Oh, toilet paper. Oh, that's right. Don't you do the whole thing with the ghost in the bathroom? That that's like a whole thing, isn't it? That's a oh, different game. You're, you're thinking of a different oh, game. Oh, that's right that's not that's super. The luggage cart. <laughs> that's for sure. It's also oh, super. Gosh, I don't remember. Well. I don't remember the XS Express at all. There are several games that involve toilet paper and bathrooms. <laughs> oh boy. Head to the aftmost car on the train. I told him this. Aftmost? Like ten, <laughs> 10 minutes ago. Okay. But, um. No, oh, yeah, so. Oh, so now I have to go all the way to the engineer. <laughs> oh, I was just at the engineer. I was just now there! You can go now I gotta go all the way back. So I had to talk to the toad to say, hey, can I talk to the engineer? Now I gotta go all the way back. It's okay, your mom gave you running All the way speed. this way. This is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Why you can't I not talk fall. to people out of order? <laughs> I just had to talk to the toad. Now I gotta go talk to that toad. Now I gotta go talk to the bomb. Now I gotta go talk all the way back. And I'm, I'm tired. I just wanna go to sleep. But it's sunset. Mario wants to go to bed. He doesn't have time for this nonsense. Do you understand that the Shadow Sirens are threatening the world? They just showed up before. The x knots are a thing. Like, there's a, a thousand-year-old demon, apparently, beneath Rogueport. And nobody cares about that. Everybody cares about, oh, we're going to get the kid his autograph. Blah, blah, blah. The kids, the kids, the kids. Kids can... That's the ridiculous nonsense. I don't know. I just... The most anticlimactic thing. You're a math teacher, everybody. Ride. It's ridiculous. You know, you know, you know, in, uh, like, in movies where you have like disaster movies. The one I'm thinking of is War of the Worlds off the top of my head. And you always have like, oh, we're off to do something really important, but wait, the little kid is crying and is giving away our position and ruining everything. That's what the kids are doing right now. They're ruining everything. Ruining everything. Yep. I'm you want an autograph? You could go get your own autograph. Why did I have to even do that? Sorry. To be fair though, to be fair to the kid, who, like the conductor, if you go up to him, who's he gonna sign an autograph for? Like the famous Mario, or for some like brat that nobody cares about. Like, it, it makes sense that you had to be kind of the the go between for that. Sure, sure, whatever. <laughs> All right, it's time to go to sleep now. It's night time, so I think it's time to go to bed. Um, so PTM, you been up uh, playing any games recently? Uh, um, let's see here. Let me take an inventory of what I've played in the last month. Minecraft? Love me some Minecraft. And <laughs> Fire Emblem Three Houses? 
Are you play? Are you? Uh, how far have you got? Are you? St are you doing more of the uh, that that manning mode or? I haven't really. Oh, when touched the heck it do we not... transition to the next day? This is not bedtime. <laughs> when it's nighttime. When do we transition? <laughs> what do I do? Talk to Pen I guess I should have talked to Pennington. Hey, you you need to talk to the most. I gotta go. So, oh my game. God, I'm that. I'm wasting so much time. All right, I gotta focus on the game. Hold on, I gotta focus on the game. I gotta focus. <laughs> Everyone's. I'm wasting time wandering around the train for no reason. No, we need to talk about Ferdinand von Eyre more. Okay. We don't. We don't need to talk. About I, that. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I am. <laughs> He's also the worst character uh, in the game, bar none. <laughs> He's, the conductor he's just came for comic for relief. He's not good. Here's the thing, like, I mean, you have you played every route at this point, or mostly? You play at least two I, routes, right? I haven't gone through Blue Lion just yet. Okay, and I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil it. This book actually isn't spoilers for that, and I, I'm gonna keep vague for anyone that has not fully played the games yet. But uh, I played Golden Deer first, and then I I played so I played uh, the the Black Eagles last. So he's I think. got a blanket. And Ferdinand so is just away. like a worse uh, Leon or, or what's his name? Is it Leon? No. What's the what's the other noble in uh, Golden Deer? The snoo the tea guy, the snooty guy, the um, one with the oh, purple God. hair. It's not Leon. What is his name? So Lorenz. Lorenz. Thank Lorenz. you. Yeah, right. Um, Lorenz actually like starts off being not good like he's kind of annoying and then you actually grow to like him and ferdinand just I, I, he's always annoying he doesn't grow i mean maybe a little bit but not as much as oh little. this so is where you like, find the ghost right he's just a worse lorenz i think for the most part the characters are really re well written considering that you're catching like you're catching them you know they're transitioning out of adolescence they're still oh, this future. wait 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 is this where you have to hold on. I gotta focus on the game. Is this <laughs> where you use video? You'll never get to talk about Express. Is this where this happens? Yes. Look who's remembering things. Rail percent. Who's things. Five hours later. I remembered. Um. No, I, I agree with you. I think the characters are well written. I think Ferdinand is one of the weaker ones, though. Um, <laughs> I love that. They, oh, yes, you are like. I think he was the last character edition. Well, there's definitely, you can tell certain things, like, you can tell what routes they worked on first. It's like when you play, you, you played Breath, Breath of the Wild, right? Or did you beat Breath of the Wild? See you later, Casanova. But, Thanks so much um, for stopping by. We'll be back can, tomorrow. Same, same bad time, same bad channel. We have more important matters to deal with. This ghost just threatened your life. That did happen? No, I'm not reading the diary. That's an in, that's a game over. We did smell feet percent. We did kill partner percent. Yeah, we but did, diary percent. We did cricket percent. percent. I can't it's do diary percent because I'll actually die. You can save right before it though. No. <laughs> um, you don't actually learn anything from the diary, right? Like you, you just it, it, you don't get to get any to any of the juicy stuff before he kills you, right? Right. Yeah, you don't actually learn anything. You just, you just get a game over. Also, you gotta love these foods. <laughs> I think that's what that says, right? It's just foods. Yeah. Diary? No, no, no. The box is in the in luggage. Foods. Oh, yes. Foods. The foods. Very specific. Read the diary? Um, but... Really? I have to read the diary? But why would I read it? She said... The ghost said specifically not to read it. Yeah, but... So what you're telling me is to go into here, to go to the diary, and read the diary? I mean, I mean, sure I was told, it, I was told <laughs> specifically not to read the diary. Like, actually, they couldn't have been more clear to not read the, ah, oh, what the heck, we'll read the diary. Oh, well, why not? Yeah, sure, what the heck. I got on a train today, and on that train, and you looked at the diary. Now now we can officially say this has not been a no death run. <laughs> yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> thanks guys. Well we didn't actually see what happened to Mario. Thanks. That was wonderful. He, he probably got like 
it's too graphic for for an E-Raid game. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all enjoyed that. This is E-Raid, right? It's not Teen. This is E10+. Think. Plus. E10+, plus? okay. Yes. He wasn't killed. He was sent to the Shadow Realm. And as we know, <laughs> people don't necessarily die in the Shadow Realm. <laughs> I like the ghost ascending. And the ghost is like, eh, you know what? Nah. <laughs> nah, I kind of <laughs> like it here. Never mind. Hey, Blue Fire's here. Why did I read the diary? Blue Fire, that's a great question. That's a great I question. I don't know why okay, everyone was like, read the diary, read the diary. It's probably Summer's fault. I, I agree with that, Mr. L. It's probably Summer's fault. I don't even think Summer said it. <laughs> it was definitely Summer's fault. Summer Someone read the diary. has not posted on here since. Somebody read the diary. David Alexander, 64, coming right on back. Join the stream. We have Mega Freak 400 and Power to Mario on right now, in case you are wondering whose other voices you're hearing. So feel free to give him a, a how do you do, and you can feel free to also ask him any questions if you have them. One more thing I want to mention is we are going to be back tomorrow after we clear Chapter 6 tonight. We'll be back tomorrow starting at noon, going till about 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern. I think that should be plenty of time to finish. Uh, I'll be doing Chapter 7, Chapter 8, and potentially, I'm a little scared, but potentially the Pit of 100 Trials as well. That's what you have to look forward to. I don't think the Pit is that hard if you just prepare yourself. Oh, it's tough. It's tough. Hey, so. You're right. You do have to prepare, and it's it's ultimately not terrible. But is it time to I go to like bed it's... now? No. I think it's time to go to bed. Finally. I think it's finally time to progress to the next day. Yes, Gaia. We're actually Thank not God. real. We're we're actually all just SM doing voice acting. Very very good <laughs> ventriloquism. Okay. Finally. That would be awesome. That would be really cool. That would be a great talent. What, being able to throw your voice like that? Being able to actually be, like, <laughs> trick people into thinking there was someone else co-commentating with me, but it was actually just me the whole time. That'd be cool. You'd, you'd have to change, I feel like to make it more authentic, you'd have to, like, have two different mics. Yes, you uh, would. To have different quality, so it doesn't you sound would. like... Here we go. Briefcase is gone. Very interesting. See, I told you this Nitro happens. honey syrup. Oh, it's it's not hot sauce. I thought it was hot sauce. No, hot sauce hot... is the other one. <laughs> oh, well, that's yeah, the one in glitz. Hot sauce rat. <laughs> okay. I know that. Well, I knew one of them had hot sauce. Syrup is basically hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train, but the train has not stopped. Talking to the waitress well, and I... lady in cabin. I do have a different mic than what I used to have. It's, I have a blue snowball uh, microphone, so hopefully I don't sound bad. <laughs> I have to find the thief. Now, where is the thief? Where do I go? I actually, I made, I, th that's interesting. I made the exact same um, connection myself before coming onto the chat. When I, when I entered Twitch, I thought I heard Mega but it was K-Man, and then Mega got on, and I heard them both, and I was so confused. Well, apparently, I've been told me and SM sound the same, which I do not. I don't think we sound the same at all. That's absolutely no. ludicrous. I think, I think, I think, it, like, I know we're both Italian, but... <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Where do I go? I already talked to this guy. This guy's not... Ah, oh, mysteries. I'm trying to go fast, and it's like, I can't, I don't know who to talk to. Why are you trying to go fast? you got plenty of time. You have a whole two hours to beat this chapter. That's plenty of time. And he has a whole 48 hours. It's a two-day. Yeah, I'm just saying, I want to solve the mysteries, man. Oh. I, I'm pretty sure it was, uh... Vital yeah. paper. Yeah, this guy. Guess what? Now we gotta go all the way back. See, I don't mind the backtracking on the train because it's not like you have to deal with enemies. No, I know. It is interesting and it's fun. In fact, I kind of, I think this is probably the best backtrack. Again, that's why Glitz, everyone's saying, oh, the backtracking, that's bad. Like, not really because you don't have to deal with enemies. Right. It's one of the things I like about Pokemon Sword is because now, I'm not going to give spoilers, by the way, but because now you can see the Pokemon on screen, uh, you can avoid them and not have to deal with like going through a cave and getting a Zubat and a Zubat and a Zubat and dragging out going through the cave. You know what I mean? That's the one downside to RPGs is getting hit by slogs and slogs of battles. Random encounters. 
Okay, what do we got? Cabin 1, Zip Toad's room, a place I've long since suspected. Haven't seen him today. Perhaps he's hiding somewhere on the tree. Find that Zip Toad! Where is Zip Toad? I don't remember. What celebrity is he based off of? It'd be something from like the 2000s, right? I have no like, idea. Who was, who was popular back then with the kids? I have no idea. Where is Zip Toad, though? He's, he's, uh, I think he's in the conductor's place, isn't he? Is he? That'd be great. I, I, I think, but I could be completely wrong. Let's find out. Or he's in his room and he's hiding, I think, maybe. It might, that might be it. Because I think you have to, like, fight. He's, like, hidden somewhere, maybe. Oh, God, I don't remember. I'm trying to remember the sequence of events on the XS Express. Like, it's hard. Either you need to use Vivian or you need to use Flurry, but I could also be completely wrong he's on this one. He's in my room? Hiding? Yeah, I think Mr. L's right on that one. Room one. Or room one. But... That's where he, that's where his room is initially. Let's see you go back. Let's see if we can find anything. Find some clues. According to Super Mario Wiki, right. Zip no, Toad is just look, a don't big look up reference this. to movie stars. No, just a movie star. So no specific movie star. No one, just... no, no one in specific. If I hide? No one specifically. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Sure, it's not a flurry thing. I don't think so. I don't remember that. I mean, I don't remember a lot, but I certainly I, don't remember that. I think Mr. L's right, though. He is in your room. I think he, he room. goes in there to, yeah. Hmm, let's find out. Like he's spying on your stuff or something. Oh, well, there's another paper in here. Another document from the briefcase. Suspect must be in here. Oh, yeah, that's right. You hide. Oh. Now, for the students in Mr. G's class, if you zoom in on that paper, it's actually the answer sheet for his midterm. That's right. Since he comes out from under the bed. So, where'd you come from? What? Get out of here. Catch him. He's Get zip toed for a reason. Get out of here. Zip toed. <laughs> so, this is our man all along. Pretend he sees be zip toed, I see. Fake zip toad. Discolored nostril hair was. All right, I forgot he called you Luigi. Yeah. This yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean that's been going on for a while, but yeah. Well, I haven't been reading because <laughs> you've been speeding by the tax. Yeah, the gold <laughs> and the shell earrings. There it is. Okay. So we got all the other things. Is this your favorite? Station. Is this your favorite chapter, PTM or? Is it my favorite? Oh man. If I honestly assess every chapter in this game. We've been doing that pretty much all weekend. <laughs> yes, we have. It has it holds a lot of sentimental value just in, by association with the, the project we did. Yeah. Um However, as many times as I have unabashedly stated that Showstopper is the best power. Oh it's duplis! Oh my gosh. I forgot about that. I forgot that it was actually Duplis. Here's the thing though, and we'll have to see, but like, Duplis doesn't really do anything after this, right? No, well, <laughs> no, uh, not true, not true. Uh, yeah, he does. He does do a lot, actually. Not really though, he just hangs out with the- well, yeah, You fight him, you fight him. Later yeah, on. but that's, it, like he doesn't do anything plot important. Yeah, but he's in another boss battle. Chain the Lonely Chain Chunk. I'd say that's important, I'd say that counts as important. I guess. Where's the <laughs> little you know, change? You know who also had a boss battle? Those blue fires, like. <laughs> That's true. That's fair. Riverside Station. Well, it looks a little. Okay. This out. is the worst part of the chapter, by the way. What's coming up? How do I get I in the door? Look for the key. Where's the key? Not him. You keep talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, the bridge is out. Gosh, so much no. NPC dialogue. It's as if this was an RPG. <laughs> Talk it. to the wrong blue toad. Alright, here we go. We got. It. Um, what was I saying? I don't. Know. Oh, I don't. I don't like the station. I think it derails the entire. Ah, uh, the chapter. puns. <laughs> it derails. It really gets off track here. Has has the derailed off track counter gone beyond the super guard counter? I don't know. I don't know. I think the super guard counter died yesterday, but we could bring it back tomorrow potentially. 
I don't think it ever existed because I never saw anybody. It did track exist. It existed for a little bit. We just tracked it bit. for the first seven, and then. And then I just got so good that it wasn't worth it anymore. <laughs> I, I think it's where you got so bad that they never. <laughs> I'm gonna Probably go with right. the so good argument. You you've been doing good today though, from what I've seen. You got a lot today. Yeah, I think bad. I distracted you. Not bad. I think Smorg is gonna ruin that streak. Watch how efficient Can this I... is gonna be. The mystery solving, admittedly, pretty slow. Pretty slow. But now, the actual combat and getting through Riverside Station, I think, will be pretty quick. There's no more mystery to solve. No more mysteries. You know, here, here's my thing, SM. Are you? Would you ever play a visual novel? Because it doesn't seem like your kind of job. Uh, no. Yeah. Like, Probably I don't think not. you... I mean, I don't, I don't want to say you don't like stories, because uh, you do, but I feel like you don't like... I do like stories. I do like stories, but yeah, I don't like that kind of storytelling. That's true. You know what I do love, though? Animal Crossing. <laughs> I cannot wait for Animal Crossing. It's going to be need, so good. I need more information. I it's need more so information. Amazing. It's going to be amazing. I, I'm assuming they're going to have a direct uh, for it sometime. I assume so. Before. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mega, to answer your earlier question. Which uh, one? <laughs> the, uh, the Shadow Palace chapter. Is your favorite? Is Glitz Pit. I mean, I feel like the, the thing with Glitz Pit is I think everyone, like, it's good. It's just a good ah. chapter for the most part. Um, so, like, here, here's the question then. What would be your least favorite chapter? Least favorite? Uh, Bodley Woods. Yeah, and th that's the thing about this game is... I, it's interesting that I feel like it's everyone mostly agrees that Woods Pit is one of the best, and everyone mostly agrees that Bobby Woods is worse. But then when you get into like the original Paper Mario, it's a lot less clear what's the best chapter because a lot of the, they're all pretty good for the most part. Ow. I just I just think that Woods Pit just the that that little world itself is yeah. interesting and cool, and the characters are all different. And I think Bogley would. I wanted to like it, but it's it's, it's hard just not. To... It's it's hard to get into. I, it's not interesting to me. It tries it's to be all... funny, and, and sometimes the jokes land, but I don't know. It's, it's just also like only it's like, the second chapter. It's only the second chapter in the game. So the you know you haven't had a lot of exciting combats yet. I don't know. It's just it's it feels like budget version of Pikmin. Yeah. Like if I wanted to play Pikmin, I would play Pikmin. And, uh, well, like, this, I, this goes along perfectly with that, uh, trending meme. I'll tell my kids this is Pikmin. <laughs> that's right. I'll tell. <laughs> that should is, be. Is it, you gotta make that meme. meme wait, wait, wait. I'm not hip on what the kids oh, are all talking about. What, what you gotta that? make that meme. PTM, you uh, have to make that post on Twitter. What, what's the new new meme of the week? Because, like, what, didn't we have an old meme there? What was the old one that we were Oh, my God. With? I'm uh, so Okay, I'm okay like, boomer. <laughs> that's not old. That's still current. Is this our current? So how can we have we have multiple memes? Like I, I'm not, I'm, I can't track. I can't track all these oh, memes. Geez. I can't hold all the memes. <laughs> the point is not to track them. The point is to create them. Correct. You will be. It's, yeah, it's not really about meme. tracking them. It's about embracing them. Finally. Um, I think that's the problem with this chapter is I feel like it could have been like what's pit with the story, but then they decide just to throw in this, and it kind of. After yeah, this, I think the, story, the mystery stuff just kind of dies out, like, great, so it just... Oh, get up there. I do agree with you. I think Blitz Pit has the best pacing of its and, and sense of story out of any of the uh, the chapters. Okay. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. I mean, the OK Boomer one, I don't think is complicated. It's just stupid. But I mean, I feel like that's memes in a nutshell. <laughs> that's memes in a nutshell. Yeah, I, I think it's just purely antagonistic. I don't see any humor in it. I, I mean, think... that's memes in a nutshell, too. <laughs> that's memes in a nutshell as well. Oh, actually, do we have uh, enemies here? Yeah, we do. That's where we have the two mode section. That. Look at that. Secrets. Oh, whoa. I've never seen that one before. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, these guys slayed me. First time playing the game. 
slayed you. Yeah. It's all about quick change. That way you can just blow them up. Nice. Hey, Saiyan 1016. Crazy DK. Stopping on by. Ow. We haven't seen Pokies in a while, have we? In Mario games? Uh, oh man, I don't know. Probably not. They really don't make a big presence in this game. They're in the Glitz Pit once, and then you find them here. I mean, I guess they're in Mario Maker 2, but that doesn't really count. Like... The, the Desert World and Odyssey, do they show up? I don't uh, no. think so. There's a lot of non-traditional characters there, so I don't know if... Uh... Yeah. There's a lot of non-traditional characters, but most of them aren't... Well, okay, that's not true. There is enemies that are non-traditional, like the Maui heads and stuff, but... The Maui heads are cool. Yeah. I was the gonna say they're all heads. just NPCs, the but that's heads. not really true. Really cool. Wait, why is there is it is there a difference between Maui and Moai? Well, Maui is the uh, character from Moana that is played by Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh, okay. So, or the good, island good... of Maui. <laughs> Moai is the actual <laughs> Easter Island heads. Ow. Morgan. Well, now I know because I and I I'm I'm sure someone's gonna yell at me about that. <laughs> <laughs> Good character, by the way. Good, great song. Oh, uh, like, say in 1016. Say I was hoping. It. I thought about that as as they were talking before, but I didn't really want to bring it up. We got 24 hours to go, really, till the end. A little less now. <laughs> Are you gonna like blow up the channel after? You? That's it. Self destruct. <laughs> Press the big red button. No, all the videos and archives will still be there. So. No, delete everything and then just replace it with like a video of. I don't, well, you don't probably don't have any like like something from P of PK. <laughs> just download all video PK's video. videos. And <laughs> and upload all upload PK's those instead. Why does this one even exist? Because it's so easy to get that star sprite. I have no idea. Let's it give me. I really need to upgrade my jump and hammer though. I know you can you get to upgrade the hammer like right after this chapter, or upgrade the jump right after this chapter. You upgrade the hammer during it, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Wait, no. No, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes or no? I need an answer. I know you get the boots before you get the boots either in Posh and Sanctum or before Posh and Sanctum because you. Oh, need that's them right, because to... you need them. So you get the hammer pack in Rogue Four. Okay, yeah. That's why I that's why I couldn't remember. I'm like, I don't think you get, but you get something here. You get the boots. You get the here, boots. You get the boots okay. here. So that's right. You need it through Posh and Sanctum. That's true. That's right. So you get the boots here. You get the hammer back in Rogue Four. I'm a little. This, this is why I probably won't come over tomorrow because I'm a little. I didn't get much sleep. I woke up. My my stomach was sour, so I woke up early. And if I sound like I'm a little uh, sleep deprived, it's because I'm a little sleep deprived, and I have to work tonight. So I probably will just sleep tomorrow. <laughs> Look at that double super guard! Did you even see that? You didn't even see that. You didn't even see that. You didn't even. I saw that. I saw it now. <laughs> didn't even see it. Didn't even. <laughs> I'm done. See it. You blinked and you missed it. Anyway, yeah, I know, Mega. It's tough working nights, like on a total different different schedule than everybody else. You, you pretty much have to, like, make your life a night schedule, is what you kind of have to do. Right. Because, like, my mom used to work, well, I think she might be, but when she worked nights, she would be, like, working one or two night shifts, and then she had to work a day shift, or she would work night shifts, and then she'd have to she'd make hey, her bounce, off, off days would be day schedule. And it's like, you can't do that because your body can't handle the shifting. If you're going to work nights, you have Sam. to be pure nights no matter what's going on, even if it's your Sam. off day. But, uh, Zip. yeah, the downside, the, the downside is you kind of are dead to the world a little bit. Which is why Discord is cool, because with time zones and stuff, there's always somebody to talk to. Right, right, right. Speaking of the Discord server, if you are not a member of the Discord server, you should definitely join. Type exclamation mark Discord. It should bring up that link. You can go ahead and join that Discord server right now if you want to. It's a great place to be. Sorry. Remember, you have 24 hours. To use those exclamation commands. Ugh, I hate how long this takes. Can we just reveal the door, please? This also should work because you're not blowing it from the side. I know. Very weird. 
is, is this the... is what Flurry's for. This whole game. Idea. And it's for this part. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's funny. That, like, she come, kind of comes in handy for that last part only. Wait, what do you mean the last part? Like, that's the last time you use her? I think so. That's one of the last times. I think you have to use her one more time in Chapter 8. I think that's it. Is there- who's the least used partner? Is it Flurry? The least used partner, like, that I actually use in battle is Flurry, for sure. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, ability-wise. Who- I mean, I, I'm not kind of Goombella, because that doesn't count, but... I don't know. I think it might be Vivian, actually, but I'm not sure. I don't know, you used Vivian quite a bit. You used it for the bird, you used it, uh, for Zip Toad, you used it for, like, uh... Didn't, didn't you use it somewhere in, um... Chapter 5, like with the spikes, I think. Yeah, she's, that's true. She's practical at any point in the game for avoiding encounters, but. That's a good question. Who is the least used partner as far as overall ability? It, I feel like it's not Flurry, only because there's so many of those obnoxious hidden walls everywhere. Yeah, but I haven't seen you using her much, like, when I've been on. Since, I mean, it's I wasn't Flurry. in for Chapter 3. Because she's but... just terrible. She's just the worst partner. No, but I mean, for the overworld abilities, I haven't seen you being... Well, like, did you blow anything in Chapter 5? Uh, no, I don't think you have to. And I don't think you blew anything in Chapter 4 either, did you? Chapter like 4... I think it's one thing. I think it's one thing you have to do. And I don't think you should blow anything. In, maybe, like, one thing in Chapter 3. Yeah, there's a couple like random hidden secrets and stuff that you can use to flurry to find, but for the most part, it's it's kind of I don't know. It's not that great. Um, yeah, we we do. Uh, well, we've been trying to get more tournaments up. Like, if anyone wants to hold a tournament in Discord, uh, let me or any of the moderators know, and we can you know promote it. Uh, but we did one last year. I ran a Smash tournament with the help of Super Yoshi. And uh, we might do one come January again, uh, another Smash tournament. Now that there's you know more people coming in and uh, the game's been out for a little longer as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, I know Darth Bowser mentioned wanting to do a uh, Mario Golf, um, or not Mario Golf, uh, Kirby Dream Course tournament. Kirby's uh, Dream Course tournament. That's yeah. Fine. Now that's online, right? Yeah, he posted. We have a. It's uh, there's game. Uh, what's what's the what's the thing? Is it game? Later, David Alexander. I hope to catch you tomorrow uh, as well. But thank you so much. gaming channel, we ha he, uh, we use that for the tournaments and for like, you know, multiplayer uh, play. And uh, I know he mentioned wanting to, he was getting all the, uh, the, making sure everything was balanced and stuff. But uh, yeah, that might be happening in the future. I know we, maybe uh, Q, one of our, our, our users in, in Discord, might be running another uh, Tetris tournament coming up soon as well. Are you ready to oh, revisit man. your trauma, Eric? This, this stupid part, you mean? No, 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 no. The Gordo shot. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. I don't think that ever happened. It was, so, it was so traumatic, he blotted it from his memory. I don't think it Just happened. Use the, use the turbo nozzle for this. <laughs> turbo nozzle. <laughs> oh, of course. TYD, turbo nozzle percent. And now... A clay camera. What um Ow. have you have you guys played all the RPGs? Like what ones okay like for for example, I played every game in the Mario and Luigi and Paper Mario series except Color Splash and Orbs? Uh, Paper Jam. Orbs? Somebody said orbs. What? <laughs> Someone said orbs. I have not played Color Splash or Paper Jam. I have not played Color Splash. Same deal. Same deal. Same deal. You did. You haven't played Inside Story. The Dream Team. You inside should play story Inside Story. Play inside Story. Yeah. Well, they have a re. I, mean, I don't know how good it is because it's not as pretty looking. But there's a remake that just came out for the 3DS last year. Oh jeez. If you wanted to play I'm it. Frozen. You still have my 2DS, so I could go and pick it up right now. I'm still frozen. Uh, Probably can buy it literally this second online with the in the eShop. Oh yeah, that's true. How many turns am I gonna be frozen for? <laughs> You're gonna be frozen for. Jeez. Now. <laughs> well, if you've never played Inside Story before, I feel like the remake's fine. Like I, I don't, I, I wouldn't say, oh, you need to play the original. Like, 
You know what I mean? I wouldn't buy the remake if you played the original, but if you, uh, if you never played it, I don't see any reason why not to play it. It's not like it's worse, it's just pretty much the same. I think Superstar Saga more coins. has the hardest final boss that I've ever experienced in a Mario game. It is pretty um... tough. It is pretty tough. I, uh... The boss fight in Partners in Time, also difficult, more so just because it takes forever. Oh. I might say yeah. I'm trying to think if there's a, a harder Mario boss fight. Yeah, Cacolet is tough. Cacolet is spirit or whatever. They made it easier in the remake. Yeah, I nailed it. They did make it easier in the remake. I had a really easy time with um, Princess Shrew because of the uh, infinite jump. Yep. To oh. do it forever and ever. Yeah, I know Partners in Time is the one that tends to be uh, forgotten. Even even more so, it's the only one that hasn't been remade and now Alpha is bankrupt, so <laughs> we're never going to get it. Which sucks, because that's my favorite of all of them so far, but maybe I'll like Bowser's Inside Story more. Um, yeah, I think Bowser's Inside Story is by far the best of the series. Far none, I know SM disagrees, and don't get me wrong, Super Star Saga's good game. I just think... Inside Story is just way better. But I do think Inside Story is a close second. Like, it's very good. Yeah. I think it's all just down to preference. Yeah. Um, but uh, Dream Team and Paper Jam, I don't know anything about Paper Jam, so I can't speak for that. But Dream Team felt very much going through the motions. It's fine. It's not a bad game. But it's not <laughs> It's not anything, like, amazingly uh, mind-blowing or anything of that sort. That's true. It's now uh, Partners in Time is now the only Mario and Luigi game that did not make it to the 3DS, which is funny. Which kind of. Oh, I gotta get over sad. both jumps. I think Partners in Time tends to be unfairly hated a little bit because I don't think it's a bad game. I think there's definitely some issues, um, but I, I think uh, there's more good in it than bad. I think the problem is it's smooshed between two very good games. So, that is true. But I it's love probably, some, uh, some good trashy sci-fi time travel. Time travel is always fun. It is. Art Attack is so good. Bam! Shazam! Shazam! Bam. I'm behind Shazam. so I can't time it. Shazam! <laughs> Demon match. Shazam! <laughs> yeah. Bobbery's bomb move gets rid of the fog. That's good to know. I think I still need to do something in this room before I leave. I know I have to make this jump. It's ridiculously hard to make. See, but does Paper Jam have... See, the, here's the thing, and I know some people are like, oh, Color Splash has good writing. And, I, and honestly, I don't doubt that, maybe. I, I had to play it for myself. But... There's no unique enemy designs, right? In Paper Jam, even like that's the thing that kind of sucks is they they've kind of gotten to we don't need to design any new enemies. Oh, that doesn't go games. anywhere either. I think I did go the right way. And I, I oh, stupid. That's what was so cool guy. about both Superstar or or about Super Mario RPG about this series, the uh, these two games, Paper Mario and Paper Mario TTYD, and uh, Superstar Saga, and even up into. Actually, most of the most of the Mario and Luigi games, they all have unique characters you can't meet anywhere else that makes them feel like their own unique things. You right. know what I mean? I don't know. Go I back. Paper Jam a shot too, because IGN did not like this game, which means it's probably really good. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't know anything about Paper Jam. I just. I wasn't really super. I was whelmed by Dream Team, so I'm like, well, I'm not going to spend the money on it because. I have enough games to play. I gotta come um, back to get that. I haven't Goomba? heard like I haven't heard bad why things. Why is there about a Goomba it. here? Well, he's just hanging. Well, you mean why is there Goomba here? Why are there here? Goombas? Like basic level one enemies. You, you walk into his house and you're asking why is he here? Yes. He lives here. This Goomba <laughs> lives here. Yes. And we're just murdering him. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and his family. Oh. Well, that was his wife, and this is his child. Well, they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> Big thumbs up for Mario. They're all dead. Okay, well, that was easy. Oh, why are there Goombas here? Me. There's a bunch someone, of Goombas. Someone should make a mod of this game that's like just 
Mario is like the villain, basically, where he, where every time he defeats an enemy, it's with the, like a like a Mortal Kombat style. Look at face. this. What are they doing? They're just hopping. They're just hopping they, in place. They just want to have fun. No. Oh, I can desync them. Mario is a war Make some music. Listen to the patterns. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Struck first. It's so random. We have we have Goombas. A room full of random Goombas. Just chilling. The one thing I will give Paper Jam that's interesting is they use the Koopling. And, uh, I mean, I know Color Splash does too, Superstar but... Superstar Saga does too. Yeah, but they don't say anything in Superstar Saga. They're just that's there. True. They're just there. Um, whereas they actually, I think it used the Koopa. Oh, Flurry's Correct freaking out that, too. But... Oh, Flurry's going nuts. Flurry's going nuts over this Koopa. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hunka, hunka. <laughs> yeah, Flurry's going to get a little excited about this Goomba over here. I gotta let me at that Goomba. <laughs> oh, no. did they add dialogue in the remake? I assume they also change uh, Iggy, I think it's Iggy, to have his new hairstyle. Yeah. Because for some reason, now he has green hair. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they do. One of the fights itself got changed. I played, I have the Superstar Saga remake. I haven't played that far in it, though, uh, to get to that point. I think I made it up to uh, the university. The issue is I just don't like the art style of that. I feel like the sprite art style was fine. Uh, the no. half, I mean, it's still sprite art style, but the half like 3D painted look, I, I, I don't know. I just don't, I'm not digging it. Do you even know what the code is? Nope. <laughs> if you had red. I'm pretty sure it was on a sign somewhere. Well, Crazy DK's got the sub. That's pretty cool. Thank you so much for subbing for the 41 Alliance. Oh, did you just hit the switch that many times? Yeah. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I, you had a point. Oh, yeah, actually. Hit the switch that many times. Okay. Thanks for sub, Crazy DK. I appreciate that. Any contributions that, all... that you guys make during the course of this are all going to the house fund. Let me tell you that. Get... I still think we should allow the viewers to pick the paint colors. <laughs> that would oh god, I, I cannot. I have no authority to get permission for that. Honey, I know, I know. We had said you were gonna pick the paint, but but <laughs> the viewers really want to see pink and black. <laughs> In polka dots. In polka dots. They really want to see polka dots. So you know. All oh. right, we got some ultra boots. Eric. Yes. Is. Hello? What? What happened? Hello? What were you saying, PTM? Do you know what day of the week it is? Saturday? Saturday. Do you know what happened at 8 o'clock p.m. oh so many years ago on Saturdays? I don't. <laughs> No, not even that. Inkling. Okay. Mario, tri Mario Trivia? That wasn't Saturday, so it was Fridays, wasn't it? Oh, Mario Trivia! It the was, Mar uh... The Shadow Mario 41 Mario that Trivia That was Saturdays. Channel. Wasn't it Friday, too, at one point? There were some you, Fridays, I mean, some Saturdays. I think you did some on Friday. Yeah, we did yeah. some on Fridays. Gotta say hello to Gamer David, by the way. So I guess I should at least break my lurk for a minute. Say congrats on 10 years of content creation and being able to go out on such a high note. I appreciate that. Thank you. I miss Mario Trivia. That was... Though, I mean, name that game tune's kind of... New Mario oh, trivia. Oh, tie dye is that what we're doing? Lucas Kobe, we're doing tie dye walls. Oh, the reason the reason I brought that up is I wanted to know if you were interested in competing in a little Paper Mario Thousand Year Door trivia right now. I say you're gonna challenge me on my own stream. I say bring it on. What do you got? Ask me some <laughs> trivia questions. Go ahead. Right. So this is relevant to this chapter, okay? Just a this little bit really... of hold on, just a little bit of uh, background for the viewers. Prior to going into video content creation, my big thing was to host Mario Trivia on Nintendo Insider forums. 
uh, way back. This is like pre-2007. Wait, wait, I think you need to explain what that is because for the kids, it's been like they were yeah, it probably it's pre before they were born. This was Nintendo's <laughs> official Nintendo's official it. forum or community prior to I don't know prior to prior to Nintendo like actually being like, hey, we should probably censor our PR a little bit and not just have random kids dictate our community. But anyway. Um, so I was the thing. I was like, I hosted Mario Trivia. I pride myself on my knowledge of Mario Trivia. By the way, Most I got a key. Where does that also, key go? Uh, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's way back here. Um, all of CSS is act well most of CSS is all alumni of that Mario Trivia challenge. Yeah, all graduates uh, of that Mario all, Trivia yeah, challenge. Gra graduated, like, was it? I got my diploma in Mario Trivia. <laughs> that would be a pretty great diploma uh, degree program. Right. I think it's... So let me check. Before I backtrack, you know, way, 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 way back. Let me just make sure. But, uh, yeah, do you, do you want to go ahead and ask... Oh, yeah, what do you got? Uh, what do you got? Questions. All right. So, we all know that in Cabin 8 of the XS Express... We have the father, Gold Bob, and the little kid's name is Bub. What's the wife's name? Oh, that's easy. Wife's Gold name is, uh, wife. Gold Bob's <laughs> wife. And that's easy. It's uh it's uh So we have Gold Bob, right? And you have the kid Bob. And it's so Bob. the wife's name is uh Silver Bob. <laughs> or Miss Bob, Mrs. Bob. Very close, actually. I, hey, is it? I, I was gonna say. Is I was it gonna Miss say Scar Bob? Scarlet, for some reason, is popping in my head. Scarlet? What name? Scarlet. 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 No, no, it's not. That's not even actually, close. Eric, your, your your thought on this, Eric, is actually in the right ballpark, but it's an actual name. An actual yeah, I knew it was name. an actual name. I just couldn't remember Bob, what it was. Bob, Barbara. <laughs> is it trying to be a pun Bob, on Bob? Bob, Bob Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> Bob, 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 Bob. Sneaky Scarab says Gold Barb. Where is this door? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up because I. I have a key. Where am I taking this key? Probably back at the beginning. Are you saying it, it way the, back to the beginning? It's not for the train, is it? It's for the. Is it not for the drawbridge? Is it? I don't is think so. Oh, it's this elevator key. Oh, okay. Okay, that's right. That is her name. That's right. Oh. Um, you're not. Yeah, you're you're wrong, but you're not like horribly wrong. Just yeah. Miss Barb. Miss Bob. No, 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 no. There's no Miss. Miss is is Bob. A, is a lie. Bob. It was Silver. No, was right? it's I'm not Silver. Bob. <laughs> Silver. That's close. Silver Bob. <laughs> no. Silver uh, Bob. Bob. There's no Bob. <laughs> Silver. Mrs. Silver. There's no Mrs. Either. <laughs> It's very first okay, think of a think of a real name that has silver. Silver, uh, Sil Sylvia. That sounds like silver. There you go. Sylvia Bob. <laughs> no. <There you> Bob. Go. <laughs> Sylvia. Go. I knew it. I got it. First try. Yeah, by your by your own rules, first Mario try. Trivia, you would have gotten Four. no points. <laughs> first try. Give me another one. Ask me another. All right, I gotta find something here. Oh, holy cow! Oh wow! Can we talk about Mr. Oh. L with the gigantic chair right now? Okay, oh. yes, big donation. But I really, really, really wanted to show you just how much of an impact you've had in my life, oh. and how much Mega and everyone in the Discord server has had a big impact in the de past decade. I'm so glad I got to be able to know you guys well, and can have great discussions. Even able to say that we're friends. I wish you nothing but the absolute best to you and your girlfriend in the next chapter of your life. Twitch is cutting it off the chat. <laughs> uh, later. Catch you later. Catch you all later. I don't know what that last part says. Charlie. But hey, Mr. L, thank you so much. That is so appreciated. And, and certainly not a necessary thing that you had to do, but I'm happy that we were even able to have the slightest of impact. So thank you so much. Oh, polka dot paint, here we come. <laughs> polka dot paint, here we come. We're doing polka dot one wall, stripes the other. Oh, no, no, no. There some uh before we get into the next oh, question. Oh, character limit. <laughs> when my uh, cousin was in, not, I think she moved now, but she was in uh her old house. When they moved into the house, <clears throat> the they had to redo a lot of stuff. And one the worst thing they found was the bathroom had brown carpet on the floors for the bathroom, 
uh, I think it was yellow walls with like, uh, you know those, not not wallpaper, but the things that like the borders with pineapples. And they were like pineapple Yikes. curtains. And, Yikes. Yeah, it was not. <laughs> anyway, was thanks, yellow, Mr. Elda. That was, that was uh, very kind of you. Again, really, really appreciate it. And I would definitely oh. consider us friends if we can become friends in the Discord. I can't wait to see your character in the Wargroove campaign. That's what I want you to see. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. That's I'm excited to play it. it. Assuming you finish it in time. I know. <laughs> I know. Right after like all this is done, my attention is now Wargroove focused. So, pretty funny. But yeah, it's weird. Sometimes when you go into houses, uh, you see some of the weirdest things. <laughs> like, <coughs> things that's like, who thought that putting this color wall or this type of carpet or this paneling was like good well and it's like weird. carpets especially because that was a whole 70s thing but it's like yeah. this was the bad idea <laughs> wall to but wall, it's like wall it's like somebody looked at that at some point and was like hey i want to paint the bathrooms bright neon green <laughs> and it's like that happened that ex existed in a lot of the open houses i went to and it's like why at least you can wow. fix. At least you can easily paint over neon green bathrooms. You can't. It's harder to fix a carpeted bathroom. <laughs> that is true. Carpeted bathrooms pretty rough. Where's Pennington? Um, Where? What do I do? I think you go. Well, you need to go give so those items to the people. Did you give? The oh yeah, I gotta give the items that? to the people. I can do that. Um, the carpeted bathroom is tough. That that's rough. It, it was a whole seven. They exist. Trend. They For exist. For those who who. We're not born in the 70s. Well, there's also nobody LA. here to give anything Everyone. to. Uh, it was just a trend. Like, a lot of houses built in the 70s. Bathrooms carpeted. with carpet. Everything was, was carpeted. Yeah. Everything was carpeted. Not just that. Everything. I know. That's, um, that's gross. PTM, what what, uh, like, what what were you going to ask for the next uh, question? So you guys were just here. Um, Eric. What is the official name of the train station you were just at? Riverside Station. There you go. Easy. Okay. Come on. I didn't I throw him a softball. Give him a hard one. That was a softball question. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Can you name for me all the jewelry items that were returned to? Shell earrings, gold ring. And dude, that was way that was more softball than the last one. All right. I'm doing that. I'm literally doing that right now. That's why it's on my mind. <laughs> hey, I gotta be like, hey, train conductor. There is no. Sure there attention. are no people on this train. <laughs> what, oh uh, Eric? What is the name of Gold Bob's company? Uh, oh snap! Does it have a name? Yeah. Well, of course, it's Bob. Industries. Bob Evans. <laughs> Bob Ross. Bob. 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 Explosive. Industry. Dynamo Industries. It's it's really dumb, but it's it is not that hard. But it it definitely does not start with Bob. <laughs> does it start with explosive? No. Explosion. No. Dynamite. No. Gold. Yes. Gold. Bob's. Is it Gold Bob something? Burst. Kinda not. There, it's not. It, it's one word. Gold bar. Gold. Gold. Ba. Gold. <laughs> gold. 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 Gold team bar. rules. Gold team rules. Oh, no. It, it's. Do you want me to say what it is? Gold. Hold on. I can get it. Gold hats. No. <laughs> gold shoes. Gold paint. Oh. No! Goldfinger. Goldfinger. You don't, know what, you don't know what his company makes, I'm pretty sure. Gold Digger. No! Oh. <laughs> Gold Miner. Bro. No. It, you learn it in Chapter 3 by talking to Sylvia. It is uh, Gold Bobbingtons. That was what I was just about to say! <laughs> I was about to say Gold Bobbingtons. You didn't let me. Oh, my, my bad. Yeah, your bad is right. It's right, it's your bad. Hey, right, where do I go? Uh, like up. How do I get up there? Uh, well, oh, I got the jump. We just... <laughs> I have the jump now. Uh, that would be my first clue. That's right, I forgot I had that. 
I can do that now. Do you have any more questions, PTM? Oh boy, oh. look at the train. It's been I'll, in a little I'll, better I'll, condition. I'll leave it for more, by the way, so that we give you time to talk Also, to by the way, what is more? Dumb. <laughs> That's why I don't like this. It's like, Smore That's comes out of literally nowhere. I, I said this yesterday. It is literally the, the boss with the worst context because there is literally... There is no put context. It in any, you could put it in any chapter and it would make just about as much sense as putting it in this chapter. It doesn't really there is have no any context. background. Just... I want a game with them in it for some background. Uh, here we go. Like, it would have been cool if they introduced... Hey, ladies, Kirby 22. It would have been cool if they introduced Smorg as, like, some experimental thing the x Knots were working on. Like, they feel like that could have happened, you know? But it's not yeah. at all. It's just this random creature. Like, you know? a species they uncovered at the moon base. Like, think of if all throughout, like, the story so far, they kind of hinted at, like, oh, the x Knots are working on this prototypical thing. You know? Like, that could have been cool, and now it's Smorg, and, but it's not. It's just this random monster that appears. There you go. Cool battle music, though. I will say. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I think it's the worst song in the game. <laughs> the worst one in the game? Yeah, I don't like it. Yikes. But I don't, it's not my style of music, but it's like, it's just a loop of like two notes. It much. is, that is true. Alright, we're going for Shazam's right after that. Shazam! 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 Is that, from the, is that from the comic book hero Shazam, or? Oh, it's Gaia. Shazam! That's where Shazam came from. The comic book hero? No, it came from <laughs> it came from Gaia saying Shazam no, after saying, every art attack. Did she oh, make she the comic book hero? He has a defense point. Ow. Who's throwing a rock at me? Get out of here. There's a lot of rocks in the audience. Ah. Here's one. More rocks? You. Stop! That give me a chance to do anything. Go ahead, uh. I've got a humdinger of a question for you. Oh, I'm humdinger. fighting s'more. What is oh, it? Yes, I'm sorry. This takes this takes precedent over everything right now. What is it? Oh, I'm wa I'm watching you fight s'more. Okay. That's, that's the correct answer. <laughs> that's the question? <laughs> what am I watching right now? <laughs> Sits there. Oh, that's a tough action command to land. Yeah, because you can't, you can't, you don't have that much time to actually. Right. So I assume the timing is always the same. So if you just figure out how many seconds it takes, you probably could. Yes, yeah, so this boss can do a ton of damage to you. Really fast. Like this. Oh. Here's the scary part though about this boss. So the smorg blow away after this. Shouldn't the passengers have also blown away? I mean, I'm assuming smorg is light. The only reason it's not blowing away is because it's sticky and it's holding onto the train, right? But like yeah. once. Yeah, once you once you loosen it loosen its grip, it just goes away in the wind. This but that's a good Oh, go ahead. Not not knowing about the smorg really sucks right now. No background, we don't even know what they're like. Well and someone said in the chat, uh, I think it was uh I'll try this one more time. Sneaky scarab. Um It's the only boss that doesn't guard a crystal star. Like oh, it really that's tough. <laughs> It doesn't really serve much. It's just there to have a boss. In it's just there. You could honestly have had a chapter with no boss. Because, I mean, chapter 5 had two bosses, so... Got our photo. Ow. That's why Smorg hurts. Ouch. Also, 41 viewers. Smorg, Smorg hurts. Did it again. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna try it one more time. We gotta hit this. Gotta hit this action command. There we go. That's it. That's wow. the end. Last cannon of a boss. The, pretty most much. the most difficult boss battle in this whole game. 
That's really easy. Well, the thing is, it he does so much damage, so you have to be ready for that. Like, is it the most difficult? Like, are, are we talking standard bosses or even like special? No, bosses? the most difficult I'd say is it's actually a good question. I mean, I think the final boss is probably the most difficult. Well, no, I think isn't Bone Tail harder? I don't think so by that point because you're so. I don't know. Bone Tail, I, I never thought Bone Tail was that hard. Especially compared to what you do to get to Bone Tail. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, the last 20 boss, floors probably. of the pit are way harder than Bone Tail itself. The only thing with Bone Tail is if you're not prepared, like, you can easily get screwed over because you're, like, not. You don't have any healing items or anything like that. Like. Yep. I agree. I agree. Poshly Heights. Bing bong, bing bong. Uh, what was the question you were going to ask, by the way, PTM? Yeah, so I was going to ask. Um, there's a character in a Paper Mario game that owns a DVD anthology of Rock Hawk's wrestling career called Harder Than Bedrock, the Rock Hawk story. Who owns that DVD collection? Uh... Well, I mean, that's an easy question, really. If you think about it for a little bit. Because, of course, the person that would own the Rock Hawk DVD anthology would certainly be, you know, a character of note. Noteworthy, right? Someone who's important. Someone who probably enjoys wrestling, which would make sense, correct? Uh, I'm going to guess that it is... Uh, someone in Paper Mario? Wait, is it in this game? The series. Oh, the series? Oh, it's stupid Francis from Super Paper Mario. <laughs> he read the chat. Sure. <laughs> Mr. Sure. Gave it to all my, I did it all myself. <laughs> nice deduction. That was very quick. After it broad, after I made it easier, broadening the scope. It was like, eh, it's that guy. Here's a question. How many star pieces are in the game? Sure. A lot? I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know the answer to that. Ah, uh, good old Poshley Heights, where everything is way too expensive. Yeah, but it's not like you need to buy anything. That's a lot of star pieces. Uh, 100, 100 star pieces. 100? That's a lot. Yeah. Oh. Alright, well... More in the original. Sanctum Manager's gone in. traveling. How much was in the original? 160. Oh, wow. wow. Why'd you need that many in, in the original? More badges. Is there more badges in the original? I think they cost more. There's not oh, more badges more. total. They, the ones you buy with star pieces cost more. Um, I think that also there's more of those panels. There's fewer of those in this game. Yeah. Are oh, you know those hidden yeah. star piece panels? By the way, yes, uh... Pennington is the Sanctum Manager. And look who's here! See, you said Duplass doesn't do anything. He's right here. He doesn't do anything here. He just stands there. He a, he's, no, he runs away. <laughs> Breaks that window. He does break that window. Or no, he already broke the window. Broke a window. He does a lot. He actually, yeah, sto he actually story important. That window is broken. <laughs> that stone was a red herring. I, I guess why I mention it is because I always felt Dupless joining them could have amounted to something really incredible, and then it just doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> really? Okay. And, and your sister spent so much time cleaning that window. I can't believe that still gets brought up. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like a dumb throwaway thing that happened. It still gets well, brought I, up. To well, this I don't point. think I was in. It was in a group, one of the group sessions during this, right? Was, was. Were, were they? Was she in the background or? She was just. Oh, it just it happened to come in it. while this was happening. Okay. The L emblem. Where is the L emblem? It's here, isn't it? I think you had to climb somewhere. I remember it's in. It's in here. I think maybe you get to use the airplane. Maybe. I want to say it's the bottom left or bottom right. There's another room of the Sanctum, too. There's two rooms. No, there isn't. Aren't there? Are there not? Well, uh, well okay. Technically, I think. Nothing like, over here, right? 
you're kind of right. Yeah, I think it's in the second one. It's the same room, it's just... <laughs> yeah, it's the same room, just done again. Pay no yeah, attention to the pipe behind my car. It's in the second one. Um, once you grab the crystal star, I'm gonna head out and because I gotta get ready for work and Sounds I'll leave good. PTM to keep you company for however long you'll I don't know if you'll stop at ten or if it'll go a little out over. Uh, I should be able to probably stop at ten. There's no like I'm gonna be able to finish everything I wanted to finish today. You could try doing a little bit of the general white stuff just to kind yeah, of Yeah, we'll see how far we get. I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot of because we still have to do like all the cutscene stuff, don't forget. Like that takes a long time. Yeah. I think it might be all of the prep for chapter seven. Seven. You could probably yeah, activate the crystal uh or the map. Yeah, activate the map, things like that. Um but PTM it was good talking to you. Uh I know I know you've been busy. Uh, because you popped in a few times, but it's very good to talk to you again. Sorry if I know it's been a little hectic, but that's because <laughs> that's how it is when you're trying to talk with when people are playing games. And oh, it was fun. I had a good time. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Chrono's back uh, again. Well, no one girl's here. Fatal Frame 4 coming on in. Thanks so much for coming by. I have nothing to do right now, so I'm going to heal myself. But they, see you later, Mega. Thanks so much for stopping by. Get some yeah. Good again. Well, I was gonna wait till the Christmas card, though. I guess if you're kicking me out. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry. We know. I was just prepping my goodbyes All so right. that we can know. But what were you saying, PTM? I was saying you gotta stay for the most important Christmas star. That's the most important ability. Swim. <laughs> <laughs> no, we already got the most important one. Thank you. Uh, well, one, uh, wait, wait, what, this one's ability is not that good, right? I'm pretty, if I'm remembering correctly, it's just a power up, right? Or, or no, it's PK. That's PK. Stopper stops the show. Yeah, but isn't it like you can't even use it for any time you'd want to use it, right? It won't. It's one, like it, yeah, it doesn't work on a lot of enemies. Hey, double star points again. We get a couple of those today. Actually, we got one on just like a one star point encounter, but we got a couple on some significant amount of star points. I'll take that. Well, I'll stay till we get PTM, but uh, yeah, no, I, it was, uh, ho hopefully you're able to stop in more often, maybe do some streams, but like I said, I know your schedule is, you're yes. you're busy uh, with with IT and all that. Yeah, like, my, <laughs> I hit what I'm, we're do, I'm doing a lot of uh, family travel the last part of the year that I don't normally do, mm -hmm. so I may pick up streaming up. a little more often after the first of the year. Yes. We're talking about this, and Eric leaving us. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Actually, this is some easy XP right here. Well, well, even if you don't stream, this goes to Eric too. Like, just you know, being active in the Discord. Well, don't girl with the sub. Thank you. Uh, but yes, be active in the Discord. Well, Doan girl, welcome to the Alliance. And that, how's my in. audio with the gifting of the sub? Thank you so much. How's my audio? Rowan, oh, I, thought, I thought you were asking us how your audio was. No, 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 no. That's, how's my audio? You don't know how's my audio? Super, I didn't know. Okay. Super <laughs> chill. Super chill. Fatal Frame Floor. Been on a major Paper Mario bench since uh, since Bug Fables came out and reignited your love. Didn't know you stream. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I've heard. Have you heard not that? Not for much longer. Have you guys heard of Bug Fables? I think I mentioned it the other day. I have not. It's, it's a Paper Mario style game, basically. Look it up. I don't know if it's any good, but. Saw a brief trailer for it. Looks interesting. Yes. Here we are. I oh. miss you too, Gaia. <laughs> you can stop running into her, uh, his, her YouTube childhood. <laughs> no. I, I, everyone can stop in the Discord and hang out. And... Yeah, we got Mega Freak 400 and Power to Mario on uh, voice chat right now. Please, please, please feel free to stop by the Discord server and hang out. This is uh, my final stream. This is my retirement event where I will be sports from coast to coast with the sub. Uh, thank you so much for that, by the way. I appreciate that. And How's Spence another How's My Audio How's gifted sub, which is pretty great. So we are... Um, this is my retirement event, again. I'll mention that while a lot of people are around. Uh, we are streaming Paper Mario Thousand Year Door all weekend. We streamed it yesterday, we get streaming it today, and we got one more day tomorrow before I do officially retire from content creation. 
That doesn't mean I'll be gone from the internet entirely, however. You can certainly choose to join that Discord server, which you can do by typing exclamation mark Discord, and that'll take you right on in there. I'll still be in there. I'll still be on Twitter, still be on social media, stuff like that. Um, but yeah. We're shipping him off to an island where no one will see him again. <laughs> right? right. Yeah. 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 He's actually Cut. moving to St. Martin's in the Caribbean. To it's 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 owned by Tom Nook. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hope you're an island. Queen Jilly Bee with the sub, by the way. Thanks so much for subbing. Appreciate oh, that. Hey. Hope things are going well for oh. you. Got the whole sub train going. And gifted a sub by How's My Audio. How about that? Eric's not even paying attention. <laughs> Thanks, Queen Jilly Bee, for the support. Sorry, I'm like I'm all caught up in what's going on right now. I crush your head. Thanks, How's chance. My Audio, oh, for all the made, gifts. Very kind. <laughs> it is rather. I'm trying not to get emotional till tomorrow. Tomorrow night's gonna be gonna be the one where I'm gonna start to cry and it's gonna get really sad. But in any case, I will still be around on uh, Discord. Will you remember me? No, no, we're not gonna sing. <laughs> we're not gonna sing. We're not gonna play sentimental music. But uh, in the arms of the angels. Yeah, right. But in any case, it, it is. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Anyway, I would say. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Is that the voice? <laughs> is that the over. voice of the Gaia Crusher that I hear in chat? Took took him long enough. <laughs> How long have you been here? Two minutes. Five minutes. Five <laughs> minutes? <laughs> what? I've been playing the game. <laughs> Gaia, how are you? She's been talking for like like two minutes and you've been ignoring us. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on the game. Uh, what is happening in the game that's important? I got a gradual syrup, okay? Okay? <laughs> that's a big deal. It will make my HP restore gradually. Uh, Jeez. Give me such acting. a hard time. I don't know. No, well, matter. hi, Gaia. It's nice, to, it's nice to talk to you again. Hey, Sneaky Gaia. It's been... I, I was working on... A video at the moment, so like I finished for the day, so I'm here now. Yay! Nice. So we got five, or no, what's the math? Four. Four. Four? Four. Yep. <laughs> uh, you can count four. Yeah. Four people. I know it's I a can struggle. Count. <laughs> yeah, I'll struggle. pop up tomorrow since like I didn't technically sign up for the slot today. I just thought I could pop in. I'm happy you did. I'm happy you did. Guy Crush and I yeah, making I a presence known. Yeah, I know, because Eric's got a large empty spot tomorrow so I do. well like uh, my initial assumption was that this was all the thanksgiving weekend and i looked re -looked at the dates and i was like oh no no oh, no, no. Like, <laughs> could you imagine though like I, I mean it makes sense but also like i don't think eric could have handled it because you you do thanksgiving prep right yeah oh yeah oh yeah and that, it, that so like you you would have basically been starting a stream right after an exact that would have been, like, yeah. been a lot yeah. not that but, it's not a lot now but hey it's it's wicked fun well, I mean, we weekend streams take a lot out of you, and no matter like you does. know, back to back streams just yeah. That it does. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out and I'll leave you three to it. Uh, I will, will not be back tomorrow, maybe, but probably not. But if I am, I'll pop in. All right, see you later, man. But uh, yeah, no, I, uh, if I don't say anything else, SM, uh, you, you know, we're we're co-owners of the Discord. Uh, Really are. hope you ho really hope you move on or not move on, but like you really hope you get out. Really of hope here. you get your life together. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's not going to be the same with you not streaming. Uh, but I fully understand moving on with your life. Uh, but you know, I hope you I, I hope you really do stay in Discord for for a while, and we can continue to hang out. Maybe even more than than we used to, uh, because. I gotta beat your ass in Smash soon, so... <laughs> oh, that's the only reason, huh? Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, well, thank you so much, I... Megan, for your support. I, I'm happy but, to call... There's yeah. no one I'd rather call on the Discord with. Do, do you say congratulations for this, for your retirement? I guess you do. <laughs> I don't know. Congratulations. <laughs> it has been like 10 years, did. so it's been a long time, but... Well, we've known each other longer just, than that. We've known each other know... longer than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just told you. Eric, move on, or I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kick me on the admin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Night, guys. Good night. Yeah. Ryan, I am still a math teacher. I'm in my fifth year of teaching math and computer science right now, too. I teach four math classes and one computer science class. I teach two algebra twos, two pre-calculuses, and uh, AP computer science. So that's a fun time. In any case, uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to join the Discord server, that's a great way to keep in touch with all of us. Even though this is my final farewell event, I won't be streaming anymore. 
Uh, you, I will still be in the Discord server, so if you type exclamation mark Discord, that will bring up a link for you to join the Discord server and still keep in contact with all of us. So, that's pretty crazy. Oh, and Grodus is here, by the way. Hi, Grodus. You did. You caught the very, very end. I, we have one more day, though. One more day. Tomorrow. My most paranoid moments. I never would have thought my own computer would betray me. I love this ending. I love this music, too. Really cool. So, Guy, what have you been up to? Tell me about it. Uh... <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no, no, wait. No, opposite of nothing. Um, so, I... I mean, personally, uh, I keep in touch with my YouTube channel still. I mostly make content on copies and working stuff nowadays. Uh, for the most part, though, I have a job now. <laughs> like, an actual job. Uh, like a, an IP position with a uh, contractor company involved with Infor. That's cool. I don't know if you really know about Infor. I didn't until I started working. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get an F in chat for uh, tech. Yeah, I don't know if guy you can raise the volume on your mic a little bit, but. Oh, uh, uh, awesome. Oh, talking quietly. F in chat for tech. I have to gain a little bit. Gotcha. I purposely keep it low because I get uh, excitable. <laughs> yes, that does happen. That does happen. Excitable. Yeah, that's an understatement. Well, listen, when you beat up Earth Thanos, like, you kind of get excited about <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, we got to do the last Bowser segment right now? That's hap That's what happens? No crystal stars. I can't tell five piece. Try the proud well, it didn't go quite well. Mario's going to steal everything from my grasp, as usual. And prompts tomorrow. It prompts tomorrow! Oh, okay. Alright. Blast us through. Let's do it. Well, I love Bowser this part. Finds the Infinity Gauntlet. He's gotta find the Infinity Gauntlet. And <laughs> Luigi's just like, uh, I'm gonna I'm a go. I'm a, I, I, I'm going to head out. I'm going to head out. You're always a step away from just unearthing a big, big thing. I mean, he is unearthing a big thing in the Waffle Kingdom. Waffle Kingdom. See, we need we need a game. We need a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, I would actually be excited about that. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Another year of Luigi. Wait, there. you can break those with the flavor? Yes. Oh. There's, there's your excitableness. Can't break I didn't the stone. Yes, yeah, so you can break the flame breath. Doesn't reach hitbox. Oh, it fell in the lava. <laughs> ah. Let's go for the actual flagpole. <laughs> hey, we made it. Gotta love it. Love the Super Bowser Bros levels. So cool. And I keep reminding everybody, for like the context behind that, there hasn't been a 2D Mario game up to this point since Super Mario World, or Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, if you want to count that, on Game Boy Color. So like, it, it's crazy. Like this was such a wave of nostalgia. New Super Mario Bros. didn't come out until after this. So it's pretty fun. So, in any case, that's good. Guy, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Well, I mean, could be better, but I mean, you know, I mean, could be better, could be worse. I always say that, too. You right, said you're doing IT support? Yeah. Um, it, it, on paper, I'm a systems analyst. Granted, I haven't had much to do the past like month or so, but I think that's changing this week, which is nice. Also, we brought this up at the beginning of the stream. A spin-off starring Rock Hawk about his ascension to become the champion. And how cool would this moment be to actually have a Rock Hog versus Bowser? And I love that Bowser just stops him and he's like, pain. <laughs> Build up for a big disappointment. Yes. I wonder if this was then Francis's DVD collection. I wonder. This fight right here. Have I ever had the unfortunate pleasure of having to use Movie Maker? Oh, I have, when I very first started doing this stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was not fun. I remember those days. Yeah. 
<laughs> I use iMovie. <laughs> iMovie. I use Movie Maker. 12 hour renders. Yeah, it was rough. It was a rough time. It was, you know, it was a living, you know? That was what we did. I upgraded to uh, Pinnacle no software. Living. I upgraded to Pinnacle software pretty quick. I use uh, Sony Vegas. Yep, that's what I use now. Sony Vegas Pro. Yeah, Pro 14. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's exactly what I use as well. And I think it works great for anyone looking to get into content creation. It did. It's just for the longest while, I had this like weird hookup involving a recording set with my OBS, uh, well, OBS Studio. Like for some reason, it would be really intensive on it. And then I found out finally after like a year or two, like how to actually turn it down so that it would stop like stuttering and everything. Gotcha. Crazy. All right. Well. Good luck. A Pokemon. <laughs> a Pokemon. Okay, Cell. Uh, oh no, Nappa. Sorry, Nappa. <laughs> okay, there you go. I was thinking of the uh, Cell abridged crossover there with Ash, but no, that was. Uh, anyway, um, we did finish our goal, which was great, of getting through Chapter Six today. I was planning on doing that by 10 p.m. It is 9:26 p.m. and we accomplished our goal, so I'll take that. 30 minutes ahead of schedule. In that 30 minutes, I'm going to do some prep work for the next chapter. Namely, one of the first things is get this. This big treasure chest that taunts you the whole game. Finally get this. We should burn all of our cash at the piano parlor. Is that what we're going to do? We're going to burn it all? Burn <laughs> the ground? Well, i got to go underground first. There's a lot we can actually get in the sewers. I think, actually, I think we can get everything now. I think we have every ability. That is the last ability, correct? I keep saying try it again. I don't need to try it again. Uh, oh, we're reminiscing tomorrow. Do you have the Ultra Boots already? What? If you have the Ultra Boots already, I think? Yeah, we have every ability. I'm pretty sure that's the yeah, last one. that's it. That's nope, the end of no Toadette. Say goodbye to Toadette, by the way. No. F's in the chat for Toadette. F's in the chat for Toadette. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. Oh. No. Definitely say Peach, okay? Be careful on your quest. Bye, Toadette. Aww. Lots of Fs in the chat. Hope you move on, Toadette. Hope you move on to greater, bigger, and better things. I think she too. It's like the extra punch to the guy. I know. As if this event is not going to be sad enough already. Ugh. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the sewers and get everything I can down there. I can also power up a couple more partners. Uh, I can get the map update. So there's plenty to do in the last half hour, that's for sure. Uh, speaking of which, I should probably upgrade this mouse. To at least be on par with everybody else. Upgrade Flurry, really? Really? Do I have to? Gotta get more of that stage presence. More stage presence. Uh, I feel like... Dodgy fog is not even that good. Oh, rally wink's actually pretty useful. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do that big old hunk of woman. That was funny. Goombella. Yeah, Goombella <laughs> gives you some rally wink. Rally wink's really good. It lets Mario take an extra action, which is good. I'm actually gonna use Miss Mouse. I don't know. I I probably should. I don't remember if I used her too much. I, she's I, good I for stealing, like, if you see badges and stuff and you can steal them. Yeah. That's what she's really good for. It's been way too long since I've played this game. Honestly, not since the project, I think. Yeah, that's that was for the same for me. Not since we did it back in 2010. Which God, is wild. It's been that long. It has. Oh, it has. Been saying that all stream. Uh. <laughs> this is roughly the 10 year anniversary of it. It is. It's uh. pretty close. <laughs> It's pretty close. I definitely want some flower seed. Oh, I really want power plus. I want power plus really bad. So I gotta wait. I need two more star pieces for that. Is there anything in here? No, this is fortunes. I don't need this. The star pieces down here, King. I don't need this. Uh, what else can I do? There's one more thing I think I can do. I can do this. There's a thing, this thing over here. How much money do I have? 158. I can't afford any of these things. Uh, all right. 
I know I can spend all my money though. Hold on. For a second for this. There we go. And then I can drop here. And then. Oh, and then a little, little of this and a little of that. Ha! There we go. I think there's one more thing to get up there, if I remember correctly. Star piece, right? Yeah, I think there's a star piece up there. I think I can go this way. Gotta switch to good old Uncle PK. There we go. Is there anything on here? Is there a... I could have sworn there was something here. Maybe, f maybe an invisible flurry thing? Ah! Uh, there's nothing here? How, why would you even be able to get to this platform? Oh, man. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. There's really nothing on this platform at all. Oh. Oh, bummer. Nothing. Oh, well. Oh, well. What are you going to do? At least you tried. Oh, we tried. That's the... If this was a modern Mario game, there'd be like a stack of coins there. There'd be something there, at least, right? <laughs> Come on. Give me nothing. Nothing to work with at all. Or signposts with some sort of tutorial on it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, well, we can make our way down to the, uh, the thing. The frogs from the moon. The map. Is there anything? Oh, I can go this way. I can break this. Now. You said you could sail. I know, I know. Yeah, you know. Hold on, one thing at a time. There you go. For a super shroom. Nope, that'd be plus. A super shroom. That would have been funny if that was all that was there. There we go. More shortcuts open up. That's good. But you did a no-look uh, suit uh, ground pound there. Listen, listen. We don't mess around. We don't mess around here. Uh, where is... I don't really want to fight any of these things. Where is the boat panel for that? Is it way on the other side? Where is the map? Where is the map? I think it's way on the other side. It must be. Because I can't find it over there. So that thing's got to be way, way this way. That's crazy. But we love backtracking here. We love plenty of it in this game. There, we go. there it is. It's right there. Right through here. Perfect. Okay. Just gotta sail all the way to the right. So while we're sailing all the way to the right, I'll just take another moment to say this is the final stream event of mine. Final weekend long stream. Tomorrow will be my last day of streaming and content creation on YouTube and Twitch ever. I, which is a very sad statement for me to say. But again, it's important not to cry because it's over, but rather to smile because it all happened. And it was quite an amazing and fantastic run. I'm not going to get all sentimental this evening, but I'll save that for tomorrow. And that is going to be... It's going to be quite quite a thing. Oh, yeah, all this crazy room of shine sprites and all these enemies. So that will you be may tomorrow. have a choice about sentimentality, because I may not be able to say this tomorrow, so I wanted to say this tonight. What do you got? Prepare yourself. No, I was just going to give you a, uh, a thank you for uh, hosting the Mario Trivia Challenge way back in the day and for um, really starting a lot of you're you were kind of like the meeting point the catalyst for a lot of different things that we experienced you got to do the css project got to do trivia challenges got to meet in person and do uh expos that is true we did get to do all, a lot of those yeah, fantastic just, things together so many so many great memories and uh many so many experiences like you even talked about yesterday how unexpectedly like a lot of this stuff helped you in your professional life it did and with that a lot is with my current position having the ability to 
to improvise to handle different kinds of people is a really big skill. Um, right. Also love the fact that you supported me when I tried to do a trivia challenge, and that was major flop. The Pokemon, the official Pokemon trivia challenge. What is happening? Sorry, sorry. I know again. Set it up. Is, he, is this another? Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm pretty lucky. You know what? No. We're gonna let him die. Okay. Or badges. Die on your own turn. Anyway. No, PTM, I, I really, really appreciate all the, the sentiments. And, uh, I, I've had the very, I've had the fortune of working with, um, some fantastic people in doing those fantastic things. So, thank you again for everything. And I wish you all the best as well, of course. And Gaia, too. Hey, we got King Hoop coming on by. Hope to see you at Thanksgiving Day game. I should be there, actually. Uh, watch your Tuesday video during your break between classes. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. We're not getting sad yet. There's still one more. We've still got one more to go. Right go back to the fact that Spinia for using badges. What is it? Spinia is using badges. I know. All these wild. characters using badges. Wild. Only I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> cool. Now I'll save myself to jump for tomorrow because right. I know I will get emotional. All right, I know it's gonna be sad. <laughs> it really is. Like, oh man. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not getting sad. No, we gotta be happy tonight. Can we be happy? <laughs> Just like I, I think of that one picture of the Pikachu or something. You know, that's with me. I will cry. Be happy, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Cheer up. <laughs> Well, Stop it! If the PK's appearance doesn't solidify this, then this stream definitely kills the idea of a CSS channel reboot. If PK shows up tomorrow, I I don't even know. I don't. Even, I will be over the moon if that happens. If PK shows up tomorrow, I will commit to a CSS project. Whoa. You heard it here first. Power to Mario. Bring him back, Crystal Star Studio, if Uncle PK shows up tomorrow. You heard it here first. I don't know if that'll happen. Your odds are probably pretty good, but yeah. We'll see. Oh, we got a tough guy up here. I forgot. I forgot he's just um, chilling. Well, I mean, if you're going to consider co op uh, uh, mega, absolutely. I will have to buy the game, and you get to make fun of me for not knowing it. BPM, I have an idea. A certain thing getting released on uh, Steam very this? soon. Halo anniversary, including Halo Reach. Oh yeah, Wargroove oh, does have Reach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now complete with less less frame frame drops and more high quality. <laughs> hey. nice. Not recording. Oh no, I actually no, I we did ODST. Well, I mean, Reach is still good. <laughs> Became an A-list star, baby. We got the max audience size, which is cool. Whoa! Whoa! I did a thing. Oh boy! Let's time that. Get up there. Well, you are an A-list star. You see coins on the ground. You're not even going. Get up for there! Them. All right. Bombs are pretty rude though. Badges. Whenever one of them is there, they take up two seats. It's a sick one. I think I want me some. I would love to order by like alphabetical. Oh, okay. B flower. What do I actually want? I think I know I want ice power again. I want multi bounce. I haven't used it though. I keep like equipping it and unequipping it. Um, and then. Super appeal. <laughs> uh, maybe I don't need multi bounce. Let's see. What? I have two. Multi ball. Multi ball. Multi ball. Uh, oh, that's so stupid. Uh, I smash. I don't think I need. Don't need the L emblem. Don't need. What do I not need? I could put. I already have Lucky Day. I could put Pretty Lucky on. Again. That's fine. We can do that. 
good one. Might as well get those misses in if we can. In that Spinia did, you certainly could. Oh yeah, this is an S-list stage too. That's right. So we're, we don't have the biggest one. You can get up to S-list. That's true. Oh yeah, I remember that one. I think I actually like, purposely grinded so I could see that. Yeah, you can get the like, top. This really ritzy. Yep. Just a more kestrel looking one. That's great. Let's go all oh, did the way you back. do the um the op the atomic boo optional boss? Yes, I did the atomic boo boss. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think. I think I've done pretty much every big thing. The only thing is, of course, the pit of hunger trials, which I think I'm leaning towards ending the whole weekend on. I'm very nervous, though. I'm not gonna lie. I, it's hard. The pit of hunger trials is hard. It's not easy. Now, do you have to teach on Monday? Yes, of course I do. You should totally do it. Great. Not, not stop until you complete it. Excellent. That's the plan. Who <laughs> sleep? Walk into class. Mr. G, why do you look so tired? Doesn't. Just, don't worry about it, kid. Get I just went through 100 floors of hell. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. Uh, ask your parents. <laughs> ask your <laughs> 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 My name may be Mr. G, but I'm not rated G. Uh... <laughs> Clever. That was great. Anyway. Ugh. Calling sick. I, I, I don't know if I call it sick. I, 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 I did consider it, but... I don't know. How does time off work for teachers? What do you mean, how does it work? Okay, so I know they're substitute teachers. Correct. But when if you're like morbidly sick and you can't function, I have to update my reset my task. Isn't that how do how do you get other teachers to fill in? I'll tell you. So hold on a second. Substitute so teachers. Uh, so it's all through an online portal. Uh, the, all different s schools all across the country use all different ones. But essentially, if you're going to be out, you don't, really don't have to do anything. You just go ahead online and you enter that you put in for a sick day. Uh, anyone who signed up for to be a substitute teacher through the portal that you're uh, a part of will get notified that, like, hey, there's an opening this day for this teacher at this school at this time type of thing if you want it. And so they kind of just sign up from there. So that's how it works. Oh, snap. So it's like, it's like a roulette, basically. Whoever... It's kind of, it's not really roulette, it's more first come first serve. It's just like, like think of if I put in right now, right, that I was going to take a sick day on Monday. Which, by the way, that would be pretty suspicious if I put that in a day in advance, but regardless. If I put that in, uh, every substitute teacher that's subscribed to that or assigned to that would get a text message pretty much saying like, hey, new sub position just opened for Monday, November 25th, you know, at this high school, you know, for this teacher. And so, some the first person to respond to accept it would would take it. That's pretty much how it works. I... And now you know. I always love learning about behind the scenes stuff with these careers. Yep. Oh, there's a lot of behind the scenes teacher stuff. Hopefully tomorrow I can talk all about behind the scenes teacher stuff if you so, want. Mega's very poignant connection. So it's like the trouble center. It is. Yeah. I mean, more or less, it's the trouble center for teachers. I'll go ahead and post be like, hey. Need a day off, need a key, and, uh, you know, hopefully somebody signs up for that trouble. That's pretty much it. Um, but I don't want to tell them that I spent all night streaming. Please help. Right. I love Frankly's comeback after three minutes. So what if no one takes it? That's actually a great question. So if the school cannot find a substitute, then what happens is other teachers cover your class for you, essentially. Uh, what's It's known as content area supervision. And essentially, if a teacher has, in our school anyway, that's how it works in our school. I'm not sure how it works in other schools. But if our school, if, if you happen to have two free periods in the same day, then one of those periods is what's referred to as a duty period. Meaning that, you know, you're more or less like either on hallway duty or you get a, you have to watch the lunchroom or like essentially okay, that, you have to do something. That explains something. my one question because I was going to like, well, wait, if they're filling for you, it's filling for them. Right, you have to do <laughs> something. Uh, so yeah. that being said, if a teacher is out and they were unable to get a substitute in that amount of time, like an ultra shroom for a cheap, um, then uh, you have to fill in for them. 
which kind of stinks if it's you that has to do that. But at the same time, if you know you're out, you know that other people have your back too. So it's a give and take. You know what I mean? Hey, we got exactly enough to afford Super Luigi. Turtles all the way down. <laughs> anyway, oh, that was that was the most essential purchase you've made so far. Cool. Hey, zero G five ninety one. Thanks so much for stopping by. Greatest of all time. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. I don't. I don't know also, if I agree with that statement, your, uh, but I appreciate that. Statement. Still, thank you for following me on Twitter. Uh, we have a lot of like random items here that I really don't need. Um, anyway, let's try to clear that out a little bit, I guess. So now, what we can do, which is great, is I think we can finally capitalize off of our investment, which is cool. Here's what you got to do in regular. So if I go down here. I go ahead and talk to this guy. I'm like, hey, remember that investment I made? It's lumpy, do you remember? I went to Dry Dry Desert to drill for oil. Hi. Hi. I did it. I totally struck oil. All right. That means we're going to benefit. And 999 coins. Love it. That's what we get for investing early in the game. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You have to invest 300 coins after Chapter 3. And if you do that, you get 999 back, which is pretty cool. It's really cool. After Chapter 6. And now you can actually use that to pretty much buy a ton of expensive items and, and really prep for the end game, which is nice. You know, there's still two more chapters to go. Hey, thanks so much for joining the Florida Alliance. I appreciate that. Do I need any of this? I'll take Attack FXP, I guess. I'll also take pretty lucky peaks. I don't think I have that. Which is cool. Nice. Welcome to the 41 Alliance. I'm doing pretty well. How are you? Uh, Tomorrow is the last. It is. Tomorrow is the last day. Uh, I know. I get money and now I'm all like, oh, wow, look at this. Woo Rolling in the dough. Unlike the oil uh, ferret, this will not be a long term investment. <laughs> yeah, no. That is true. Fun. <laughs> Are you a substitute teacher? Do I remember that correctly? Who? Me? Did you peach you? Oh, did you peach you? Hey, Mr. L with the chair. Thanks so much. Add collected bits. I appreciate that, Mr. L. Very, very kind. Very, very kind of you. Actually, which way am I trying to go? This way. Oh, you are. Excellent. That's right. So, so Digi can directly relate on that level. Can directly relate. Hopefully, he can also, you know, verify that everything I said is true. If you have any doubts. Not true. Full-time teachers are jerks. <laughs> Not true. Hashtag all lies. Anyway, I want to go buy at least one Ultra Shroom and one Jam and Jelly. I, want, I could start, I guess, in the little bit of time we have. We've got about 12 minutes to go. Start combining those two things together, which is nice. You know, get some Jelly Ultras going. Do I have enough to get Power Plus yet? No, I need two more Star Pieces. So not quite enough for that. But I can go over here. I can buy an Ultra Shroom. I can buy a Jam and Jelly. We can start making some Jelly Ultras, which we're going to be using for the end game, which is pretty cool. I'm going to take one of those. I'm going to take one of those. That should be good for now. Uh, we don't need... So I'm going to try to store some things. I got to... Clean up my inventory a little bit. This is actually a, a really good moment, a really good opportunity in the game to do that. So I'm going to clean up my inventory a little bit. We don't need a dry shroom. I don't know why I have that. We don't need this. Okay. We're going to hold off on that for now. How many am I going to use? Probably zero uh, until we get to the Pit of 100 Trials, in which case I'm probably going to use many of them. So that's, pretty, that's probably what's going to happen. Because it's the same thing. We were talking about this actually at the top of the stream, where it was like, how many times in an RPG do you save all these healing items, save all the healing items, save all the healing items, then you get to the end of the game and you're like, I only have 87 Ultra Elixirs. <laughs> it's like, I can't use one, I have eight, I'll then I'll have 86. It's like, you don't need them. You're at the final boss of the game! But my elixir. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We referenced that same skit too. <laughs> All right, so we're going with Ultra Shroom and Jam and Jelly. This is the best. I'm pretty sure this is actually the best healing item in the game. I don't. I think that the Zest Deluxe might top it, if I remember correctly. 
but I think as far I don't think it restores as much FP. I think it's like a 60 HP and 40 FP type of thing. But this is 50-50, so you can't really go wrong with that. What else you got? Anything else in here? Not really. I think I could probably do... Eh, not really. Okay. So we're going to store that for later. Oh, we should be able to finish before... That's a good question. I don't know if we're going to finish before 8 p.m., but regardless, if we do or not, I can buy all those Super Luigi volumes. If we do or not, I will still, uh, I'll still go till 8. I'm, I wouldn't cut it off early. So we are going to be here the full time that I advertised. Store our Jelly Ultra for now. We can store our, do I really need a power block? Probably not. I wonder if whoever wrote for this game had the secret hope that those those volumes about Luigi would eventually become source material for a future game. That would be pretty funny. I would love to see a paper Luigi. That's funny. So in case you yeah, in case you're wondering, we do have two chapters to go. So we have Chapter 7 and Chapter 8 that are coming your way tomorrow. We are going to be live tomorrow starting at uh, 10 o'clock. Or sorry, no, not 10 o'clock. Starting at noon and going until 8 o'clock p.m. So we're going to be starting at noon p.m. Eastern Standard Time and ending at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you ever get confused, you can type exclamation mark TTYD to go ahead and display those times. Again, you can type exclamation mark final stream. If you do type exclamation mark final stream, you get essentially a link to a Google form. If you can fill out that form, it will allow me to send you just a little bit more of a personal uh, thank you for all the, of your support through the past 10 years. Tomorrow will be my final stream ever. So I'm sure we'll get all sentimental. I'll have some tissues nearby. It's going to get sad. And it, it is, you know, something that is hard to think of. It is retirement from this type of a, uh, of a medium. But... As, as the challenges in life grow greater and as I, I move to face some other things, such as moving into a house, staying in a relationship, you never know what comes after that. could be family. could be who knows. But I'm just saying, accepting more responsibility at work, I need to be ready to face those. And I'm excited to face those as well. And so, you know, unfortunately, the streaming does have to come to an end. But after 10 years, it feels like an appropriate closure as well. So I don't want to understate that. But anyway, that's all. Is this just an elaborate reversal to collect an e a mailing list to spam people with stream notifications? It's actually, I mean, someone else kind of pointed it out earlier in the stream. I didn't really want to say anything, but it is just so that I can play Animal Crossing and not have to worry about <laughs> any other responsibilities once that comes out. So, just try to keep that on now. <laughs> The 41 hour AC marathon. I mean, I've been seeing people do 336 hour Pokemon streams, so. so ridiculous. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, since I don't want to end tomorrow on a bitter note, uh, any regrets for content creation? That's a good question. You know, any regrets? Can you ask that now? Uh. Yes and no. I feel like I was certainly in the position when I, when, especially like when I was in the midst of Mario Superstar Baseball. Definitely that was the point at which the viewership was at that its highest around 2013. Um, I could have for sure really pushed the YouTube a little bit more uh, and certainly have, um, you know, maybe reached some, some heights that I haven't reached, like in terms of subscriber count, in terms of popularity and such and such. But at the same time, I always find in life, and maybe you could attest to this, that I always think it's difficult to say that you truly have regrets. Because I feel like if you say that you have, if, if anything were to change, like kind of the butterfly effect, then you wouldn't really be in the position that you are right now. And I find that being in the position I am in right now, I, I really wouldn't want anything to change. So I'm happy to uh, be here with all of you at this moment. So, that's all. So, like, can you say, maybe I should have done this differently, maybe I should have done this differently? Yeah, maybe. 
I could have pushed a little bit more at that point to say like, hey, this is when I should really capitalize and, and really try to expand my audience and my brand. But at the same time, it's like, you know, then I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be where I am today and I wouldn't be in this position. And ultimately, is the grass greener on the other side? I don't know if it could be. I don't know if it could be. So, that's all. I don't know if that got a little mushy and a little sentimental. We're told you we're gonna save the we're gonna save the sad stuff for tomorrow, but that's my answer to that question. Got philosophical and one's great. Did I ever think of milking the hell out of Mario Baseball? Says Sports. I totally did think of that, but at the same time, I, I I firmly believe that every good story needs to have a beginning, middle, and end. So, like, think of if Mario Baseball just went on forever. If it was like, hey, we're gonna do another round of challenges, like it would just be like, I don't know. I, we did do the Saber Metrics presentation. That was really cool. That's still up on YouTube. That was my uh, one of my college like big finale presentations. That was fun. Can't afford Super Luigi uh, Three. Oh, I don't, actually, I don't know why. I'm there. <laughs> like people playing Fortnite and only Fortnite. Yeah, I can go talk to Frankly now. I'm just doing all this prep for uh, later on. Anyway, um, I want to give a thank you to Power to Mario and Ga uh, Guy Crusher 9 for joining us today. Uh, tonight, I should say, on the stream. It was actually awesome to talk with you again. A lot of these CSS members that we've been talking to, I really haven't had conversations with in such a long time, both of you included. So I'm happy to hear things are going well. I'm happy to, that you took the time to join, and I hope to see you tomorrow a little bit. And if you can't make it tomorrow, then... I'm happy you're at least able to make it today, and I really appreciate all the support and, and viewership that you guys have given me. And, uh, it's really been a pleasure to work alongside you, I have to say. So, thank you. Absolutely, man. Anytime. Thank you. That's where we left off. Good stuff. It really is. Like, And that's the thing. I'm going to say it one more time. That's the thing about being in a group like Crystal Star Studio is that I probably haven't – realistically, I don't think I've had a, a voice conversation with – PTM in probably about a year and we can just jump into a voice into a voice call and get right back to where we were like it's not even like maybe five minutes worth of catching up and then it's like oh yeah let's just talk about uh, uh the floor we gotta get through the three minutes of hey how are you right yeah. oh good oh yeah okay here come the memories flooding in right <laughs> Talk about the 2,000 year old window. Jeez. Anyway, I hope you guys don't mind if I if I let you go because we are nearing the end of the stream. So, um, thanks again for coming on, Gaia PTM. Appreciate it. I do hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I, like I said, I'll be here tomorrow. If you're here tomorrow, and if not, then it's been a pleasure. I'll still be around the Discord, so please feel free to come, come on by. Two man, well done. Adios. Thank you. Anyway, hey, Fake Jake, one, stop it on by. Uh, I, I, yeah, this is it. This is it. So we're going into the last day. We are really in the end game now. I just want to make sure that my gear is all set to go. How many items do I actually have? I have a good amount of free item storage, so I can still do that. I probably don't need this power block. I'm probably going to get rid of that. We really need a power block. Uh, what else do I not need that I have? Everything else I'll probably I'll keep for now. We'll see. Anyway, so yeah, tomorrow we will be back live again at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's noon. So I hope to see you then. We are going to be doing Chapter 7, Chapter 8, and hopefully ending with the Pit of 100 Trials. That would be a really cool way to end. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I will stay. I'm not going to use the coupon because it's only five coins. But in any case, a uh, couple other questions. Sorry. If you haven't done so already, please join the Discord server. I'll still be there. You can still keep in touch with me, even though I won't be doing videos anymore. That's still a way to keep in contact with what's going on. Uh, if you want to go ahead and um, fill out a little Google form that I made to receive a little bit more of a personal thank you for all that you've done, you can go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream to get that brought up on the chat. Uh, just to answer a couple questions at the very, very end, we have Bounce Bro saying, is PTM's contact name in your phone PTM or his actual name? It is his actual name. It is his actual name. Uh, we are on the home stretch. That is true. It's hard to believe. 
uh, that we are here, but we are going to be here, which is really cool. So, in any case, I went to the inn. I slept. I think I'm ready to go for Chapter 7. I don't think there's anything else I have to do. So, we're going to save, and that's going to be it for tonight. Tomorrow, the grand finale where we take off to the moon. I'll see you guys then. Have a fantastic evening, and yeah, I'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, this is hard. Like, how do I... This is hard. This is hard. We're not even there yet, but good night, everyone. I'll see you around. Thank you. See you tomorrow for day three, the final day of the Paid Mario Thousand Year Door weekend stream.